The first thing I did when I was reborn into the apocalypse was to force the school beauty to swallow a piece of bamboo leaf green, while I ate an ordinary stone, all because soon after, a global distortion would come, and 70% of living beings would turn into man-eating monsters. The bamboo leaf green from my previous life would mutate into a terrifying dragon. The stone I ate was not an ordinary one, but a jade stone with the bloodline of Pangu, from the Long Mai Mountain, which in my previous life created a dominant existence. At this moment, I, who was reborn, held the bamboo leaf green and immediately reached out to the school flower Xiao Wanru in front of me, swallowed it, and had to be quick. My crazy move instantly caused a sensation in the whole class. No, are you crazy? Let the school flower swallow her own pet. Why don't you swallow it yourself? I ignored the commotion of my classmates, still raised the bamboo leaf green in my hand and reached it out to the school flower. Everyone thought I was crazy and wanted to lock me up in a mental hospital, but little did they know that a minute later, a global biological transformation would occur, affecting all living beings, and everyone would awaken abilities corresponding to the last item they ate. In my previous life, the last thing I ate before the transformation was a lamb bun, so I awakened the talent of growing fur. Besides being able to create sheep wool to resist extreme weather, it was of no use. In my previous life, I had seen a giant dog with the power of Pangu. With a roar, the mountains collapsed, the earth split, and that was just a local dog raised by an antique shop owner that transformed. By a stroke of luck, I learned from the owner that the local dog accidentally swallowed a piece of unguarded mountain dragon vein jade, causing the transformation. So the first thing I did after being reborn was to scrape together enough money to buy that unguarded mountain dragon vein jade. Seeing this scene, the customers in the shop and the owner of the antique shop mocked me as a fool, but only I knew that it was a real unguarded mountain dragon vein jade. In the myth, the unguarded mountain is the body of Pangu with the intelligence to create the world, and the unguarded mountain dragon vein is the essence of Pangu's blood in his limbs. According to the rule of swallowing the transformation, as long as you swallow this unguarded mountain dragon vein jade, you will inevitably gain the blood talent from the father god Pangu. Once the end of the world comes, you will definitely be the top existence in the entire Yun Chang, and even in the top existence in the Great Xia. As for why I forced Xiao Wanru to swallow her pet bamboo leaf green, it's because in my previous life, Xiao Wanru had always secretly loved me but didn't dare to confess. After the distortion came, she also stuck with me. She clearly awakened the ice and snow talent enough to survive well in the distorted end of the world, but she still followed me wholeheartedly, protecting me, who only had a mediocre talent in the apocalypse. Xiao Wanru even sacrificed herself to protect me from the distorted monsters and was eventually devoured by the distorted beasts. Now that I am reborn, I must prevent the tragedy of my previous life from happening again. So I decided to help Xiao Wanru awaken a stronger talent first. In the previous life, Xiao Wanru's pet bamboo leaf green was transformed into a dragon due to distortion. If it hadn't lost to the guard dog of the antique shop in the struggle, there was a high probability that it could evolve into a five-clawed divine dragon in the future. The reason for requesting to swallow it alive was also an experience summed up by humans in the previous life, because swallowing it alive had the best effect in obtaining talents. If it weren't for the fact that my dragon vein jade stone couldn't be cut by human hands, I would have wanted to split it with Xiao Wanru, and now, even though it is a second-rate dragon, it is far stronger than the ice and snow talent awakened by Xiao Wanru in the previous life. Faced with my persistence, Xiao Wanru made up her mind, saying sorry, Xiao Cheng, I can do anything for Qin Jie. Immediately, Xiao Wanru took the bamboo leaf green, pinched her tongue, and directly swallowed it in front of the whole class, as if eating noodles. Seeing this scene, the whole class was shocked and speechless. It wasn't until Xiao Wanru rushed to the water dispenser, drank several cups of water frantically, leaned against the wall and kept retching, that the whole class reacted. Xia, the school flower, can't eat live animals, as they will cause massive bleeding in the stomach. Amidst the commotion, I had already arrived by Xiao Wanru's side. At this moment, Xiao Wanru, with her beautiful and pale face, was in my arms, enduring the rolling pain in her abdomen. Chen Jie, I, I did it. Xiao Wanru groaned in pain, smiled sadly, and hugged my waist with her backhand, blood oozing from the corner of her mouth as she spoke. The teacher, who had never seen such a scene, quickly called for emergency assistance. Seeing this, Gao Juanhao, who had always pursued Xiao Wanru but was constantly rejected, strode towards me, saying, Chen Jie, you deserve to die. You knew he liked you, yet you forced her to eat the snake. His angry shout was like thunder, frightening all the students in the class. I didn't even look at Gao Juanhao, just hugged the increasingly weak Xiao Wanru, then took out my phone, looked at the time on the screen, and as Gao Juanhao approached, I held Xiao Wanru and quietly counted down. When Gao Juanhao came over, I remained motionless, 
As time approached 10 o'clock, a burst of light containing immense energy exploded outside the window, the dazzling light almost blinding, causing Gao Juanhao, who was rushing over, to fall heavily to the ground due to being temporarily flashed in the eyes. What just happened? Such a bright light. My phone can't connect to the internet. Me too. The signal tower exploded. Gao Juanhao also got up from the ground and rushed towards me again with anger. Chen Jie. Today I must vent my anger for Wan Ro. His tone was full of killing intent, but just as the huge fist was about to hit me, a sudden change occurred. The bright sky instantly turned from day to night. A hint of blood red light scattered from the sky, followed by a heart wrenching scream from Xiao Wanru in my arms. At the same time, Xiao Wanru's figure was also undergoing changes, with a pair of dragon horns growing on her head, shimmering with silver electric arcs, scattered sporadic blue and white scales around her beautiful cheeks, adding a touch of eerie charm. From the spine to the shoulder armor, a small dragon with blue smoke swirling around it hovered and intertwined, with continuous blue and white electric arcs. Wearing a blue and white long skirt scale armor, the faint blue and white light emitted from the scale armor tightly outlined her beautiful figure, with a blue and white dragon tail swaying slowly behind her, like a holy beast maiden from a TV drama. Name, Xiao Wanru. Level, first tier. Mimetic divine weapon, blue scale long sword. Mimetic divine armor, azure spirit armor. Mimetic Battle Spirit, Azure Moon Spirit Dragon. Talent, Azure Sky Divine Thunder. Cloud Manipulation, Azure Sky Divine Thunder. The caster can release powerful blue and white thunder, with a restraining effect on ghosts and evil creatures. Cloud Manipulation, the caster can ride clouds and mist, summon wind and rain. After the mutation, Xia Wanru's mind immediately broadcasted this information. At this moment, the thoughtful Xia Wanru understood the intention of me letting her swallow the snake, which was completely for her own good. Being already devoted to me, she naturally couldn't tolerate anyone daring to provoke me. She stood in front of me, easily blocking Gao Juanhao's huge fist with her palm. Instead, when Gao Juanhao's fist hit Xiao Wanru's palm, he was burned by the divine thunder covering the azure spirit armor on Xiao Wanru's hand. Gao Juanhao screamed in pain, clutching his already charred and smoky right hand. At this moment, the scales on Xiao Wanru's face gradually disappeared beneath the skin. The dragon horns on her head quickly retracted returning to their original state. Xiao Wanru was also frightened by her own power, quickly turning back to my side, wanting to seek praise from me, but at this moment, I clearly had no change from before, yet Xiao Wanru clearly felt her soul trembling when facing me. That was the fear from the depths of the genes of a weak creature. Just then, a crimson light burst in from outside the window, illuminating the night as if it were a fiery white day. Soon, the crimson light faded, and in the classroom appeared a huge fish-shaped figure covered in flesh and blood with white bones piercing through, pressing down on two bloody figures. Among the rest of the crowd, there were several eerie figures mixed in, some thin and small like ghost monkeys, some twisted like insects, some swift like wolves. At this moment, they were all chasing after the normal students in the classroom, not letting go. Those students caught by them would be torn in half on the spot, bloody and devoured. What was originally just a slightly messy classroom now resembled hell, with no distinction. The monitor, Zhang Ya, stared blankly at the scene, completely puzzled as to why the entire world had undergone such a drastic change after two flashes of light. What she didn't know was that the energy contained in those flashes would cause distortions, and only those humans with strong wills who could resist the erosion of those strange powers would awaken corresponding abilities based on the residual power within their bodies. Kao Juanhao was obviously not one with a strong enough mind, as the next second he was completely engulfed by the strange power to every corner of his body. After a violent distortion, a pair of long, Sharp avian claws grew out from under his feet, accompanied by the hissing of a raptor that nearly penetrated the eardrums. The deformed Gao Juanhao twisted and pounced on the girl in front of him. The speed was so fast that it almost produced a stubble. In a split second, he split a girl in half with his sharp claws. Frighteningly, Zhang Ya, the class president not far away, backed up. Chen Jie's pupils shrunk as he looked at the birdman-type creature that stood on top of the corpses and howled. That was the blood moon demon bird? But how did this aberrant ferocious beast mutate from Gao Juanhao's body? Chen Jie, in his previous life, did not arrive at school on the day of the aberration because he took a vacation. Naturally, he avoided the scarlet scene in front of him at the moment. Chen Jie, who had been reborn and returned from two lifetimes, naturally knew that the aberration appeared after the aberration. Naturally, he knew quite a few types of monsters that appeared after the aberration. This bird-type monster that was transformed by Gao Juanhao was called the Blood Moon Demon Bird. Although it was only a first order monster, but it was incredibly fast and its sharp claws were as sharp as, in the early stages of the aberration, they were almost one of the fiercest and deadliest monsters, humans in the early stages of aberration, 
Even if they survived the mutation stage and successfully activated their natural supernatural abilities, they still needed enough time to familiarize themselves with it. When they met the Blood Moon Demon Bird, with its terrifying speed, it might even be directly hit before the talent abnormal ability was even released. Unless it was one of those top-tier gifted people. Only those who can understand the current situation in a short period of time and utilize their talent abilities can survive. The average person who meets the Blood Moon Demon Bird will only be able to feed the monster with his body. Especially in a dark environment like this, where the light had faded and only a faint scarlet glow remained. The Blood Moon Demon Bird's owl-like characteristics made it even more comfortable in the darkness. If a human is not careful enough in front of the Blood Moon Demoness, he would surely die a horrible death. In his previous life, when he was first awakened, he was not skilled enough to master his abilities. He was treated as a monster by his neighbors and driven out of the residential building. If it wasn't for Xiao Wanru who found her at the first opportunity after the mutation and resolutely followed him, perhaps he would have died outside long ago. However, on the contrary, it was because of being at home. That's how he escaped the Blood Moon Demon Bird. This also made him figure out why almost no one within their class had made it out of the school alive in his previous life. Chen Jie's thoughts flickered. Vigilantly, he looked towards the Blood Moon Demon Bird. In his heart, he immediately tried to awaken his natural aptitude. His talent information immediately surfaced in his mind. Name, Chen Jie. Rank, First Order. Anthropomorphic Divine Weapon, Heaven Opening Axe. Anthropomorphic Battle Armor, Four Poles Five Mountains Armor. Anthropomorphic Battle Spirit, Hongming Clear and Turbid Qi. Talent, Open Heaven and Earth, S. Separate Turbidity and Transform Clarity, S. Chaotic Metaphysical Body, S. Open Heaven and Earth, Pangu's Bloodline possesses the power to open Heaven and Earth. With his head in the sky and his feet on the ground, the might of Heaven and Earth is hard to shake. Pangu's Bloodline has the power to open up the sky and split the turbid into two, easily breaking through delusion. Chaotic Xian Huang Body, as the Bloodline of Pangu, the God of Creation, is able to suppress the majority of living beings from the Bloodline. Chen Jie's eyes immediately lit up. Blood Moon Demon Bird? Just the thing to try your hand at. Chen Jie stomped his foot. Golden light suddenly emanated from his body. The sound of clanking gold and iron buzzing resounded. The black and gold flying feather armor cap on top of his head covered Chen Jie's face. Golden tassels swayed behind his head like flames. The glittering black and gold armor resembled dragon scales. It covered every part of Chen Jie's body, making his already tall body even more powerful. And on top of his back, there are even more mixed clear purple smoke. It was like a heavenly god war general. Unstoppable. The mimetic battle armor was just summoned out. Xiao Wanru on the side looked at Chen Jie and began to hold her breath, her eyes full of admiration. The monsters that those classmates had turned into were even more as if they had been stimulated by something heavenly. They all turned their heads towards Chen Jie and let out deafening roars. That was the natural dominance from the bloodline of the creation god. Pangu. It was also the attraction. Within a short period of time, these monsters actually stopped moving as much as they could. Afterward, they reversed their direction and came tearing towards Chen Jie. The closest one was the huge fish monster. Its 3 to 4 meter tall body was looking at Chen Jie, who was clad in mimetic battle armor. It was stupidly eager to move. Only, when Chen Jie swept his gaze over it, it seemed to have stirred its human memories that had not yet passed away, arousing its latent fear. That huge, twisted, ugly monster also became enraged. With a roar, it charged towards Chen Jie. Seeing this, Xiao Wanru beside her was about to wake up her mimic and go forward. However, she was stopped by Chen Jie's hand. Afterwards, Xiao Wanru only saw Chen Jie charging towards the fish monster with large strides, in the blink of an eye. Bang! In a dull sound, a large and a small figure collided together. An invisible airwave could be vaguely seen exploding. At the same time, the ground cracked due to their powerful force. Chen Jie was nearly two meters tall in his mimetic battle armor. But in front of the giant fish monster that was almost 4 meters tall, he was still like a child. The difference in size caused Chen Jie's body to inevitably tilt due to the ground breaking up. Looks, it seemed to be a few points inferior in terms of strength. The Blood Moon Demon Bird transformed by Gao Jun Hao on the side was cunning and incomparable, thinking that it was the fish monster that had the advantage. With a hiss, it violently leapt towards the two warring sides. Its primary target was Chen Jie who gave it a huge sense of fear. Right at this moment. Chen Jie took a diagonal step backwards. At the same time, the movement in his hand flipped, turning push into pull, utilizing the terrifying power of the mimetic battle armor's enchantment, pulling up the giant body of the fish monster of nearly 4 meters. Like swinging a bat, he threw it towards the blood moon demon bird that was swooping over. Bang! Boom! The dull sound of blood and flesh crashing and the sound of the wall shattering resounded successively. The fish monster's huge ugly body was embedded in the wall. 
and the blood moon demon bird immediately began to hiss angrily. It only relied on the sensitivity of its body. In the instant it was about to be crushed, it crossed over the smashing fish monster with the help of its wings. The blood moon demon bird fluttered its huge feathered wings, and on its humanoid bird-like face, the eyes rolled as if thinking to itself. It realized that with its strength alone, it couldn't shake that human in black and gold armor. The blood moon demon bird then began to chirp incessantly. Chen Jie understood. It was not just hissing in anger. Rather, it was utilizing the suppressive power of its bloodline, calling on all the monsters present that were not fully transformed to attack Chen Jie together, only to see the monsters that were originally unusually vigilant. The writhing of flesh and blood on their body surface became even more turbulent, and their faces became even more horrifying. At the same time, they let out angry hissing sounds. Several monsters simultaneously abandoned the bloody flesh around their mouths and lunged towards Chen Jie. The blood moon demon bird quietly flew and leaned to the ceiling, attempting to wait for an opportunity to sneak attack. Seeing this, Chen Jie clenched his right hand in vain. The Hongmeng purple chi behind his back instantly transformed into a sharp giant axe that shimmered with black and gold light. Mimetic Divine Soldier, Heaven Opening Axe. Chen Jie faced several repulsive looking monsters pouncing in front of him. Instead of retreating, he advanced. He violently cracked the ground with one foot. He rushed towards the four monsters like a gale. At the same time, his body twisted in midair, and the huge axe in his hand circled like a dragon. When the heaven opening axe was circling, there was a vague rumble like thunder and a steady rumble like a mountain. Wow! With a flash of bladed light, the four monstrous monsters were chopped into two almost in no particular order. The blood moon demon burnt overhead. Under the threat to its life, it hissed and swooped towards Chen Jie. It intended to fight to the death. But Chen Jie at this moment, the corner of his mouth grinned. After which, the heaven opening axe in his hand suddenly hacked upwards. A blade of light was infinitely amplified by the heaven opening axe. The blood moon demon bird was directly chopped into two by Chen Jie. After Chen Jie ended the blood moon demon bird in one fell swoop, the entire classroom instantly became quiet. Chen Jie's maneuver stunned the students present. The monsters present also detected the powerful aura emanating from Chen Jie's pango bloodline. One by one. They stopped their hands and looked towards Chen Jie. Chen Jie, on the other hand, did not hesitate in the slightest and leapt forward. With an almost lightning fast momentum, he killed several other monsters. In three minutes, all of the monstrous alien beasts within the classroom were cleaned up. It was also at this time that the surviving people within the classroom began to clamor and wanted to go out. Chen Jie walked onto the podium with an icy face. All be quiet. Chen Jie snapped, and the classroom instantly quieted down. The end times are coming. There are all monsters outside now. Those who want to live. Listen to me. Chen Jie had just finished speaking. Outside the door a huge hellish evil dog opened its hideous mouth. Exposing its fangs and spitting out its tongue. It looked towards the crowd inside the classroom. A low hissing roar resounded through the classroom. Right at this critical moment. A girl in the crowd raised her voice and screamed. Ah. The hellhound instantly became manic. Chen Jie's brows furrowed as his eyes fixed on the hellish hound outside the classroom door. In his previous life. This hell evil dog. It was because it had gone on a hunting spree in the school to evolve. It eventually metamorphosed into a hellish three-headed dog and became the overlord of Cloud City. If it wasn't for the arrival of high-level transcendence, the entire Cloud City would have become his ration. This time, Chen Jie did not plan to do it himself. Instead, he gave Xiao Wanru, who was at the side, a look. Go! Seeing Chen Jie's gesture, Xiao Wanru condensed Bixiao Divine Lightning in her palm, and the silhouette of the green scale longsword flashed. Boom! Caught off guard. A divine thunderbolt struck the hellhound's body. The dust dispersed and a scorched black color appeared on the hellhound's body surface. It was worthy of being the famous Bixiao divine thunder from his previous life, specializing in evil spirits. Now the hellhound was completely enraged. Dragging its charred black body, it opened its huge mouth and rushed into the classroom with a hiss. A mouthful of black flame was spat out, and the desks and chairs were instantly turned into ashes, and the two people beside the desks directly turned into ashes. Bastard, looking for death. Chen Jie saw that this hellhound was able to resist Xiao Wanru's Bixiao Divine Lightning. Then, he planned to do it himself. The mimic divine soldier have an opening axe preceded him. Huffing and puffing, it smashed straight into the hellhound. And Chen Jie followed closely behind, charging towards the hellhound. Although the hellhound was agile enough to dodge the attack of the heaven opening axe. However, Chen Jie, who came right after him, seemed like a downer bull. It directly knocked the hellhound to the ground. Xiao Wanru, who was on the side, hurriedly handed the weapon in her hand to Chen Jie. Chen Jie did not give this hellhound the slightest chance to counterattack. A sword sealed its throat. Chen Jie then walked to the side of the hellhound's corpse, slashing open the hellhound's body. 
he took out a white crystal block from its body. In the previous life, this kind of crystal block was called a spirit crystal by transcendence. As long as they absorbed the spirit crystal transcendentals would have a chance to be able to advance. This was the fastest and stable way to advance. However, not all mutant beasts were able to produce crystals. Only a very small number of mutant beast corpses can produce low-ranking spirit crystals. As for high-ranking is even more rare. However, accordingly, the higher the quality of the spirit crystals within the body, the stronger the mutant beast was. The world is so cruel. The weak are the strong. The strong will have stronger people to hunt. Thinking about her previous life, Xiao Wanru's life and death to herself. Thinking that he has awakened the Pangbo bloodline talent. Chen Jie then gave this spirit crystal to Xiao Wanru. Take it to the center of your eyebrow and absorb it with your mind. Xiao Wanru received the spirit crystal and without hesitation, she did as Chen Jie instructed. The light dispersed, and the spirit crystal in Xiao Wanru's hand had already disappeared, and Xiao Wanru's entire person looked fresher and more elegant. Her skin was whiter, her eyes were clearer, and her long hair was darker and shinier. The temperament of her body was also more noble, and this was only in terms of appearance and perception. The growth of the substantial natural ability was even greater than that. Arriving at a second level awakened person. At the beginning of this global mutation, the strength of a second level awakened person was already able to deal with most crises. Chen Jie, on the other hand, walked over to the girl who had just let out a scream and attracted the hellhound. With his hand rising and falling, the girl's head directly rolled to the ground. Chen Jie looked around the circle with a ferocious gaze. In the midst of the end times, one has to pay the price for one's own stupidity. There were less than a dozen people left alive on the scene. Chun. Chen Jie, we all listen to you now. Chen Jie, we will do whatever you tell us to do. Just at this time, a miserable cry for help came from outside the classroom. Save me, please save me. The cry for help voice mixed with the hissing of the Fei Beast echoed outside the classroom. Chen Jie knew that this was the school's Fei Beasts that had already begun to gather into a group. Remembering his previous life, the school was just too dense with students. Many of the students had deformed into Fei monsters. An army of Fei monsters had appeared in the school as a result. Even though the current Chen Jie had awakened the heaven opening axe, in the face of thousands of fey monsters, it is also powerless. When the opportunity arose, Chen Jie immediately closed the classroom door. Don't just stand there. Hurry up and move tables and chairs to block the windows and doors. Chen Jie shouted to the crowd in the corner. After a brief hesitation, the instinct to survive spurred a few people to get up in a hurry. Following Chen Jie's instructions, they blocked the doors and windows. It's Vivian. It's Vivian. As the army of foreign beasts approached, Xiao Qian Qian, the class flower in the classroom, recognized Xiao Wei who was fleeing for her life in front of the army of foreign beasts. That was her roommate and even her best friend. At the moment, no part of Xiao Wei's body is intact outside the classroom. Xiao Qian Qian's miserable appearance makes her sympathize with Xiao Qian Qian instantly. In an instant, Xiao Qian Qian came to the classroom door and stretched out her hands, ready to push away the desk blocking the door. At this moment, Chen Jie instantly came to Xiao Qian Qian's side and pulled her to her feet, gritting his teeth. He said, Do you want all of us to bury her together? Chen Jie's icy voice came out. A pair of powerful hands gripped Xiao Qian Qian's wrist tightly. Chen Jie, what do you mean? Xiao Wei is dying. I can't just see her die. With the global mutation, the order of mankind has long since collapsed. Any single mistake could incur loss of life. Worse still, it could lead to the death of others. A hero? Only a strong self is one's own hero. Seeing Chen Jie refusing to let go, Xiao Chen Qian became infuriated. Chen Jie, how could you be so cold and desperate? Chen Jie's mouth grinned. Fine, since you think I'm indifferent, then go be a holy mother yourself. With that, Chen Jie directly activated his mimetic battle armor. After which, he opened the door and pushed Xiao Qian Qian out. Then he gently closed the door again. Xiao Qian Qian stood in the corridor and immediately folded back in fear, frantically tapping on the door. Chen Jie, I was wrong. Chen Jie, I was just in a moment of impatience. Chen Jie just let me in. The deformed monsters and alien beasts outside the corridor saw the crying Xiao Qian Qian. All of a sudden, their pupils glowed red and their faces looked greedy. Then they swarmed up. The others inside the classroom, on the other hand, were all silenced. Shrinking in the corner, they listened to the sounds of the alien beasts pouncing and scrambling outside the corridor, not daring to make a single sound. Chen Jie, on the other hand, stood straight behind the door. His face taut. Later on, once the aberrant monsters rushed in, he was going to fight to the death. No matter what, he would still have to escort Xiao Wanru out of the school. After the monsters finished eating up Xiao Qian Qian's body, suddenly, a silence fell outside the corridor. Eh, what's happening? Why is it suddenly quiet? 
That group of monsters couldn't have gone away already, could they? We're saved. I want to go home. I want to find my mom. The students looked at each other left and right, mistakenly believing that they had gained life at this point. However, they also all stayed where they were and did not dare to move. One by one, they stared at Chen Jie. From the lessons learned earlier, they had to rely on Chen Jie if they wanted to survive now. Chen Jie stuck his head to the small window at the doorway. Through the glass, Chen Jie could clearly see that Xiao Qian Qian had already been partaken by the monster. There was only a pool of blood left at the spot. Those monsters, at this time, were all strangely prostrate in place, shivering, as if they were afraid of something. According to the normal direction, after these monsters finished eating Xiao Qian Qian, the next target should be them inside the classroom. Instead, they stayed put. What the hell is going on here? Chen Jie's mind was also puzzled for a while, because in his last life, when the end times broke out, he was not in school. Therefore, there were also some doubts about what was going to happen next. Even more so, there was a sense of crisis in his heart. Chen Jie, what's happening outside? Xiao Wanru asked out loud. The long sword was tightly gripped in her hand. Once there was a situation, she was willing to be the first to rush out to protect Chen Jie. Chen Jie turned his head to look at Xiao Wanru and shook his head. We don't know yet. Don't move first. Let's see what happens. Chen Jie's words just fell. Movement began to appear outside the classroom. Tap, tap, tap. Strange footsteps, step by step, approached the classroom's location. Every time the footsteps moved, it was as if they were pounding the hearts of those present. Classmates, come out and play. I've been waiting for you guys for a long time, and I'm willing to share delicious food with you. Come on. A young girl's voice came from the corridor, a voice that was somewhat ethereal. It made the hairs on one's back stand up and sweat after hearing it. This, is Zhao Xiaolu's voice? Didn't she take a vacation today? How? Why did she come back? Among her classmates, Gao Xiaoli said with a panicked expression. It was as if Zhao Xiaolu's appearance had surprised her. Why did she come? And, isn't she afraid of the monsters outside? She won't turn into a monster like Gao Juanhao and seek revenge on us, right? If you want to look for it, then look for Gao Xiaoli. It's none of my business. Yes. It's Gao Xiaoli who bullied her. It's none of our business. The girls who were in the same dormitory as Zhao Xiaolu before whispered. They seemed like they had, before, done something wrong to Zhao Xiaolu. They looked flustered. Boom boom boom. The classroom door was slammed ferociously three times. Chen Jie gripped the pango axe tightly in his hand. It didn't matter if Zhao Xiaolu was here to seek revenge or what. If, however, she dared to make a move against herself and Xiao Wanru, Chen Jie would not hesitate to chop off her head. Ah, she's coming. She's coming. Yao Xiaoli held her head in her hands and curled up in the corner building of the classroom. Open the door. My little sisters, don't you guys like to play with me? Now how? Is the door not open ah? Hey hey hey. Zhao Xiaolu laughed playfully, but the voice was weird. Sharp as a cat scratching a blackboard. The crashing continued. Not long after, there was a snap and the lock on the classroom door was broken. He's coming in. Chen Jie admonished Xiao Wanru. The next moment. Boom. The classroom doorway was instantly smashed open. A figure monster barricaded itself across the classroom doorway. The upper body was the ragged Zhao Xiaolu, draped in loose hair. The teeth of her mouth had become jagged. A pair of reddish eyes looked angrily at the students inside the classroom. The lower part of her body had mutated. Eight long and twisted spider legs had differentiated. Dense veins were distributed on them. The nails on the legs had been reborn as sharp blades. Ha ha! See you guys! Zhao Xiaolu laughed playfully. Afterwards, all eight legs moved at the same time, and a flash immediately rushed into the interior of the classroom. After this Zhao Xiaolu's mutation, her size had long since grown several times larger. As soon as she came in, the entire classroom was occupied by a large portion of her. Xiao Lu, please forgive me. Gao Xiaoli already knew she was in trouble, so she directly knelt down towards Zhao Xiaolu. Forgive? Have you thought about today? Now, asking me to forgive you? What a really funny joke. Zhao Xiaolu's face showed madness her body constantly shaking. She recalled, that kind of pain, it made her spirit extremely stimulated, and now, she had the ability to take revenge. She felt incomparably excited again. Right, that's what she did. One of Gao Xiaoli's roommates, at this time, stepped forward to make up for it. At the same time, a step towards the door was probed. You can't run away. Zhao Xiaolu's gaze went cold. Boom, the gate instantly automatically closed heavily. When Chen Jie saw the scene, he could not help but be surprised in his heart. This Xiao Xiaolu should have eaten the spider, which had mutated. However, she was already able to manipulate objects using spiritual thoughts. It must have been close to the peak of the first rank. Xiao Xiaolu did not notice Chen Jie's gaze, 
She arrived in front of the girl who was about to escape with a flash. With a downward grab of her sharp claws, she split the girl's body into two halves. Grabbing a part of it, she put it in her mouth and chewed it. This bloody scene made many students. On the spot, wretch, I'll fight you. Gao Xiaoli didn't know where she got the courage to pick up a table leg on the ground and rush to Zhao Xiaolu's face. A stick struck Zhao Xiaolu's spider leg. However, it was as if it had hit steel. Not a single bit of damage was inflicted. Instead, it shocked the table leg and caused it to fall to the ground. Zhao Xiaolu sensed Gao Xiaoli's attack. Playfully, she picked Gao Xiaoli up out of thin air. You're in too much of a hurry. It's coming to you, Zhao Xiaolu said cruelly. Afterwards, he sent Zhao Xiaolu a little bit to himself at his mouth. The powerful Nianli trapped Gao Xiaoli to death, and no matter how much she struggled, it didn't help. One bite, Gao Xiaoli then bled out. Ah ah ah. Gao Xiaoli's miserable screams resounded throughout the classroom. About a dozen seconds had passed before Gao Xiaoli's large body was eaten by Zhao Xiaolu. However, the great revenge was avenged. She seemed to not have the intention to leave on this. Rather, she could not get enough of it and placed her gaze on Chen Jia and Xiao Wanru. Both of you, it looks delicious. A shadowy smile appeared at the corner of Zhao Xiaolu's mouth. Bright red blood was still saved at the corner of Zhao Xiaolu's mouth. A ferocious gaze was directed at Chen Jie and Xiao Wanru. The two of them were awakened. In Zhao Xiaolu's eyes, they were complete delicacies. Therefore, after completing her revenge, Zhao Xiaolu directly targeted Chen Jie and Xiao Wanru. Devouring the two of them was definitely more tonic than devouring thousands of ordinary people. Zhao Xiaolu, I think you've lost your heart. Chen Jie gripped the heaven opening axe in his hand ready to fight at any time. If, Zhao Xiaolu did not hit them, Chen Jia had still not intended to create a dispute with her. Before turning into a monster, Zhao Xiaolu was also a bitter person. But, now, Zhao Xiaolu had actually gotten her ideas onto him. In that case, it was only necessary to chop off her head. He he he, delicious food. Zhao Xiaolu laughed ferociously and playfully as if she hadn't heard Chen Jia's voice at all. In the position of the fingernails of both hands, a large section of sharp claws emerged grabbing towards Chen Jie's position. In the void, Chen Jie let out a deep grunt as the heaven-opening axe in his hand slashed horizontally. A powerful force shook the entire space of the classroom. The air emitting crackling sounds. Boom! The heaven-opening axe blasted head-on on top of Zhao Xiaolu's sharp claws. The two things collided, and flames overflowed. Feeling the powerful impact, Zhao Xiaolu hastily took two steps back. Eight cracks were scratched on the ground. Her fingers trembled slightly, and the sharp claw in her hand shattered a large portion of it. With her beloved sharp claws injured, Zhao Xiaolu immediately fell into a state of madness. How dare you hurt me? Those who hurt me all have to die. Zhao Xiaolu tilted her head and roared. It was as if she had also already treated Chen Jie as the person who had bullied him before as well. In her heart, Chen Jie must die. After her violent rage, Zhao Xiaolu opened her bloody mouth, and there was a fluctuation inside her black hole mouth. Afterwards, a thick white thread gushed out from the mouth. There was also a piece of light green slime with corrosiveness attached to it. This was Zhao Xiaolu's unique spider silk attack after her mutation. Swish. The spider silk fabricated into a large web and stabbed directly in Chen Jie's direction. A little golden aura flashed in Chen Jie's eyes. The breath in his body worked crazily. With such a wide range of attacks, in such a narrow space, it was basically impossible to dodge. It was also just right to take this opportunity to try out his awakened talent. Only to see. A golden light yellow aura quickly rose from Chen Jie's body. In no time, it wrapped around the heaven opening axe in Chen Jie's hand. With the heaven opening axe in his hand, he erected it towards the sky, and the space around him began to vibrate. The entire floor of the building seemed to be in an earthquake. The table inside the room kept shaking, and the windows around it crumbled. Just as the spider silk was about to wrap Chen Jie's entire body, Chen Jie chopped down with this axe. Heaven opening. The heaven opening axe exuded a shocking might and directly chopped on top of the spider web. Even the spider silk that was as thick as a thigh was like a knife peeling a cucumber in front of the heaven opening axe. In just an instant, the silk crumbled, unable to block it by half at all. Boom! After chopping through the spider web, the heaven opening axe directly chopped at Zhao Xiaolu's body, making a violent sound. At once, Zhao Xiaolu's body, from the shoulder position, was directly split in half by Qin Jia. Countless amounts of blood spurted out. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Zhao Xiaolu let out an oozing scream. Having suffered a heavy blow, retreat had already appeared in her heart. A mental fluctuation transmitted out from her mind. The ordinary students present covered their heads and crouched on the ground in agony as they struggled. Due to the frontal response, Chen Jia was struck and woodenly flinched. It was also the first time he had encountered a mental attack. The monsters outside, on the other hand, 
or affected by Zhao Xiaolu's mental fluctuations. One by one, they rushed in like crazy, itching to tear Qin Jia apart with their hands. You're not allowed to hurt Xiao Jia. Xiao Wanru's gaze turned cold when she saw the monsters rushing towards Qin Jia, swinging the green scale longsword in her hand. Dots of Lei Tang burst out from the longsword and surrounded the top of the longsword. Before the monster could get close to Qin Jia, Xiao Wanru had already dashed out as a phantom. The Bai Shao Divine Thunder was launched with a loud bang. A thunderbolt the size of a python charged towards the monsters in a bloodthirsty manner. Xiao Wanru, who had absorbed a crystal core, was clearly more powerful than before. Just the incidental lightning directly blasted four or five monsters. Subsequently, the long sword in her hand swept through, even more directly sweeping a large swath of them to death. These monsters were like chopping melons and cutting vegetables in front of her. After a flash of thunder, the monsters inside the corridor were cleared by Xiao Wanru. These things that could cause trouble to Qin Jie, she absolutely did not allow to exist. Chen Jie, you've been completely controlled by me, so go die in peace. Zhao Xiaolu, who had already been seriously injured, didn't know where she got her strength from and swung her claws at Chen Jie. You don't think that with this crude mind control of yours, you'll be able to really control me, right? And Chen Jie, who was originally dumbfounded, violently struggled, and two channels of Xin Huang Qi burst out from his body. This was Chen Jie's other talent of transforming turbidity and dividing clearness. Transformation of turbidity and separation of clearness, the Pango bloodline opened up the heavens and split the clearness and turbidity into two, able to easily break through falsehoods. Just this little bit of weak mental control from Zhao Xiaolu, if not for the fact that Chen Jie was still in the talent trial stage, I'm afraid that with this mental control, she wouldn't even have the qualifications to touch Chen Jie. As soon as the Xian Huang Qi came out, Chen Jie immediately regained his consciousness and his eyes even became brighter than before. How is it possible? My mind control is the strongest amongst mutants of the same species. Furthermore, I can control ordinary monsters. How could you possibly break it? Zhao Xiaolu was incredulous. Due to her deep resentment, hers was indeed of an upper middle grade when it came to pre-existing monsters that possessed mental power. An ordinary awakened person who was hit head-on might have to sleep for a long time. And Chen Jia lifted it in just a moment. This caused her heart to be shocked. Chen Jie smiled faintly and did not explain too much. The heaven opening axe in his hand would tell her the answer. A mighty energy was injected into the heaven opening axe, and Chen Jie's knees bent. In the next moment, a yellow lightning bolt flashed. Zhao Xiaolu, who was only half of her original body, turned into a rain of blood in just an instant, accompanied by chunks of meat. It was scattered throughout the interior of the classroom. Chen Jie killed her? Zhao Xiaolu has an insidious spiritual attack. Killed it with just two axes? Chen Jie, he's also too strong. Right? Xia Xia isn't bad either. I've long felt that the two of them are a match made in heaven. Many of the students present had regained their senses. In this post-apocalyptic world full of monsters, they didn't have the ability to awaken. Only, now immediately licked up Chen Jie and Xia Wanru. If, Xia Wanru and Chen Jie still remembered the love of their classmates, they might still have hope of surviving. After the rain of blood fell, a white crystal appeared at Zhao Xiaolu's original position. Unsurprisingly, it was another lesson that could boost strength. In this, at the same time, in the middle of the space, there were two black qi surrounding it. This black qi should be Zhao Xiaolu's grievances from her life. Why? Why? I'm just not good at it. I hate. I can't die in peace. I curse. All shall not die well. I'm waiting for you in hell. After the voice stopped, these two black qi, too, rushed out along the window's position. Immediately afterward, it dissipated in the middle of this world. Chen Jie retrieved the heaven opening axe in his hand and sighed lightly. Little Jie, are you alright? There's no place to get hurt, right? Xiao Wanru nervously held Chen Jie's hand and checked around. Just now, when Chen Jie was being controlled and was about to be caught by Zhao Xiaolu, her heart had jumped into her throat. It's fine. Chen Jie tenderly touched Xiao Wanru's head. This girl was still as concerned about herself in this way as she was in her last life. After pacifying Xiao Wanru, Chen Jie collected the crystal left over from killing Zhao Xiaolu. On this crystal, a hint of red light was revealed within the white color. This should be an initial stage spirit crystal. Based on his memories from his previous life, Chen Jie also roughly remembered the quality of spirit crystals. From low to high, the quality was categorized into inferior, beginner, intermediate, and high. This elementary grade spirit crystal, Chen Jie felt that it could allow him to improve. Chen Jie held it in his hand, and with a thought, he began to absorb it. A white light then seeped into Chen Jie's body. Immediately, Chen Jie felt soothed, and every cell in his entire body seemed to be breathing. The earth returned to spring, the aura of his body in order to enhance by a large margin. It was worthy of being an initial stage crystal, 
and in one go, it allowed him to advance to the peak of a second stage awakened, due to the chaotic Xian Huang body talent in his body. After absorbing the crystals, the enhancement was also quite a bit stronger than others. In the pre-apocalyptic period, absorbing a primary crystal, an average person might only be able to ascend to a second order primary awakened. He, on the other hand, had directly elevated to the peak of the second rank. However, along with the rise of the awakened one's rank, the amount of spirit crystals needed later on would only become more and more massive. Little Jia, what should we do next? Xiao Wanru glanced at the surroundings, which were full of bloodstains, and held Chen Jie's arm as she asked. This kind of horrifying and bizarre situation was also the first time he had encountered it. There was simply no next step in his mind. We've already awakened. What we need to do next is to continue to ascend. In the middle of the end times, awakened people with abilities are also food for the monster's eyes. In the future, as the end of the world proceeds, the monsters will continue to evolve as they continue to prey on humans and their kind. And the monsters we encounter will only get stronger. In order to survive, we must continuously upgrade. Chen Jie's eyes flashed with a brilliant light. The middle of the end times was full of cruelty. The weak and the strong. In order to survive, they had to work hard to improve themselves. Otherwise, the only way to end up was to hide in the sewers for the rest of their lives, eventually falling into the mouth of monsters as food. Listening to Chen Jie's words, Xiao Wanru also pondered how to improve. She did not quite understand. She only wanted to properly guard by Chen Jie's side everything that threatened Chen Jie's existence. She must eradicate, kill them all. Roar, roar, roar. The smell of Zhao Xiaolu's blood after her death attracted the attention of the monsters inside the school. The blood and flesh of a much higher ranked monster like her was an unrivaled tonic for other monsters as well. So after asking about the bloody odor, they all drew closer to the classroom where Chen Jie was. Prepare for a large number of monsters to come again. Let's go first. Chen Jie pulled up Xiao Wanru's hand and prepared to leave. Chen Jie, take me with you. Take me with you. My father is a director of the Guangyao group. As long as you protect me, this young master guarantees that you can enjoy endless glory and wealth. You can have as much money as you want. Huang Tian, the rich second generation in the class, stood out at this time. The school that Qin Jie was in was considered an institution of higher learning and things like rich second generation did exist. Huang Tian's family assets were indeed quite a lot, and he usually came to school in his family's Ferrari. However, the eyes of the young masters of rich families were always still money. In their eyes, money can do nothing. Funny, this is the end of the world. Money, do you think it's still useful? Chen Jie snorted. This Huang Tian was really naive. Seeing this attitude of Chen Jie, the brash and accustomed Huang Tian could not swallow his anger. Chen Jie, you poor bastard. Mom and dad left early, working casual jobs to go to school. You, before Huang Tian finished his sentence, Chen Jie's face was cold, frightened. Huang Tian put his voice back, instantly awake, right now. If Chen Jie was willing, Chen Jie could completely wipe him out in an instant. Wanting to die so badly, I'll give you a ride first. Chen Jie reached out and grabbed Huang Tian's head with a vicious face and gently twisted it. In the next second, Huang Tian's head was turned in a circle. With his eyes protruding and his tongue spitting out, he was completely lifeless. The students next to him, seeing this scene, backed away in fear. Looking at Chen Jie in horror, the current Chen Jie wanting to kill them was as simple as pinching an ant. After taking care of Huang Tian, Chen Jie took Xiao Wanru with him and walked out of the classroom door. They're gone? What should we do? No, we have to live. Let's follow Chen Jie so we can still live. Right. In this situation we can only beg brother Chen to take us, otherwise we can really only be eaten by the monsters as well. After a brief discussion, the students took a few table legs, brooms and such from the classroom and followed behind Chen Jie, noticing the classmates who followed. Chen Jie did not make a move to blast them away. One is, after all, is also old classmates, with then let them follow, do not annoy him on the line. Secondly, so many people, surely can attract a lot of monsters, lured to the monster. Chen Jie just used these students to kill monsters to upgrade. After resolving the few monsters in the classroom hallway, Chen Jie came to the school's convenience store. The food that could be consumed inside was loaded into the backpack. The other students, too, knew how to collect supplies. However, they only dared to collect what Chen Jie did not want. After sweeping through the entire convenience store and loading two large bags, Chen Jie was willing to leave. Lin Shiyu, the former sports committee member, at this time, fawned and ran to Chen Jie. Brother Chen, I'm physically strong, let me help you carry your things, you and sister-in-law, just walk, Lin Shiyu nodded his head, his face full of thirst, seeing him in this state, it was heavy to carry something anyway, so he gave it to him, however, 
As long as he dared to be half rebellious, Chen Jia would wipe him out immediately. Third class people, put down the supplies. Just after leaving the convenience store, Chen Jia was surrounded by a group of people. Chen Jia looked squarely at them. The person coming was none other than the class leader of class 6, Zhao Hu. This Zhao Hu, was used to being arrogant in the past. He could be considered a notorious bully in school, often bullying younger students. He was criticized by the school many times. Now that the end times had come, it had gotten worse. If you guys are smart, don't obediently put down your things. Our boss is a person who has awakened his psychic abilities. Monsters are not his opponent. The little brother next to Zhao Hu pointed to Lin Shiyu next to Chen Jie. Just a short while ago, Zhao Hu had successfully awakened his talent. He helped quite a few people in class 6 to get out of the trap. And at the same time, he collected the surviving classmates of class 6 as his little brother. Big brother Chen. This, Lin Shiyu was carrying two large bags of food and turned his head to look at Chen Jie. Without Chen Jie's instructions, he didn't dare to send the supplies just like that. You people of class 6, you are really arrogant and accustomed to it. Why should I give this stuff to you when I collected it myself? Chen Jia frowned. He was most displeased with people like Zhao Hu who bullied the small by the big. Toast to the world. Zhao Hu's face turned furious and he clenched his fists. Immediately behind him, two huge wings appeared, with a white spot showing on them. It seemed that this Zhao Hu should have swallowed a seven-star ladybird before the end of the world descended. That's what caused this change. The wings behind Zhao Hu shook violently, and his entire body rushed towards Chen Jie like a meteorite. His powers of observation were still fine. In a flash, he recognized that Chen Jie was the leader of their team. Seek death. Chen Jie's hand flicked and the heaven opening axe instantly appeared in his hand. A majestic arcane aura surrounded the heaven opening axe. I am an existence that has reached the second stage. Let me show you my strength. Zhao Hu bellowed out in triumph. At the same time, the muscles on his body began to squirm and slowly curled up looking even more full of power. Chen Jie's eyes were fixed on Zhao Hu, not panicking in the slightest. The heaven opening axe in his hand was tightly gripped. A cold light flashed through, straight to Zhao Hu's face. Boom! The heaven opening axe chopped on top of Zhao Hu's iron hand, and the sturdy claw made a shrill sound. Because he couldn't withstand the force, Zhao Hu fell back, strongly pretending to be calm. He stood straight. Boss go for it. Knock this Chen Jie down. Zhao Hu's minions shouted loudly, but they didn't know how much pressure Zhao Hu was under. Just now was the first exchange of blows. Zhao Hu felt like his iron fist had struck a huge mountain. It couldn't be shaken. What a strong force this had to be. Zhao Hu was knocked back by Qin Jie's heaven opening axe. His hands were shaking a little and his expression was heavy. It was already too late for him to admit defeat now. If he wanted to. If. Right now. He conceded defeat. He wouldn't have to mix in the future. Kid. Somewhat capable. Come again. Zhao Hu's face stared. And he shouted. It looked like he was full of vigor. But in reality, he was bracing himself. The black iron like double fists came at Chen Jia once again. You dare to harm Xia Jia. Before Chen Jia could make a move, Xiao Wanru killed out from the side. Her body was covered in scale armor, and the long sword in her hand. Thunder flashed. The long sword pointed straight at Zhao Hu. Zhao Hu felt the majestic energy coming down and was so scared that he was covered in cold sweat and was only able to put his hand to the depths to barely fend it off. Dang. Xiao Wanru's long sword nudged Zhao Hu's steel hand making a sharp sound. This time, the attack was very harsh and came with thunder. It directly burned Zhao Hu's hands red. You guys, husband and wife mixed doubles. It's really shameless. Zhao Hu's little brother fought back. But just by Xiao Wanru's glare, the little brother could only hide behind Zhao Hu. Wanru, you step back and rest first. Leave it to me. Chen Jie stood in front of Xiao Wanru. It just so happened that he wanted to test out his talent. After upgrading to the peak of the second rank, just how powerful it was. Little Jia, Xiao Wanru shouted out worriedly. Seeing Chen Jie standing so firmly in front, she no longer said anything more. She was willing to guard Chen Jie, but she would definitely not intervene in whatever Chen Jie wanted to do. Since Chen Jie wanted to face it alone, she would stand behind her and observe well. Don't think that you guys have already won. When I kill you, I'll deal with the chick behind you properly. Even after being repelled twice, Zhao Hu was still full of confidence. The soft wings behind him shook violently and the hard wings twisted strangely in front of his body, forming a protection. Zhao Hu raised his speed to the extreme and crashed towards Chen Jie with a roar. There was the enhancement of the seven-star ladybug's talent. The hardness of his body was already like diamond. Zhao Hu did not believe that with Chen Jie's current broken axe, he would be able to cleave through his defense. As long as Chen Jie did not have the means to break through his defense, he would be able to find an opportunity to blast Zhao Jie to death. What a turtle box! Chen Jie shouted violently and raised the heaven-opening axe in his hand. Heaven opening, 
With the increase in rank, after the heaven opening axe used, heaven opening, it was as if there was a cloud of energy added to its body. Surprisingly, an illusory film of energy appeared. Boom boom boom. The heaven opening axe slashed at Zhao Hu's body impartially. An intense wave of energy continued to spread out to the surroundings. It rolled up a gust of wind and waves, and those without talent present were directly shaken to the point of dizziness. A moment later, ka -ching, a crisp sound rang out in the air. In just an instant, the hardened wings on Zhao Hu's body shattered into pieces and scattered in the air. Zhao Hu's defense broke. He was a specialized defensive talent, but he couldn't even carry Zhao Jie's chop. After the only means he relied on was gone, Zhao Hu's body became extremely vulnerable. The heaven opening axe slashed down vertically and managed to dislodge one of Zhao Hu's arms. Blood spilled over the entire flat area. Boss lost? Boss is a second order awakened. How could he be defeated by Qin Jie in a single move? What about this? Do we have any natural abilities? In this end of the world, without the boss, we are also dead. Boss cheer up, stand up again and fight again. Zhao Hu's minions were behind him. Some were continuing to support him, while others were ready to give in to Chen Jie. Chen Jie, I, I've lost. You're a big man. You let me off the hook. Zhao Hu painfully covered his wounds and begged for mercy from Chen Jie. As long as he could live, he was willing to give up all his dignity. HM, where is your arrogance just now? I still like your untamed appearance. Chen Jie held the heaven opening axe and approached Zhao Hu step by step, letting Zhao Hu go. This was impossible. Having relived two lives, his heart had long been as cold and hard as stone, leaving behind enemies for himself in the middle of the end times. This was not a good habit. As Chen Jia approached step by step, the look on Zhao Hu's face was terrified to the extreme. No, Chen Jie, you dare to kill me? Do you know who my brother is? He is the Green Dragon Gang. Zhao Hu hissed. Unfortunately, Chen Jie's heaven opening axe, which had no ears to hear, gently swept and chopped Zhao Hu's head off. Zhao Hu's head fell to the ground. Those juniors who had followed Zhao Hu before were all dumbfounded, looking at the scene before them with disbelief. The boss they relied on had been killed by someone else with a single slash. However, they were only students, and they weren't as loyal to Zhao Hu as they thought. In this cannibalistic post-apocalyptic world, following whoever they were, was not mixing, so the squad of five or six people in total, immediately knelt down towards Chen Jia, Boss Chen, we were compelled by Zhao Hu before. But now this guy can be considered dead. Now that we're hanging out with you, just take us in. Yes, Boss Chen's axe swing is so powerful that it really makes my blood boil. In the future, I'll only look up to you. You guys can only see Boss Chen's power now? I give again just now to see out. Chen Boss, I am sincerely want to follow you. Give the little one a chance. These students, in order to stay alive, used all the shrewdness they usually learned. Chen Jie did not say anything more. It just nodded. These people, he did not care whether they followed him or not, as long as they were willing to follow, let them follow, it was best to be able to recruit more monsters for him, if, when the later stages were stabilized, it wasn't impossible to use them to form his own forces, good, thank you, boss Chen, a resourceful one saw Chen Jie's reaction and thanked him repeatedly before running behind his original class 3 classmates in a dusty manner, the rest followed suit, just like this, Chen Jie gained another 5 or 6 minions, after killing Zhao Hu, Chen Jie went up to pick at his corpse. Sure enough, such an awakened person who possessed spirit crystals on his body was merely of low quality. Fly meat is still meat even if it is small. Chen Jie picked up the spirit crystal and absorbed it into his body with a thought. Unfortunately, the energy that could be provided was minimal. Even more, it was only able to make his peak second rank realm fluctuate slightly. It seemed like it was still necessary to continue working hard. You newcomers, You'll be given three minutes to pack up the supplies from the convenience store. Next, target to the city hospital. Chen Jie pointed at the convenience store behind him and said in a cold voice, City hospital. If Chen Jie remembered correctly, there would be a pre-boss there. If one wanted to quickly increase their strength, they still had to constantly challenge stronger monsters. As for, the group, bring them around so that they could attract monsters on the way. Fighting monsters along the way, while traveling to kill the boss on the way. For the previous bosses, the awakened talent had to need to be roughly around the third stage of strength even if it was high. Otherwise, they were not good to kill. Thank you Boss Chen. The new few students, with a word of thanks, quickly rushed into the convenience store. Like hungry wolves, they began to purchase zero dollars. Three minutes later, Chen Jie led this small group of people on the road to the city hospital. At this time in the sky, there was only a red blood moon hanging in the sky. However, the light was still enough for the humans to see the scenery outside. On the highway, it had long been chaotic, with all sorts of broken vehicles jammed on the road. Occasionally, 
A few monsters could be seen running after the humans, however, at a glance, they were all ordinary monsters, and Chen Jie did not make a move. The end of the world, meddling in other people's business, has never been a good habit. The two towering buildings of the roadside building, flashed with broadcasts, emergency news, due to the appearance of inexplicable magnetic storms, quite a few humans and animals have undergone monstrous mutations. These mutated humans and animals rarely possess sanity. Experts suggest that at this stage, it's best for everyone to hide in their homes and not come out and walk around at will. It didn't take long for the appearance of the deformed monsters to have alarmed the top brass of the Dragon Kingdom. Immediate responses were made to conduct research on the deformed monsters and alert the public. Unfortunately, Chen Jia knew that by the time a method to inhibit the monstrous monsters was arrived at, the human race was dead. However, it was not Chen Jia's turn to worry about these. By the time the late end of the apocalypse was over, it would only become more and more difficult to survive. Only, the humans who continued to ascend to the extreme would have the qualifications to survive. Even, they would be able to utilize this monstrous mutation to obtain the legendary immortality. Chen Jia led the squad through the streets, heading towards the city hospital. Save me, save me. Just after walking for a while, Chen Jia heard a shout, turning his head to look. A small car with thick smoke was pressing down on a young man wearing glasses. The man's face was hideous and extremely terrifying, and after seeing Chen Jia's crowd, he tried his best to shout for help. Chen Jia crowd looked at each other. One did not dare to move. In the past, the enthusiastic ones among them would have already extended a helping hand, but now it was the end of the world. Enthusiasm could not save them. Only by listening to Chen Jie's words would they have a chance of survival. However, Chen Jie just indifferently watched the man act. HM, you people, aren't you students? How come you're so indifferent? The man, who was originally struggling in pain, changed his color and hissed at Chen Jie and the others. Immediately after, the body began to mutate only to see that the originally gentle eyes began to become vicious until they were red. The normal hands also began to grow oozing greenish scales, and sharp claws slowly grew from the fingers. The head eventually turned into a terrifying lizard head. This was a lizard monster that had mutated in the direction of a lizard. Judging only from the breath above, Chen Jie felt that it could be much stronger than the previous Xiao Xiaolu. So many students, ha ha ha, but I can finally get my fill. The lizard monster greedily looked at Chen Jie's crowd and let out an oozing laugh. It was as if in the next second, he would be able to devour everyone present one by one. Brother Chen, why is he mutating only now? Shouldn't he have mutated long ago? Why was he still in his normal human state just now? Lin Shiyu, who was carrying his luggage, asked curiously. After following Chen Jie, he was much more calm about this kind of scene than the others. This should be the lizard monster's own talent. Chen Jie replied indifferently. He guessed that this lizard monster should be able to mimic humans to change into the appearance it wanted to become. This talent was fine if used to engage in sneak attacks, however, in a frontal battle, it would not be able to take half the advantage. Seeing Chen Jia and the others still discussing their talent without panic, the lizard monster seemed to be stimulated. This group of people were not afraid of him at all. He felt that he, a peak second stage monster, had been insulted. Be a good boy and become my dish. The lizard monster's face was fierce as he swept his right hand, sending the vehicle next to him flying. Afterwards, the sharp claws clawed at the ground and approached Chen Jie and the others at an extremely fast speed. He first picked out the fine-skinned Xiao Wanru. Such a beauty had the most superior flavor. Monster, get away! Xiao Wanru shouted angrily as she sensed the lizard monster rushing her. Then on her head, a pair of dragon horns reappeared, flashing with silver-colored arcs of electricity. Beside her, a small green and smoky scaly dragon rushed out, circling and crisscrossing, with greenish-white electric arcs flashing one after another. Xiao Wanru summoned the mimic battle spirit. What a ruthless chick. Deep in my heart, I'll enjoy you slowly in a while. The lizard monster said with a smirk. After saying that, his dark green tail swept across in Xiao Wanru's direction. The lizard tail carried a huge amount of might, and during the attack, a burst of air-breaking sound was emitted. Scare had not yet waited for the lizard monster's attack to touch Xiao Wanru. With a flash of thunder, Xiao Wanru disappeared into thin air. Boom! The huge lizard tail smashed on top of the jeep on the side. Immediately, the jeep was in pieces, even though, Xiao Wanru had only just awakened her psychic abilities. After the fight at school, she was now reacting very quickly. Ugly monster, go to hell. Xiao Wanru raised her long sword to the sky and shouted delicately, Xiao Yu, pester him. As soon as the words fell, the anthropomorphic battle spirit, which Xiao Wanru called Little Moon, shivered all over, turning into a thunderbolt. It wrapped the lizard monster to death in a flash. What a despicable woman. Let go of me. 
the lizard monster grimaced and kept struggling with its body. However, it had already reached the second rank and belonged to the A-plus ranked mimic battle spirit. It was not something that a small lizard monster could easily break free from. By Xiao Shen Lei, Xiao Wanru unleashed her natural skill. Densely packed falling thunderbolts descended from the sky, connecting to the top of the sword's blade. Immediately afterward, Xiao Wanru flipped her wrist, and the longsword carried the terrifying heavenly thunder as it stabbed towards the lizard monster. Heavenly, heavenly thunder. The lizard monster stared fearfully at the impending thunder in front of him. He was crouching in this place, and in this small period of time, he had also encountered awakened ones, but all of them were easily resolved and devoured by him. But he hadn't encountered one as perverted as Xiao Wanru, who was able to invoke heavenly thunder. When Xiao Wanru saw the lizard monster's terrified expression from the sky, the corner of her mouth couldn't help but curl up into a smile. This was thanks to brother Chen Jie, who had given her bamboo leaf green to eat before the end of the world came. Otherwise, she was now a little sheep to be slaughtered. Boom! The long sword heavily pointed at the lizard monster. Intense white light emanated from between the long sword and the lizard monster. A moment later, the white light dissipated. Xiao Wanru's jade fingers gripped the long sword tightly as she stared right in front of her. This lizard monster didn't die. Ho ho ho! The lizard monster bent over, panting heavily. After eating this blow from Xiao Wanru, a trace of blood seeped out from the scales on its body. For a moment, he felt like his scales and armor were going to be stripped off alive. Fortunately, he possessed the awakened talent, Red Inferno Lizard Armor. Red Inferno Lizard Armor, able to drastically increase the defensive power of the scale armor in a short period of time, together with the lizard monster. Relying on eating people in this position, it had reached the peak of the second rank, which was so good to kill. Damn it, how dare you hurt me. Before I mutated, I was oppressed by my boss every day, and now that I've become an inhuman, ghostly monster, I still have to be oppressed? I'm not willing to, die, you guys die for me. The lizard monster fell into a frenzy its facial muscles becoming extremely hideous. A deep black aura of resentment lingered beside his body. The muscles of his body, due to this mania, also began to collide and grow larger as well. In just a few seconds, the lizard monster was a circle larger than before. The blood-red eyes, looking at Xiao Wanru, were full of resentment. This lizard monster is crazy. Is sister-in-law Xia still his opponent? Can't you see? Our sister-in-law Xia is an existence that can use heavenly thunder, blasting away at this little lizard. That's not simple. Go sister-in-law. Knock this ugly monster down. The crowd of juniors were full of confidence in Xiao Wanru. Only Chen Jie could see that after the previous blow. Xiao Wanru did not have much strength left. She was still too inexperienced in fighting. At once, she used her strongest killing move. Originally thinking that it would be a sure kill. It didn't occur to her that the other party's realm was even higher than hers. At the same time, she possessed a defensive talent. And this strike not only failed to kill the other party but also put herself in a passive situation. Little girl, you're already exhausted with this look, right? Now it's my turn. The lizard monster licked its sharp claws cruelly. The lizard monster possessed a perverted recovery ability. After only a brief respite, half of its stamina was restored. Again, Xiao Wanru did not show weakness. Reactivating her supernatural ability, turning clouds over, was unleashed. A white cloud arose from the soles of her feet lifting her straight up and rushing towards the lizard monster at an extremely fast speed. This time, the attack was obviously much weaker than the previous one. Humph, do you think that you are still my opponent now? I'm a peak second stage. The lizard monster snorted coldly. Both claws lunged out at the same time. The speed was extremely fast, and in just an instant, it flashed in front of Xiao Wanru, seeing that the sharp claws were about to grab her. Xiao Wanru could only cross her sword to block. Dang, a sharp collision sound rang out. Xiao Wanru was knocked back hard, sliding on the ground with her feet on the ground for a good distance. Only then did she barely stop. This lizard monster's recovery ability as well as strength was too perverse. Die! Seeing Xiao Wanru's inability to resist, the lizard monster shouted and excitedly rushed towards Xiao Wanru. It's not your turn to be arrogant. Chen Jie's majestic voice rang out. The heaven-opening axe flew out at the same time, directly chopping at the lizard monster's path of advance. Originally, he had been watching the battle preparing to give Xiao Wanru a chance to fight in a real battle. Now that Xiao Wanru had fallen into a disadvantage, he had to step in. Brat, you also dare to stop me. Be careful of my claw. I will tear you into pieces. The lizard monster roared angrily. He saw that Chen Jie did not have two strong energy fluctuations appearing on his body. He directly treated Chen Jie as an ordinary awakened. Oh, Chen Jie responded softly. Afterwards, a Xian Huangqi rose up and surrounded Chen Jie's body. The aura was also climbing. 
The lizard monster sensed that Chen Jie's aura was similar to his. It could not help but be alarmed. Are you also a peak second stage? Chen Jie did not answer his question. Carrying the heaven opening axe, his figure approached the lizard monster extremely quickly. Heaven opening. Without saying a word, an axe slashed down on his head. Strong and powerful energy fluctuations suppressed the lizard monster from moving. You can't kill me. The lizard monster roared. At the same time, it once again activated its talent, Red Inferno Lizard Armor. Unfortunately, Chen Jie's talent was an S-rank talent. Moreover, his rank had also reached the peak of the second rank. The power of this axe could be much stronger than Xiao Wanru's Thunderstrike. The axe fell rapidly. With every inch of fall, the lizard monster felt a strong threat of death. Until, the heaven opening axe truly touched his body. He immediately felt like every cell on his body was going to be crushed by the might of this heaven opening axe. The scale armor on his body blazed with golden light. He tried his best to resist, but it was only resisted for a short while. Poof! The sharp heaven opening axe instantly cut through the lizard monster's body. No! The lizard monster screamed miserably. It was instantly split in two by Qin Jie. Immediately after, a purple light ball popped out from the lizard monster's corpse. This kind of chi cluster Qin Jie recognized. It was a treasure to enhance the mimic battle spirit. Hong Meng clear and turbid chi come out. Chen Jie flicked his finger towards the purple air mass in front of him, and a Xian Huang Qi shot out from him. This energy was extremely overbearing, and as soon as it appeared, everyone around him was blinded by its light. After the Hong Meng clear and turbid Qi saw the purple Qi mass, it excitedly rushed over. With a whoosh, it curled around the purple air mass. In no time, the air mass disappeared without a trace and was completely devoured by the Hong Meng clear turbid Qi. After the devouring was complete, the aura of the Hong Meng Clear Turbid Qi was a few points stronger. Part of the energy was fed back to Qin Jie from its body. And what was even stranger was that Qin Jie felt that there was one more thing on his body. He shook his hand and moved his mind. Suddenly, a small layer of scales grew on his body and a yellowish glow emanated from it. This is the lizard monster's defense talent? Qin Jie was secretly surprised. This Hong Meng Clear and Turbid Qi was not only able to feed back energy, but even the other party's talent was also fed back to Qin Jie. After obtaining a new talent, Chen Jie was overjoyed in his heart. Everyone was generally only able to have, at the time of awakening, a talent, and his mimic battle spirit was able to obtain a new talent for him. Wouldn't that be an additional means when fighting in the future? Boss, it's too powerful. Just one axe this ugly monster solved. Boss is mighty. He's not trying to eat us? Boss, can you leave us the carcass of this lizard monster? I can get a lizard barbecue going. As soon as these students found an opportunity, they started praising Chen Jie. The current situation was something they understood very well. There were man-eating monsters everywhere, and at the same time the slightest bit of carelessness would result in them being directly pinched to death by the other awakened. Their only hope of surviving was Chen Jie. As long as Chen Jie was willing to lead them for a day, they would be able to live in this end world for one more day. This lizard monster's body. You guys can eat it if you want. Chen Jie waved his hand. In fact, Humans would be able to gain some benefits from eating the bodies of some monsters in the midst of the end times. The physique would all be a bit stronger than the average person. However, Chen Jie was resistant to these monsters. There was no intention to consume them. Thank you big brother. Lin Shiyu took the lead and didn't know where he had fished out a small knife from that location. With a flourish, he ran to the lizard monster. It began to divide the lizard monster's carcass. Even when faced with a vicious looking lizard monster, he did not show too much fear. In order to survive in this post-apocalyptic world, they had to be brave. After spending a few minutes, Chen Jie finished dissecting the lizard monster. The different meats were categorized. At this time, the sky was also getting late. The light around them began to dim. Let's rest at the nearby hotel. Chen Jie casually found a hotel. Simply removing some of the ordinary monsters inside had been able to check in. He stayed on the second floor. The other students, for the sake of their personal safety, would rather lie outside the corridor on the second floor. They also refused to run to the other floors. Just after staying inside the room, Chen Jie heard a sound of hot weapons coming from outside the window, lifting the curtains up. Looking from afar, an armed squad, which was holding a machine gun, kept sweeping the monsters rushing towards them. The armed squad, while shooting, was retreating towards this hotel of his. Boss, these monsters are just too many. It's impossible to fight them all. I might not even have much ammo left. We must find cover. We need to recuperate. If we continue like this, we will only be exhausted alive by these monsters. Retreat backward. Keep fighting. Don't stop. There's an inn in the back. We can use this place as a base. Hold on to this place and find a chance to break out again. These people, roaring amidst the artillery fire, 
simultaneously retreated towards the hotel where Chen Jia was. Chen Jia was in his room, looking at these people with a frown on his face. These people were drawing these monstrous monsters in his direction. It would bring him no small amount of trouble. The pugnacious man at the head of the other party pulled out two grenades and used his mouth to bite the safety off. With a violent wave of his hand, he threw the grenades inside the group of monsters. Boom! The grenades let out a loud roar. It was also because of this roar that the monsters that were originally attacking frantically froze for a moment. Utilizing this short period of time, the eight people in this squad pushed open the door of the inn and rushed in. Several people utilized the two windows of the inn and set up machine guns, continuing to strafe the monster swarm. Many students, out of curiosity, poked their heads out from their positions on the second floor to watch. There are still people here. A scarab from the squad with the gun immediately spotted Chun Jie's classmates being shouted at in such a manner. A few of the classmates quickly shrunk back. However, they had already been discovered. Old Buster, go up and take a look. The man at the head of the group slapped at a short, fat man next to him, and he continued to block the monster. The short and fat man called Old Buster, receiving the instruction, lifted the submachine gun in his hand, rushed to the second floor. He had just reached the second floor and immediately spotted the students hugging around Chen Jie's room. Seeing that there were a few female students with little poise inside, he was instantly horny. He he he, there are still so many student girls here. This is going to be fun for a few of our brothers. The short fat man licked his lips, raised his gun and aimed at these few students. These few students, who had never seen a real gun, were instantly terrified, one after another. They shrank towards the door of Chen Jie's room. Eh, all gathered around one location? Could it be that there's something good inside? The short fat man curiously looked at the door of Chen Jie's room. All these students, they were all surrounding this room. He guessed that there might be even more delicious and stunning colors inside. Get out of the way. Short Fatty raised his gun and blasted away a few students. Boom boom boom. He kicked the door hard a few times with his foot. Seeing no response. Using the gun where the door handle was, he fired two shots. Then pushed hard. Forcing the door of the room open. Just as soon as he opened the door. He saw Chen Jie standing in front of him with Xiao Wanru in his arms. Xiao Wanru's skin was white and beautiful. The short fat man was instantly attracted to Xiao Wanru so fiercely that he couldn't move his eyes from his body. There are still such beauties here. Ha ha ha. I've earned a lot. Hey. Get out of my way. The short fat man was full of excitement as he raised his gun and aimed it at Chen Jie. In his eyes, Chen Jie was just an unarmed student. A casual intimidation would probably scare the piss out of him. Pointing a gun at me? I hate people pointing guns at me in my life. Chen Jie glared angrily at the short fat man. In the previous generation. He was pointed at with a gun and was forced to do quite a few things. This approach of short fatty made them very uncomfortable. The killing heart had risen. So what if I point at you? I taught you to let go of that chick. Are you deaf? Now she's mine. The short fat man had a mocking face. He had a gun. He was the king. I don't want to see him again. Chen Jie spoke softly beside Xiao Wanru. Then he released the hand that was originally holding Xiao Wanru. Seeing Chen Jie release Xiao Wanru, the short fat man burst with excitement. Ha ha. Count on your kid to be sensible, little beauty. Follow me, brother will bring you to live in this post-apocalyptic world. Xiao Wanru's face was like ice. Didn't even listen to what this short fat man said. The scales on her body emerged once again, and a streak of thunder floated out from above her body. Afterward, it turned into a thunderbolt and rushed out. The task Xin Jia had given him was to kill this man in front of him. She did not hesitate a bit. What Xin Jia said to do, was done immediately. Thunder flashed by. Before the short and fat man could react, he felt a coldness in his throat area. Plop, the short and fat man's head fell to the ground. However, Xiao Wanru did not stop there. Using two thunderbolts, she held the short and fat man's head up. Immediately afterward, she walked up to the second floor. The seven people of the squad who were originally fending off the monsters first saw Xiao Wanru and were stunned by her appearance. But next, they saw the short fat man's head. Immediately, they were furious. Old eight, you killed our old eight? The squad leader, roared angrily. Both eyes were almost able to spit out fire. Even though, looking at Xiao Wanru the gun was similarly aimed at Xiao Wanru. This ugly guy, upset my family's little jia. Damn it, Xiao Wanru said icily. Then, with a wave of her big hand, she threw the short and fat man's head in front of the squad leader. Looking at his old brother's head, the squad leader was so angry that he was trembling. Without hesitation, he pulled the trigger. Bang bang bang. A line of fire rushed towards Xiao Wanru's direction. Unfortunately, these ordinary hot weapons were all too weak in Xiao Wanru's eyes. The speed of the bullets was slowed down dozens of times in her eyesight. With just a gentle twist of her body, 
she easily dodged these bullets one by one. Damn, she awakened the monster. Big brother let's retreat. The thin man on the side reminded. Unfortunately, this big brother was on fire. Where to listen to it? The gun in his hand was still spraying. You can die. Xiao Wanru's voice was light and resounded on the first floor of the inn. It was as if it was declaring a death sentence for this squad leader. Wah! The green scale longsword in his hand flashed. In a second, a thunderbolt appeared on the squad leader. Ah! The squad leader screamed miserably. Immediately, he fell to the ground. Lying on the ground and twitching a bit, he was lifeless in no time. Next, it was his juniors, one after another Xiao Wanru harvesting lives. The original Xiao Wanru was not this ferocious. Being taught orally by Qin Jie for a day like this, she quickly got the hang of it. In the midst of the post-apocalyptic world, to be merciful to one's enemy was to be the greatest cruelty to oneself. Bitch, you have to die for me, killing the last minion. Suddenly, a deep blue light emerged from his body. Out of thin air, a piece of armor appeared, pieced together on his body. I've awakened. It's still super martial armor. I, Gao Ming, have my day. After fusing the armor, Gao Ming's face showed joy. Xiao Wanru's face was composed, staring closely at Gao Ming. The current Gao Ming was covered in dark blue armor. The aura was more than ten times stronger than before. Bitch, killing so many of my brothers. Now I'm going to avenge them. Gao Ming had a cruel look on his face. You just awakened and you're thinking about revenge? Chen Jie's voice came down from the stairway. He then took one step and walked downwards. That sense of oppression was far greater than Xiao Wanru. Even with every step closer, Gao Ming felt that the armor on his body was trembling. It was completely bloodline suppression. This was the special physique on Chen Jie, chaotic Xian Huang body. As the bloodline of the creation god Pangu was able to suppress the vast majority of living beings from the bloodline. So what if there are two of you? I'll kill as usual. Gao Ming shook his body and recovered. With a stretch of his hand, a lightsaber immediately appeared in front of him. This was the special characteristic of their awakened armor, using not a mimetic weapon. Instead, they summoned lightsabers out of thin air. What a big mouth. Just awakened and you're so arrogant? Chen Jie looked at this new awakened in front of him with a disdainful expression. He really didn't know where the other party got the courage. He had just awakened and dared to go against him. Perhaps it was because he had just awakened that he thought he was invincible. A sudden increase in strength did make it easy for such an illusion to occur. Wait to be split in half by me. Gao Ming roared, lifting the lightsaber in his hand and slashing towards Chen Jie's head. There were no other superfluous defensive moves at all. Don't know how to die. Chen Jie's tone was icy cold, not even bothering to summon out his heaven opening axe, simply flicking a finger at Gao Ming's location. Two Hong Meng auras rushed out of the sky. In just a split second, the two channels of Hong Meng gases wrapped Gao Ming to death. What is this thing? Let go of me. Gao Ming was entangled by the Hong Meng gases, and in his heart, he was unwilling to slash with the lightsaber in his hand. However, several consecutive slashes came down to no avail. Immediately afterward, Chen Jie made a grip out of thin air. Ka Ching, the armor on Gao Ming's body instantly cracked. He, who was still very confident, immediately felt his heart sink to the bottom. The man in front of him, he was not an opponent at all. Even the ability to fight back was not there. Before he could continue to think about it, the breath around his waist grew stronger and stronger, binding him even tighter. Ah 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 ah. Gao Ming let out a miserable scream. Not long after, his body completely disintegrated, and blood continued to gush out from his body. Boom. Only after Gao Ming was completely breathless did Qin Jie put him down. The armored talent awakened in Gao Ming's body was like a joke. Some of the bold students stood at the entrance of the stairs and watched the scene. One by one, they watched in cold sweat. Chen Jie was even more cruel than they had imagined. Go back. If you guys cause me any more trouble, you'll end up similar to him. Chen Jie smiled faintly. However, this smile looked very terrifying in the eyes of the students. They could only nod their heads frequently, settling this squad. They just wanted to return upstairs to rest. Roar roar roar. Suddenly, a terrifying roar resounded outside the inn. Chen Jie turned his head to look. And a snake-bodied, chicken-headed mutant monster the size of a truck walked out from the darkness. In the middle of this monster's chicken beak, a split snake head kept spitting out, its eyes staring intently at Chen Jie. The fight here just now had attracted it over. What he did not expect was that there was a delicacy like Chen Jie here. In the early stages, a second order awakened was the best ration for a high-level monstrous monster like him. Here comes trouble again. Chen Jie frowned, and suddenly, the heaven-opening axe appeared in his hand. With a fierce foot on the floor, his body disappeared into thin air. In the next second, it appeared beside the chicken head monster. This chicken head monster had already reached the early third stage. In the pre-apocalyptic period, 
it was considered a top combatant. He now saw Chin Jie as if he had seen food in his belly. Originally, he was still complacent, but after sensing Chen Jie's speed, it completely panicked. The chicken head, which was full of tumors, looked around for Chen Jie's location. Before he could lock onto Chen Jie, Chen Jie had already appeared in front of him. Open heaven. Chen Jie did not say a word. The heaven opening talent was immediately unleashed, and the powerful axe head slashed straight down towards the chicken head. Roar. The chicken head monster's reaction was considered swift. Immediately, it twisted its head to fend off with his hardened mouthpiece. However, it couldn't even do anything to resist, as Chen Jie's heaven opening axe was like splitting bamboo. In an instant, it split his chicken beak in half. After absorbing the lizard monster's energy, he had received a great boost. The current him, if he wanted to break through to a third stage awakened, he could do so at any time. The chicken's head was split open. Blood spurted out. In a short while, this chicken head monster collapsed and died. Wanru, this chicken head monster, you absorb it with the mimic battle spirit. Its attributes are not bad. Chen Jie put away the heaven opening axe and spoke gently. Aha! Xia Wanru nodded her head obediently. The ferocious appearance from earlier was completely gone, and she was completely a little girl next door. She obediently summoned the mimic battle spirit out. Finally, the BUS spirit Zhao, which could come out, was full of excitement and rubbed against Xiao Wanru. The BUS spirit Zhao joyfully swam around in the air. It wasn't until he saw the body of the chicken head monster that he realized that he was called out to come out for dinner. Gratefully glancing at Xiao Wanru, he could not wait to pounce on the chicken head monster. Its appearance of feasting was very cute. The students standing at the stairway all cried with gluttony. Today, after eating some of the lizard monster's meat, they all felt the boost that the meat from these monsters gave them. They were also very eager to eat more monster meat. Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, I also want to be the boss's pet, so I can have monster meat to eat every day. You're thinking about fart eating, being the boss's pet? That's not your turn either. Look at you. You're big and thick. Do you deserve it? It has to be a, like me too. Bah, you two men. Shameless. Inside the conference room of a one-story high building. Boom. A middle-aged man in a suit slapped the desktop ferociously. Who is it? Killed my precious son. This man was Huang Tian's father. It was also Huang Yan, the chairman of the Yao Tian group. Facing Huang Yan's questioning, none of the people underneath dared to answer. By the time they arrived at the school, they had already discovered that Huang Tian's head and body were separated, and his death was extremely brutal. The conference room was silent for a while. Only eventually did an old man with gray hair dare to come out and speak. Director, based on the wounds on Xiao Tian's body, the one who killed Xiao Tian shouldn't be a monster. It should be an awakened. Nonsense. Old me knows. Huang Yan said impatiently. He had seen the wounds on Huang Tian's body with his own eyes, and there were no monster bite marks on them at all. It was completely the damage caused by the instrument. It was obvious that his son had been deliberately murdered. Well, I'm just afraid that the person who killed the young master is an awakened. I just learned from my men's investigation that it seems that it was indeed an awakened who killed the young master. Moreover, it seems to be one named Chen Jie, now the awakened. We can't afford to offend for the time being. One by one, the people around the conference table discussed Huang Tian's death. After learning that it was an awakened who did it, one by one, they were all very scornful. In the past two days, they had sort of seen the terror of monstrous monsters, not to mention awakened ones. Humph. I don't care if he's an awakened or a deformed monster. I only have this one child. Huang Tian. I must avenge him. Huang Yan clenched his fists and clenched his teeth. He hated Chen Jie now. Boss, I have recruited several awakened here. As long as I have information on Chen Jie's location, I can have them round up Chen Jie. It's just that. A man wearing a long hat stood out to speak. After the outbreak of the end of the world, several awakened had appeared in his family. What favor do you want? Just say it. Huang Yan also saw what the executives in front of him were thinking. They were all businessmen. No one would make a move without a little benefit. It was their usual principle not to do a losing deal. Yao Tian Group. 50% of the land underneath. I'll take it. The man extended his five fingers and said to Huang Yan. In the past, no one would dare to tell Huang Yan about this. But now it was different. His family had appeared as an awakened person. He had this negotiating qualification. If it wasn't for the fact that Huang Yan also had some power under his hand, he would have shouted at his family's awakened person and forced the Yao Tian group to be his own. Li Feng Yu, turned out that you have been staring at my family property for such a long time. I but very trust you ah. Huang Tian lamented a sentence immediately followed by saying, Alas, however, as long as you bring Chen Jie's head to me, 50% of Yao Tian group's arms assets are yours. In order to avenge his son, Huang Tian, 
Huan Yan also went out of his way. Ha ha ha, boss Huang, really quick, wait for me. Two days later, Chen Jie's head, naturally served. The man called Li Feng, laughed loudly and walked out of the conference room. Just after coming out, he dialed the phone. Hey, old Ten, you have to help me kill someone. It's best to bring old Two and the others along. Over the phone, the boar monster with bristles and a pair of half-meter long tusks nod down a mouthful of human brain. It then nodded. Don't worry, I'll bring you his head tomorrow. In the end times, it's too easy to kill a person. Inside the inn, after Xiao Wanru listened to Chen Jie's words and let the mimic battle spirit absorb the chicken head monster, she had also received a great boost. It smoothly came to the peak of the second rank. It was only a pity that this chicken head monster did not produce spirit crystals. Otherwise, at least one of the two of them would have been able to ascend to the third rank tonight. Returning to the second floor, Chen Jie changed rooms, taking a hot shower. He washed away all the stains on his body. After this day of busy meetings, his entire body was finished dirty, and after taking a bath, his body was soothed. Xiao Wanru said she was scared and insisted on sleeping with him. Waiting for Chen Jie to come out of the bath, he found that Xiao Wanru was already lying on his bed. Xiao Wanru was wearing a set of silk pajamas that were very light and thin, revealing a pair of slender and greenish white jade legs, lying sideways on the bed. Exquisite and delicate. Chen Jie was also a young man of blood and vigor anyhow, and seeing the scene felt hot blood boiling all over his body. You just sleep like this? The quilt is not even covered. Chen Jie looked at Xiao Wanru who was lying straight and said, Then, Xiao Jie can you help me cover it? Xiao Wanru exhaled like orchids and reached out to pull the quilt. In her previous life Xiao Wanru hadn't even taken this much initiative. Perhaps in this life, influenced by the Pango bloodline, Xiao Wanru was unusually proactive towards Chen Jie. Chen Jie looked at Xiao Wanru's exquisite figure, in a single embrace, holding her in his arms, the quilt was lifted, a series of indescribable things happened immediately afterward, early in the morning of the next day, rumble, the originally quiet morning was awakened by the sound of a tightly running tank, boom, a shell hit the door of the hotel, it shook the entire hotel, an earthquake, what happened, it can't be another monster infestation, there are several tanks coming from outside, call the boss, the students were woken up outside the corridor, cowering low in panic outside the doorway of Chen Jie's room. The intense battle inside last night had kept them up all night. Now that an unusual situation had arisen, they didn't dare to easily wake up Chen Jie by shouting. Chen Jie had long sensed the situation outside. He was pulling open the curtains to watch. The other party had come with a whole team of tanks, and it was obvious that they were rushing towards him. However, these modern weapons, for him, an awakened one, they did not pose much of a threat at all. The key was the several super martial awakened standing on top of the other party's tanks. He also didn't expect the human race to unite so quickly now. It was probably only the Dragon Kingdom that had such a rallying cry. The Dragon Kingdom had always been more united. Unfortunately, they had chosen the wrong people to target. Little Jie, what happened outside? Xiao Wanru's legs were slightly shaking as she walked next to Chen Jie and asked gently, Nothing much, you stay here, I'll fix it. Chen Jie touched Xiao Wanru's head. She had worked hard last night. There would be no need for her to fight today. Chen Jie reached out and the glass of the window instantly crumbled. It then turned into a yellow light and flew out. He stood in front of several tanks in the air. After the tanks discovered Chen Jie's figure, they quickly turned their guns and aimed at Chen Jie in the air. Are you guys here to find me? Chen Jie stood in the air, the wind blowing his clothes hunting, like a king, in defiance of the people below. A middle-aged strong man in black armor stood out from the middle tank. His eyes were glowing with a lime green light. His hair was silver and white, and with his hands behind his back, he looked towards Chen Jie in the air. You are Chen Jie? The middle-aged strong man. His tone contained killing intent. It was obvious that the visitor was not good, but Chen Jie did not care. Yes, without changing my name and line, without changing my name, I am. Chen Jie's voice, loud and clear, resounded throughout the sky. Good good, very courageous, facing so many of us and still daring to admit it. Hearing Chen Jie's response. The middle-aged man's eyes became gloomy. He was Huang Yan's company, the awakened person from the family of the tall-hatted man. After receiving the message from the tall-hatted man, he then gathered the tanks that he had snatched from the military, rushed here in the middle of the night. Who are you? Chen Jie asked with an open mouth. Me, I am the awakened of the Lin group. Lin Yao, you killed Chairman Huang Yan's son, Huang Tian, and I'm here to take your life today, Lin Yao said. His fists clenched and a layer of lime green armor covered his body. This was his awakened talent, the green dragon armor. He had awakened it when the end times appeared. With the help of the family, within a day, he had already raised to the peak of the second rank. 
together with the special nature of the awakening. Right now, his battle power was comparable to an early third rank awakened person, that idiot Huang Tian, I killed him right. Chen Jia looked at Lin Yao with both eyes and spoke bluntly. It didn't matter if the other party came to trouble him on the orders of Huang Tian's old man, Huang Yan, or, Huang Yan himself had come, he also greeted him directly, without any avoidance. In his last life, he had already endured enough. Good, then you can die so I can go back and deliver. Lin Yao grinned, clenching his fist and stepping hard. He transformed into a green light and rushed towards Chen Jia at an extremely fast speed. Looking at Lin Yao who was rushing in front of him, Chen Jia had a calm face as he waited for the other party to reach him. Looking at Chen Jia who was so calm, Lin Yao was slightly startled in his heart. Facing a top awakened person like him, surprisingly, he was able to maintain such a state of unperturbedness in dealing with things. Intuition told Lin Yao that the young man in front of him was not simple. However, with Lin Yao's own awakening strength, he was confident that he could kill Chen Jia within a minute. In just a few seconds, from his position as a tank, Lin Yao rushed in front of Chen Jie, storing up his strength, he punched Chen Jie's abdomen position. Chen Jie, on the other hand, did not summon a mimetic weapon out, he just gently stretched out his hand and grabbed towards Lin Yao's fist, he wanted to compare the difference between his talent, pure physical quality, and a super martial awakened. Boom! The two's hands clashed, the energy that was generated rumbled the entire space, Lin Yao's fist was, by one of Chen Jie's hands, crushed dead center in his palm, he looked at Chen Jie, his eyes filled with shock and disbelief, he was a peak second ranked super martial awakened, a punch that was full of power was so easily caught by someone else, this, was impossible, Lin Yao clenched his teeth and exerted his full strength, trying to break free from Chen Jie's hands, unfortunately, struggled for half a minute, not moving at all, eh, aren't you a super martial awakened, is that all the strength you have, Chen Jie looked at the flustered Lin Yao in front of him with a smirk, Sure enough, it was still his panga physique that was strong. Just by virtue of the strength of his body, he was able to completely crush these ordinary super martial awakened. You, Lin Yao was so infuriated that he could barely speak. At the bottom, a bunch of juniors were watching him. To be taken down by the other party like this, what face did he have left? Under his anger, Lin Yao reached out with his left hand and had to summon his ultra martial equipment. In the past, when he dealt with monstrous monsters, he basically didn't use super martial weapons. With his body's super strong physique alone, he was able to harden those monstrous monsters and blast them to death. Chen Jia was the first to force him to actively use a weapon. Like the super martial awakened in last night's squad, Lin Yao's weapon was also a lightsaber. However, his lightsaber was much stronger than the awakened one from last night. Above it, a small green dragon circled around the lightsaber and flew on it. It was also emitting the aura of a dragon's roar. Swish! Lin Yao slashed horizontally at Chen Jie's neck, and the sharpness emanating from the long sword was too much to avoid. In the face of the other party's harsh attack, Chen Jie merely flicked and twisted. With an extremely fast speed, he dodged the strike. But as Chen Jie dodged it, the force in his hand could not help but increase by one point, and twisted Lin Yao's right hand. Instantly, Lin Yao's right hand was turned by Chen Jie, alive, by more than 90 degrees. Intense pain caused the muscles on Lin Yao's face to twist together. Ah! Lin Yao screamed in agony. That sound was even more miserable than killing a pig in the village, feeling that his eardrums were uncomfortable. Chen Jie then released his hand. You are too weak. Chen Jie faintly shook his head. Chen Jie's words were like a sharp knife that pierced deep into Lin Yao's heart, causing him to almost fall into madness. Ever since his awakening yesterday, the entire clan had admired him immensely due to his strength. Now he was being ruthlessly stepped on by Chen Jie. This kind of discrepancy was simply more unbearable than killing him. You die for me. Lin Yao, who had regained his freedom, roared ferociously, stretching his lightsaber towards the sky. The longsword gathered monstrous energy. The small green dragon that was originally on top of the lightsaber shot up into the sky and instantly swelled up. From the original few inches, suddenly, it turned into thousands of inches. At this moment, a giant green dragon hovered in the air, its eyes filled with majesty staring at Chen Jia. This is boss Lin's stance talent. The green dragon slash. This move also decapitated a third stage deformed monster yesterday. This Chen Jia is dead. This Chen Jia is unfortunately also an awakened. He doesn't know what's good for him. He doesn't know who to mess with. He just messes with our boss. It's good to give me his talent. It's not wasted. The boss used this move to deal with him. Chen Jia is also considered to be worth dying. Lin Yao's juniors, having seen him perform this move, each and every one of them thought that the victory had been decided. Indeed. This move was considered to be one of the stronger moves Chen Jie had seen after his awakening. However, this one was used against him. 
It was far from enough, only to see, Chen Jie waved his big hand, summoning the mimic battle spirit, and suddenly, a large amount of Hongmeng clear turbid qi emerged from his body. This time, he did not intend to fight with the heaven opening axe. As soon as the Hongmeng clear turbid qi appeared, as Chen Jie's mind moved, the Hongmeng clear turbid qi immediately transformed into the same dragon that Ling Yao had summoned. Only, the dragon that the Hongmeng turbid qi transformed into took on a golden color. Moreover, the aura far surpassed Lin Yao's green dragon. You're imitating my moves? You're an imitation and you presume to compete with my real one? It's really out of your league. Lin Yao confidently held up his lightsaber, thinking that his was the strongest. Just whose is the imitation? Won't we know if we try the power? Chen Jia wrapped his hands around his body. Originally, the Hongmeng clear and turbid qi was capable of transforming heaven and earth and all sorts of creatures. It didn't need Lin Yao to use his talent. It was still able to transform the giant dragon. What was the point of imitating? Only to see Lin Yao's furious eyes. He fiercely flagged his long sword down in Chen Jie's direction. The green dragon roared. Its majestic body curled and lunged towards Chen Jie's direction. The surrounding gases were all swirled by it, and even the sky flashed with electricity and thunder. While Chen Jie just flicked his finger, the golden dragon on his body similarly moved. The golden dragon exuded a dazzling golden light, and without the slightest fear, it charged straight at the opposite side of the green dragon. The green dragon sensed the threat of the golden dragon and reversed its direction, colliding with the golden dragon. Rumble, rumble, the two giant dragons entwined together and kept colliding madly. The entire sky kept echoing with the sounds of their battle. The battle lasted for three minutes. In the end, Lin Yao's green dragon slowly dissipated due to its physical strength, and reappeared as a small green dragon that breathlessly continued to hover over Lin Yao's lightsaber. Waste thing, this you gave defeat. What's the use of you following me? The defeat of the mimic battle spirit made Lin Yao feel disgraced and immediately cursed at it. In fact, it was normal for the green dragon to lose the battle. Chen Jie's talent, Hongmeng Clear and Turbid Qi, was a product of heaven and earth, capable of constantly absorbing the energy of heaven and earth for battle. This kind of protracted battle was unrivaled within the same rank. Now, whose do you think is the pirated goods? Chen Jie looked at Lin Yao in front with interest. At this moment, Lin Yao's face was simply harder than eating a fly. You bastards. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and blast him to death for me. Lin Yao angrily looked at the tank team behind him. After the defeat, he was so annoyed that he directly spilled fire on the tank team. Those juniors, then panicked and aimed their cannons at Chen Jie. Boom boom boom. A shell flashed with yellow light and blasted towards Chen Jie. How dare these toys be used against me? Chen Jie smiled faintly, and with just a wave of his hand, the golden dragon swept through, devouring all of the cannonballs. These pieces of scrap metal couldn't even hurt him halfway. Against an awakened like Chen Jie, ordinary thermal weapons were simply ineffective. After clearing the first wave of shells, Chen Jie summoned his mimetic weapon. Holding the heaven opening axe in his hand, his body moved, and in the next second, Chen Jie arrived at the very edge of the tank team, throwing the heaven opening axe out viciously. The heaven opening axe rotated in the air at a high speed, breaking through one tank after another. These tanks were like cannonballs that were set off on the ground, blowing up one after another. Bastard, this is my Lin family's tank team. Lin Yao watched as the tanks exploded one after another with a burst of physical pain. Picking up his lightsaber, he continued to charge at Chen Jie, determined to fight again. However, after the mimic battle spirit was damaged, his battle power was drastically cut down. He was already no match, and now he was even less of a match. A sword was swung out. Before the sword could touch Chen Jie, it was easily flicked away by Chen Jie with two fingers. Then, with a single reach, Chen Jie grabbed Lin Yao's head. Immediately, Lin Yao felt a great power coming from the top of his head. He felt that in the next second. He would die. Spare my life. At this moment, Lin Yao no longer wanted any face, and hurriedly knelt down to beg for mercy from Chen Jie. HM, didn't you just act like you're not going to die with me? Why are you soft now? Chen Jie looked at Lin Yao playfully. There is an old saying in the Dragon Kingdom that says, If you know the time, Wei Jun Jie, Lord Chen, you are generous. You let me off the hook, and in the future, I will look up to you. Lin Yao folded his hands and begged Xin Jie for forgiveness repeatedly. He was afraid that the force in Xin Jie's hand would increase one more point. I can't trust the loyalty of someone who wants to kill me. Brother Chen, wait. Lin Yao panicked and reached towards his chest, digging out a lime green heart. This is the core of my awakened martial artist. It's connected to me. As long as you pinch it at the drop of a hat, you'll die immediately. Brother Chen, Brother Chen. Little brother only wants to help you build up your power and dedicate my share. Lin Yao offered the core, and his eyes stayed right on Chen Jie's face. Martial core? Chen Jie glanced at the lime green, 
constantly pulsating core in Ling Yao's hand, recalling back, in his last life, martial artists did have one such thing, this core was the life of a super martial awakened, Chen Jie thought for a moment and put the core away, okay, give you a chance, however, as long as you want a little bit to make me disobedient, be careful of your little life, this Lin Yao's combat power was still okay, and it would be fine to collect it as a reliable battle force, in the future, the small monsters encountered on the road could be cleaned up for him, thank you, big brother Chen, brother Chen, our family, there are other awakened who will be coming, you have to be prepared, Lin Yao was overjoyed after being taken in, and hurriedly reported the news to show his loyalty, there are other awakened ones, let them come, I just happened to collect a few more martial corps, Chen Jie was unimpressed, now that these awakened ones had come to him, they were completely a gift at his door, however, you can instead briefly, introduce the abilities of those few awakened ones, Chen Jie turned his back and prepared to return to the hotel, behind him, Lin Yao nodded his head, brother Chen, there is one in my family who ate a stink bug before the end of the world, he awakened a talent that is very bizarre and is able to emit a large amount of gases that make people hallucinate, be careful with this one, there's also another one who ate a toad, and after awakening his talent, he possesses the ability to emit loud noises, which should also not be underestimated. Lin Yao was behind Xin Jie, reporting the talents of the two awakened people who came behind him one by one. After hearing this, Chen Jie was somewhat surprised. The two that came from behind were surprisingly both awakenings that occurred after eating something. They were not super martial awakened. However, like this kind of awakened person, it was a bit of a problem to deal with. Although, their attacks and defenses might not be as strong as those of a super martial awakened, but their talents, on the contrary, were a headache, with some insidious talents, it was easy to get hit if one was not careful, HM, I know, you stand down, pack up your squads people, and the ones that are alive will continue to follow you, Chen Jie waved his hand and flew towards the inn, Lin Yao, on the other hand, nodded his head and bent over, respectfully sending Chen Jie away, just after returning to the inn, Chen Jie was pulled up by Xiao Wanru to check. Is everything alright? Just now I saw that the battle was so intense. Your body isn't injured, right? Xiao Wanru looked at Chen Jie's body with a worried expression. Just now, she had seen two giant dragons collide. Even if Chen Jie had one, she was still very worried if Chen Jie had gotten hurt. Ha ha, how strong your husband's body is. You're not unaware of it. How could I get hurt? Chen Jie looked at Xiao Wanru with a bad smile on his face. Hearing Chen Jie's words, Xiao Wanru instantly remembered something. A blush surfaced on her face. Darn it, I really should have let Lin Yao stab you to death with a sword just now. Xiao Wanru angrily punched Chen Jie. At this time, the hotel's television station was still able to work normally. Xiao Wanru was tired of being tossed around by Chen Jie, so she turned on the TV to watch. Playing on it were various images of people around the world who had been subjected to monstrous mutants. On the screen were various flying dragons and beasts that were constantly preying on humans. Thick smoke rolled around and the wailing of humans was heard everywhere. After the end of the world had descended, those who hadn't awakened their talents were just so miserable, and there were quite a few people amongst the humans who had awakened their super martial arts. Almost all of these people had joined the Dragon Kingdom's army. On the TV station, quite a few super martial warriors stood in front of the humans and fought the monstrous monsters. Not all super martial warriors were like Lin Yao who only thought about their own personal grudges, whether it was in their previous life or now, the ultra martial warriors who had joined the military. Basically, they were all filled with a sense of justice. Even Chen Jia had respect for them. These soldiers who were brave enough to dedicate themselves in order to protect humanity were worthy of respect. Of course, the monstrous beasts were not all that easy to deal with. Right now, there were only some tiger-level monsters. The human super martial warriors could still barely cope with them. If they encountered higher-level monsters, they might not be able to deal with them. There was also a clear division between the ranks of the monstrous beasts. They were wolf, tiger, ghost, dragon, and divine, like the ordinary monstrous beasts that they had encountered before, they were basically all at the wolf level or even below, they didn't pose much of a threat to most awakened ones, however, when they encountered tiger level ones, they wouldn't be that easy to deal with, tiger level monstrous beasts were basically capable of causing a large number of casualties, at the ghost level, it would be even more terrifying, in his previous life, Chen Jia had encountered a ghost level, this level of monstrous monster was able to cause a crisis where a town machine would stop or even be destroyed. By the time it reached the dragon level, possibly, the entire dragon kingdom would be in a crisis. In his last life, Chen Jia had yet to see a dragon level monstrous monster. As for the god level, that was even more of a mere legend. A monstrous monster like this appeared, handled poorly, 
the entire human race would be destroyed by him. An existence like this was simply not something that an ordinary awakened could handle. Unless, Chen Jia was able to continue to ascend to a higher rank. With his talent awakening, dealing with a monstrous beast like the god level, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Talents that were all infinite growth types. The second day of the end times. The monstrous beasts on the globe were even more rampant than yesterday when the plague first arrived. It was as if the entire world was plunged into hell. Chen Jie also did not continue to wait in the hotel for the Lingyao family's awakened to arrive. He went in the direction of the original hospital on his own. That pre-boss level monstrous monster was his target. If the people of the Lin clan, on the way, had to come looking for trouble, he naturally didn't mind stepping in to eliminate them. It took about an hour. Chen Jie finally arrived at the hospital in his memory. Based on his previous memories, he still remembered that there was an initial boss in this location. The level should have reached tiger level. With his current strength, it was possible to deal with it without any surprises. Chen Jie walked to the main entrance of the hospital, pushed open the glass door and stepped inside. The space inside was very large, but it was already empty. The only thing left behind was puddles of blood. Just after pushing open the glass door, a sharp voice suddenly rang out. Chen Jie twisted his head to look. A mixed black, two-headed dog, rushed towards him. This two-headed dog, with red eyes was surprisingly the size of a small car. Its speed was very fast, as if it was a bolt of lightning, and in less than a moment, it had rushed to Chen Jie's side, opening its sharp claws, it wanted to tear Chen Jie apart with one claw, seeing the vicious dog attacking, Chen Jie did not panic in the slightest, there wasn't even any movement, bastard thing get out of the way, my brother Chen is also something you can touch, a bellowing cry appeared behind Chen Jie, followed by a green dragon sword flying and stabbing out, it ruthlessly nailed the head of the two-headed dog, the powerful force directly knocked the two-headed dog away, afterwards, Lin Yao rushed to Chen Jie, is big brother Chen alright? Lin Yao asked anxiously. Right now, he felt a bit more nervous than Xiao Wanru that Chen Jie was being harmed. Chen Jie held his core in his hand. In case Chen Jie was unhappy, his little life would be gone. No harm done. You drive in front. I don't want these things to punch me in the face again. Chen Jie said indifferently. This Lin Yao didn't expect to be quite on the ball. Before, there was no collecting him for nothing. Alright, Lin Yao nodded excitedly. Right now. It seemed that Chen Jie was quite satisfied with him, and there was no problem with his little life. But just after walking for a while, Lin Yao smelled an extremely dangerous aura. Before Lin Yao could react, a powerful shockwave rushed to his body. At once, Lin Yao's entire body flew backwards. It crashed on top of the hospital's wall, and the already old hospital wall was immediately torn apart. It seemed that the strength of the attack Lin Yao had received wasn't small. A peak second stage awakened like him. To be able to be hurt like this, it was obvious that the other party had to be at least third rank as well. Chen Jia watched from the back and already felt that the one in front of him was exactly the target he had come for this time. The small boss of this hospital. Squeak squeak squeak. Before Chen Jia could take a closer look, an ear-piercing sound came from inside the dark corridors of the hospital. It sounded very much like the sound of a rat. Not long after, from the middle of the darkness ran out a young white mouse. At the same time mixed with a few black ones. But these mice were no ordinary mice. They all emitted a putrid odor and had energy attached to their bodies. These should be the minions of this hospital's mini-boss or something like that. After these rats rushed out, they went straight to the crowd. Some students who couldn't react were directly entangled by these rats. One of them, a girl called Chen Kor, was directly bitten through her calf by the rats. Subsequently, the other mice through and through continued to tear at her body from this small wound. Ah 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 ah. Save me, save me. Chen Kier was screaming non-stop. But the people next to her were all struggling to protect themselves. How could anyone step in to save her? It was only Lin Shiyu, who picked up an aluminum tube from the ground and rushed up. However, he was also an ordinary person. He had only just fought the mutated rats for a while, and he himself had been pestered by the rats. Brother Chen, save me, please. In my next life, I'll return to you as a cow. Lin Shiyu cried out in pain. Right now, only Chen Jia was able to step in and save him. Forget it. For the sake of your hard work in the past two days, Chen Jie shook his head inside. He stretched out a finger. Immediately afterward, two Xian Huang breaths appeared above his finger. The breaths were merely on those rats, gently curling around them. The mice that were originally nibbling on the two men all snapped. As soon as these little mice died, the little boss that was originally hiding inside the hospital corridor was as stimulated as if it had been stimulated. Squeak squeak squeak. Squeaking sounds, even more so. Not long after. A huge rat man appeared right in front of Chen Jia. It was covered in rat hair. Its eyes were red, and its pair of sharp claws were filled with mud stains. If, 
Without a closer look one really couldn't tell that this was a creature after a human mutation. It stinks. Xiao Wanru covered her nose and said in disgust. As soon as the rat boss appeared, the entire hospital was filled with a strong putrid odor. This smell was more like fermented rotten eggs. It was very pungent. Not to mention Xiao Wanru. Even Shen Jie was a bit sick to his stomach. Brother Chen, it was this thing that attacked me just now. Lin Yao, who had been knocked away, stood up from the ground at this time and said in an aggravated manner. This meant that he still wanted Chen Jie to do him justice. This rat man, his strength is in the middle of the third stage. You are not his opponent back off. Chen Jie blandly said. He could see the approximate strength of this rat person at a glance. It was probably around the third rank of a human awakened. As for according to the hazard level of monstrous monsters, that should also be a tiger rank. Lin Yao heard Chen Jie's words and after that, he obediently stood back. Chen Jie, on the other hand, stood in front of all of them. Here, other than him, no one was a match for this rat man. For anyone else to go on, it would be a death sentence. Squeak squeak, the rat man became even more manic after seeing Chen Jie. It was Chen Jie who had killed his children and grandchildren just now. He had to avenge his children and grandchildren. Thus, the rat man maniacally stomped up his hind feet and rushed towards Chen Jie like an arrow off the string. This rat man was huge and full of strength. When it impacted, it was able to feel the entire hospital tremble. Dang, the rat man used his sharp claws and slashed horizontally at Chen Jie. And then, it was easily stopped by Chen Jie's heaven opening axe. This was something that made the mouse man shocked. This, it also possessed basic awareness. He was a mid third stage existence. Originally, he thought that with this claw down, Chen Jie would have to shed his skin even if he didn't die. However, not only did Chen Jie not get injured, he instead resisted its attack. A mid third stage monstrous monster beast. It's nothing more than that. After fending off the ratman's attack, Chen Jie mocked in a loud voice. With that, he turned around and kicked the mouse man in the stomach. This kick came down. It was as if Chen Jie had kicked on a steel plate. Hiss. This old acquaintance's defense. So terrifying. Chen Jie was secretly shocked inwardly. However, even if it did not shake the rat man, Chen Jie used the force to distance himself from the rat man. The mouse man ate a kick from Chen Jie. Although his figure did not fluctuate much, but it was also secretly in pain. This human was the strongest human it had encountered so far. It must be eradicated as soon as possible. Thus, the mouse man slumped to the ground on all four feet, looking at Chen Jie with an extremely bizarre look. This rat man, not attacking anymore, what is he trying to do? I guess he's scared of our brother Chen. Lying on the ground and shivering, brother Chen, the world is invincible. Chen Jie had only gained a slight advantage when the students behind him began to blow their drums. What the rat man was trying to do, Chen Jie didn't understand either. Logically, the next thing should be to attack him violently. How was this even on the ground? Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Could it be that only the handsome ones deserve to live in this world, and people like me, only deserve to live in the sewers? Saying that, immediately after that, the greasy fat man's body began to swell, and began to grow out messy rat hair, the original flat mouth, began to become sharp and long, the fangs above his mouth began to slowly grow out. In a short while, he turned into the appearance of the rat man that Chen Jia had just seen in the outside world. I see, this space should belong to, the memories of the rat man before he mutated. No wonder there was no way to break it using the Hongmen clear in Turbid Qi. This does not belong to the realm of illusion. Just as Chen Jie thought so, the rat man in front of him, his eyes began to shed tears of blood. Slowly, he turned his head to look at Chen Jie. Isn't it true that only a good-looking person like you deserves love? I don't deserve it. Speak. The mouse man's tone was close to a growl. It was obvious that he was on the verge of losing control. Chen Jie did not answer him, but instead gripped the heaven-opening axe in his hand tightly alerting the other party's actions. This was the first time he had encountered a situation like this, since it wasn't an illusion. It looked like it was also, the realm of memories. But this rat person, however, was able to truly see him. This kind of situation was bizarre. Roar! Seeing that Chen Jie did not react at all, the rat man began to go crazy and tilted his head and roared. Immediately afterward, he swung his sharp claws and rushed towards Chen Jie. Chen Jie reacted quickly and used his heaven-opening axe to make a block to the right. However, the rat man's claws, surprisingly, directly passed through the heaven opening axe and grabbed onto his body. Ding! The claw clawed on top of Chen Jie's body with a crisp sound. Chen Jie's physique was exceptionally strong, and it was impossible for ordinary weapons to break through. He can hit me and I can't hit him? This is too weird. Chen Jie was confused in his mind. Outside of the domain, Chen Jie fell into a brief coma. The mouse man excitedly looked at Chen Jie who was in a stupor outside. After he had undergone a monstrous mutation. With this talent of his, no one had ever been able to break free from it, whether it was an ordinary person or an awakened person. This was what made him so powerful as a pre-boss. Roar! The rat man took advantage of Chin Jie's torso, which was stiff, to violently attack. Don't even think about hurting little Jie. Xiao Wanru's body overflowed with a streak of lightning as she carried her green scale longsword and stood in front of Chin Jie. She swore to protect Chen Jie to the death. The rat man did not care and opened his mouth wide to bite at Chen Jie's throat area. Swish swish swish, Xiao Wanru swung her sword continuously, and a few streaks of thunder, sparked in front of Chen Jie, the powerful thunder might successfully block the rat man's attack, it was forced to take two steps back, it belonged to the resentment type of aberrant mutation, similar to Zhao Xiaolu from before, therefore, it was more afraid of anything like thunder, however, it didn't put Xiao Wanru in its eyes either, after all, it was a third order awakened strength, the attack on Chen Jie was blocked, and the rat man looked at Xiao Wanru with a resentful face. Suddenly, he stood up in place and lifted his belly. Several small mice poked their heads out from his belly position. These little mice all carried a lime green eye. Where the teeth were located, there was a burst of green smoke. This was one of the rat man's one of his talents. Highly poisonous mouse child, capable of giving birth to 3 to 10 small mice filled with highly poisonous poison. And after identifying the target, the mice will take the initiative to attack. It hadn't been long since they had just opened their bellies first. Those little mice. They set their sights on Xiao Wanru's position. Squeak squeak. These few little mice were like little missiles. From the rat man's chest position. They rushed towards Xiao Wanru's position. As long as. One bite was taken by them. Xiao Wanru might directly lose her fighting strength. But Xiao Wanru wasn't stupid. And instantly saw that these few little mice weren't simple. Immediately. She summoned out the mimic battle spirit. The US snake Jiao. The little snake Jiao had just come out and hadn't been able to get close to its master yet. Immediately, it saw the little mice rushing over, realizing that these little mice were going to be detrimental to their master. Immediately, the Bayou Snake Jiao was as angry as if it was angry, spitting out its snake letters. It opened its bloody mouth. Roar! The Bai Moon Snake Jiao only spun around in the air. The small mice released by the mouse man were all mercilessly devoured by it. Moreover, itself, the Bai Moon Snake Jiao was highly poisonous. For that matter, it didn't care about the poison of these little mice at all. Little Moon. Well done. Xiao Wanru happily praised the Bai Moon Snake Jiao. Getting praised. The little snake Jiao excitedly rubbed against Xiao Wanru's wrist. Within the domain space. Chen Jie dodged the rat man's attacks over and over again while looking for a chance to counterattack. He was unable to attack the rat man. It was obvious that this rat man was probably an illusory fake body. The main body was still outside. The damage that the opponent was able to inflict on him should belong to a spiritual attack. Against spiritual type attacks. Chen Jie could only rely on Hongmen clear turbid chi. Try it this way. 
Chen Jie thought for a moment and summoned the Hongmeng clear turbid qi and attached it to the heaven opening axe. Why? Why? Am I not worthy? The rat man was roaring maniacally. Roaring like this was able to release his mood. After the Hongmeng clear and turbid qi attached to the heaven opening axe, it began to emit a strange light. Chen Jie's initial attempt was successful. With a weapon like this, it should be able to deal with illusory type monsters right. After doing everything, Chen Jie's eyes were sharp as he glanced at the rat man and immediately caught a break in his opponent. Open heaven and earth. The powerful alien ability was unleashed once again. At once, a shocking energy emanated from the heaven opening axe. An axe slashed through, and space split straight across the body of the rat man. This time, the attack took effect. The axe plunged directly into half of the rat man's body. Ah ha, how did you, how did you do that? The rat man roared with his mouth wide open, his eyes looking at Chen Jie with disbelief. He had killed quite a few awakened ones with this recollection domain. Every single one of them was able to come out of it. Not to mention, fighting back. After the heaven opening axe inflicted damage to the rat man's domain non-body, the filaments of Hongmeng clear and turbid qi plunged into the rat person's body, melting its body, little by little, eventually, dissipating. At the same time that Chen Jie decimated the rat man within the domain, external space, the mouse man's mind was suddenly drastically affected. It covered its chest, its eyes protruding. This human had broken through his domain. His strength was terrifying. It could not wait until he fully awakened, and it had to escape immediately. In desperation, the rat man spared no expense, and from the top part of its head, it radiated a burst of spiritual impact. This was exactly the attack that Ling Yao had encountered earlier. Attacks like this could not be defended against. Several spiritual attacks came over, directly running towards Xiao Wanru. As long as he took care of this woman, he would have a chance to escape. Seeing the rat man's unusual movements, Lin Yao's entire body attached to his mech and rushed in front of Xiao Wanru. Boom! A powerful spiritual attack once again bombarded Lin Yao. This time, the attack could be much more powerful than the first time. The armor on Lin Yao's body that came into contact with the attack instantly crumbled. It was as if the entire person had been hit by a mountain. Instantly, like a kite with a broken string, he flew backwards. Bang bang bang. It continuously crashed through three large walls before stopping. Put. Lin Yao spat out a large mouthful of blood, staining a large portion of the ground. However, it was fortunate that Xiao Wanru didn't get hurt. If she was harmed, after Qin Jia recovered his spirit, that would be when he died. A spiritual attack consumed a large amount of energy from the rat man. This was already his limit. Since, it was not possible to force the other party back. It was only possible to forcefully escape. The rat man knew that Chen Jie, this terrifying fellow, was not long away from awakening. He was about to pull his legs out and run. Chen Jie's originally dull eye suddenly regained their brightness. What position do you want to run to? Chen Jie slowly spat out a few words. Frightened, the rat man trembled. In the middle of his domain, he had already learned of Chen Jie's terror, and that was still in his own domain which had been struck down by Qin Jie. In reality, would he still have the possibility to resist? The more the rat man thought, the more he panicked. There was no need to worry about the green mountain. Ignoring Qin Jie, he turned around and fled the string as fast as he could. As fast as you are, can you be faster than my axe? Qin Jie wiped the heaven opening axe, and it was immediately endowed with Hongmeng clear and turbid qi. Immediately, he threw the heaven opening axe at the rat man's position. Swoosh! The heaven opening axe rotated in the air at a high speed. It was as if it had automatically locked onto the rat man's location. It chased after the rat man immediately after his escaping position. Even though, the rat man had used his fastest speed to escape. However, put, the heaven opening axe still penetrated the rat man's skull. The power of the heaven opening axe had increased greatly after attaching the Hongmeng clear in turbid qi. Even when dealing with a third order monstrous monster like the mouse man, it was also able to easily break through the defense. I'm not willing, I've suffered too much in my life, before the end of the world, I was only able to live in the sewers like a rat, never seeing the light, I was only able to stand in the darkness and peep at your lives standing under the sun, God is unfair, giving me such a body and looks, unfair, after being struck by the heaven opening axe, a resentment likewise emerged from the rat man's body, this was his resentment after being ostracized due to his size and appearance, this resentment, hovered in the air for a bit, it eventually dissipated, Chen Jia retrieved the heaven opening axe and walked over to the rat man's corpse. There were indeed quite a few good things on it. Three different colors of light shone above his corpse. They were pink, yellow, and cyan. These three colors, each represented different things. This pink color was a special crystal. Crystals that looked like this color were only possessed by small bosses that had reached the tiger level. With this thing, 
Shinjia would be able to ascend to a third rank awaken today. As for the yellow one, it was a drop of essence from the mouse man. After taking it, it was able to greatly enhance the awakened person's physique. Chen Jia possessed the chaotic Xian Huang body. Originally, his physique was invincible. Using this again would only cause his physique to become miscellaneous. Rather, it would be better to give it to Xiao Wanru to use. Thus, Chen Jia gave this drop of essence to Xiao Wanru. Drop it directly on top of your skin and you'll be able to use it. Chen Jia handed the essence to Xiao Wanru, seeing the essence that shone with a golden light. Xiao Wanru's eyes were filled with curiosity. Doing as Chen Jia said, she dripped the essence onto his small arm position. The moment this drop of essence touched Xiao Wanru's arm, it immediately penetrated. Immediately, a sense of dryness rose from Xiao Wanru's body. Xiao Jia, this essence is so strange. I feel like all the blood within my body has been mobilized by him. I'm so hot. Xiao Wanru said delicately with a flushed face. Right now, it was as if she was being burned by a fire herself. Forgot. Told you. This rat man, itself is sexually evil. Maybe a bit of a side effect. Chen Jia had a good look on his face. So he came close to Xiao Wanru's ear to underestimate two sentences. After listening, the red light on Xiao Wanru's face became more serious. Ah hey, what are you talking about? How annoying. Xiao Wanru shrieked. She had no choice but to summon the mimic battle spirit to help her absorb the excess essence from her body. In itself, Xiao Wanru's battle spirit had the effect of restraining evil spirits. Under the battle spirit's absorption. Soon, Xiao Wanru returned to normal. After, the washing of this drop of essence, Xiao Wanru's physique was directly upgraded by a notch. Adding to the fact that it was protected by dragon scales itself, monsters at the early third stage were basically no threat to her now. The greenish colored blow on the rat man's body. This was the most crucial thing. It was also the reason why Chen Jia had rushed all the way to find this mini boss. Chen Jia held the cyan glow in his hands. It began to sense. Not long after, a strange spell appeared in his mind. He chanted along with the spell. Soon, on his body, the same domain as the rat man's began to appear. However, Chen Jie's domain was not quite the same. The mouse man's domain was formed due to its resentment and inferiority complex. And after Chen Jie had sensed the use of this domain, his domain was a domain with a very powerful killing ability. God killing domain. Once other people entered this domain, they would immediately be decimated by the swords and swords emanating from the surroundings. Moreover, this domain, as Chen Jia killed more monsters, the more powerful it would become. Xiao Wanru, who was beside him, felt this domain, even she whose physique had already been enhanced. Her body would involuntarily tremble slightly. Little Jia, what is this thing of yours how is it so powerful? Xiao Wanru asked out loud. This was the first time she had encountered something so powerful. This is my secret weapon, I'll tell you when it gets dark. Chen Jie said mysteriously with a bad smile on his face. Only after Chen Jie withdrew his domain was Xiao Wanru able to breathe somewhat normally. At this time, the severely injured Lin Yao staggered next to Chen Jie. Boss, I might not be able to fight back there. I blocked a fatal injury for my sister-in-law. Lin Yao said with a helpless face. On the surface, he was trying to state that he was no longer able to fight. In reality, it was to claim credit for himself. How could Chen Jie not understand what he meant? Immediately, he began to pacify. Got it. You've been meritorious in protecting Wan Ro this time. I'll remember that. After that, any benefits will be prioritized for you. Chen Jie's words completely spoke to Lin Yao's heart. Ha ha ha, then thank you so much boss. Lin Yao nodded his head and then stepped back. Ever since Chen Jie was able to kill the rat man, Lin Yao was already convinced of him. Like an existence like the mouse man, Chen Jie was able to easily finish him off. This was enough to prove that Chen Jie's strength was superior. In the end times, being able to have such a backer, it was definitely a huge benefit for future development. After resolving the rat people in the hospital, it was pouring rain outside. Clatter. In no time, the ground was covered with rainwater that was 2 to 3 centimeters thick. So it seemed that for the time being, Chen Jie and the others would have to rest in the hospital for a while. But before Chen Jie could sit down, Chen Jie heard the sound of gunfire mixed in with the rainwater. There was also the sound of humans shouting at the front door of the hospital. Looking out, not far away, there was a small team armed with guns or using swords and guns to deal with a small group of monsters. These monsters were a bit different from the monsters encountered before. These monsters were covered in tentacles. The overall appearance was like a basketball. What made them special was that they emitted a blue light. In the distance, a human member, grabbed by one of the monsters, instantly weakened all over. Immediately afterward, it was devoured alive by the monster. Not even a scream was uttered. This thing, Chen Jie recognized. Living sacrifice spirit. 
These living sacrifice spirits were bodies with huge grievances that emitted energies that were attached to different creatures. These creatures would then undergo aberrations after the end times occurred. This principle was the same as Xiao Wanru devouring the bamboo leaf green and then undergoing a mutation. Only, they were forced to swallow the grievances of a powerful grievance body. Eventually, the mutation occurred. This kind of living sacrificial spirit was huge in number and had a special fighting style. As long as they were tainted by them, the energy and vitality within their bodies would immediately be absorbed, and all the energy they absorbed would be fed back to the main body. Therefore, wanting to completely eliminate them, there was only one way, and that was to find the main body and eradicate it completely. The person in front of you, step in and save them. We, the Dragon Flame Union, will definitely be rewarded. In the midst of the rain, a demonic woman running in their squad launched a plea for help to Chen Jia's position. Chen Jia had certainly heard it. However, he did not intend to pay any attention. He was not that kind. Seeing that Chen Jia did not respond, the demonic woman, anger rose in her heart. Fine, since you refuse to save each other, then I'll lead these monsters, to your location, and I'll see if you make a move. Thus, the demonic woman reminded the squad members, retreat towards the hospital's location. As the squad drew closer to the hospital location, sure enough, not long after, a large number of living sacrificial spirits wanted to rush towards Chen Jie's location. At this time, if they didn't make a move, when the living sacrificial spirits surrounded them, they would be in danger. Good, so play it right. Chen Jie frowned. In his heart, he was naturally dissatisfied. Thus, Chen Jie walked out from inside the hospital. With him as the center, the god-killing domain unfolded. It surrounded towards the squad's direction. Wasn't it, wanting him to make a move? He would do it now. That squad, seeing Chen Jie's hand, was excited. One of the fastest walkers, crossing over the demonic woman, was the first to rush ahead to the hospital. However, before he could take a few steps, he instantly seemed to have fallen into a realm of terror. His eyes were rounded and he looked at Chen Jie in horror. It was as if there was a plea for mercy in his eyes. Unfortunately, it was already too late. Chen Jie's god-killing domain was no joke. In the next second, the man was immediately strangled by Chen Jie's god-killing domain in an instant. In the eyes of the people outside, he was just standing still, being split into pieces of mush. The scene looked both terrifying and bizarre. Everyone, don't retreat. There's something wrong with the direction of this hospital. The demonic woman shouted in terror. The squad members who had originally rushed towards the direction of the hospital stopped in their tracks. They had also seen what happened to the man who had rushed to the front just now. Who would dare to move forward now? There was a problem with the location of the hospital. And there were monsters tracking behind them. All of a sudden, this small group was in an extremely awkward situation. Big sister, what should we do here? I don't want to die. The member of the Inferno Dragon Squad despairingly shouted to the demonic woman. The demonic woman glanced at Chen Jie with an icy gaze. He knew that the strange phenomenon just now was definitely made by Chen Jie. However, even now, he hated Chen Jie. There were monsters chasing behind her again, with no choice but to beg out loud once again. She had no choice but to beg out loud. Big brother, I know I'm wrong. Just let us off the hook for the sake of our squad being the same human. We have quite a few crystals on us, and after we are saved, they will all be yours. Instead of, letting us be devoured by monsters, it would be better to give it to you, big brother, to enjoy. Hearing the words of the demonic woman, Chen Jie nodded, continuing to speak, the god-killing domain expanded. However, the domain did not strangle the members of the Inferno Dragon Squad. Instead, it spread out towards the living sacrificial spirits. Once those living sacrificial spirits entered Chen Jie's god-killing domain, it was immediately like a basketball being sliced through by a chopper. Boom boom boom. With a burst of explosions, the originally ferocious living sacrificial spirits were wiped out. At this point, the Yanlong squad finally recognized Chen Jie's terror. Saved. The Inferno Dragon squad shouted excitedly. They had been chased by these living sacrificial spirits for a day now. One by one, the members of the group died one after another. Just when they were all about to see hell. Finally, they were saved. Thank you big brother for stepping in. The demonic woman had caused all of this by Chen Jie's hand. She made a respectful bow to Chen Jie. Such a bow, coupled with a wet body and a large expanse of white snow, allowed Chen Jie to feast his eyes. Where are the spirit crystals? Chen Jie said indifferently. Just now, he had struck out. Firstly, to clear any possible trouble in a while. Secondly, it was for the spirit crystals in these people's hands. If, however, this woman dared to lie to him, he wouldn't mind killing her immediately. It's all here. It's all here. A skinny monkey behind the demonic woman hurriedly handed over a backpack. 
It contained a white flowery backpack of spirit crystals. Chen Jie took the spirit crystals and looked inside. There were quite a few. There were ten or so ordinary spirit crystals alone. There were even one or two spirit crystals that shone with pink light. At a glance, they were around the primary type. The strange thing was that in the middle of the end times, everyone was in a hurry to improve themselves. Now, the people in this squad were good. Collecting the spirit crystals. You guys have so many spirit crystals, do you not use them, keeping them for the new year? Chen Jie weighed two spirit crystals and asked curiously. The demonic woman. Her face darkened. This is what we were going to submit to the organization. And now it's just cut off by you. You still have an organization? In just two days, Chen Jie really didn't dare to imagine that there were even people already building organizations. That's for sure. I'm the one who belongs to the Dragon Flame Union. My name is Firefox. Firefox introduced himself. After introducing himself, Firefox turned around and started to introduce his group members again. First was a thin man with round-framed eyes. This is Skinny Monkey, and next to him is Crow, while at the same time pointing to the shady man next to Skinny Monkey. As for the remaining few, they are also from our union, but they don't have awakened talents. In one pass, Firefox finished introducing their team members. In fact, Chen Jie did not have the heart to understand them. In the midst of the end times, Chen Jie only cared about those who were useful to him in surviving. As for the Dragonflame union that Firefox had mentioned, Chen Jie also had some impressions. In his last life, the Dragonflame Labor Union was the southern part of the Dragon Kingdom, one of the five major labor unions. Basically, most of the monstrous monsters were dealt with by them. He remembered that Yi Jitian, the boss of the Dragonflame Union, was once able to fight a dragon-level monstrous monster. Of course, this was only a legend. You know what the thing chasing you guys is, right? Chen Jie looked outside to where the living sacrifice spirits were before. Of course I know, these are living sacrificial spirits. As long as you get caught up in him, you are basically bound to die. What location did you guys find them in? Chen Jie continued to ask. The average living sacrificial spirit had reached the ghost level. The monstrous monsters around the tiger level now had no way to fulfill his requirements for upgrading. You wouldn't be trying to find their original bodies, would you? Firefox was a bit surprised. An ordinary person, hearing the name of a living sacrificial spirit, would be so scared that they would just want to run away. This man in front of him, even took the initiative to ask about the living sacrifice spirit primordial lands. Yes, that's right. Here are ten spirit crystals. If you lead the way and help me find the primordial body, these will be yours. Chen Jie generously took out ten spirit crystals. Looking at these ten spirit crystals, Firefox cursed shamelessly. This was originally theirs. Now it was being taken out and given to them as a guide fee. She really had never seen such shamelessness. It's fine, but we're only responsible for leading the way and we won't be responsible for anything else. Firefox agreed. If they returned to the organization empty-handed now, not a single spirit crystal had been turned in. That would definitely be a chastisement. It was just the right time to lead a path and get the spirit crystals to hurry up and bolt, completely as a steady profit and no loss business. Although, that would have been their spirit crystals. Good, the spirit crystals will be given to you all first. Chen Jie nodded and threw out ten spirit crystals. He was not afraid of the few people from Firefox escaping as long as they dared to run. In a moment, he would be able to use his domain to kill them. Little Jia, really want to go find the location of the boss body of these monsters? Xiao Wanru took Chen Jie's hand and was a little worried. The living sacrificial spirits encountered just now. Xiao Wanru had felt them herself. And their aura. The intensity could be several points stronger than ordinary monstrous monsters. If they were to face their boss body, Chen Jie was afraid that he would be in danger. Don't worry. I have my measure. If you want to improve, how can you do it without some adventure? Chen Jie tenderly touched Xiao Wanru's head. Of course he knew that there was a certain amount of danger in finding these living sacrificial spirit boss instants to challenge. However, in this crisis-ridden post-apocalyptic world, if one kept resting on their laurels, they would only die a worse death. You have to know that monsters are constantly evolving, and the speed of evolution can be faster than ordinary awakened people. In order to protect himself and the people he loves, he had to take this risk. Lead the way. Chen Jie turned his head to Firefox and said, Now, Firefox shrunk his neck. He had just experienced life and death, and now he was about to set off again. Of course, the living sacrificial spirit boss body will constantly obtain the energy they collect. The more we delay, this living sacrificial spirit boss will only grow stronger. Chen Jie said with a straight face, All right, but as promised, I'm not going to make a move. When we reach the place, I'm going to flee with my squad. Firefox emphasized once again. As he felt that Chen Jie's actions were a complete death sentence, 
Even though he knew that Chen Jia was strong, there was also the mysterious domain. However, in their minds, the living sacrificial spirit boss was stronger. No problem. Chen Jia's face was calm. These few people, in the first place, were of little use. He would not force them to stay. After agreeing on it, Chen Jie arranged Lin Yao to bring those few weaklings from the school at the hospital. He and Xiao Wanru followed the Firefox squad and searched for the living sacrificial spirit essence together. Braving the heavy rain, they traveled for half an hour. Chen Jie and Firefox arrived at a park. This park had been scrapped before the end of the world. There were basically no people that roamed around in it. Just after arriving here, Chen Jie felt a strong, chilly aura wafting out from within. This is the place. Along the way, there will be quite a few living sacrificial spirits appearing. So help us remove them, Firefox said in a low voice. He was afraid that he would startle the living sacrificial spirits in the vicinity. Being chased just now had caused him to have some shadows. Chen Jie nodded. Against these ordinary living sacrificial spirits, it was nothing more than a thought for him. And the moment Chen Jie had just stepped into the park, he was like a prey crashing into a spider's web. Suddenly, one by one, the surrounding living sacrificial spirits, which were similar to the previous ones, rushed towards their position. It was densely packed like migrating ants. So many. Firefox took a deep breath, a little nervous. If she was the one to deal with it alone, he basically gave up resisting. All die for me. Chen Jie snorted coldly as the god-killing domain unfolded once again. With him as the center, all the living sacrificial spirits within a hundred meters, without exception, all exploded. In no time, the park, which was originally quite clean, was stained with blood. After cleaning up these living sacrificial spirits, Chen Jie's face was calm. It was as if nothing had happened. The team continued to move forward and it took about 10 minutes or so. The crowd arrived in front of a small dirt hill. On top of the hill, there was a huge black coffin. There were eight red ropes tied to the coffin. And under the wash of the years, the color was already a bit dull. Chen Jie had just arrived. A rattling sound came from inside the coffin. Boom boom boom. Noticing the rattling of the coffin, Firefox had already felt a sense of withdrawal. The character inside this coffin was definitely not simple. I've already done what I promised you. The location where I encountered the living sacrificial spirit before is here. If I guessed correctly, the one inside this coffin is the living sacrificial spirit's main body. Firefox said with apprehension, seeing that the living sacrificial spirit's main body inside the coffin was about to come out. He only wanted to leave this haunted place quickly now. He was afraid that Chen Jia would back out. With Chen Jia's strength, there was no chance for them to survive if he backtracked. It can. You guys go. Chen Jia's face was calm. There was no intention of leaving these few people behind. Take care. Firefox clasped his fists, then led the few squad members behind him in a quick retreat, running straight all the way. In no time at all, they ran to the exit of the park. Big sister, that's the body of a living sacrificial spirit. Is that kid crazy? Going to challenge a terrifying existence equivalent to our awakened one's fourth rank. The thin man turned his head to look at the location of the living sacrifice spirit's main body inside the park and was surprised. In the middle of the end times, who wasn't towards meticulous development. Chen Jie, on the other hand, had taken the sword to the other side and sent it directly to the mouth of the monstrous monster. I see him, just floating on the basis that he is a bit capable now, confidently going over the level to challenge. Pure madness, how can I say that I'm also a third order awakened? When I saw that black coffin just now, my body's mimetic battle spirit was shaking. Firefox squad crow analyzed. He was standing in front of the black coffin just now and had already been shivering in both strands. In her eyes Chen Jie was a living madman. Don't mind so much. This time, we came out to do the mission and we were able to return to the Union alive. There are still 10 spirit crystals to turn in for the mission. It's already good enough. Whether Chen Jie is dead or alive has nothing to do with us. Firefox glanced slightly worriedly in the direction of the black coffin and turned around to be the first to rush out of the park. She actually hoped that Chen Jie would survive. After all, in her eyes, Chen Jie was still considered a man of his word. However, wanting to survive under the hands of that terrifying existence, difficult, the living sacrificial spirit being inside this black coffin, even her chairman, she didn't feel that she had half a chance against it. In a short while, the people from the Dragon Yen squad had already disappeared at the exit of the park. In the entire park at this time, only Chen Jie and Xiao Wanru were left. Wanru, scared? Chen Jie's mouth revealed a smile as he opened his mouth to ask, as expected, in this life. Even when encountering such a dangerous situation, the person who had always been willing to accompany him or her was still Xiao Wanru. It was still Xiao Wanru, not afraid. With little Jie you're here, I'm not afraid of anything. Xiao Wanru's gaze was firm. Even though, 
The aura coming from the black coffin caused her mimic battle spirit to have some reactions. She was not afraid either. She believed that since Chen Jie was willing to bring her here, there was no way he would let her truly fall into danger. Of course, even if it was dangerous, as long as Chen Jie was there, she would not turn her back. Silly girl, I won't let the slightest thing happen to you. Don't worry and leave it to me, Chen Jie said in a gentle tone. At the same time, he reached out his hand and gently stroked Xiao Wanru's long, black and silky hair. In this life, he definitely wanted Xiao Wanru to live a life that was a thousand times better than others. Therefore, this living sacrificial spirit essence, he must touch it. Of course, he had a certain degree of certainty about challenging this living sacrificial spirit being. Otherwise, he wouldn't have come to take this risk. His awakened talent, which came with the Pangu bloodline, was inherently self-suppressive towards such an evil spirit body. Coupled with the Hongmeng clear and turbid Qi, recognizing the weaknesses of this living sacrificial spirit was even less of a concern. After thinking clearly, Chen Jie summoned the heaven-opening axe from his hand. When he encountered this kind of evil spirit, the golden-colored light on top of the heaven-opening axe was even more dazzling. The thing inside, it seemed, also sensed the presence of Chen Jie's heaven-opening axe. It began to tremble continuously, and the coffin, which was still fairly stable, began to emit more frequent thumping sounds. The red threads on top of the coffin repeatedly emitted a red light. At this rate, these red threads would no longer be able to control the living sacrificial spirit being inside this coffin. Roar roar roar, a horrifying sound, as if coming from the middle of hell, shocked the various living beings in this heaven and earth. A few mutated crows, upon hearing the sound, chirped a few times and fled in a panic towards a more distant string. Boom boom boom, the sky had already become sparse with rain, and at this time, it was even more electric and thunderous. Lighting up a large portion of the sky, it was as if, an even more violent storm was about to descend. Mimic battle spirits come out as well. Chen Jie waved both fingers of his left hand, and two channels of Hongmeng clear and turbid Qi transformed into golden dragons that rushed out of him into the sky. The golden dragon's eyes raged with might, staring at the black coffin in front of him. Everything was ready. Chen Jie rose into the air and stood in the air like a small giant. The flickering thunder in the air was like a stage theater giving the main character a special hit of light. Come out, I've been waiting for you for a long time. Chen Jie murmured and slowly raised his heaven-opening axe. Strong energy fluctuations, from the body of the heaven-opening axe, emanated out. The surroundings had changed in color. The black coffin side was pitch black, while Chen Jie's side was generous with golden light. A piece of heaven and earth had been rigidly divided into two halves. Human, do you really dare to provoke me? Just as Chen Jie was about to chop down, a rather majestic voice came out from within the black coffin. It was withered and powerful. It had been dormant here, only waiting for the living sacrificial spirit to transmit a constant stream of energy for it, waiting to completely evolve and then in come out. What he didn't expect was that it hadn't waited for it, to usher in the time for evolution. A human carrying a breath that collided with it had already stood in front of it. The point was, this human, was only at the third stage of awakened. Surprisingly, it dared to come and provoke him. A ghost-level deformed monster. It was really too much to put him in his eyes. What's there to not dare? Get the hell out of here. Chen Jie grinned, not taking what the other party said. To heart at all. Open the heavens and open the earth. Chen Jie held the heaven-opening axe with both hands and slashed out from the top. The heaven-opening axe was glittering with light. The shadow on its body also became more and more solidified. As Chen Jie improved, his talent, heaven-opening, also evolved. Just... The aftermath of the heaven opening axe was able to turn the rain curtain into two halves in the sky. The surrounding trees were all rolled off. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. The heaven opening axe slashed straight on top of the black coffin. A loud ringing sound shook the entire sky. The Firefox squad, who had long ago run far away, at this time, were able to hear the rattles coming from this side of the park. Unbridled, human mole crickets. How dare you move earth in front of this father. I didn't look for trouble from you humans. You should have burned incense and worshipped Buddha a long time ago. Instead, you dare to mess with me. I don't think there's any need for you humans to exist anymore. Provoked, the voice in the coffin was extremely angry. The Long Yin squad that had already run far away. Suddenly, they encountered a team full of armor. In no time, Firefox recognized the other party. This was the team led by the president of their union. The person walking at the front was the strongest person of their union. Long Xiaotian. Firefox, why are you guys at this location? How is the mission of performing the living sacrificial spirit completed? How come there are only these few people left in your squad? Where are the others? Long Xiaotian similarly recognized Firefox. He had come this time for the living sacrificial spirit main body as well. 
It was heard that killing a living sacrificial spirit being would be able to obtain a large amount of rewards. This opportunity, as the union's boss, he was definitely not willing to give it up. Before Firefox could answer Long Xiaotian's question, Crow, who was on the side, began to commiserate. His voice was extremely difficult to hear. Boss, we were originally on a mission, but we encountered a group of living sacrificial spirits chasing us. The people in the squad died and were injured. That's not the key. What's even more crucial is that all of our spirit crystals were robbed by one called Chinjie. Crow could twist the truth. For the sake of Long Xiaotian being able to help them get their spirit crystals back, that was a few hundred spirit crystals. With Long Xiaotian's strength, he would definitely be able to get them back. At that time, how would they be able to get another portion? As for, the fact, in front of the interests, it doesn't matter at all. The Firefox, on the other hand, did not make a sound. After listening to the words of the crows, she had been to what the crows wanted to do. Those spirit crystals, is also her hard work to obtain. Can with the help of Long Xiaotian's hand, recovered some, she was happy as hell. Chen Jie, rushing to have never heard of this name. Now what kind of cat or dog also dares to spread wild on our union head? Listening to Crow's statement, Long Xiaotian's face was gloomy. As the president, when the union's members were bullied, he was the one who had to step in. Where is that person now? Take me there. Long Xiaotian's tone was tinged with anger. It's not far from the park. He's now dealing with the monsters inside the black coffin. Boss, we can when he's tired. Come with a sneak attack. At that time, they snipe. We reap the benefits. Crow rubbed his hands together with a sinister face. Previously, after being robbed of so many crystals by Chen Jie, he had long hated Chen Jie to the bone. Lead the way. Long Xiaotian did not say anything more. Only repeating once more. Sneak attack? This kind of thing, he definitely would not do. If it was spread to the ears of, say, other unions, he would not need to take the name of this president. However, a person with an unremarkable statement, actually dared to challenge, the living sacrificial spirit's main body inside the coffin. This was quite shocking to him, that living sacrificial spirit being, he had discovered it long ago. Only, at that time, he was only an awakened third stage. Just standing in front of the coffin would make his legs tremble much less challenge the other party. Later on, after returning to the labor union, through the spirit crystals collected up, he was forcefully raised to the fourth rank. Only then did he dare to come and check out the black coffin. Danger was often accompanied by rich rewards, and he didn't want to give away the rewards of the living sacrificial spirit essence. Inside the park, after Chen Jie used the heaven opening axe to split the coffin, a burst of overwhelming black chi emerged from inside. It didn't take long for the black chi to be able to gather into a huge monstrous monster. He was the original body of the living sacrificial spirit, the sacrificial spirit king. The sacrificial spirit king, as a whole, looked like an octopus, with countless claws and teeth on top of his attached tentacles. A pair of reddish eyes were filled with a murderous aura. Human, you seek death, disturbing my father's rest, your time to die has come. The voice of the sacrificial spirit king slowly came out from within his torso. Before he could complete his evolution, he was interrupted by Qin Jie, although, he could hibernate again. However, Chen Jie's behavior made him extremely annoyed. In particular, Chen Jie was still human. Originally, humans were all in the category of his food. Now it was good that the food jumped up and bit people. Could he endure this? Immediately, the two large tentacles, like two whips swung out with full force, smashed towards Chen Jie's position. A flash of light flashed in Chen Jie's eyes as he dodged sideways to avoid the attack. The tentacles landed on top of the open space in the park. A half-meter deep pit was smashed out hard and the reinforced concrete of the ground crumbled inch by inch. This hit, if it landed on an ordinary third order awakened, it could basically kill them all. Good speed, you're not an ordinary awakened, to compensate me, become my food. Seeing the ordinary attacks, they didn't work. The sacrificial spirit king opened his ladybird mouth, and a gust of gloomy wind immediately rushed out from his mouth, the location where the ghastly wind swept through. All of the things above the location would be swept into the sacrificial spirit king's mouth. Even though Chen Jie's speed was very fast, those in winds still swept into his legs. At once, Chen Jie felt that his body was being torn by a mysterious force. Battle spirit, go! Chen Jie bellowed, and pointed both his fingers at the sacrificial spirit king's mouthpiece. The two golden dragons, hissed up to the sky. Immediately, the golden dragons swept towards the sacrificial spirit king's mouth. Boom! The golden dragons and the sacrificial spirit king collided together, bringing up monstrous waves the vegetation of the entire park was lifted up. Even some of the nearby buildings were similarly destroyed to pieces. After the collision, the golden dragon dissipated. 
and Chen Jie felt that his breath was a little unstable in his chest. The sacrificial spirit king, on the other hand, spat out a mouthful of pitch black colored blood. Roar, human, if I hadn't not evolved, pinching you to death right now would be as simple as pinching an ant, eating a blow. The sacrificial spirit king was a bit surprised, and at the same time, was even more furious. A mere third stage awakened human was able to shake him. This made him feel disgraced. If only your attacks were as powerful as your words, Chen Jie disdainfully said. Once again, he vibrated the heaven opening axe in his hand. Heaven opening, another strike, damn it. The sacrificial spirit king hastily swung his two hardened tentacles to block. Put. The heaven opening axe was extremely sharp and instantly left a deep wound on top of the sacrificial spirit king's tentacles. Just like that? Chen Jie sneered. With that, he leapt into midair. With another axe, he slashed towards the head of the sacrificial spirit king. You're the one who forced me. The sacrificial spirit king seemed to have made a kind of determination. A mass of black mist was spat out from his mouth, instantly sweeping the entire area in front of him. Chen Jie did not know what this was. Putting away his heaven opening axe, he hastily retreated. The black mist carried a strong corrosive nature, and the piece of flat land in front of the square sacrificial spirit king was corroded out by these black mists into a three to four meter large pit. Only a few moments later, the skin on the surface of the body of the sacrificial spirit king and the black mist actively absorbed the black mist. After that, the sacrificial spirit king's body began to flash with red light, expanding without stopping. The breath was also climbing. The sacrificial spirit king went berserk. The level that was only at the early fourth stage of awakened one directly skyrocketed to the peak of the fourth stage. Boom! Right at this moment, the sacrificial spirit king dodged in front of Chen Jie, and a huge outburst instantly slapped down. Chen Jie hastily dodged to avoid it. Boom, boom, boom. After the sacrificial spirit king slapped the air, the original place where Chen Jie stayed, the earth cracked inch by inch, and huge broken stones flew everywhere. Many houses and buildings were smashed. Swish. Chen Jie took advantage of the gap between the other party's shooting blanks and backhanded an axe down. The sharp edge of the heaven opening axe chopped right on top of the sacrificial spirit king's tentacles. Dang. A crisp crash sounded. It was like chopping on steel. The body of this sacrificial spirit king had been greatly strengthened. This axe didn't have any effect. It didn't even manage to break through the opponent's surface defense. The powerful recoil, in turn, shocked Chen Jie to the point where his hands went numb and he took several steps back. Little Jie, are you alright? Seeing Chen Jie chopping back, Xiao Wanru asked with concern. At the same time, she summoned his green scale longsword and prepared to fight the enemy together. It's fine. No need for you to come up and help. Give me some time. Chen Jie reached out and stopped Xiao Wanru. He wanted to challenge the sacrificial spirit king alone. Only by facing a strong challenge could he truly improve his fighting ability. Only, right now, this sacrificial spirit king was in a strengthened state with a terrifying defense. Chen Jie's heaven opening axe, under normal circumstances, unexpectedly had no way to break through its defense. Roar, human, die for me. Before Chen Jie could catch his breath, Another tentacle of the sacrificial spirit king descended from the sky, bringing up a strong wind. By this time, Chen Jie was already unable to dodge. The two channels of Hongmeng Clear and Turbid Qi took the initiative to protect the lord, and in front of Chen Jie, a huge shield was formed. Boom! A powerful collision sound resounded through the heavens. This slap completely sent Chen Jie flying. The sacrificial spirit king, on the other hand, was not affected in the slightest and only retracted its tentacle preparing to switch to another tentacle to continue the attack. Ha ha ha, human, enjoy your death. Seeing that Chen Jie could only passively defend, the sacrificial spirit king grew more and more arrogant. The body squirmed for a while and rushed over once again. Ho ho ho, Chen Jie stood up and took two breaths. Inside his body right now, his hot blood was churning, as if it was a battle like this that was able to completely energize the Pango bloodline in his body. The sacrificial spirit king's defense was too strong. If without being able to break through his defense head-on, it was basically impossible to kill him. At this point, there was also no choice but to once again try the move that was used against the mouse man last time, fusing the Hongmeng clear in turbid chi with the heaven opening axe. Even, add the god killing domain as well if you can. Thinking of this, Chen Jie picked up the heaven opening axe, and with a light sweep of his hand on it, two channels of Hongmeng clear turbid chi were attached to it. With a gaze of his eyes, blood red aura was also displayed on it. This was the effect of a domain attaching to a weapon. In just an instant, the heaven opening axe underwent a qualitative change. Monstrous killing intent pumped out from it, and its body shone with a bloodthirsty red light that looked terrifying. The fusion was complete. Chen Jie let out a long breath of relief. Next, let's try this fused heaven opening axe. 
After all of this last night, the sacrificial spirit king's attack also struck again. A tentacle that was even thicker and more powerful than before, swept up the wind and blasted straight down at Chen Jie's face. Tai. Chen Jie dodged to the right to avoid the strike. At the same time, he flipped in the air, his body carrying the axe like a high-speed spinning gyroscope. The scarlet color of the heaven opening axe shone throughout the park. Heaven opening. Boom. Plop. The heaven opening axe mercilessly penetrated the sacrificial spirit king's strike. This axe easily sliced through the sacrificial spirit king's body while chopping off his tentacles. A large amount of black blood gushed out from his wounds. It was like a firefighting jet hose. Moreover, under the blessing of the slaying god domain, the wound was, for a short period of time, unable to recover. Now, it's my turn to counterattack. Chen Jie grinned, lifted his heaven opening axe, and attacked again. Damned human. The sacrificial spirit king felt pain for the first time, and regardless of the originally broken tentacle, replaced it with a tentacle. Once again, it slapped at Chen Jie. Chen Jie did not hide, and with a frontal axe, he slashed through the sky to fight the opponent head on. Bang bang bang, the battle between the two was instantaneous, and a burst of clashing sounds resounded in the park. In less than three minutes, the sacrificial spirit king was already covered in wounds, coupled with the special nature of Chen Jie's god-killing domain. The sacrificial spirit king's body had been unable to recover, the blood in his body was losing little by little, and the strength of his body was slowly weakening. Damn it! The sacrificial spirit king was furious. He fought with Chen Jie with all his might. As a monstrous monster powerhouse, he would never allow a human to stand on his head. At once, the, the park once again shook non-stop, and with Chen Jie as the center, all the surrounding vegetation and buildings were overturned and shattered. A whole five minutes of fighting went on. The tentacles on the sacrificial spirit king's body were all chopped off by Chen Jie, with most of them only half remaining. At this point, the sacrificial spirit king had completely fallen into a disadvantage. It was also unable to fight Chen Jie head on once again. Human, I'll remember you. The sacrificial spirit king gave Chen Jie a resentful glance as his mouth spat out a large amount of black mist. Immediately afterward, his body rapidly shrunk, wanting to take advantage of the cover of this black mist to quickly escape. Anyway, he was able to utilize the sacrificial spirit to continuously absorb energy. It would not be too late to seek revenge on Chen Jie later. Noticing that something was wrong, Chen Jie immediately transferred the Hong Meng clear and turbid chi to his eyes. His eyes immediately glowed with golden light as he began to search for the location of the sacrificial spirit king. Trying to run? In no time, Chen Jie locked onto the sacrificial spirit king's location. Whoosh! Chen Jie made a displacement and immediately arrived in front of the sacrificial spirit king. Human! Do you have to rush all of us? The sacrificial spirit king stared resentfully at Chen Jie. Before Chen Jie could speak, two channels of pitch black mucus were spat out from his mouth. This slime with powerful corrosive properties could kill Chen Jie. Unfortunately, Chen Jie was always on guard. With just an easy flash, he dodged the sacrificial spirit king's sneak attack. You can die now. Chen Jie raised his axe and slashed down from the top. Put. The body of the sacrificial spirit king was instantly split in half by Chen Jie. Human. You deserve to die. I swear by the sacrificial spirit. Curse you to never find peace. The miserable screams of the sacrificial spirit king resounded through the sky. Afterwards, two black grievances rose up. Chen Jie did not give it a chance to stay at all. As the Hongmeng clear and turbid chi transformed into a golden dragon. A volume of. Allowing the grievances to not even have a chance to dissipate. Successfully killing the sacrificial spirit king. Five different colors of light emerged from its octopus-like body. Countless spirit crystals exploded out from within its torso. This reward was simply too rich. It was ten times richer than all the monstrous monsters he had hacked and slashed back before. A hundred times, Chen Jie put away his heaven opening axe and rushed forward to check. Chen Jie did not look at the many spirit crystals. His attention was fully placed on the five different colored light clusters. A normal aberration monster would only explode one or two light clusters. This sacrificial spirit king directly exploded five. And they were all different colors. How could this not make Chen Jie excited? Picked up all of the light clusters. The first white light cluster was actually a treasure chest. Open the treasure chest. A porcelain bottle turned up in front of Chen Jie. Physique potion. Chen Jie looked at the porcelain bottle in front of him with shock. The words body potion were clearly written on it. This thing, Chen Jie knew, was able to help awakened individuals directly enhance their physique. A normal awakened person who wanted to enhance their physique could only do so through upgrading. This potion, on the other hand, was a direct boost to your physique. In other words, within the same stage, your physique would be stronger than others. Good stuff. After storing the physique potion, Chen Jie then checked the cyan-colored light ball. Inside it was clearly a silver-grade equipment. In the end times, 
killing monstrous monsters would also drop equipment. The basic levels, from low to high, were bronze, silver, gold, purple diamond, epic, legendary, and immortal. By possessing these equipments, one would no longer need to purely rely on their physique to withstand attacks. This silver equipment, Chen Jia had just gotten it in his hands when a piece of information immediately entered his mind. Squid armor, capable of counteracting 50% of attacks from below the ghost level. Strong. This silver equipment. Chen Jia only had one strong word to evaluate it. With this defensive equipment, coupled with the four pole and five mountains battle armor that he himself came with, it could be said that no aberrant monster at the ghost level stage could harm him in the slightest. There was also a purple ball of light left. It was a higher spirit crystal. Chen Jia immediately absorbed the spirit crystal. After the spirit crystal was absorbed into his body, he immediately felt a majestic energy fill his entire body. A barrier within his body was instantly broken. Buzz. A white light flashed as Chen Jia successfully advanced to the fourth stage of Awaken 1. At the same time, the realm was still rising. It didn't stop until the middle of the Awaken 1 fourth stage. The level was raised. But after that, the amount of spirit crystals needed was much higher. And the quality had to be higher as well. There was a red light cluster left. Which Chen Jia continued to probe. Surprisingly, it was a talent. Berserking, upon entering the berserking state, the user will receive a 20% increase in base strength. After the berserking ends, it will enter a weakened state. This talent should be the same as the one used by the sacrificial spirit king just now. 20% boost. It was indeed a good talent. But it couldn't be used casually. Because, after berserking, there would be a period of weakness. Therefore, unless one encounters a special situation, one should not use it if they can. The last remaining light cluster. It was also a silver level equipment. However, it was a necklace. It didn't have much of a role to play. It was only able to withstand a single attack from the ghost level. It didn't have much use for him. Right now, Xiao Wanru was still relatively weak. So he gave the necklace to Xiao Wanru and personally helped her put it on. It was also considered a small gift for Xiao Wanru. The diamonds on this necklace were quite nice. And Xiao Wanru held it in the palm of her hand, smiling like a three or four year old child. As for the crystals scattered on the ground, Chen Jia casually collected them all. Right now, these ordinary crystals, which did not enhance him much, could instead be used by Xia Wanru to enhance. It's over. Let's go back. Chen Jia put away the heaven opening axe, pulled Xia Wanru's hand and walked towards the entrance of the park. Just after walking not much farther, he immediately met up with Firefox and the others. Boss, he's the one who snatched our crystals. Seeing Chen Jia man, Crow immediately stood out and pointed at Chen Jia and shouted. Long Xiaotian, who was on the side, glanced at Chen Jia filled with anger. You're the one who snatched away what belonged to the people of my Long Yan Union. Long Xiaotian had an overbearing look. He had previously heard that Chen Jia was only an awakened third stage. Therefore, there was some looking down on Chen Jia. Robbing? No, I stepped in to save those few men of yours. And as payment, I took it. Chen Jia frowned. It seemed that it was now a case of saving someone's life backfiring and being bitten back. These people. They should have just killed them all in the first place. However, now, it seemed that this group of people were bound to find trouble with him. There was no difference between killing early and killing late. Aren't you, the sacrificial spirit king fighting? Where is the sacrificial spirit king? Seeing Chen Jia come out peacefully, Firefox asked suspiciously. Compared to, the dispute over the spirit crystals, she was more concerned about this issue. The sacrificial spirit king, has been killed by me. Chen Jia returned salaciously. The moment these words came out, everyone present was shocked. They had all been people who had been frantically hunted down by the sacrificial spirit king's little brother, the living sacrificial spirit. And now this man in front of them had actually killed the head of the living sacrificial spirit, the sacrificial spirit king. This was simply unbelievable. The point is, he's only a third order awakened ah, ha ha ha, big talk. I've encountered that sacrificial spirit king before. When I was at the peak of the third rank, not to mention killing him, I probably wouldn't be able to do it in a head-on confrontation. Firefox said before, you are only at the third rank. You said you killed the sacrificial spirit king. Bragging is not afraid of flashing your waist. Long Xiaotian didn't believe it at all. Even if he was at the early fourth rank now, he felt that he couldn't kill the sacrificial spirit king. The other party, a mere third order. How was this possible? Believe it or not. Now if you guys are looking for trouble, hurry up. If you're fine, get out of my way. Chen Jie's domineering aura was overwhelming. He summoned the Mimic Battle Spirit. With the increase in rank, his Mimic Battle Spirit, too, had been upgraded to a certain extent. Originally, 
It was only a few dozen battles in size of the golden dragon visualized by the Hongmen clear and turbid Qi. It was now as high as a hundred or so battles. Roar! The golden dragon roared violently, sweeping a strong wave of Qi, charging straight at Long Xiaotian and the others. The other party, except for Long Xiaotian, the others couldn't even stand on their feet. He's already at the fourth rank. Long Xiaotian sensed the strength of Chen Jie's mimic battle spirit and surmised Chen Jie's rank. In this way, the sacrificial spirit king was really killed by Chen Jie. At the thought of this, cold sweat ran down Long Xiaotian's back. However, there was also unwillingness in his heart. He had worked so hard to ascend to the early fourth rank and had wanted to challenge the sacrificial spirit king, but now it was taken by someone else first. After killing the sacrificial spirit king, there must be a generous reward ah. At this point, Long Xiaotian's heart was both a little apprehensive and a little red-eyed. Chen Jie also ignored them and took a step towards the outside of the park. The people from the Dragonitis Union had their heads lowered to make way. Just as Chen Jie was about to walk out of the park entrance, Long Xiaotian clenched his teeth as the evil thoughts in his heart took over his brain. If he was able to kill Chen Jie, all the rewards on him would be his. In a flash, those who forcefully rob my union members will be killed. Long Xiaotian positively bellowed. Immediately afterward, he summoned a long purple chi sword and stabbed it violently towards Chen Jie's back heart. You seek death. Chen Jie immediately sensed the other party's energy fluctuation when Long Xiaotian stabbed out this sword. Now that he had been upgraded to the late fourth stage of Awakened One, that sensing ability was no joke. Chen Jie turned around and flicked his hands, blocking Long Xiaotian's long sword away. A powerful recoil shook Long Xiaotian's long sword until it came out of his hand. Long Xiaotian's eyes widened as he looked at the long sword that came out of his hand. His face was full of incredulity. He was at the fourth level of Awakened One, even within the same rank. It was impossible for someone to easily shake his long sword out of his hand. Chen Jie, however, only gently blocked it. Long Xiaotian felt that the sword in his hand had hit Tarzan. The powerful force made him unable to hold the sword in his hand at all. After shocking Long Xiaotian's long sword off, Chen Jie did not intend to let him go just like that. With a thought, the heaven-opening axe in his hand immediately manifested, daring to sneak up on me. I thought that the people of the Dragonflame Union were some kind of decent people, but it turns out that they are all villains. However, those who think ill of me, I will generally not leave him alive in this world. Chen Jie's voice was low, like a lion about to rage. After saying that, then, the heaven opening axe aimed a chop at Long Xiaotian's head. The monstrous might of the heaven opening axe even made Long Xiaotian almost unable to move. Fortunately, he, a fourth order awakened person, was not a vegetarian. With his awareness, he dodged Chen Jie's first axe in front of him. Boom! Chen Jie's axe cleaved through the air, directly splitting on top of the earth with a sound that resounded through the sky. The originally intact ground was directly split in the middle by his comb. The cracked ground was able to accommodate two adults. Long Xiaotian looked at the cracked ground in front of him and sucked in a mouthful of cold air. If this axe had struck his body, he would have to immediately split into two halves. However, his talent was special. He was able to suddenly increase his strength by 300% in a short period of time. Finding an opportunity, Long Xiaotian did not think that it was impossible to kill Chen Jie back. After thinking clearly, Long Xiaotian summoned back his longsword. Chen Jie, I admit, your power is very strong, but don't think that you can deal with me like this. Long Xiaotian was still very confident. With a wipe of the longsword in his hand, the originally plain and uneventful longsword was attached to a flame by him. In the rainy night, it looked very dazzling. This is the boss's fire talent, attaching it to the top of the weapon. Not only is it able to increase the damage, but after wounding the opponent, it is also able to provide scorching damage. This is the third time I've seen boss use this move, and when he used it before, it was only used to kill peak 4th rank monsters. Chen Jie is dead. It's an honor for Chen Jie to die under this move of the boss. The people from the Dragon Flame Union, seeing Long Xiaotian's flame-attached longsword, immediately pronounced the death sentence for Chen Jie. Chen Jie, you can sleep in peace. The corner of Long Xiaotian's mouth leaked out a smile that allowed him to do so, pointing at Chen Jie with his longsword as he excitedly said, It's not just a talent attached to a weapon. Chen Jie shook his head disdainfully. He then placed the heaven opening axe in his hand and raised it up. Two channels of Hongmen clear and turbid Qi rushed out from the arm position and wrapped around the body of the heaven opening axe. A dragon's roar came out from within the heaven opening axe. The intense gold colored light immediately illuminated the entire sky. In comparison, Long Xiaotian's flaming sword. It was as if it was a burning stick under the sun. It was mediocre. Being suppressed by Qin Jie in terms of effect directly infuriated Long Xiaotian who couldn't say half a word. He clenched his teeth and raised his longsword up, and a wang sound appeared. Not long after, a huge fire phoenix slowly awoke from behind him. 
The golden eyes carried a bit of might. There was a steep shock. The entirety of the Fire Phoenix's wings spread out, and the space around it all trembled. Fire Phoenix, go! Long Xiaotian shouted violently. His long sword gently pointed towards Chen Jie's position. The Fire Phoenix in the sky let out a shrill cry, wrapped in gale force winds, then swooped over towards Chen Jie. Tiny crow chicken, how dare you act recklessly? Chen Jie rotated his heaven opening axe and two days of giant dragons through the sky suddenly appeared. Roar roar roar. The giant dragon roared as the two dragons circled around each other and together. They rushed towards the fire phoenix in front of them. The divine objects summoned by the two collided together in mere moments. Boom. The powerful energy from the collision swept out in all directions. The park's originally crumbling gate was instantly reduced to pieces. The surrounding plants and stones were even shaken to the point of being crumbs. The members of the Dragonitis squad next to them could only protect their hands in front of their bodies unable to open their eyes. After more than 10 seconds had passed since the explosion, only then did it gradually return to calm. At this time, Chen Jie stood in front of the park entrance in a dignified manner. On the other hand, Long Xiaotian, who was on the far side of him, might not be so relaxed. At this moment, the clothes on Long Xiaotian's body had already disintegrated as much as they could, and a trail of blood burst out from his torso. Pooh, Long Xiaotian spat out a long mouthful of blood. He looked at Chen Jie with fear and hatred in his eyes. He could hardly believe what had just happened. When the dragon and phoenix had just started to collide, the forces were still relatively balanced. However, in just a few seconds, he sensed that the twin dragons summoned by Chen Jie had a constant flow of energy. It was in a matter of moments that his fire phoenix was instantly crushed by Chen Jie's golden dragon. The remaining residual waves of energy all hit him. At this moment, all the bones in his body had been churned by the golden dragon, and it was all through his will that allowed him to still stand. Ha! Your golden dragon! is just. So, come again. Long Xiaotian glanced at the members around him and said with a pretense of strength. And at this time, Chen Jie already knew that Long Xiaotian was also just running out of oil. The whole body was just mouth and mouth. He simply could no longer withstand Chen Jie's next attack. Of course, Chen Jie also knew why the other party was still exiting and provoking at this time. His team members were here. And he definitely couldn't be like Lin Yao, who couldn't defeat him and immediately surrendered. For the sake of face, this person chose to die standing. Chen Jie's face was cold, since the other party had already chosen to die. Then, he will fulfill him. In a flash, Chen Jie transformed into a shadow, just like a shocking shadow, flashing past Long Xiaotian's body, without making the slightest sound. The heaven-opening axe had already silently slashed across Long Xiaotian's throat. Ah, uh, Long Xiaotian's throat let out an odd bubbling sound as a drop of blood gushed out from his throat, followed by blood flowing like a column body. Plop! Long Xiaotian's head fell to the ground. You guys, whoever still wants to find me to get back the spirit crystal, feel free to speak. Chen Jie turned his head and raised his heaven opening axe, pointing it at the remaining people of the Dragonitis Union. Even Long Xiaotian, the president, was beheaded by Chen Jie after two moves. The others, where would they dare to make a sound? Each and every one of them dodged backward in fear. In the end, only Firefox was left standing in front of Chen Jie. Do you still want to go back to your spirit crystal? Chen Jie raised his axe and aimed it at the firefox. As long as the other party said the word want, in the next second, Chen Jie would kill her without hesitation. No, 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 I didn't. I, I want to become your subordinate. Of course, recognizing you as your master is fine. Firefox lowered her head. She knew that she was very lowly in this current state. However, in order to live in the midst of the end times, she had to force herself to cling to someone more powerful. Forget it, you. Little Jie, leave her behind. Before Chen Jie could refuse, Xiao Wanru spoke out, urging Chen Jie to leave Firefox behind. Originally, Chen Jie wanted to reject Firefox because he was afraid that Xiao Wanru would mind. There was no shortage of such things as servants. Since, now that Xiao Wanru took the initiative to want to leave Firefox behind, Chen Jie naturally did not say anything more. Instead, he nodded and allowed the Firefox to stay. As for why Xiao Wanru wanted to leave Firefox behind, she was thinking that in the midst of the doomsday, when there were so many crises, she was able to have one more person to accompany Chen Jie, and one more person to help Chen Jie. At this time, Firefox also knew that she was able to stay by Chen Jie thanks to Xiao Wanru's retention. Otherwise, she had no chance at all. Thus, Firefox immediately smiled joyfully and went forward to take Xiao Wanru's arm. Thank you, sister for taking in. No need. However, since you stayed, sister must be single-minded. Otherwise, Sister's green scale longsword will not be able to spare you. Xiao Wanru's tone was gentle. On the surface, it appeared to be a simple reminder to Firefox. 
In reality, it was a blatant threat. As long as Firefox dared to do the slightest thing to apologize to Chen Jie, she would be the first person to kill Firefox. The rest of you, are you prepared to continue to stay and wait for me to clean up, or leave on your own? Chen Jie turned his head to look at the other Dragonitis Union people. Hearing Chen Jie's words, the remaining members of the Dragonflame Union immediately fled in a panic string in all directions. It was also at this time that Xiao Wanru turned her head to glance at Firefox, sensing Xiao Wanru's eyes. Firefox immediately understood what it meant. She needed to turn in a pitch. The hand that was originally holding Xiao Wanru's hand instantly detached. The Firefox turned into a flame and rushed out, going after the remnants of the Dragonflame Union that had just fled the string. Put. Not long after, the Firefox's sharp claws penetrated the chest of the nearest person. It was none other than his old team member from before. Crow. Crow turned his head in disbelief to look at Firefox behind him, his voice hoarse and unable to make a single superfluous sound. After resolving the crows, Firefox continued to hunt down the rest of the remaining party. After three minutes, the Firefox was covered in blood and stood in front of Xiao Wan Rua and Chen Jia. Sister is really a resourceful person. Knowing that Xiao Jia doesn't like to leave behind a scourge, she took the initiative to kill these people. Come back with us first and find a place to take a bath. Xiao Wan Ru's mouth was tinged with a smile as she complimented Firefox. I will continue to work hard. Firefox lowered his head and answered in a deep voice. Killing her former union members with her own hands was a bit hard on her heart. However, in order to survive better, she had no choice. At the abandoned decapitated Ratman's hospital, be good and become my food. A frightening and terrifying voice echoed in the middle of the hospital hall. Lin Yao and those students who had been brought back from school were gathered together. Back to back. Eyes staring in terror at the darkness around them. What kind of monster is this? Pretending to be a god. Come out. Lin Yao shouted into the darkness. He was at least a third order awakened. And was still able to calmly deal with this situation. The rest of those students. The ones with poorer mental qualities had already pissed their pants. Why? We just experienced the rat people. And now there are monsters coming. When will this end times end? I don't want to die. I just want to live. Woo woo. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. My flesh is sour. I haven't bathed in a few days. Those students brought out by the school had already made a mess. It was obvious that they had already been scared out of their wits. And just by listening to the voices coming from within the darkness, they had already begun to tremble. That's all you guys have. The monster hasn't even come out yet and you're all starting to wail and scream. The louder you scream, the faster you die. Lin Yao held his longsword and shouted at the students behind him. Being like them would only make the monstrous monster more excited. Brother Lin, you say it lightly, you're the only one here who has awakened the super martial talent. Of course you're not afraid, if, like us, you had no abilities whatsoever. Would you still be this calm now? Although Lin Shiyu was afraid, he wasn't convinced by Lin Yao's behavior of standing and talking. The hunt begins. Suddenly at that moment, the voice came again. Almost at the same time, a black shadow skimmed past. Swish. One of the students disappeared out of thin air. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, a series of miserable cries came out from the darkness. The screams made everyone present feel a chill down their backs when they heard them. If this continues, we will only become his food one by one. Instead of sitting around like this, we should just break out. A boy Anon shouted, then rushed out towards the entrance of the hospital. But he had only taken a few steps. There was a swish sound. His entire person disappeared in front of the crowd, and even, Everyone didn't see clearly how he actually disappeared. What can we do about this? Where's my big brother Chen? Come back and save my little brother. Lin Shiyu clutched the duffel bag in his hands in despair, begging for Chen Jie to appear. Let me try you. After the black shadow finished with the escaping boys, his target turned to Lin Yao. He was the only awakened here. It stood out in the eyes of the black shadow. Extraordinarily delicious. Swish. The black shadow quickly swept past and pounced on Lin Yao. But Lin Yao wasn't a vegetarian either and immediately reacted, waving his longsword and slashing at the direction the black shadow swept from. Dang! A crisp collision sounded. Lin Yao's longsword also flew out, leaving a pitch-black handprint on his ultra-martial armor. If, it wasn't for the protection of his armor, he was afraid that he would have been penetrated by this black hand by now. Even Lin Yao was no match for the black shadow. The students fell into deeper despair. Roar! Suddenly, a dragon roar broke the despair as a golden dragon rushed in, from outside the hospital lighting up the entire hospital. It likewise lit up the fire of hope in the hearts of the students. They knew that their savior, Chen Jia had returned. Big brother Chen, my good big brother, you have finally returned. Seeing Chen Jia, Lin Shiyu was the first to ignore the danger and rushed out. With a plop, he prostrated himself in front of Chen Jia. With Chen Jia present, the original fear in his heart instantly dissipated. 
When the others saw the scene, they also rushed over, kneeling before Chen Jie. Who wouldn't? When Lin Yao saw that Chen Jie had returned, it was as if he had seen his savior as well. Lin Yao stepped forward and said in a deep voice, Big Brother Chen, you're finally back. I just encountered a weird monster, able to hide in the darkness. Even I, a third order awakened, was not able to detect half of it. In Lin Yao's opinion, Chen Jie was able to save him. The crowd also passed around Chen Jie after calming down. When Chen Jie came back to the hospital, he had already detected the existence of this monstrous monster. However, this monster was different from the normal deformed monster from before. This kind of deformed monster was more due to the brutal and sinister nature that changed again after becoming a monster. This kind of deformed monster was very powerful. Chen Jie vigilantly looked at the writhing body in the darkness. Big brother, will we be able to fix him? Lin Yao stood next to Chen Jie with slight worry. Of course we can. Only, we can't use ordinary means to deal with this kind of monster. Saying this, he reached out to Xiao Wanru behind him. Wanru lend me your green scale longsword. This special, once again changed creature had to use a weapon with lightning attributes to be able to produce greater damage. Hearing that Chen Jie wanted his weapon, with a flip of Xiao Wanru's hand, the green scale longsword appeared in his hand. Little Jie you take it. Xiao Wanru handed the longsword to Chen Jie's hand, which still carried a hint of thunder. The power to exorcise evil had not been cut down by half. At the same time, Chen Jie summoned two channels of Hongmen clear and turbid qi and attached them to the green scale longsword. Instantly, the originally calm green scale longsword emitted a humming sound. The qi of heaven and earth filled its entire body, causing it to enjoy itself immensely. Human, you don't think that you'll be able to deal with me with that longsword in your hand. The voice of the monster in the darkness came out once again, arrogant and incomparable. Chen Jie swung the longsword in his hand out and a huge thunderbolt slashed towards the monster. The thunder shot out, illuminating the entire hospital. At this time, the crowd finally got a good look at the monster. He had five eyes, a mouth full of sharp fangs, and a gray complexion. There was a tail growing behind him, a row of bone spikes stabbing out from his back, and two bloody mouths on his chest. He was short, but looked ferocious. The eyes were filled with magic. The five-eyed deformed monster with a short height let out an inhuman beastly roar from between his throats. The thunder struck him. However, it was no more than that for him, suffering some superficial wounds. He walked towards Chen Jie step by step, his huge paws thudding on the ground. The sharp blade in his hand slashed viciously from top to bottom. So fast, the five-eyed monster was covered in sturdy muscles and erupted with terrifying strength. The speed of the blade's descent under the darkness was so fast that an ordinary person would not be able to react. The air was bursting into flames, and the blades were glowing with sword shadows. Fortunately, Chen Jie had already advanced to the fourth stage of Awakened. Dodging such an attack was naturally no problem. Dang, the monster's sword did not injure Chen Jie for a single point, but instead, it struck the ground. The ground, instantly disintegrated. There were black attachments on it, which felt like an eroding energy. Dodging the other party's knife, Chen Jie flipped his wrist, and his green scale long sword won and stabbed out. It hit one of the monster's eyes. The eye, happened to be the monster's weak point. Coupled with the special exorcism special effect of the green scale longsword, the moment it pierced into the monster, Creepy instantly felt like his entire soul was going to be pierced through by Chen Jie. Ow! The monster screamed in agony, and the sound was even more miserable than the humans he had just abused. Human, you dare to hurt me! The monster stared at Chen Jie with resentment, itching to break Chen Jie into pieces right now. He pushed back to get rid of Chen Jie's longsword. The two mouths on his chest snapped open, and bizarre red light emanated from them. Not long after, two sharp claws, with bright red blood, protruded from inside the mouth. These two sharp claws, with a smooth surface, did not have the slightest biological characteristics at all. It was more like an emotional energy body. This energy came with resentment, pain, and despair. At the same time, some painful wailing sounds vaguely spread out from within the sharp claws. This sharp claw, is not simple. Chen Jie frowned and immediately realized that something was wrong, quickly taking a few steps backward just to be on the safe side. He first observed the peculiarities of the sharp claw. The sharp claw appeared, and after a moment, it locked onto its target and immediately grabbed at Chen Jie. The speed of the sharp claws was extremely fast. Even, it was three times faster than the thunder inspired by the green scale longsword. Swish, in the blink of an eye, the sharp claws had already rushed to Chen Jie. Towards his face, it made a downward grab. Chen Jie held his breath and quickly sidestepped his head, only three centimeters away. The sharp claw would be able to grab Chen Jie's face. One claw fell short, and another sharp claw grabbed from underneath. Dodging the first claw, Chen Jie also had a clear perception of the speed of the sharp claw. Suppressing his spirit to the extreme, 
before the second sharp claw could reach him, Chen Jia had already rolled over and dodged backward by two body lengths. Only, it was as if the sharp claw was self-locking. It pursued Chen Jia relentlessly. Chen Jia stepped on the ground, turned around and attacked back towards the sharp claw. The green scale long sword was pointed straight at the center of the sharp claw. Hiss, wrapped in thunder, the green scale long sword in Chen Jia's hand tore through the claws. However, it was as if it was stabbed on water. It had just been pierced in less than three seconds. The wound of the sharp claw that was split into two halves, as if it had grown blue, came into contact with each other and little by little bonded together again. After regaining it, the green scale long sword doesn't work on it? Chen Jia was slightly surprised in his heart. No wonder, even though it was a monstrous monster belonging to the evil alien category, it did not have the slightest fear of the green scale long sword in Chen Jia's hand. But, where exactly was the weakness of this sharp claw? Chen Jia's brain was spinning rapidly, trying to analyze the weakness of the sharp claws during the battle. Seeing Chen Jia in such a sorry state, the five-eyed monster shook its head and laughed happily. Tiny human, simply laughable. These two pairs of sharp claws of mine are a fusion of the accumulated grievances of countless people. There is no way you can destroy it. Moreover, as long as you are injured a little by it, the endless grievances will erode your body along your wounds. At that time, you will be tortured to death by these resentments. The grievances fused together to form. Chen Jia pondered as he dodged. Xiao Wanru's green scale longsword was able to repel evil spirits, while his Hongmen clear and turbid Qi was just able to crush the grievances. If, fused these two together, wouldn't that be, just enough to deal with this sharp claw? Thinking of this, Chen Jia began to release his Hongmen clear turbid Qi, incorporating a trace of it into the green scale longsword. However, this green scale longsword, acted very resistant, because, it itself was not one with the Hongmeng turbid Qi, it was normal for it to resist, however, at this critical moment, Chen Jia could not care less about whether the green scale longsword resisted or not, injecting a large amount of Hongmeng clear and turbid Qi, he forcibly fused, after the Hongmeng turbid Qi was injected into the green scale longsword, the longsword began to tremble violently, unceasingly emitting a buzzing sound, until finally, it could not withstand it, which forced it to accept Chen Jia's Hongmeng clear turbid Qi. Not long after, it could be considered a successful fusion. This stage seemed very long, but in reality, only a small amount of time had passed. What have you done to this longsword? After the five-eyed monster saw the green scale longsword, there was an extra bit of fear in his eyes. Unlike before, now he vaguely managed to feel the threat from this longsword. That dangerous aura caused his back to chill a little. It's nothing. It's just that the transformation is now enough to be able to take your life. Chen Jie's gaze turned cold as he swung the green scale longsword across. Tap tap tap. Taking several consecutive steps, Chen Jie quickly closed in next to the five-eyed monster. Seeing Chen Jie approaching, the five-eyed monster immediately made a defense, summoning those sharp claws back to its side. Come and try to see if this green scale longsword of mine is sharp or not. Chen Jie aimed everything horizontally at the five-eyed monster's chest area. A dominating white blade suddenly appeared. Seeing Chen Jie's longsword coming, the five-eyed monster's sharp claws directly met it. Put, unfortunately, this sharp claw was not effective at all against Chen Jie's modified green-scale longsword. In an instant, it was split into two sections by him. It was just that. This sharp claw was not that easy to eliminate due to the fact that it was fused using grievances. Therefore, after it was severed, it was still able to regenerate. However, the aura of the sharp claw after regeneration was much weaker than before. It should be Chen Jie's Hongmen clear turbid qi that had worked, being able to regenerate right. Then I will see how many times you can regenerate. Chen Jie did not give the five-eyed monster any chance to catch his breath at all, and the dense attacks pounced on the five-eyed monster like rain, and the five-eyed monster could only passively defend itself in the face of such a dense attack. Human, don't be too complacent, I'll fight you. Seeing that the situation was not good, the five-eyed monster was furious. The original five eyes, one of which had been wasted by Chen Jie, so he fused the remaining four eyes together. It became a supersized one eye. This one eye grew on the two mouths of his stomach. Z, while Chen Jia was busy attacking, this eye suddenly fired a strong laser. This laser, unbiasedly, hit Chen Jia's body exactly. Ha ha ha, great, hit. The five-eyed monster was ecstatic. However, even though it hit, Chen Jia did not react at all. With this amount of attack power, don't bring it out to shame people. The corner of Chen Jia's mouth curled up in a slight smile. He was currently wearing, squid armor. It was able to counteract 50% of attacks from below the ghost level. Coupled with his own S-class chaotic Xian Huang body's powerful bloodline, his physique was already ridiculously strong. In this way, the one-eyed laser that the five-eyed monster was proud of. In reality, hitting Chen Jie's body was like scratching an itch. It didn't hurt or itch. 
At this point, the five-eyed monster was completely blinded. In his consciousness, the laser that he had just sent out was definitely capable of killing a fourth-ranked awakened person in a single blow. However, Chen Jia was not in the least bit alright, and he was still continuously casting attacks on him. What kind of monster was this that was so terrifying? Right now, the five-eyed monster felt that Chen Jia was more of a monster than him. Swish swish swish. Chen Jia's attacks were frequent and continuous for three minutes. The five-eyed monster finally ran out of stamina, and the two sharp claws spat out from his chest were forced to retract. Damnable. Hey, even if you are able to restrict my sharp claws, so what? Will you still be able to keep me? As long as I hide in the darkness, no one will be able to catch me. The five-eyed monster knew that he could not defeat Chen Jie, but he felt that he was able to easily escape in Chen Jie's hands. With this strength that Chen Jie had now, without a fifth order awakened, don't think about catching him in the darkness. Moreover, as long as he was given another period of time to develop, he was certain that the next time he faced Chen Jie, he would be able to crush Chen Jie in terms of equal rank. Are you sure? You can still walk now? Chen Jie twisted his head, prompting the five-eyed monster to look at his legs. During his frequent attacks earlier, Chen Jie had given the five-eyed monster a few swords in passing. As the five-eyed monster was fully focused on defense, it did not even notice the injuries on its legs. Chen Jie's sword injuries, on the other hand, were not ordinary injuries. This green-scale longsword not only had the Hongmen clear in Turbid Qi, but it was also mixed with the evil-expelling thunder that it had brought with it. This would have completely seeped inside the five-eyed monster's legs. You, despicable human. The five-eyed monster realized that at this time, he basically couldn't make use of his legs. Just as he exerted himself, his legs were suddenly cut off from the nerves in general. With a plop, it recoiled and fell to its knees. It's time to end it. Chen Jia wiped his longsword, and the Hongmen clear turbid chi and thunder on it became even more dense. Both legs crossed. Swish. Chen Jia flashed and swept past the five-eyed monster, followed by the light of the sword flashing along with it. Put. The green scale longsword ran through the entire body of the five eyed monster. At once, the seemingly rigid and incomparable five eyed monster was split into two halves. Ah, uh, killed one of me. And, many of me. The five eyed monster collapsed slowly and unwillingly. The fused one eye also burst open, and pulpy water flowed all over the ground. The original five eyed monster had now become an eyeless monster. After killing the five eyed monster, a throbbing golden light cluster appeared on him. Needless to say, another treasure had exploded. Chen Jia stepped forward and received the golden ball of light into his hands. Immediately, he felt the energy given to him by the golden cluster. It was a gifted light cluster. After the golden light mass was absorbed by him, the golden light mass energy was concentrated into his eyes. Dots of golden light diffused out from the corners of his eyes. This was the acquisition of a new talent. Eye of True Sight, being able to see through the weaknesses of aberrant monsters that are a bit below dragon level, and at the same time, being able to gain the special effect of delayed movement. The movements of monsters in your eyes will become slow. Good stuff. Chen Jie looked at the introduction of this talent. He could not help but rejoice. With this talent, in the future, when facing a deformed monster, one would no longer need to be in such a sorry state, being chased by the opponent's special means of attack. Moreover, the delaying effect provided would also be able to allow him to adapt to close combat even better. Wanru, thank you for the long sword. Chen Jie handed the green scale long sword back to Xiao Wanru. Isn't my. Yours? People people are yours. Xiao Wanru put away the green scale longsword and blushingly said, Ha ha ha, this five-eyed monster's body. You summon the mimic battle spirit to absorb it. It should have some enhancement to your mimicry battle spirit. Chen Jie laughed. Immediately afterward, Xiao Wanru also summoned the mimicry battle spirit. This greedy little snake had already smelled the scent of the five-eyed monster a long time ago. What it was waiting for was this moment when Xiao Wanru summoned her. As soon as it came out, Xiao Wanru's mimic battle spirit immediately pounced on the corpse of the five-eyed monster. After devouring the five-eyed monster, the little snake shivered in relief and its green light blazed out. This little snake was promoted. The originally well-behaved looking little snake began to slowly expand. Roar roar roar. The little snake roared violently at the sky. The surrounding thunder crackled and scattered in all directions. Click. Click. A kind of shell-breaking sound emanated from the swollen little snake. Cracks began to appear on the little snake's body and a golden light came out from inside the cracks. This was the metamorphosis of the mimic battle spirit. A moment later, boom, the little snake completely completed its metamorphosis, and the old layer of skin began to peel off. When the skin layer completely peeled off, a brand new little snake was displayed in front of everyone. The little snake was now 5 or 6 centimeters longer than before. Two thunderbolt dragon horns also began to appear on its head. More majesty could be displayed on the eyes. At this moment, 
the little snake could be said to have entered the second stage of the mimic battle spirit. Wanru, congratulations ah, your mimicry battle spirit has improved. Chen Jia happily touched Xiao Wanru's head, that wasn't even accomplished with little Jia's help. Xiao Wanru looked at Chen Jia with more gratitude in her eyes in addition to love. From the beginning of the end times until now, Xiao Wanru felt that most of the factors why she had survived well in this post-apocalyptic world were because of Chen Jia. Chen Jia had given her talent and was even protecting herself at all times. All of these made her very touched. Boss, I already protected my sister-in-law once when I came to this hospital. Then, when this five-eyed monster appeared just now, it was even braver to stand in front of my classmates. Lin Yao counted his credits, expecting a reward from Chen Jia. Not long ago, when Chen Jia went to look for the living sacrificial spirit essence, without having to think about it Lin Yao had already guessed that Chen Jia must have gotten a lot of benefits. At this time, it would be better to wait until then not to claim the credit. I know, I've always remembered your merits, and I can't be short of the benefits you've gotten. Chen Jie took out a small bag of spirit crystals and threw it to Lin Yao. This is hundreds of spirit crystals. Make good use of them yourself and raise your strength up a bit as soon as possible. All right, thank you big brother Chen. Lin Yao received the spirit crystals and thanked him in a hurry. This was much better than his previous treatment over at the clan. Normally, after fighting to the death, in the family, he was only able to share a few dozen spirit crystals. Here in Chen Jie, he had only struggled for less than two days. He was directly rewarded with over a hundred spirit crystals. This was the benefit of finding a good big brother. After rewarding the crystals to Lin Yao, Chen Jie turned his head to look at Lin Shiyu beside him. The same Chen Jie also intended to give him a little reward. Anyone who was able to work under his hand would be able to be rewarded accordingly. This is for you. Five spirit crystals. Chen Jie took out five spirit crystals anew and handed them over to Lin Shiyu. Lin Shiyu looked at the spirit crystals in his hand, his eyes wide open. He simply could not believe what was happening in front of him. He was nothing more than a pumping handyman, but he was even worthy of having spirit crystals. Thank you boss, thank you boss, Lin Shiyu bowed repeatedly, his tone filled with excitement. You try absorbing it, maybe, it will be able to stimulate the potential in your body and become an ordinary awakening which is not bad either. Chen Jie nodded to Lin Shiyu. In the midst of the end times, outside of devouring creatures and undergoing aberrations, there was also another type of awakening which was through the stimulation of spirit crystals, which then produced an awakening. Only, with this kind of awakening, the natural abilities that appeared were inferior. Of course, even this kind of inferior awakening, for an ordinary person like Lin Shiyu, it was still considered a heavenly gift. Hearing Chen Jie's words, Lin Shiyu held the spirit crystal in his hands as his body began to slowly absorb it. Not long after, light began to emanate from Lin Shiyu's body. Dots of yellow color overflowed from his body. Only this this yellow color. And Chen Jie's talent Hongmeng clear turbid chi kind of yellow. The difference was too great. Whether or not he could truly awaken his talent. That would depend on Lin Shiyu's own fortune. Not long after, yellow light flowed and converged on Lin Shiyu's body. A faint layer of armor began to form on Lin Shiyu's body. He's awakened the armor. Lin Yao shouted in shock. Before him, awakening armor that was a thousand times more difficult. And when it came to Chen Jie's little handyman, it had become so easy. Sure enough, there was nothing wrong with following Chen Jie. Boss, I've awakened my ultra martial talent. I am also an awakened. Lin Shiyu excitedly shouted at Chen Jie. His body was constantly trembling, and he could barely stand on his feet. Being able to awaken his talent in the middle of the end times meant that he at least had the ability to defend himself. No longer was it. Those ordinary people who were left to be slaughtered. Ooh, if I had known, I would have grabbed to help big brother Chen carry his luggage as well. Maybe I'll be the one who awakens today. From now on, this life of mine will be big brother Chen's. I just don't know if big brother Chen will want me. It's already not easy to follow big brother Chen. To mix down and live a few more days, what more do you want with a bicycle? Those other students were also envious. They only hated that they weren't resourceful enough in the beginning. Boom. Just when everyone was still envious of Lin Shiyu's awakening was. Outside. The sound of a cannon suddenly rang out. Where is Chen Jie? Let him come out. I'll take his dog's life. A middle-aged elderly man's voice came in. Lin Yao subconsciously turned his head to look. Wasn't this someone from his clan? Right now. Chen Jie was a peak awakened fourth stage. These clansmen. Coming to trouble Chen Jie. This was not sending them to their deaths. Lin Yao was also a little anxious as he looked at these fools. Although, when he defected to Qin Jie before, he had already sold their information to Qin Jie. But after all, they were from the same clan, and watching them come to their deaths, he also had some bad feelings in his heart. Qin Jie of course also noticed Lin Yao's expression. These are the people you said before, that your clan wanted to come and kill me, right? 
Yes, Lin Yao nodded. Well then, you take over for me and go clean them up. I'm too lazy to put up a fight. Chen Jia casually waved his hand, and on the side, Lin Yao was a bit hesitant. I, to go or not to go? Chen Jia's voice sank as he spoke. Lin Yao, who was on the side, was scared out of his wits. Right now, he was already Chen Jia's henchman. As for what clan, as long as he was an enemy of Chen Jie, then he was his enemy. Good, boss you wait for my good news. With a clench of his teeth, Lin Yao attached his armor and rushed out. Phew, Lin Yao, why are you following Chen Jia around now? This is a defection? A rat-headed middle-aged man in front of Lin Yao spoke out and laughed. He was the person Lin Yao had said earlier that he had eaten a stink bug and awakened. Called Lin Fei. Ha ha ha, you traitor. Betraying the clan and following the other side to follow a nameless junior. You still have the face to come see us. A frog-faced old man with a full beard also stepped in to reprimand Lin Yao. This person was the one who had eaten the frog and awakened. It was the Lin clan's fifth elder. Fifth elder. A good bird chooses a tree. Everyone has their own choices. Not to mention, back then, as I recall, didn't you also betray your own clan to run to our Lin clan? Lin Yao didn't care in the face of the duo's verbal abuse. What kind of bullshit clan? Could it be as good as following Qin Jie? He naturally had a scale in his heart. Humph, Lin Yao, am I something you can compare? The fifth old man was immediately infuriated after being exposed. He opened his mouth, and a long tongue full of barbs, stained with filthy saliva, came towards Lin Yao. This tongue, jetted out at a very fast speed. It was able to catch up with the thunder of a green scale longsword. Swish, the long tongue attacked, and Lin Yao dodged it with a sideways turn. But, in the next second, Lin Fei's attack also arrived. He ejected a large mass of mist that directly covered Lin Yao. Lin Yao didn't even have the effort to react. The cooperation between these two had been quite mature, with the five old men responsible for the frontal attack while Lin Fei was responsible for the sneak attack. With an attack like this, if an ordinary awaken came, they were basically bound to be hit. Big Brother Chen, save me. Lin Yao accidentally inhaled Lin Fei's chi mass. His body was paralyzed and he used his last strength to call for help. This chi mass was just too bizarre. You betrayer, go to hell. What are you waiting for to come and save you? The five elders' tongues retracted and sprayed again. The location aimed at was exactly where Lin Yao's energy core was. Now that Lin Yao had exhausted his strength, there was no possibility of being able to dodge. Seeing that the barbed tongue of the five elders was about to pierce into Lin Yao's core, Lin Yao also chose to close his eyes. It was time to listen to heaven. Swish, put, a giant axe flew past, directly cutting off the five old tongues. Purple blood splattered on Lin Yao's face. By the time he opened his eyes, Chen Jia was already standing in front of him. Boss, tears welled up in the corners of Lin Yao's eyes. He had thought that Chen Jia would not step in to save him, and that he was going to go west. All right, in the future, work hard to improve. I, Chen Jie, don't need trash. Chen Jie said coldly. You are Chen Jie? Lin Fei stared at Chen Jie, his eyes all ruthless, as a bounty target. Chen Jie's head was equivalent to quite a few hundred million dollars in supplies. Lin Fei couldn't wait, right now, to chop off Chen Jie's head and go to deliver the goods. You two scumbags, go together. I'm in a hurry. Chen Jie swung his heaven opening axe and rushed towards the duo. What a big mouth. These two also summoned out their mimic battle spirits at the same time. Taste this from me. The five elders retrieved his broken tongue and opened his mouth wide, letting out a shrill cry. This kind of chirping was his unique sound. There wasn't a single person who heard the chirps he emitted that didn't have a splitting headache and directly lose their fighting ability. However, Chen Jie did not do any semblance of defense at all and directly charged over, just topping his chirping. Are you chirping me? Chen Jie only felt amused. The heaven opening axe in his hand was merely flicked towards his position. A golden colored blade rushed straight towards him. Seeing that Chen Jie was just a casual attack, the five elders used his belly to block it. It was certainly his strongest part as well. Ha ha ha. Your attack is nothing more than, put, when the sharp blade released by Chen Jie touched the belly of the five old men, he could no longer laugh anymore. The belly that the five elders were so proud of was instantly directly sliced open by Chen Jie's sharp edge. The white and red inside flew out. It was a misery. Seeing the misery of the five old men, Lin Fei immediately felt a chill at the back of his head. Wasn't this Chen Jie only at the peak of the third rank? He killed the five old men in a single move? This information was false. Thus, Lin Fei hurriedly spat poisonous mist all over the air, hoping to slow down some of Chen Jie's attacks with this poisonous mist. Unfortunately, these poisonous mists didn't seem to work very well against Chen Jie either. Chen Jie merely used the Hongmen clear in turbid qi, and with such a gentle brush, the poisonous mist in front of him suddenly disappeared, or, the toxicity was all gone. What kind of monster is this? 
Lin Fei was completely flustered. Without waiting for him to completely react, Qin Jie had already carried his heaven opening axe and arrived beside him. Only seeing Qin Jie's gaze turn cold, the heaven opening axe slashed down along Lin Fei's head. Lin Fei did not even have the chance to beg for mercy. Lin Yao, from a distance, saw Lin Fei, who had been split in half, and swallowed hard. If, before, he had not begged for mercy from Chen Jie, probably the current appearance would be similar to the current Lin Fei. Search, is there anything that can be used on these two people? Chen Jie carried Lin Yao on his back and retrieved the heaven opening axe. The words were addressed to Lin Yao behind him. At this time, Lin Yao had already recovered. Hearing the instructions, he immediately began to clean up the battlefield. Chen Jie, on the other hand, flew back inside the hospital and took a short rest. Not long after, Lin Yao's excited voice came from outside the hospital. Boss, there's something good, something good. Lin Yao ran in from outside with gusto, holding up a gold-colored token in his hand. There was still a bit of light emanating from it. The first time Chen Jie saw this token, he also felt that this token was not simple. It is indeed a good thing. Bring it over. Chen Jie reached out and took the token. Looking at the four words Yellow Valley Secret Realm on it, the expression was all a bit shocked. This secret realm, he had heard of it in his previous life. After the doomsday aberration occurred, the earth, in various places, began to experience some spatial collapses. Then, tokens like the one in his hand were scattered all over the place. Those who possessed these tokens would be able to enter within those collapsed spaces without injury. It was said that the good things inside could be far better than killing aberrant monsters outside. It's just that. The environment inside is also extremely treacherous ah. In his last life, he had heard that more than a hundred fourth order awakened had gone in, and only two or three had come out. He could, of course, also choose to continue hunting deformed monsters outside, slowly ascending. However, there are even more powerful aberrant monsters behind. Upgrading his strength had become an imminent matter again. This to the point that Chen Jie was in a bit of a dilemma. Let's put it away for now. As for how to choose, let's talk about it later. Chen Jie received the token into his bosom. Good, having found a good thing. These spirit crystals are still a reward for you. Chen Jie threw another 50 spirit crystals to Lin Yao, together with the 100 given earlier. Chen Jie estimated that it would also be enough for Lin Yao to break through to the fourth stage. Of course, this amount of spirit crystals, to Chen Jie, it was a mere existence. He wanted to break through to the fifth rank now, and these spirit crystals wouldn't satisfy him at all. Unless, could obtain more medium spirit crystals. Otherwise, just by relying on these ordinary spirit crystals, he would have to absorb a small mountain of that many. There would have to be tens of thousands at least. Thinking about the problem of spirit crystals, Chen Jie then turned his thoughts to the secret realm token in his arms. After doing so, the sky had also darkened. Chen Jie led the crowd and found a hotel nearby to start resting. In these few short days, Chen Jie had already risen from the first stage of awaken to the fourth stage. At such a speed, amongst the entire end times, it could definitely be said to be at the top level. Just, he felt that it wasn't enough. He needed more power. He really didn't want, want the situation of his last life to occur again. For his own sake, and also for Xiao Wanru. Seeing that Chen Jie had been standing at the hotel window looking out, Xiao Wanru knew that Chen Jie had something on his mind. Thus, Xiao Wanru slowly walked behind Chen Jie and stretched out her jade hands to gently hold Chen Jie's thick waist. What's wrong, little Jie? Ever since killing those two people from the Lin clan, I have felt that you have something on your mind. Xiao Wanru pressed her face against Chen Jie's back. How she wished that she was in the position to be able to share a little more of Chen Jie's worries. Feeling Xiao Wanru's temperature, Chen Jie turned around and held Xiao Wanru in his arms. Wanru, I have thought about practicing in the middle of the Yellow Valley secret realm for two days. Where is it dangerous? Xiao Wanru raised her head, her eyes gently looking at Chen Jie. Dangerous, even. There is a possibility of losing one's life. Chen Jie confessed to Xiao Wanru without hiding anything. It was reasonable to say that the Yellow Valley Secret Realm would not appear until the middle of the end times, where it was full of powerful aberrant monsters. An ordinary Fourth Order awakened person who went in would basically die nine deaths to one. Of course, the more dangerous it is, the more opportunities there are. As the saying goes, the bigger the storm, the more expensive the fish. Little Jia, I don't want you to take risks. We just want to be quiet like this. Due to her worry about Chen Jie, Xiao Wanru's body was trembling a bit. Her heart was all about Chen Jie. If Chen Jie had an accident, she wouldn't want to live in this post-apocalyptic world. Since the moment the end times broke out, it's impossible for us to live peacefully anymore. If I want to live more peacefully, I must keep getting stronger. Chen Jie stroked Xiao Wanru's back to make her more comfortable. Of course, Chen Jie also wanted to continue like this with his wife and children all the time. 
However, in the midst of the end times, all sorts of situations could happen. Today, these aberrant monsters Chen Jie was able to temporarily stabilize them. However, if the strength is not strong enough, even with the growth rate of the aberrant monsters, it will easily be surpassed by them. In the end, they could only be reduced to fish meat on a knife board, to be slaughtered. In order to survive, he had to ascend as fast as possible. Xiao Wanru was silent for a moment and finally relieved. Little Jia, then you go. However, you have to promise me that you must come back properly. No little accidents allowed. Xiao Wanru beamed, pretending to be fierce as she ordered Chen Jia. Good good, I promise you. Chen Jia kissed a mouthful of Xiao Wanru's forehead, then carried her to the bed. The next day, Chen Jia left most of the spirit crystals to Xiao Wanru. At the same time, he instructed that the two of them, Lin Yao and Lin Xiyu, protect this inn and wait for him to return. Afterwards, according to the guidance above the secret realm token, all the way to the entrance of the secret realm, this location was the very center of this city, and the so-called entrance to the secret realm was a circular hole in the air, which was surrounded by colorful energy bodies, and this energy body was exceptionally strong. An ordinary person, if they forced their way in, I'm afraid that they would be crushed into powder by this energy body. Instantly, there were quite a few awakened people present who were just like Qin Jia. However, most of them were around the third awakened stage. Those of the fourth rank were even fewer. Looking at the fearless appearance of those of them who did not know, Chen Jie could only smile and shake his head. To enter the secret realm or not, a peak awakened one fourth order like him would have to think twice. He really didn't know how those third order people dared to take interest in this yellow valley secret realm. This place guided by the top of this token seems to be quite unexceptional. Maybe, there's something special and good inside. He he he. A yellow chicken looking human aberration said with a smile to the green bird looking human aberration at the side. That's right. These are the two tokens that I've snatched with great difficulty. There must be something extraordinary inside. Moreover, I see that there aren't many people present whose ranks are higher than mine. So after we go in, if there's anything good, it'll still be mine. The green bird was very confident, puffing out its chest and looking at the people around it as it narrowed its eyes in contempt. It looked around the weak, discovering that above the entire square, there were only two or three people who were able to balance their breath with his. Plus it was already conceded. It also defaulted to the fact that it was the strongest person to enter the secret realm. When Shen Jia heard what they said, he only glanced at them. This yellow chicken. Shen Jia only needed an axe to be able to split it in half. As for this green bird, the strength is probably about the same as yesterday's five-eyed monster. After waiting for a moment, in the sky, a huge giant elephant suddenly flew out. Shen Jia, Eye of Truth, swept over the carcass of this giant elephant. Fifth Order Awakened. It really made him not expect that there was really an awakened who had already reached the fifth rank in this world. Of course, this wasn't very strange. Different people, awakened in different locations, with different talents, upgraded at different speeds, like this giant elephant. It was very likely that it was a devouring type awakened person, being able to quickly upgrade his strength through constant devouring. After this giant elephant arrived at the location of the entrance to the illusionary realm, it immediately transformed into a humanoid form. Obviously. This should be one of this person's talents. Ha ha ha. This secret realm can be considered to have been found by me. It's really not worth it for me to cross a kingdom and come here on purpose. A bizarre female snake demon, gnawing on a human head while twisting her waist, rushed towards the entrance of the secret realm. It was another fifth order awakened. However, looking at the female snake demon's appearance, it should be from the next door Agua country. As soon as the female snake demon arrived, quite a few awakened ones turned their gazes towards her. With this plump figure and slender, powerful waist, it was hard not to attract attention. However, suddenly, the female snake demon picked out one of the attention seekers. With a flash, leaving a residual shadow in place. In just a breath, she immediately pinched the throat of this attention seeker. You like to watch now? Nah. The female snake demon licked her lips excitedly. That attention seeker, easily lifted by the female snake demon, had a red face and was a bit breathless. ka -ching, The female snake demon's hand with a slight force, snapped his neck. Yo, can't help but toss and turn, dragon kingdom men, how come there's not a single hardened one? The female snake demon threw the attention seeker aside in disgust. Seeing this scene, except for Qin Jie and the giant elephant man from earlier, they all turned their gazes to the other side, fearing that the female snake demon would stare at them. The female snake demon looked around the room in triumph. It happened to look at Qin Jie. The female snake demon found her next target. The female snake demon looked at Chen Jie with bewildered eyes, twisted her waist and approached Chen Jie step by step. Aha, little handsome boy staring at others casually has to pay a price. 
Chen Jia could not be interested in this female snake demon. It was just that he didn't have time to turn back when he was watching the action just now. Like those two words of the female snake demon, they were not half threatening to him. Chen Jia did not pay any attention to this female snake demon. Looks like a high and cool little handsome guy. At that moment, the female snake demon raised her interest in Chen Jia instead. It circled around Chen Jia. While the female snake demon was circling around Chen Jia, Chen Jia tasted a strange flavor. This flavor was just inhaled a little by Chen Jia. Chen Jia immediately felt some dizziness. However, with the presence of the Hongmeng clear and turbid qi, this kind of thing could not affect him at all. Merely, the dizziness lasted less than a second. Chen Jia immediately returned to normal. This situation also startled the female snake demon. What she had released was her unique talent, vertigo perfume. This talent was able to make the enemy, in a short period of time, completely enter into an illusion. Even if it was an awakened fifth order existence, the female snake demon had once confused the other party to the point of not being able to slow down. And this man in front of him, only slightly stunned, will be his, bewitching perfume, unlocked. This was simply incredible. Little brother. Quite powerful. Is there any interest? With sister. The female snake demon greedily looked at Chen Jie's handsome face, so she wanted to reach out and play with it. Get lost. Chen Jie's lips moved and spat out two words conversationally. The voice was not loud, but the majesty carried within it shocked the female snake demon. She, a fifth order awakened, looked at Chen Jie and unexpectedly felt a sense of submission. The blood in her body was shivering. Along with the sweaty hairs on her body, they stood up together. This was of course, out of Chen Jie's own majesty unexpectedly. There was also the addition of the Pango bloodline within Chen Jie's body. In front of the Pango bloodline, all the bloodlines between heaven and earth had to submit, being rebuked by Chen Jie. In such a manner, the female snake demon became infuriated. Good boy, dare to tell my mother to get lost. No one had ever dared to speak to her like this. The female snake demon felt that Chen Jie had insulted her. The original greenish-white jade hands began to become ugly, with poisonous tumors growing all over them, and the nails began to grow longer. At Chen Jie's chest position, it was a heart-pulling hand. This female snake demon's speed was exceptionally fast, and in just a split second, it was about to grab Chen Jie's chest. Chen Jie dodged and dodged the other party's heart-hollowing hand. At the same time, he summoned the heaven-opening axe and backhandedly slashed at the female snake demon's hand. The heaven-opening axe that was wrapped in monstrous might slash down. The female snake demon's eyes widened. An awakened fourth stage could actually erupt with this kind of power. At this time, it was too late for her to withdraw her hand back. Put. In an instant, Chen Jie's heaven opening axe chopped off the female snake demon's arm without hesitation. Half of the blood drenched arm fell to the ground, and half of it was on the female snake demon's body as fresh blood continued to gush out. Aha, uh -huh, brat, how dare you hurt me. With her arm cut off, the female snake demon raged, and her ugly face began to be exposed. The face that was originally looking better began to grow horrifying scales. Two fangs grew on the left and right sides of the teeth and a snake's letter spat out from its mouth. Where was the current female snake demon still a bit human-like? She was completely serpentinized. However, after this female snake demon had been serpentinized, the original hand that had been disconnected had actually grown back on its own at this time. Chen Jia couldn't help but sigh with emotion. This female snake demon is a lizard. It is possible to regrow a severed limb. After the serpentization of the female snake demon, extreme rage, sharp claws to Chen Jia's chest is two claws. However, it was easily dodged by Chen Jie as he stepped back. It seems that you, a snake demon, is nothing more than that. Chen Jie smiled. Originally, he thought that a fifth order awakened was so terrific. Now it seemed to be nothing more than that. Being provoked by Chen Jie, the female snake demon, who was already in a state of rage, became even more frantic, only to see that the female snake demon turned around, and the snake tail behind her was like a whip that struck at Chen Jie. The snake tail carried a thick energy, whipping up the wind around it. Chen Jie reacted quickly, flipping his heaven opening axe and slashing it head on. Dang! Just upon collision, Chen Jie felt a powerful force. The force of the snake tail could be much greater than the snake demon's hands. Moreover, the scales on her snake tail were also evolved. So even the heaven opening axe in Chen Jie's hands could not split it. If it was any other aberration monster's tail, it would have been chopped into two pieces by now. After colliding once, the two of them each took a step back and raised their weapons to each other, wanting to fight again. This was, the spatial rift began to vibrate. This meant that the time to enter the Yellow Valley secret realm had arrived. The female snake demon glanced at the entrance to the secret realm, and then at Chen Jie. Count yourself lucky. I'll clean you up when I come out. Do you know my country's human ratio? At that time, I promise, I will chop off your limbs and put them in the tank for a good soak. 
The female snake demon dropped a vicious paragraph, held up her token towards the entrance of the secret realm, and with a flash, drilled into the secret realm. As for that green bird and giant elephant, they also followed closely behind, imitating the snake woman's appearance. They passed in, running, so fast. Chen Jia had wanted to fight with the female snake demon again, but the other party left a sentence and ran away. However, the purpose of this trip was likewise mainly for the secret realm. Thus, with a leap forward, he raised the token and disappeared into the entrance of the secret realm in the same manner. Behind some unknown, did not bring the token, or the grade is too low also followed drilling in. Unfortunately, the body was crushed by the entrance of the secret realm before they could enter. The rest of them, looking at the bloodied rusher in front of them, also began to hesitate. It was only after a while that one or two with high rank dared to try to walk into the secret realm. The moment Chen Jia entered the secret realm, the first thing he felt was the squeezing of space. Then, after a moment of dizziness before his eyes, he then arrived in a new world. The energy aura here could be several times denser than what it was outside. G.A. Chen Jia had just opened his eyes when a bat the size of a space shuttle flew over from the sky. The bat clearly took him as its prey, and its claws clawed straight at Chen Jia's body. Seeing this, Chen Jia hurriedly used his heaven opening axe to resist. The bat's claws landed on Chen Jia's heaven opening axe, hanging out star sparks. Chen Jia, who was originally lying on the ground, also felt the power of his opponent. This was much tougher than the peak fourth stage five-eyed monster that he had encountered outside earlier. If it wasn't, for his strong force, the heaven opening axe would have been knocked away by the other party with that grab just now. Without familiarizing himself with the terrain, Chen Jia did not want to steal himself against it. Thus, Chen Jia hurriedly hid into a cave not far away. Chen Jia had just entered the cave. The giant bat followed in the back foot, its huge rat-like head crazily squeezing inside the cave entrance. Squeak squeak. Seeing that the prey in its mouth was going to run away, the bat grew its mouth and screamed madly. Taking advantage of this one moment when the bat was stuck, Chen Jia swung the heaven opening axe. Heaven opening. Chen Jia did not retain a bit of strength and aimed at the bat's head at the cave entrance and ruthlessly chopped down. Put. The heaven opening axe left a deep scar on the bat's head, sinking in a whole half of the axe head. Z dash. The giant bat screamed in pain and hastily shrunk its head back. However, even with the blood on his head, the giant bat's pair of eyes were still dead set on the cave entrance. For a short period of time, he would not leave. Chen Jia retrieved the heaven opening axe and did not pay too much attention to this bat. Exploring deeper into the cave, there was a constant stream of wind blowing out from inside this cave. It meant that the inside of this cave was connected. Perhaps, there was an exit inside. With his current strength, he could fight the bat, but it was not cost effective to spend a lot of energy on this bat. Just after taking two steps, Chen Jia realized that the sides of the cave were filled with flowers that glowed with blue light. Chen Jia attempted to use the Eye of True Sight to view them. It quickly came up with information about these flowers. Aquamarine flower, belonging to a type of orchid after its aberration. An awakened person is able to greatly enhance their physique after using it. At the same time, it helps to raise one's realm quite a bit. This aquamarine flower. The efficacy is so good. Chen Jia was overjoyed. This aquamarine flower was not only powerful, but also, this cave had an extremely large distribution. The entire sides of the cave were filled with these aquamarine flowers. With a thought, Chen Jia pulled out a huge sack and a shovel. Towards the aquamarine flowers on both sides of the cave, he began to frantically dig up. Half an hour passed. The original sea of flowers in the cave was dug up by Chen Jia. Only a few sparse flowers remained. Exhausted, Chen Jia wiped a handful of sweat. However, although he was tired, his heart was incomparably pleasant. This kind of thing of picking up treasures with a sack was not something that came along too often. Intruder, you've gone too far. An extremely dull voice pierced out from the depths of the cave, and that voice was extremely penetrating. Who are you? Chen Jia returned unhurriedly. What intruder? Within this space, it was a complete wilderness. When did a cave in the middle of nowhere like this count as having an owner? Chen Jia summoned two channels of Hongmeng Clear and Turbid Qi, instantly lighting up the entire space, and began to follow the location of the sound. Right now, there were bat monsters guarding the outside of the cave entrance, so there was no way out. It was only possible to explore towards this inside as well. Just after walking for less than three minutes, the darkness of the cave in front of him slowly began to diminish. Slowly in front of him, it began to become luminous. Chen Jia took two more steps forward, and Chen Jia arrived in an even more massive cave. Inside, all sorts of crystals, drilled out from within the land. All of these crystals had light emanating from above them, lighting up the entire hole. And here, on the ground, there was a river forming a circle that surrounded a huge crystal pillar, and there were four chains on top of this pillar. 
Tied to the chains was a withered old man, the old man's hair was already white, and the ribs on his chest protruded extremely distinctly. Were you the one talking just now? Chen Jia looked at the old man in front of him and opened his mouth to ask. Young man, you are very bold to be able to find this location. The old man's mouth did not move, and his throat did not respond in any way. The voice seemed to just come out of nowhere. How were you tied up in this place? Chen Jia was curious about this old man being tied up in this place. It had only been two or three days since the outbreak of the end times until now. It was strange that this cave was already tied up with a person. Moreover, this old man, the years that he had been tied up did not look short. He was also trying to be full of mysteries. Ha ha ha, why am I tied up here? I don't know, for a whole thousand years. What dynasty does it belong to now? The old man's body was still motionless. Chen Jie looked at the clothes on his body and did not look like someone from this era. Coupled with the question asked by the other party, Chen Jie felt that this old man definitely did not belong to this era. Dragon Country 2050. Chen Jie directly answered the other party's question. Dragon Kingdom? What era is this? Have I been trapped in this place for so long? The old man's voice was full of vicissitudes and remorse. I see that you look a lot like me. What era are you from? You've been trapped in this place for so long. Are you from the Ming Dynasty? Based on the time the old man had been trapped, Chen Jia roughly guessed the era the other party was in. However, even being trapped in this place in this era was miraculous. Could it be that there had been a post-apocalyptic era in the previous times as well? However, then why was it not recorded in the history books? This would be very strange. It was also the first time for Chen Jia to come to the secret realm, and in his previous life, he had not heard of it, either, that there existed a previous generation. Ming Dynasty. Ming. The old man repeatedly recited the name of Ming Dynasty, and his voice was extremely miserable, as if he was recalling a cup of very bitter tea. In him, there was definitely no small secret hidden. Young man, help me, help me. Suddenly, the old man began to go crazy, and his originally withered wood-like body began to move. The chains that bound him were jangling as he shook them. Help, help what? Chen Jie was also confused by the old man. The aura on your body has the same feeling of origin as the one on mine. Without my surprise, you should be from the same vein as me. Then there's no need to say. They're both descendants of Yen Huang. Ha ha ha. Well well well. Yen Huang descendant. Come over here and accept my gift. Time is running out. That demonic guilt that was refined by Sangoku should be coming back soon. The dry face reached out towards Chen Jie with all its might. The eyes and lips on the face were gone. And it looked appalling. If you say go over, I'll go over? Chen Jie pulled out his heaven opening axe and prevented the old man in front of him. Chen Jie had seen a lot of this kind of plot where he borrowed to give you a treasure and then sneak attacked you. Young man, look at this. The old man knew that Chen Jie was wary of him, so he released a light mass from his chest position. Inside the light mass was a chest. The chest looked ancient, and at a glance, one could tell that it was something that had been around for ages. I won't be able to support it for much longer. To be able to leave this item to someone of my same origin, I can also be considered to have fulfilled the task given to me by my old ancestor. Young man, Remember that the mutation of a human being is nothing more than a stage of a stage. The old man hadn't finished his words yet. His head tilted, and he was also in no way responsive. Roar roar roar. The old man had just collapsed, and outside of the cave entrance, a horrifying roar was heard. As soon as Chen Jie heard the sound, coupled with what this old man had said earlier, he immediately guessed who the person coming was. It was not precisely the puppet that had imprisoned this old man, just based on the sense of breath. Chen Jie immediately felt that the puppet that was coming was not simple. Something that had lived for thousands of years. Where is it so easy to deal with? Chen Jie could not care less. He collected the treasure chest left behind by the old man and then opened a hole in the cave where light was coming in. Directly rushed out. If, however, he was caught by this puppet, he would be in for a rude awakening. Chen Jie had just left with his front foot. A humanoid monster with a steel helmet and green skin immediately appeared inside the cave. This was exactly the puppet that the old man had been talking about. This puppet came to the old man's side, stretched out his fingers and checked the old man's breathing. After realizing that the old man was dead, the puppet began to gnash its teeth in extreme anger. Toward the wall next to it, with its dirt-covered hand, it blasted with such force that the entire cavern collapsed in its entirety. Suddenly, he smelled another odor, an odor that he had not smelled in the last thousand years. This was exactly the scent that Chen Jia had left behind here. Chen Jia's scent. This puppet, suddenly had a target. Thus, this puppet followed the odor and quickly rushed out of the cave. After Qin Jie took the treasure chest with him, he ran all the way to the east of this secret realm. At this time, the sun had just risen. Qin Jie greeted the sun as his shadow frantically traveled through the forest. A few moments after he left the cave, 
he had already felt the terrifying aura coming from behind him. The strength of the opponent had to be at least awakened sixth order. With his current strength, even though he was a genius awakening, he still tried not to fight hard against such a monster. In order to prevent the other party from smelling the scent and following him, Chen Jia purposely beheaded a few animals as he ran, using the blood and gore to mask the scent of his body. The humanoid puppet behind him, on the other hand, stopped at a river. Chen Jia's scent was interrupted at this location. Roar roar roar. The puppet hissed unwillingly, turning its head. It killed the animals on the road before. It was used to vent his anger. However, he had already memorized Chen Jia's scent thoroughly. As long as he encountered Chen Jia again in this secret realm, he would attack Chen Jia without hesitation. Because, his mission, Chen Jia, the outsider, had ruined it. And in the outside world, the news that the two awakened individuals of the Lin clan were dead and that Lin Yao had defected to Chen Jia had already traveled back to the company's headquarters. These are your Lin clan's awakened ones? Two dead and one defected. Huang Yan looked at the tall-hatted man angrily. He had originally thought that by sending out three awakened ones he would be able to avenge his son. However, the revenge had not been avenged. And instead, an awakened was sent to Chen Jia. This situation was not expected by the tall-hatted man, who only lowered his head and did not dare to make a response. What now? Let Chen Jia continue to be arrogant like this? Huang Yan himself had nothing left to do. His eyes looked around once, hoping that these few rice buckets of the board of directors could come up with a little idea. After half a minute of silence, a fat supervisor started to speak up. Director Huang, why don't we invite the White Eagle Empire's Black Snake Group to help us? White Eagle Empire? That's our hostile country. This isn't collaborating with the enemy, is it? Huang Yan looked at the fat supervisor with a sharp gaze. Now that it's all messed up like this, who cares if it hurts the enemy or not? In order to avenge the young master, choosing the White Eagle Empire is the best. And after my inquiries, their special organization, the Black Group, has now assembled a whole bunch of Super Martial Awakened, and the overall strength is very strong. There are even some that have reached the sixth rank. The fat supervisor raved about the White Eagle Empire. Anyone with a bit of brains knew that he had already fornicated with the White Eagle Empire a long time ago. In the past, he would have already been reported. However, under the end times, who would still think of reporting him? Moreover, the people he knew within the White Eagle Empire organization were even more unable to offend him. In this is the end times. Whoever has a hard fist is the truth. Then, I'll listen to you and contact the people of the White Eagle Empire. Huang Yan closed his eyes and let out a long breath, choosing Fatty Supervisor's program for revenge. Snap. Receiving Huang Yan's permission, Fatty Supervisor clapped his hands. Not a moment later, at the entrance of the boardroom, a white man in a black suit with a straight and slender body and blonde hair appeared. At a glance, one was able to recognize that this was none other than someone from the White Eagle Empire. His aura was very powerful and as soon as he appeared, the entire board of directors couldn't even straighten their backs. There were even some with a weaker physique that had their heads pressed directly onto the table. The White Eagle Empire, under the protection of such a strong person, was all very little affected by the aberrant monster. Almost, none of the negative news broadcasts from their side were heard. Oh, your highness Rouse, welcome. When the fat supervisor saw the White Eagle Empire's Rouse appear, he immediately fawned and ran over. You people from the east, you're still so weak. Rouse had a mocking face and looked at the group of people who were suppressed by his aura with great complacency. Didn't even look at the fat director. Walking to the director's desk, he kicked one of them away and sat on it. Both feet rested on the desk. Oh, you are the director of this group of companies? You want my help? Rouse asked at Huang Yen. No, that's right. Huang Yen replied with difficulty. He had felt the power of this white eagle empire's people. It was as if he saw the hope of avenging his son's death. Okay, give me the person's information. After helping you kill him, your company will be unconditionally given to my White Eagle Empire to use. Can you accept it? Laws was very quick. His purpose of coming to the Dragon Kingdom was also to collect various large companies in the Dragon Kingdom to prepare for the White Eagle Empire's conquest of the Dragon Kingdom. Huang Yan was also a smart person. He knew that what the other party meant by what he said. He gritted his teeth as if he had made a very painful decision. In the end, it's fine, as long as you kill this person. Huang Yan used the remote control to send out Chen Jie's picture. Oh, it's just a kid, you Dragon Kingdom people. You're hilarious. You can't even handle such a kid. Give me his location. Three days later, I'll go kill him. Laws looked at Chen Jie's young and handsome face and did not put Chen Jie in his eyes. Three days? Why? Boom. Before Huang Yan could ask, his head was directly pressed down on the desktop by Rouse fiercely. My noble white eagle empire people do things with your lowly dragon kingdom people without explanation. Do you understand? 
Rao's disgustedly let go of Huang Yan, took out a white handkerchief and carefully wiped the hand that he had just pressed Huang Yan with. Good. Even after being so insulted, Huang Yan still nodded his head and gave Rouse the location of the hospital that Chen Jie was in before. After Rouse came to the Guangyao Group, he immediately utilized Guangyao Group's financial power and reputation before the end of the world to call on the Awakened in the Jiangnan District of the Dragon Kingdom to gather together, to join the World Awakened Persons Union created by the Guangyao Group. Of course, this proposal was what Laws had put forward. The people who carried it out were nothing more than the people from the Guangyao Group. The reason why Rouse did this was to bring together these awakened in the Dragon Kingdom before the White Eagle Empire, before attacking the Dragon Kingdom. Thus, through this, the strength of the Dragon Kingdom would be continuously weakened. At that time, the White Eagle Empire's people attacked. The top brass of the Dragon Kingdom would realize that they unexpectedly had no awakened beings available. At this time, taking down the Dragon Kingdom would not be a breeze. The broadcast of the Guangyao Group resounded throughout the entire Jiangnan region. The Guangyao Group will be setting up a World Awakened Union, and we welcome all awakened people in the Jiangnan region to join. Of course, by joining the group, the group will provide you with superior supplies. However, those who are unwilling to join the World Awakened Persons Union will all be enemies of the state Guangyao Group from now on. All of them will be killed without amnesty, before the end of the world. The Guangyao Group was a group that monopolized power in the Jiangnan region. Many of the awakened in the Jiangnan region were of the third or fourth rank. After hearing the broadcast, there was still some disdain. It's already the end of the world. Who cares about this stupid group of yours? However, by the time they heard the words, kill without amnesty, they were all shocked. Because, this sentence was no longer spoken by the broadcaster. Rather, it was spoken by Rouse himself. This sentence contained the might of a sixth order awakened. When those people heard this sentence, it was clear that the other party was an awakened whose strength far exceeded theirs. If it was said that such an awakened person had joined the Light Radiance group, then, in the future, if they encountered someone from the Light Flare group, it would also mean making an enemy of such a terrifyingly strong person. I want to join the Light Flare group. I voluntarily join the Light Flare group. I'm a fourth order awakened. The Light Flare group must accept me ah. If I join too late, I'll be the enemy of a large group of awakened. No, I must join as soon as possible. Most of the awakened, after listening to the broadcast, rushed towards the headquarters of the Illumination group, fearing that if they joined late, they would be the enemy of the crowd in the future. Chen Jia who was in the middle of the secret realm did not know what was happening outside. After he got rid of the puppets, he found a hidden cave and opened the treasure chest that the old man had left for him. As soon as he opened the treasure chest, a burst of blinding golden light emerged from it. What Chen Jia did not expect was this treasure chest, which actually hid an age-old weapon. The weapon in front of him, these two flying needles that were bubbling with golden light. This weapon doesn't look ordinary. Chen Jia picked up the weapon in the treasure chest and sized it up. The aura on this weapon was extremely similar to the heaven opening axe in Chen Jia's hand. It seemed to have come from the same place. Chen Jia then summoned two channels of Hongmen clear and turbid qi and attached them to these two golden needles. Go! Chen Jia ejected the golden needles in his hands. The speed of the golden needles was very fast. Like thunder. In a flash. In a flash. The golden needle stuck in the darkness of the cave. Boom! These two golden needles unexpectedly directly pierced through this cave. One had to know that the cave that Chen Jie was in was formed underneath a mountain that was almost more than 10 meters wide. With just such a simple swing, shooting the golden needles out, it pierced through this huge mountain. It could be seen how massive its power was. This is a good thing to use for sneak attacks. Chen Jie happily put away the golden needle. In the past, Chen Jie's attacks had always been straightforward, and it was precisely this kind of stealthy means of attack that was lacking. After possessing these two golden needles, it would be much easier for him to deal with the aberrant monsters. After putting the golden needles away, Chen Jia realized that there was another inconspicuous scroll inside the treasure chest. Within this scroll, in this scroll, there was a person dressed in an ancient costume. Holding a long sword in his hand, he was traveling through the air. However, the thing he was facing was none other than a large swathe of monstrous monsters just like in modern times. He was surrounded by a swollen aura. He alone alone faced countless deformed monsters. Chen Jia looked at the appearance of the monsters on top of the scroll and could roughly guess the level of these monsters. It was at least no lower than ghost level. Seeing this scroll reinforced Chen Jia's suspicion that awakened beings had long existed in this world. After packing up his things, Chen Jia walked out of the cave. Z, at this time, suddenly an ear-piercing scream resounded from the sky. Chen Jia looked up. Wasn't this the same bad monster that had chased and fought him when he first arrived in this secret realm? Perfect timing. Just in time to use you to test the power of this newly acquired golden needle of mine. Chen Jie summoned his heaven opening axe and remained motionless in front of the mountain. Quietly, 
he waited for the bat monster to approach. 50 feet, 30 feet, 3 feet. Right at this moment, Chen Jie's body shook. The heaven opening axe in his hand was split vertically. The heaven opening talent carried a monstrous might towards the bat monster. The bat monster hastily protected its wings in front of its body, only to see a ding sound as the bat monster was retreated by Chen Jie. However, the bat monster seemed to be unwilling to charge at Chen Jie once again. At this time, a hint of coldness flashed in Chen Jie's eyes. It was still using the open talent on the other side. Combat. Finding the right moment. At the moment when the bat monster was catching its breath. With a flip of his hand, two golden needles appeared in his hand. Chen Jie aimed at the bat monster's eyes, and with a shake of his hand, the golden needles in his hand pierced through the sky, heading straight for the bat monster's eyes. The speed of these two golden needles was simply too fast. The bat monster was concentrating on fighting Chen Jie battle. It had completely failed to notice that this scene would happen. The golden needles flashed past and inserted into the bat monster's eyes. The bat monster screamed miserably and fell backwards. Chen Jie hurriedly flew close to the bat monster and aimed at the bat monster's head, a move that opened up the sky and slashed straight down. With a poof, instantly, the bat monster's head cracked into two halves. At the same time, from the corpse, a spirit crystal that was bubbling with golden light emerged. This was the first time Chen Jie had encountered this golden spirit crystal, and the energy carried on it far exceeded the ordinary spirit crystals he had obtained previously. Chen Jie cupped this spirit crystal in his hands and began to absorb it with his mind. In just a short period of time, Chen Jie sensed a majestic power that surged into his body like a river and sea, almost bursting his body. Ah! Chen Jie screamed several times in agonizing pain. Then, he summoned the Hongmeng clear and turbid qi and wrapped his body in it. After ten minutes had passed, there was a loud boom. The energy from Chen Jie's body burst out in all directions around him, and all of the surrounding trees were shattered by this energy emitted by Chen Jie. At this moment, Chen Jie had already advanced to the fifth stage of Awakened One, and the fluctuations here immediately caught the attention of the other awakened within this space. Yo ho, isn't this the little brother of the dragon kingdom from the outside world? Upgraded yo. The first person who found Chen Jie was the female snake demon that he had met in the outside world earlier. Unexpectedly, after boosting his strength, he did not take the initiative to look for Chen Jie. Even so, this female snake demon even dared to actively lean over. However, soon, Chen Jie realized that something was wrong. There was another person behind the female snake demon. With a narrowing of his eyes, Chen Jie was able to see the other party's disguise. Before, the one who was disguised as an elephant. Come out. There's no need to hide. Chen Jie directly revealed the other party's disguise. At this time, a small bee next to the female snake demon. A fluctuation occurred. A man's body slowly emerged in the middle of the sky. Chen Jie really didn't think about how these two people got mixed up together. You are very strong, to be able to immediately recognize my disguise. The man held a trident and pointed at Chen Jie. After awakening his talent, his disguise generally did not surpass him by two or three ranks. It was impossible to recognize it through. Chen Jie, however, had recognized his disguise technique at a glance, which surprised him a little. Of course, this was not because Chen Jie had surpassed this man in terms of rank. Rather, it was. Chen Jie possessed the eye of true vision, with just a simple sweep. Even if the other party's disguise was as subtle as it was, it would likewise be recognized by Chen Jie. Since, both of you are standing together. Cut the crap. Chen Jie gripped the heaven opening axe in his hand and stomped on the ground. Immediately, the ground cracked open with a crack more than half a meter wide. As the level rose, the power in Chen Jie's body grew more and more horizontal and incomparable. Chen Jie's entire body was like a wild beast as he rose up into the air and raised his heaven opening axe towards the female snake demon's body, splitting it vertically. The might of the heaven opening axe was also far more powerful than before. The airwaves carried by the dance alone blew away the clouds in the sky of this small secret realm. What a powerful axe. The female snake demon no longer fought against it with her body like before. Instead, she switched out her two curved swords, which were her mimetic battle spirit, tooth scimitar. Dang. Chen Jie's heaven opening axe slashed directly onto the opponent's scimitar. Kinda. The female snake demon's scimitar was hard enough. If it was a normal mimic battle spirit, at this time, it would have already been cleaved off by Chen Jie's heaven opening axe. However, the female snake demon was not in a good position either. Forcing herself to take it, Chen Jie's axe caused her to be punched in the flesh and blood all over her body in general. Kid, let me try with you. The giant elephant monster on the side couldn't help but strike. It's trident aiming straight at Chen Jie's chest position. This giant elephant monster had already reached the peak of the awakened fifth stage. The means of attack was very severe. Seeing that the opponent's attack was about to arrive, Chen Jie hurriedly retrieved the heaven opening axe that was slashing at the female snake demon. 
With his backhand, he blocked the giant elephant monster's trident. Dang, there was another loud shock. Chen Jia was shaken back half a body position, and his hand holding the heaven opening axe was slightly numb. Worthy of being an awakened five stage, the force was so strong. This giant elephant monster's own natural trait was strong strength, plus he had already reached the peak of the fifth stage. Therefore, Chen Jia blocked up the opponent's attack with some difficulty. It seems that your strength is nothing more than that. It's okay to deal with a female snake demon. It's simply not enough in front of me. With one move, the giant elephant monster began to look down on Chen Jia a little. His giant elephant awakening had provided him with the ability to devour along the way. This allowed him to ascend in his realm, which had always been much faster than others. This had also led to the current him being extremely conceited. As long as he was able to gain a slight upper hand, he felt that the other party was not worthy of being his opponent at all. Is that so? Chen Jie inhaled a breath, then attached the Hongmen clear and turbid chi to the heaven opening axe, at the same time, unfolded his god-killing domain, dealing with two fifth order experts at the same time, it was indeed necessary to pull out the god-killing domain, as soon as the god-slaying domain unfolded, these two people immediately felt an extremely strong pressure, what have you done to us, it's so despicable, deep in the god-killing domain, the female snake demon felt as if her heart was being held by something, the giant elephant monster, on the other hand, even felt his energy being chipped away. The power he was originally proud of was gone. This was the strength of the domain. However, this was only the beginning. In addition to the suppression of the domain, the god-killing domain also had a strangulation effect. In no time, within the domain, a streak of white light appeared, shooting towards the female snake demon and the giant elephant monster. Sensing the power of the white light, these two didn't dare to be slow. They continuously used their weapons to block. In doing so, the physical strength was consumed tremendously fast. As for Chen Jie, he saw the right moment, lifted the heaven opening axe and rushed in front of the giant elephant monster. Heaven opening. The heaven opening axe in Chen Jie's hand instantly increased in size by dozens of times and slashed down at the giant elephant monster's head. Under the enhancement of the god-killing domain, the might on the heaven opening axe was very oozing. Before it could chop down, the giant elephant monster felt like it was bound by something. It was unable to move. Dharma phase. At the moment of crisis, the giant elephant monster pulled out its own watchword talent. As soon as the Dharma phase came out, this giant elephant monster, his body began to grow huge, revealing his prototype. A huge giant elephant stood in front of Chen Jie. Even if the opponent turned into a giant elephant, the heaven opening axe in Chen Jie's hand did not slow down in the slightest. An axe chopped down. The head of the giant elephant in front of him was instantly skinned. Merely, it was not able to split the other party's bones apart. After transforming, the giant elephant monster had also received a huge boost in defense. Being cleaved by Chen Jie, the giant elephant monster felt a sense of shame. A person who had only just advanced to the fifth stage of Awakened One had injured him, which he could not accept. The giant elephant monster raised his foot and angrily stomped on the ground as the entire space began to vibrate. Chen Jie's killing god domain also began to slowly disintegrate. Immediately afterward, the giant elephant monster seized this opportunity and flung its trunk, which had barbed growths. In a single motion, this elephant trunk was like a whip that lashed towards Chen Jie. Chen Jie was extremely fast and rolled over to dodge it. You seem to have forgotten about me. Just after dodging one of the giant elephant monster's sweeps, the female snake demon's sinister voice came from behind him. Chen Jie hurriedly turned his head to look, only to see that the female snake demon's hair had turned into a small snake, and the female snake demon's eyes had turned into golden pupils. She seized that moment when Chen Jie turned around to watch. She screamed. A burst of golden light emerged from her eyes, enveloping Chen Jie. Immediately after, petrification began to appear on Chen Jie's body from his feet to his head. In no time, Chen Jie felt that his body became incomparably stiff, and he was unable to move his feet and hands at all. This was also the female snake demon's crushing talent, Banshee's gaze. As long as the person who meets her eyes, in less than three seconds, they will immediately be petrified. This gaze of mine. I don't know how many awakened have been sealed. Chen Jie you will obediently savor the feeling of your entire body being petrified and then slowly dying. The sneak attack was successful. The female snake demon's eyes were filled with excitement. Her claws trembling with excitement. She had done it. Sealed a fifth order super awakened. Or an awakened who possessed a perverted talent. This sneak attack made her heart incomparably satisfied. Just like a child getting a lollipop bigger than his head. Incomparably pleasurable. Having been hit by the female snake demon's banshee's gaze. Chen Jie's heartbeat began to slow down, followed by his feet beginning to petrify inch by inch. Chen Jie's body was like a tissue paper dipped in water, being devoured little by little. In just a few moments, 
The originally agile Chen Jie became half a stone statue. He breathed hard, and the breath he exhaled was somewhat hot. The potential of his heart was stimulated to the fullest by him, and the originally sluggish beating began to speed up. Faster and faster, the rolling blood, bubbling out a little golden light, tried its best to rush the part that was going to be petrified. At once, the upper part of Chen Jie's body was bubbling with golden light, and the lower part of his body was petrified into blocks, unable to move. The two forces were constantly fighting against each other. Not good. This kid has a way to resist your petrification. Quickly take this opportunity to kill him. The giant elephant man could see the abnormality and felt bad, shouting at the female snake demon. Once Chen Jia broke through the seal, he did not have full certainty of dealing with Chen Jia. What's the hurry? This petrified me. Never. The female snake demon proudly turned her head to look at the giant elephant man, but before she could finish, boom. Chen Jie's powerful chaotic Xian Huang body shattered his already petrified surface, revealing brand new skin. The entire person, however, was unharmed. This talent of yours, it's not that good. The corner of Chen Jie's mouth curled up slightly as he shook his right leg recklessly. My petrification talent is an advanced talent, unless your rank is far superior to mine, or the talent just happens to match mine. Otherwise it's impossible to break it so quickly. With her talent broken, the female snake demon was extremely angry, revealing a mouth full of sharp teeth as her eyes stared resentfully at Chen Jia. Her head shook and her eyes emitted light once again, wanting to use the same move to briefly seal Chen Jia, even if it was briefly sealed. Taking advantage of this time and being faster, she would still be able to successfully kill Chen Jia. Shu, unfortunately, Chen Jia would not give him this opportunity anymore. Three golden needles floated out from Chen Jia's hands, as fast as lightning. As the air-breaking shrill sound ended, the golden needles pierced into the female snake demon's eyes. Those eyes, after all, were tender parts. Being stabbed like this by Chen Jia's golden needle, immediately, blood splattered, and quite a lot of unidentified liquid inside the eyes flowed out along with it. My eyes. The female snake demon hurriedly covered her eyes with both hands in pain, kneeling down in agony and screaming up to the sky. As an important part of the talent's activation, once it was damaged, it meant that this talent of hers was considered completely ruined. At this moment, the female snake demon was not only in physical pain, spiritually, it was even more heartbreaking. However, Chen Jia was kind-hearted, and with a flip of his wrist, the heaven-opening axe reappeared in his hand. He flashed towards the female snake demon. The female snake demon only felt a blast of wind rushing towards her, without her eyes. She did not react at first that the person rushing towards her was Chen Jia. By the time she reacted and wanted to dodge, it was already too late. Chen Jia's hand rose and fell with the axe, and the female snake demon's head moved. Her body flipped and fell to the ground. After chopping the female snake demon down, Chen Jia did not even look at her for more than a second, but instead turned to look at the remaining giant elephant man. In just two moves, Chen Jia had killed the female snake demon. Such a vicious and quick speed made the giant elephant man tremble a little. The giant elephant man looked at Chen Jia's fierce gaze and swallowed hard. Battles, he had encountered quite a few. However, like today, a battle that gave him so much pressure. This was the first time. Next, it's your turn, giant elephant monster. Chen Jia looked at the giant elephant man with interest, as if he was looking at a toy. You think that if you were able to kill the female snake demon with ease, you would be able to deal with me with the same ease? Then you are too naive. The giant elephant man's gaze, which was still somewhat fearful, turned into a ferociousness of a decisive battle. He bit through his tongue, and threads of blood emerged from the corners of his mouth. Then, he devoured his own blood again. Relying on this self-sufficient method, he morbidly activated the talent in his body. After the bloodlust, the giant elephant's eyes were covered in blood, and his originally calm face began to turn red and distorted. The force of his hand holding the trident was no longer even controllable, allowing the nails to sink into his hands. In order to defeat Chen Jie, he chose to go insane, devouring his own blood. He entered into a state of complete madness. This state was also the first time he had used it. As for what kind of consequences it would produce, the giant elephant man himself did not even know. However, he knew that in this state, his body would be developed to the extreme, and anyone in front of him would be annihilated. Roar! The giant elephant man opened his mouth full of blood and roared violently into the air. The gusts of sound waves produced shook off several surrounding trees that were hugging each other. After going through bloodlust, the giant elephant man could not be described as less powerful. Even Chen Jie began to look at the giant elephant man with a serious stance. This giant elephant man could be considered the first one he encountered after awakening his talent that made him feel a little bit tricky. Suddenly, the giant elephant man's eyes, which were bubbling with red light, locked onto Chen Jie. He violently stepped backward, 
and his entire body shot out like a cannonball. The giant elephant man's figure left a string of false shadows in the air. The speed was as fast as it could be. Shin Jie still felt that the other party's speed was fast even under the Eye of True Vision's enhancement. In only half a breath, the giant elephant man had already dodged in front of him. In the next moment, what came face to face was the triton in his hand. Chen Jia reacted quickly as well, raising his hand to slash with the blade of his heaven-opening axe. After being strengthened, the strength of the giant elephant man could not be underestimated. Chen Jia used both hands to hold the axe handle as he chopped, not daring to be the slightest bit gullible. Dang, the sound of impact was deafening. The powerful impact did not make Chen Jia's weapon dislodge to the extent that it did. However, it also made him feel numbness in his hands and a slight pain in his tiger's mouth. This giant elephant man after bloodlust had such terrifying strength. Weakling, you can't block it anymore. Cough cough cough. The giant elephant man provoked Chen Jia while coughing up blood. This state of his was not long to support. He had to fight to kill Chen Jia in the shortest time possible. When the state ended, he would no longer be Chen Jia's opponent. Therefore, provoking Chen Jia now was the most correct choice for him. However, could Chen Jia not see this little trick? This type of fighting style with a sudden increase in strength was generally not long-lasting. However, he did not intend to endure and drag out the battle. If you want to come, come to a head-on battle. In order to fight head-on with the other party, Chen Jia also utilized his chaotic Xian Huang body to the limit. This giant elephant man was very strong. However, it was still not at a level that could threaten his life. This was a good opportunity to use to exercise himself. After using the chaotic Xian Huang body, the quality of Chen Jie's body received a huge boost. The muscle tissues that were already tight were now contracted even more refined. He swung his heaven-opening axe and attacked the giant elephant man head-on. The sharpness of the heaven-opening axe shone in all directions. Chen Jie was like a small giant as he danced the heaven-opening axe with a whirlwind. Boom! The heaven-opening axe and the triton clashed once more. The surrounding space shook for the two. But this time, Chen Jie no longer felt the slightest discomfort. Instead, felt like there was some sort of bloodline within his body that was stimulated, making him even more eager to fight. Again, Chen Jie let out a bellowing cry, holding the axe in both hands. He once again chopped towards the giant elephant man, looking at Chen Jie, who was even more vicious than himself. The giant elephant man was slightly confused, only able to passively defend. Clang clang clang, Chen Jie's attacks were as frequent as rain, unceasingly attacking the giant elephant man. The trident in his hand appeared to be slightly scarred, but this was far from over. Chen Jie was like crazy. It would not stop at all. Dang dang dang. The attack continued, but the giant elephant man's bloodlust state had already begun to decline. The force of the collision with Chen Jie was also slowly weakening. HM, is this your limit? Why so weak? So weak. Chen Jie attacked frantically, the remnants of the heaven opening axe continuously surfacing in the air. The giant elephant man, who was forced to resist, had more blood flowing out of the corners of his mouth, which was originally bloodied from such frequent attacks. Boom! As the blow landed, the giant elephant man completely collapsed. His entire body was shaken away by Chen Jie and flipped backwards, dragging himself across the ground for dozens of meters before coming to a stop. Looking from a distance, the giant elephant man was still trembling. There was no death. Only, he could no longer stand up. Originally, his body was already overdrawn from forcing his body into the bloodthirsty state. Coupled with Chen Jie's high-frequency, high-intensity attacks, his body was already completely ruined. Chen Jie carried the heaven opening axe and walked towards the giant elephant man unhurriedly. The giant elephant man looked at the approaching Chen Jie. His eyes had long since lost their previous arrogance and were filled with fear. The person in front of him was simply not human. Also being an awakened fifth stage, Chen Jie's physical strength seemed to be inexhaustible. Under such a high intensity battle, he was still able to breathe without gasping for air. Any last words? Chen Jie prepared to end the giant elephant man his body bubbling with a steaming murderous aura. The giant elephant man at this time was finally afraid. He smelled the scent of death. Can you? Don't kill me. I can be your mount and promise to be loyal. The giant elephant man rolled up with all her might before kneeling and supporting herself in front of Chen Jia again. Before the end of the world, she was just an ordinary person. Everything that was done was just to survive, to live down better. Do you think that I would believe? What comes out of your one mouth? Chen Jia slapped his axe in his hand. This giant elephant man, his growth and battle power were not low. Chen Jie did not have too much certainty of putting him under his control. I am willing to hand over the energy core. The giant elephant man hesitated for a moment before suddenly raising his head and reaching out to stab at his heart area. Ah ha! The intense pain caused the flesh on the giant elephant man's face to twist into a ball. Even with this pain, he still forcefully pulled out his energy core. Both hands were offered to Chen Jie. 
For the awakened, the energy core, was their life. Once, the energy core was destroyed, it was equivalent to dying no differently. Chen Jie frowned at the giant elephant man. This giant elephant man, who was able to change into all sorts of monsters, was not too bad in terms of strength. In the midst of the end times, especially in the later stages, all sorts of energy sources were depleted. In order to be able to walk around the world, having a mount would indeed be quite convenient. All right, give you a chance. Chen Jie received the energy core into his hands. However, if I find out that you betrayed, Chen Jie slightly pinched the giant elephant man's energy core. Instantly, the giant elephant man fell to the ground in pain and convulsed. Don't dare, don't dare. The giant elephant man covered his stomach with one hand and turned to Chen Jie with the other, begging for mercy. All right, transform into a horse. I have to continue exploring this secret realm for a bit. Chen Jie put away the giant elephant man's core and turned towards the female snake demon. There was no reason to not have spirit crystals awe after slaying an aberration awakened like the female snake demon. Under suspicion, Chen Jie raised his axe and split the female snake demon's body open. A pure yellow spirit crystal immediately slowly rose up. It was another primary spirit crystal. Like an ordinary spirit crystal, it was only pure white. And this kind of spirit crystal that possessed color, like the previous one, was undoubtedly a primary spirit crystal. As for that kind of higher spirit crystal, Chen Jia had yet to encounter it. However, being able to harvest a primary spirit crystal, Chen Jia was already satisfied. Putting the spirit crystal away, Chen Jia continued to release two channels of Hongmen Clear and Turbid Qi to surround the female snake demon, trying to see if he could harvest a talent from the female snake demon as before. A moment later, retracting the Hongmen Clear Turbid Qi, Chen Jie's eyes snapped open. Sure enough, another new talent had been harvested. Petrifying eyes, both eyes release a beam of light, and after the enemy's eyes see the beam, they will be petrified and lose life. This talent, there wasn't much of a difference between the talent that the female snake demon had cast on him before. However, Chen Jie felt that he should be able to enhance it. Thus, he covered his eyes with Hongmen Clear and Turbid Qi. After gathering a stream of energy to his eyes, both eyes instantly opened. Powerful rays of light shot out from Chen Jie's eyes, directly covering the area in front of him for a moment. At that instant, the flowers, plants and trees that were originally still fluttering in the wind were all petrified the moment they were touched by the light in Chen Jie's eyes. There was no need to meet his eyes at all. This was simply the upgraded version of the female snake demon, Banshee's gaze. It had directly become a ranged attack, and did not require the opponent to meet his eyes. If it wasn't for the giant elephant man behind him that he kept and still had use for, Xin Jia would have wanted to experiment with him for a bit. Have you made any special discoveries in this secret realm? Xin Jia turned his head towards the giant elephant man and opened his mouth to ask. He had stayed inside the cave for quite a long time, and was afraid that he was not as familiar with the outside world as giant elephant man. That was why he asked. Perhaps, the giant elephant man had better discoveries. Master, after I entered the secret realm, I did find a mysterious place. Only, where there is thunder everywhere, I can't even get close. That place, is there a treasure? There is. In which zone? With a fruit tree, the fruit on it, seems to be the legendary evolution fruit. Recalling the memory of seeing the evolution fruit, the giant elephant man's voice trembled a little. Evolutionary fruit. Hearing this term, Chen Jie similarly pulled up some memories. If he remembered correctly, the evolution fruit was something that every major power after the end of the world desperately wanted to capture. In his last life, because of an evolution fruit, it led to a scramble between three major countries. The scene could be considered shocking. Countless people had fallen victim to the scramble for this fruit. However, the benefits of successfully obtaining the fruit of evolution were also enormous, because the effects of the evolution fruit were very powerful. It was able to make the deformed monsters deformed once again, and most of them evolved in a better direction. Possessing this fruit was able to give the aberrations a huge boost once again. In a short period of time, it was able to create a party of overlords. This was why, so many people, coveted the evolution fruit. Unexpectedly, in this life, he was allowed to encounter it. Chen Jie was overjoyed. In which location? Take me there now. Chen Jie's eyes were glowing, somewhat impatient. If, he was able to obtain the evolution fruit, his already heaven-defying talent awakening could be taken to the next level. Moreover, the value of the evolution fruit should not have manifested yet. In the secret realm, the competition wasn't particularly strong. Okay, master is just over 10 kilometers ahead. The giant elephant man did not dare to delay and immediately transformed into a giant elephant, signaling Chen Jie to sit up. Chen Jie put away his heaven opening axe and rolled over to sit on the back of the giant elephant man. Afterwards, the giant elephant shivered and rushed up into the sky. 
It charged towards the place where he had discovered the evolutionary fruit earlier. Only ten minutes had passed. Chen Jie then felt a strong energy fluctuation. Looking up, Chen Jie saw an unusually grand aspect. In front of him was a land of thunder. Above the sky, dark clouds surrounded it, forming a huge cloud circle. In the center of the cloud circle, there was a constant stream of thunder falling. That thunder was a hundred feet in size, rushing down into the sky and bombarding the ground. The various boulders on the ground immediately crumbled and the land scorched black. This was the thunder that the giant elephant man had just mentioned. No wonder, he didn't dare to step on it either. He was also a deformed monster, and his body itself carried an evil aura. And once a thunder like this hit him, even if, he was a fifth order awakened, he would only be turned into flying dust. Master, the road ahead, with my ability, I might not be able to walk. The giant elephant transformed into human form and shook his head helplessly. If he could, he also wanted to personally observe what the evolution fruit looked like up close. At this location, it was indeed possible to see the evolutionary fruit as well. A giant tree through the sky that ran through the dome of the sky, and in the center of its branches and trunks was nurturing an emerald green fruit the size of a human head. That was the evolution fruit, just watching from a distance, only able to see a general. However, it was also able to feel the majestic energy on it. All right, you wait for me to return at this location. If there are any other benefits, I will reward you. Chen Jie took a step out. Others were afraid of thunder, but he wasn't. He was also gifted by aberration. However, there was one thing to note, and that was, his aberration could be different from those plant and animal aberrations of other people. The aberration he chose was a divine stone nurtured between heaven and earth. Moreover, his body even carries the pango bloodline on its shoulders. In terms of the rigidity of heaven and earth, these heavenly thunderbolts were far inferior to the pango bloodline in his body. Thank you master. The giant elephant excitedly looked at Chun Jie and hurriedly bowed down. After the land of thunder, in the location below the evolutionary fruit, whether it was flowers, plants or trees, those were all treasures that were of great benefit to their deformed monsters. If Chen Jie was able to give him a piece of it, he would all be able to receive a great enhancement. Chen Jie did not look at the giant elephant man either as he summoned his heaven opening axe and leapt forward, stepping into the land of thunder. As if the clouds in the sky were conscious, they sensed Chen Jie's presence. Angrily, they rained down several thunderbolts, vowing to split Chen Jie alive. However, Chen Jie merely suspended the heaven opening axe above his head and forcefully resisted it. The thunder split on top of the heaven opening axe, just like running water encountering a boulder, automatically dispersed, and could not touch Chen Jie in the slightest. This kind of thunder also wants to hurt me? Chen Jie sensed that the thunder that fell from the sky was not as powerful as the real thunder in the outside world. This secret realm itself is an illusion. These thunderbolts are no match for the real heavenly thunderbolts. It might even be slightly weaker than the evil expelling thunder of Xiao Wanru's green scale long sword. The thunder was no threat to Chen Jie, so he walked step by step towards the evolutionary fruit tree. The giant elephant man in the distance watched the scene and his jaw dropped in shock. Last time, he had also attempted to step into the land of thunder. As soon as he entered, he was struck by a thunderbolt. With that power, if it wasn't for his thick skin, he would have been directly crushed. And now Chen Jie was walking through it like he was strolling through a vegetable market. This, the giant elephant man was now somewhat grateful for his escape from the energy core and submission to Chen Jie. Not only was he saving his life, but following Chen Jie, it would not be impossible for him to soar in the future. After walking for about three minutes, Chen Jie managed to walk out of the Thunderland. Just after coming out, Chen Jie just took a breath and immediately felt the dense energy that poured into his body. Even the fatigue from earlier due to resisting the thunder with the heaven opening axe dissipated. This was truly a piece of treasure. Chen Jie was ecstatic. However, he still suppressed his inner excitement. A place like this could easily breed some super strong monsters. One had to be careful with this. There were still a few hundred meters away from the evolution fruit. Chen Jie had already felt the powerful energy fluctuations from it. Every second, Chen Jie could feel a piece of energy emanating from the evolutionary fruit. It hit him causing the blood in his body to continuously boil. A desire that could not wait to devour the evolution fruit was infinitely amplified. If it wasn't for the powerful talent he had awakened, if he were an ordinary person, I'm afraid that he would have already lost his mind to the fruit of evolution. Like a mad dog, he rushed towards the evolution fruit. Even though the fruit of evolution was close to his eyes, Chen Jie was also maintaining a high level of vigilance. Just when Chen Jie was less than a hundred meters away from the evolution fruit, suddenly, a sudden change occurred. The originally calm ground, steeply, drilled out countless tree roots. These tree roots were covered in golden color and transformed into different weapon shapes. There are knives, guns, forks and so on, 
all stabbing towards Chen Jie, the tree roots after this transformation, the speed was extremely fast and incomparable, the road shadow, like lightning generally to Chen Jie attack, fortunately, Chen Jie had been alerted and placed his heaven opening axe in front of his body, swinging out a few axes in a row, he retreated backwards as he fought, there were too many attacks, and if he missed, he would most likely be pierced by these tree roots, Chen Jie used his, eye of truth, to view these tree roots, and the energy carried on them was not much weaker at all, the attack from each of these roots might have the power of his full strength, obviously, there was not much chance of winning against these roots head on, Chen Jie maintained his composure, fending off the tree roots attacks while searching for their weaknesses, just as Chen Jie was tangling with the tree roots, quite a few people had already gathered outside the Thunderland, this place, in fact, was not only the first to be discovered by the giant elephant man, many people, when they first came to the secret realm, had also discovered this place, only that they were unable to cross the Thunderland, they could only look away, but now there are even people who crossed the Thunderland, close to the evolutionary fruit the ringing here, immediately attracted a lot of people to come and watch, these people were not just people from the dragon kingdom, there were also some people from other countries, for example, the vampires from the curly haired eagle jam country, after the outbreak of the end times, the vampires of the eagle sauce country, too, began to collectively explode, these vampires, in fact, are the same as the super martial awakening that appeared in the dragon country, it belongs to a kind of special awakening that comes after devouring animals, like the countries that had a good little life, on the other hand, had awakened their samurai, these samurai, were still wearing their kimono, the core attack weapon, is the long sword in their hands, among them, the closest to the dragon kingdom's super martial awakening had to be the kimchi kingdom, what the kimchi kingdom had awakened was also a type of ultra martial, only, their weapon was a lot more special and wasn't a long sword like the dragon kingdom's ultra martial, what they used was a steel baseball bat, oh my god, this young man, how did he pass through these thunders, it's unbelievable, Coris, the white haired vampire of the eagle sauce kingdom, was amazed, a body like his was afraid of even the sun, let alone thunder, that was why he was curious about Chen Jie being able to pass through the thunder and go to the evolution fruit, Yosi, no matter how he got through, as long as he takes out the fruit and I drop him dead, the fruit is mine, Xiao Tianji Hanagawa's steel plate's gaze was gloomy, his hand tightly gripping his katana, just needing to wait for Chen Jie to come, he planned to strike and snatch Chen Jie's evolutionary fruit, the rest of the country's awakened people were similarly eyeing Chen Jie, it's not certain who can snatch who, Kimchi Country's Park Duan Shedding danced his baseball bat with confidence, this evolution fruit, he also wanted it, the giant elephant man only felt a wave of nausea as he looked at these people's faces, instead of breaking through the minefield and picking the evolutionary fruit themselves, they were staring at what others had worked so hard to obtain, compared to the evolution fruits, the giant elephant man was more nervous about whether Chen Jie could deal with these tree roots that would actively attack, his core was still in Chen Jie's hands, once, Chen Jie died, along with him, he pretty much had to meet the king of hell as well, swish swish swish, Chen Jie dodged a few times and dodged another wave of tree roots, he even gasped for a few breaths, although, right now, he was able to maneuver around these tree roots, it was not a solution to go on like this, his physical strength was limited, and these tree roots seemed to be able to infinitely absorb the energy of this area, after these waves of attacks, the might of these tree roots had not weakened in the slightest, swish, another tree root stabbed, Chen Jie hurriedly rolled over and retreated, just in time to jump into the land of thunder, a huge thunderbolt rolled down at this time. Chen Jie could only raise his heaven opening axe again to parry it. However, at this time, Chen Jie was surprised to find that after he entered the land of thunder, those tree roots directly stopped in the air. They did not dare to attack him again. Could it be that these tree roots were afraid of the thunder in the land of thunder? In this way, Chen Jie had an idea in his heart. He summoned the Hongmeng Clear and Turbid Qi and immediately allowed the Hongmeng Clear and Turbid Qi to pour into the thunder when the next thunder landed. Soon, the Hongmeng Turbid Chi basically familiarized itself with the characteristics of the thunder in this thunderland. Next, with a wave of Chen Jie's hand, the Hongmeng Turbid Chi immediately transformed into the likeness of the thunder in the land of thunder. It surrounded him. At this time, once again, the evolutionary fruit was approached. Those tree roots likewise sensed Chen Jie once again and jutted out. But just as they approached Chen Jie, they stopped in the air. They didn't dare to advance any further. As expected, these tree roots are very afraid of thunder. Chen Jie put down his heart, recklessly passed through the roots, jumped twice, and climbed up the tree of evolution. The fruit of evolution was just a stone's throw away. Wah! Just as Chen Jie was about to pluck the fruit of evolution, a golden silk demon ape in the fork of the tree in front of him suddenly awoke. The devil ape hissed at Chen Jie. 
trying to make Chen Jie stop. It was not easy to pick the evolution fruit, so Chen Jie could not let it go so easily. Leaping forward, he grabbed the evolutionary fruit and picked it off. Just as he got his hands on it, Chen Jie felt a warmth in his palms. A wave of energy was fed into his torso. It caused all of his physique to undergo a subtle change. It hadn't even been eaten yet. Just by touching it, it already had such an effect. Chen Jie was overjoyed. Enjoying this fruit afterwards, there was no telling to which level he would be able to ascend to. Seeing Chen Jie take the evolutionary fruit off, the devil ape stormed out. Its eyes instantly became red, and its body began to expand rapidly, and in no time it was the size of a small mountain. The energy fluctuations emitted were far above Chen Jie. The eye of truth was only a sweep. Chen Jie was immediately startled by the power of this demonic ape. This demonic ape. Its strength had already reached the equivalent of an awakened one's seventh stage of existence. It directly crushed Chen Jie by two orders. Run. Chen Jie's first choice was to avoid battle. Even if his talent was heaven-defying, he had consumed a lot of physical strength after circling around with the tree root just now. Now, if he fought head-on with the demon ape, he would definitely not be able to gain any benefits. It would be better to find a place to absorb the evolutionary fruit. And by then, this demon ape would definitely not be his opponent. After thinking about it, Chen Jie's body flashed and disappeared. Towards the outside of the Thunderlands, he quickly withdrew. Most of the people standing outside, seeing Chen Jie's figure, revealed a greedy expression. Yossi, he really did bring out the evolution fruit. This fruit is mine. Oh, how can a lowly race be worthy of possessing an evolutionary fruit? Be a good boy and deliver it to my hands. The Lord will bless you. This should belong to our kimchi country. Just as these looked at Chen Jie expectantly, suddenly they realized something was wrong. Boom boom boom. The earth was trembling at this time, and the frequency was extremely fast. How did an earthquake start? Looking up, behind Chen Jie, followed by a crazy monkey the size of a small mountain, this demonic ape could walk hundreds of meters with a single step. Fortunately, Chen Jie's speed was not slow, or else he was afraid that he would be trampled to death by this demon ape. Giant elephant. Transform. Chen Jie shouted as he held the evolution fruit in his hand. The giant elephant man hurriedly changed his body shape and transformed into an eagle, rushing towards Chen Jie. When Chen Jie saw the giant elephant man charging, he leaped and stood on the male eagle. Choke dash. The male eagle cried out, lifted its wings in the opposite direction of the demonic ape's charge, and quickly withdrew. The first two days of the broken shift, these two days to make up for it. Thank you brothers for your support. These two days hand code broken. The giant elephant man's illusory eagle was extremely fast, and in just an instant, it immediately flew out hundreds of miles away. That dragon countryman, escaped, we can't let him swallow the evolution fruit all by himself. Everything within this secret territory is publicly owned. Baka, my evolution fruit, you don't want to take it. Everything should be mine. Kimchi kingdom, whether it's the dragon kingdom's traditions or the evolution fruit in this man's hand now. After him. These awakened ones from other countries immediately reacted when they saw Chen Jie fleeing into the distance. However, just as they wanted to catalyze their talents to chase after Chen Jie, a huge projection behind them covered them all. The crowd turned their heads to look, only to see a huge red-eyed demon ape, the size of Tarzan, looking angrily at Chen Jie in the distance. Roar! The devil ape angrily pounded up its chest and roared. Seeing these people from other countries, their shapes were quite similar to Chen Jie. It then recognized them as being in the same group as Chen Jie. Right now, unable to catch up with Chen Jie, the devil ape took it out on these people. The devil ape raised his large, thick hand and slapped downwards. The giant hand drove the air and made a crackling sound. Boom! The devil ape's huge hand slapped at the crowd without hesitation. Some of the resourceful ones with high talent were in an okay situation, barely able to dodge. And those dumb ones were pitiful, directly being slapped into mush by the giant hand, the whole thing sinking into the mud, can't even dig out. The devil ape gave these people a slap and did not continue to consume time. Instead, it headed in the direction of Chen Jie and continued to chase after them. The map of this secret realm was not large. As long as one kept chasing, the devil ape believed that sooner or later, he would be able to catch this person who had stolen his evolutionary fruit. Seeing the demon ape running away, these surviving awakened ones from various countries only dared to open their mouths and speak. What kind of monster is this? Baka, luckily, I'm fast enough or else I would have died here today. My God, I didn't provoke this monster. God forgive me, spare my life. It's all because of this Chen Jie. I almost got buried with him. The awakened beings from various countries were all sweating over the strike just now. However, even with their hearts palpitating, they looked at the direction Chen Jie escaped. They still got up and followed the demonic ape to catch up. One by one, they unleashed their talents. 
turning into rays of colorful colors, they chased after them, even though, it was possible that in the end of the chase, Qin Jia was killed by the demon ape and they would not be able to obtain the evolutionary fruit, then, by cleaning up the battlefield, they would be able to reap a lot of benefits from Qin Jia, the secrets hidden in the body of a person who had recklessly crossed the Thunderlands was enough to attract them, master, this demonic ape's endurance is just too terrifying, I'm afraid I won't be able to support it for much longer. The giant elephant man turned his head towards Chen Jie and said rather wearily, he had already flown for dozens of miles, but the demonic ape behind him was still in hot pursuit. He was only at the fifth awakening stage, being chased by an awakening seventh stage, it was already not easy to hold on until now. Chen Jie listened to what the giant elephant man said before turning his head to look at the ferocious demonic ape again. Got it, you keep up the good work, Chen Jie said indifferently. With the current situation, he had to step in. However, he had only awakened to the fifth rank, so he obviously had little chance of winning. Unless, Chen Jia would look towards the evolutionary fruit in his hand. This fruit, from the moment it was plucked, was sending energy to Chen Jia's body. Just holding it in his hand and offering it, it was able to give a constant boost. If, what about consuming it? Only, with such a huge amount of energy, without any preparation, Chen Jia could not help but have some concerns. Roar roar roar, behind the devil ape, the terrifying roar. Pulled Chen Jie's thoughts straight back. This demon ape, the more he chased, the more violent he became. In case he caught up with him behind him, he would only end up dead. After thinking clearly, Chen Jie gritted his teeth and ate half of the evolution fruit in one bite. Just after the evolution fruit entered his mouth, Chen Jie instantly felt his mouth full of sweetness, as if, there aren't too many side effects? Chen Jie hurriedly took the rest of the evolution fruit and ate it together. This was something that was obtained after fighting for his life. How could he waste it? After eating the entire evolution fruit, Chen Jie immediately felt a warmth in his belly. The evolution fruit began to transform into pure energy, followed by dispersing it around the entire body. In less than half a minute, Chen Jie felt that the tendons and bones of his entire body had been moisturized by the essence of the evolution fruit. The strength of his body had definitely gone up a notch. However, this was not enough. The evolution fruit, however, was a treasure that could allow a deformed monster to deform again and move up a level. How could? Just as Chen Jie was dissatisfied with the effect of the evolution fruit, the originally warm belly began to become hot. It turned out that the main event was here. That parched energy. Unlike the party, it crashed around, rushing everywhere on Chen Jie's body, seemingly wanting to rush out from Chen Jie's body. It was also, the mania of this energy. It made Chen Jie's body tremble. The figure was a little unsteady. Must. Suppress it. At this time, Chen Jie was already sweating profusely his entire face reddening and whitening at once, the demonic ape behind him, sensing the disappearance of the evolutionary fruit's aura, became even more maniacal, it accelerated with all its might, retrieving the fruit of evolution was no longer possible, but it had to kill this human, the devil ape's hatred towards Chen Jie reached its peak, master, this monkey, is close to catching up, I won't be able to hold it off, the giant elephant man continuously urged, originally, he was already exhausted and his speed was decreasing, and now that the demonic ape behind him was accelerating again, the distance between the two of them was instantly brought much closer. The giant elephant man estimated that it wouldn't take long for the demonic ape to catch up with him. Chen Jie's entire body was already bubbling with white gas at this time. He utilized the chaotic Xian Huang body to forcefully suppress that violent energy, and then drew the two Hongmen clear and turbid Qi to entangle and devour it. During this process, Chen Jie truly felt a transformation. During the process of absorbing this violent energy, Chen Jie had already felt the changes occurring in the various tissues of his body, and this process, was getting faster and faster, it was at the extreme point, it was about to arrive, Chen Jie felt the sensation of evolution, ah, at that moment, Chen Jie's body finally broke through the node and successfully completed the metamorphosis, his body shivered as incomparably blinding golden light emitted from his body, the aura of his body even came directly to the awakened sixth stage, by virtue of the special nature of the fruit, after reaching evolution, even the realm was raised by one order. It was truly worthy of being the evolution fruit that had caused countries to fight for their heads in previous generations. All right, you can stop now. Chen Jie paused his feet, signaling the giant elephant man to stop. Next, it was time to go head to head with the demonic ape. Chen Jie jumped off the eagle and stood upright in the air, the air currents surging around him in a domineering manner. The originally manic demon ape rushed to Chen Jie's body. Originally, it wanted to directly lay hands on Chen Jie, but now, Feeling the domineering aura of Chen Jie's body, suddenly his brain also calmed down by three points. This youth in front of him, had metamorphosed, 
Devil Ape stared at Chen Jie with slight scruples, and did not make the next move for the time being. Of course, in his heart, he still hated Chen Jie very much. Look guys, this dragon countryman has been caught up by the demon ape. Just with the strength of this demon ape, it won't take long before we can see him turn into a pile of mush. Oh, what a pitiful dragon countryman. Originally, he might have been able to run a little longer, but now he's stopped, purely looking for death. There's no longer the scent of the evolution fruit on him. The fruit was eaten by him. Damn it. At this time, the group of awakened ones from the other countries also followed them up and stood observing from afar. It was as if they had already seen the scene of Chen Jie being slapped into a meat cake by the demon ape. The devil ape and Chen Jie stalemated for a short while. It finally couldn't help itself, bared its teeth, and manifested a wooden stick. This wooden stick, obtained from the evolution tree, was no less hard than an advanced awakening mimicry weapon. At the same time, Chen Jie also summoned his heaven opening axe. The heaven opening axe at this time was very different from before. The heaven opening axe now grew by half compared to before, and a red light was faintly visible on the blade of the axe. It revealed a dangerous aura all over. As soon as it appeared, the surrounding aura, with Chen Jie's heaven opening axe as the center, swept in. Immediately, the surroundings changed color. Flying sand and rocks, and jungles fell. This dragon nation, the weapon is so strong. However, it shouldn't be a match for this demon ape either. Kimchi Country's Park Duan Moltz, on the contrary, was quite greedy for Chen Jie's weapon. This their country's nature. As long as it was someone else's thing, they liked to make it their own. Seeing that Chen Jie's weapon was powerful, the demon ape was completely unable to sit still, leaping up in a single bound. Who? The devil ape roared strangely a few times and swung its wooden stick at Chen Jie. However, it was clueless, completely hitting randomly. However, even with such chaotic strikes, the effect produced was extremely terrifying. The energy waves that spilled out from the wooden stick splashed everywhere, and in a moment, there were deep pits all around. Chen Jie was not in a hurry to meet the attack. Instead, he temporarily wandered away, dodging the attacks of the demon ape, checking the opponent's broken position. Even though, he had already awakened to the sixth rank while his talent had evolved, he still felt that he couldn't take this demon ape down in a single strike. As the demon ape's attacks fell short time and time again, he became even more annoyed in his heart, and his attacks became even faster. It only danced for three minutes. Under this high frequency and powerful attack, the speed of the devil ape quickly slowed down. Coupled with its huge size, Chen Jie saw a break in him at a glance. Open heaven. The moment he seized the break, Chen Jie immediately unleashed his talent. A giant axe descended into the sky, and the sound rolled like rushing thunder. At this moment, the awakened ones watching from the side seemed to have seen that countless meteorites were falling in the sky. Powerful shock aftershocks came crashing down. Boom! The heaven opening axe directly chopped on top of the right arm of the demonic ape's body. Put! Immediately, the skin of the devil ape's right arm split open, and the entirety of the heaven opening axe sunk in. Swish! Chen Jia quickly pulled out the heaven opening axe and immediately flashed to the side again. The devil ape suffered pain and jumped furiously, hastily swinging his wooden stick and slashing towards Chen Jia's direction. Unfortunately, could not hit Chen Jia at all and instead hit on top of a mountain peak to the side. Boom! The mountain was instead cut in half by the demonic ape. Roar roar roar! Unable to hit Chen Jie, the demon ape was extremely irritable, and its eyes were even more red and terrifying. This dragon countryman, has some means. Eagle sauce vampire curries gritted his teeth. Seeing that Chen Jie was able to maneuver around such a powerful demon ape, the always arrogant and unrivaled curries felt that his dignity had been dealt a blow. It was unacceptable to him that a person of a lowly race was above him in terms of battle power. Baka, hacking this monkey, I can do it even if I drop. This Rokoko man, in front of me, can only submit as well. Unlike Kori's, Nichikawa Steel Plate did not recognize Chen Jie's strength. Instead, he felt that he was also able to be on par with the demonic ape. Even, he was able to defeat the Chen Jie at this time head on, seeing that this demon ape could only jump around. Chen Jie also seemed to be a bit bored. If, before not using the evolution fruit, the devil ape may still fight with him back and forth. But now, this devil ape, in his eyes, was really too weak. Chen Jie's face chilled as he raised his heaven opening axe and rose into the air. What does this dragon nation want? He's going to use his talent? What a powerful aura. Is he going to end the demonic ape? With a thought, all of the enormous power converged onto the blade of the heaven opening axe. Two huge channels of Hongmeng clear and turbid chi also rushed out of the sky. In an instant, it covered the sky. It's over, Chen Jie coldly said. With that, he gripped the heaven opening axe with both hands and slashed downwards. That, in fact, 
truly had the aura of splitting open the chaos and creating the world in three ways. Bang bang bang. As the heaven opening axe fell, a series of sonic booms rang out in the air. The surrounding mountains and rivers shook, and the boulders and trees on the ground all crumbled by inches. In an instant, it was as if the end of the world had descended. This was Qin Jia's strongest move after his advancement. And, open heaven and earth, unleashed this time, the opening heaven and earth was far more powerful than the previous one by a thousand times. Sensing Qin Jia's strong aura, the demonic ape at this time, completely panicked. However, he was already under Qin Jia's huge axe, and there was no point in fleeing, only to see the devil ape. His legs were like a horse stance, sharp teeth clenched, the golden hair on its body, began to turn reddish, and a blood red aura emerged from its body, the effect of the devil ape pressing the blood of its entire body to break through its own limits. At this time, the devil ape's aura had already reached the peak of the seventh rank, and even stepped into the eighth rank. Roar! The devil ape hissed, exerting all his strength to inject energy into the wooden stick in his hand, and then toppled towards Chen Jie. This time, it was either you die or I die. In a split second, the two touched each other. Boom boom boom. Click. 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 In the sky, the rattling was constant, and the awakened people from the various countries on the ground were so shaken that they could only cover their ears. For a moment, wait until the sound stopped, only to see in the air. Chen Jie was already standing proudly, and the wooden stick in the demon ape's hand had already broken, and a thread of blood flowed out from the top of its head. Subsequently, the demonic ape collapsed to the side. Boom. A seventh-ranked demon ape was thus decapitated by Chen Jie, the awakened people of the various countries, seeing the fallen demon ape on the ground, looked at each other in disbelief that this was true. There was a huge difference between Chen Jie and the demon ape. In just one move, Chen Jie had decimated his opponent? No need to be surprised. It's your turn now. Suddenly, Chen Jie's voice came from the air. Upon hearing Chen Jie's voice, the awakened ones from various countries felt as if their hearts were being pinched. Cold sweat was even pouring from their backs. This dragon nation person wants our lives. Run. Baka. I knew the dragon nation people were greatly bad. Lowly race. Think you can subdue me like this? Some of the awakened from various countries wanted to run away. While some were still recalcitrant. Chen Jie did not panic and stood in the air. Glancing at these awakened ones with his eyes. Just now. When he was escaping. These people. They were already hitting on him. Now that he was out of the trap. How could he let these people live? Of course, he wasn't the type of person who was addicted to killing. Sensing, the killing intent on Shen Jie's body, Nikawa Steelplate was the first to rush out. He was already extremely conceited. Even after seeing Shen Jie's strength, he still hardened his heart. This was the spirit that their country believed in. Good. Iron Head. Nearly glancing at the Nichikawa Steelplate that rushed up, Shen Jie then blasted down with a fist. As for the heaven opening axe, not need to use it. Baka. I chop. The muscles on Nikawa steel plate's face twisted into a ball, trying his best to make himself appear ferocious. Unfortunately, this was useless in front of Chen Jie. Before he could swing his long sword, Chen Jie's fist had already landed on top of his face. Boom! Hinagawa steel plate's head was immediately dented, and his entire body flew backwards two punches. It eventually smashed on the ground, never moving a bit again. Next, it's your turn. Chen Jie was like the king of Hades nodding his head as he looked towards vampire curries. Nowadays, these people were like ants in Chen Jie's eyes, only needing him to exert a little bit of force, he would be able to crush them to death. Only, he enjoyed it even more. This feeling of making them fearful and then executing them one by one. I am a noble vampire. You can't possibly kill. Me. Swish. A cold aura flashed by, and Kuri's body was instantly split into two halves. He hadn't even finished speaking. Chen Jie felt that he was too noisy. After killing Kuri's, Chen Jie turned his head to look at the others. The two peak awakened fifth steps were so easily killed by Chen Jie with a single strike. The rest of them, seeing Chen Jie was like seeing the devil. Too lazy to order them one by one. You guys go along with them. Chen Jie lost his patience at this point and was ready to send these people to the west with a single axe. Dragon Nation, you dare. If the higher ups of my kimchi kingdom knew that you had me killed, they would seek revenge on you even if they stepped across the border. Park Duan will pointed at Chen Jie and shouted. He hoped that Chen Jie would have regard for the power of the country. Even if Chen Jie did not fear him, he had to weigh the national power of his kimchi country. Sure enough, hearing this, Chen Jie stopped. You are from the pickle country, right? Good. Three months later, the entire kimchi country, together to accompany your funeral. After saying this, Chen Jie continued to swing the heaven opening axe in his hand. Swish, like cutting leeks, an axe led by Park Duanmal, cutting through the crowd. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. 
At once, a large number of awakened ones from the various countries present died. Immediately afterward, another axe, and another large swathe of awakened ones from various countries died. Chen Jia wandered amongst these people, just like the god of death descending into the world, crazily harvesting lives. After three minutes had passed, none of the awakened from the various countries present had escaped. All of them were harvested by Chen Jia, and at this moment, inside a certain castle in the Eagle Sauce country. What? Our Kuris, the most promising young man, was killed by a dragon nation? The vampire king, who was sitting on a throne encrusted with red diamonds, slapped the seat in shock and anger. My king, there is no mistake, this is the image that Kuris transmitted back with the help of his talent. The vampire henchman at the bottom, raised his hand, and a bloodstone in his hand projected a picture. The image was playing exactly the last three seconds of Chen Jie, who had hacked Kuris to death. Damn dragon nation, I had planned to clean up my country's aberrant monsters in three months before going to occupy their country, but now they're looking for us first. The vampire king gritted his teeth and looked at Chen Jie's figure, itching to bite his neck, accelerate the rate of advancement. At the same time, send the face of this dragon nation to all the vampires. This revenge, our vampire race will remember it. Kuris was the most perfect generation of vampires made by the vampire king. He was even thinking of nurturing Kuris into the next generation of vampire king by purposely sending him into the secret realm to exercise. However, his Kuris was cut down by Qin Jie just like that, and his heart ached immensely. Also shaken was the Sakura kingdom. Inside a certain hall in the Sakura kingdom, a projector played, the image of Hinagawa steel plate being smashed to death by Qin Jie with a single punch. Strange shame, a high-ranking samurai of our country was killed by a dragon countryman. In a situation like theirs, there was also the Kimchi Kingdom, which was not far away from the neighboring country. ACI Bar, the leader of the pickle country, slapping the tabletop, vowed to kill Chen Jie. All of this, Chen Jie who was in the middle of the secret realm did not know. Of course, since he dared to kill all the awakened people from these countries who had entered the secret realm, he was naturally not afraid of the other party's retaliation. As for, why did he kill these people? For one thing, it was of course due to the fact that these people, when he seized the evolutionary fruit, then, they had already thought of laying their hands on him. Secondly, naturally, it was some great national vendetta, especially that Hinokawa steel plate, he felt sick to his stomach just looking at it. The battlefield was cleaned up. For the remaining three days, Chen Jie searched around for some supplies within the secret realm. After receiving a reminder from the giant elephant man that the opening time of the secret realm was about to end, he returned to the outside world through the token. As soon as he returned, Chen Jie was welcomed by a group of rat-headed and humanoid deformed monsters. Chen Jie glanced at these deformed monsters, they were all small monsters of the fourth rank. Calling out the heaven opening axe, he threw it towards them. But, put, in just one maneuver, all of these rat-shaped deformed monsters were eliminated by Chen Jie. If this were to happen before, dealing with these fourth order aberration monsters, it would have to be busy for a while. Entering the secret realm this time, the enhancement was great. Let's go to the city center. Chen Jie jumped onto the eagle that the giant elephant man had transformed into and pointed a direction towards the east of the sky. The male eagle shook its legs and rushed out of the sky, rushing towards the city center at an extremely fast speed. At this time, the giant elephant man had completely submitted to Chen Jie. This man is really too strong. Follow him to mix. The future will certainly be prosperous. And at this time the city center hospital has been surrounded by a group of people, and the leader, it is the Yao Tian group, from the White Eagle Empire invited Rouse, Chen Jie, where is it, I'll give you 10 seconds to hand over Chen Jie, otherwise, die, Rouse's gaze was icy cold as he stared at Xiao Wanru inside the hospital and declared proudly, boom, a fierce wind blew up, suddenly, in the sky, Chen Jie's majestic voice resounded, are you all, looking for me, there are two more shifts in the daytime, Ali gives, the people of Yao Tian group on the ground quickly recognized that the person in front of them was none other than Chen Jie, especially Chairman Huang Yen. He hurriedly pointed out to Rouse beside him. This person is Chen Jie. He is the murderer who killed my child. Mr. Rouse, request that you help me kill him. Rouse narrowed his eyes and nodded. Just this young man? Oh, what a pity. So young to die in my hands. With the current realm of Laos, he could not see the terror of Chen Jie at all. Instead, looking at Chen Jie's harmless appearance, he felt sorry for Chen Jie's imminent death. Chen Jie, you killed my son. Death is not enough. Getting an answer from Rao's, Huang Yan also had the guts to yell at Chen Jie in his capacity as an ordinary person. Chen Jie's face, he had seen it countless times. He hated it. He hated this murderer of his son. Chen Jie looked at these two jumping clowns on the ground with contempt and said indifferently, Your son, 
Who is he? Indeed, there were many people who had died under his hands. He had no idea what the other party was talking about when Huang Yan said a bunch of things. My son, Huang Tian, Huang Yan gritted his teeth in anger. Hearing this name, Chen Jie felt some impression. It didn't take long to recall the idiot who had threatened him with money in the Yaotian group when the end times occurred. Oh, somewhat impressed. In that case, those awakened who came to trouble me before were also sent by you, right? Chen Jie summoned the heaven opening axe and said indifferently. Just now, the situation was still unclear, but now it was clear. Since they were enemies, the heaven opening axe had to see blood again. That's right, it's only a pity, didn't get you killed. Huang Tian laughed bitterly. Rouse, who was on the side? Scratched his head. All right, it's useless to say so much. I'll help you set him straight. Seeing Rouse ready to strike, Huang Yan could only back off. Chen Jie lowered his head and slightly looked at the exotic man with his proper eyes. District awakened person early sixth stage. Feeling Chen Jie's contemptuous gaze, a wave of anger rose in Rouse's heart. Suddenly, a bright red surfaced on his body, covering him, which was his ultra martial armor. Laws locked onto Chen Jie's position in the air and roared angrily as he charged up. Lowly Dragon Nation, who gave you such courage to look at me with such a gaze? Law's aura was monstrous, truly like a descending demon. Jie, be careful, inside the hospital. Xiao Wanru, who saw this scene through the window, clenched her hands in worry. Just a moment ago, she was surrounded by this crowd of people who possessed Sixth Order Awakened Ones, and had already felt that a great difficulty was at hand. Fortunately, Chen Jie, whom she had missed day in and day out, had returned, in order not to affect Chen Jie's battle, she also pressed down the excitement in her heart and stayed hidden for the time being, really looking for death, Chen Jie slightly raised his eyelids, the heaven opening axe in his hand slightly shook, and a domineering Hong Meng aura, wrapped in might, broke through the air, bang, this Hong Meng breath, directly smashed into Rouse's armor, immediately penetrating the other party's armor, in just a few moments, the super martial armor that Laws was so proud of, cracked, the powerful aura directly pushed Rao's back down to the ground, boom, Rao's entire body plunged into the ground, spitting out blood, Huang Yen, who was on the side, was simply unable to accept the scene when he saw it, the super battle force that he had gambled his entire fortune on and invited was shattered by Qin Jie with just such a strike, you are not like someone from my country, ha, huh? just a small cockroach, why are you waving your eyes in front of me, Qin Jie was expressionless, thinking that those people from the Eagle Sauce country would not be so quick to come for revenge, still hanging out with Huang Yan, Laws struggled to get out of the ground pit, and climbed out, he clearly felt Chen Jie's aura, which was at most awakened sixth order, the same order as him, how was it so much stronger than him, Laws looked at Huang Tian with resentment, didn't you say that this person is only awakened person fourth or fifth rank like this, you deliberately lied about your battle strength, I'm afraid it wasn't to harm me, no, Lord Laos, these are all the news that came back from the Lin clan, saying that the other party is only in awakened 4 or 5 ranks. All of them were reported truthfully. How could I dare to lie? Huang Tian looked flustered and waved his hands. I think you too. There is no need to discuss this anymore. Chen Jie's face was chilled. In just a split second, Chen Jie threw out the heaven opening axe in his hand. Huang Yan and Laos on the ground merely saw a yellow light flash by. After that, poof, poof, with a single arrow. Chen Jie decapitated the two men as if he had pinched two ants to death. In the eyes of today's Chen Jie, there was actually no difference between the awakened Sixth Order Rouse and the ordinary person Huang Yan, the leader of the group. Laws, died, on the ground. Those who originally belonged to the Guangyao group saw the scene. They fell down in front of Chen Jie, begging for Chen Jie to spare their lives. Chen Jie looked at these people with cold eyes, just as he was about to clean them up with an axe. Little Jie, in the middle of the hospital. Xiao Wanru rushed out, the corners of her eyes containing jewel-like teardrops, she directly jumped into Chen Jie's arms, I've been waiting for you for a long, long time, you finally came back safely, you don't even know how scared I was every day, Xiao Wanru pressed herself against Chen Jie's chest, recounting her worries these days, after Chen Jie left, she had nightmares almost every day that Chen Jie would never come back, Wanru, I'm not back, and my strength has increased by a large margin, Chen Jie tenderly stroked Xiao Wanru's head, in this world, she was the only one who cared so much about herself and whether she was safe or not. Boss Chen, after Xiao Wanru came out for a while, Lin Yao and Lin Shiyu came out one after another and knelt in front of Chen Jie. At this time, Lin Yao had already reached the threshold of the peak of the fifth rank. As for Lin Shiyu, he had also managed to enter the peak of the third rank and was almost able to reach the fourth rank. Chen Jie nodded to the duo, then he looked at the bottom again, at the kneeling Lin Yao group's people. 
Those of you who are sincere and join me stay. Those who are not interested leave. And I promise not to kill you with my hands. Chen Jie's voice filled with majesty echoed in the air. There were quite a few awakened amongst these people. And Chen Jie also planned to formally form his forces. In the future, it would be convenient to deal with the Kinchi nation. The people at the bottom looked at each other in disbelief. Some of them genuinely wanted to surrender to Chen Jie, while others wanted to escape. After a few moments, there was finally the first person who rushed out. Chen Jie did not make a move. Seeing this, almost a dozen went out one after another. The rest of you, are all sincere in joining me? Chen Jie snapped at the people underneath. We, sincerely join. The crowd sincerely worshipped. They were all smart people. Chen Jie's current strength could be considered top of the entire province. If they did not join Chen Jie, could there be a better place to go? Good. Then from now on, you will belong to my men. And if there are any betrayers, you will be slaughtered together. The name of our group. Chopping Dragon. Chen Jie's voice rolled out, and the word Chopping Dragon was branded in everyone's heart. Afterwards, Chen Jie threw a spirit fruit found in the secret realm to Lin Yao. Lin Yao accepted the spirit fruit and immediately understood. Rushing towards the person who had just fled, he chased after them. For the people who fled, Chen Jie did manage to speak honestly. It did not make a move to kill them. However, it was none of his business for Lin Yao to go and kill them. Right now, looking at these awakened and some ordinary people, they all joined him. It was almost impossible to continue staying at the hospital anymore. A new stronghold needed to be found. It just so happened that the chairman of the Yutian group, Huang Yen, had already died. So the best stronghold was not to inherit his Yutian group. So Chen Jie called Lin Shiyu over. Pack up, good things and get ready to go to the new stronghold. Boss, where to? Depart for the Yutian group. With these awakened, Chen Jie spent about three hours and arrived in front of the gate of the Yutian group. The current Yutian group was almost empty of people. In order to deal with Chen Jie, Huang Yan had called out most of the company's elites. Then, after the news of him being killed spread out, almost everyone in the Yutian group ran away. In the past few days since the end of the world had appeared, quite a few forces had also appeared. Committing to other forces was all much better than staying in this Yutian group all the time. In this way, Chen Jie effortlessly occupied the Yutian group. From then on, he used this place as a stronghold and renamed it as the Chopping Dragon Group. The living facilities within the Chopping Dragon Group were still complete. In terms of power generation alone, there were hundreds of large generators. Not to mention, now there is also the official side. Special care, there has always been a transmission of power. As for accommodation, the Yao Tian Group, itself, had quite a few accommodations for employees and corporate executives. Chen Jie chose a clean high-level accommodation room and lived in it. Of course, living with Xiao Wanru. As for the others, they were handed over to Lin Yao for distribution. Awakened people who possessed great strength were allowed to live in the high-level type of rooms. As for those ordinary people, they weren't treated that well and were only able to live in ordinary staff dormitories. Not enough or better than living on the streets in the end times. Outside, when one would not even know when they were eaten by the aberrant monsters. Coming out from the secret realm, Chen Jie was in no hurry to deal with the many things. First, he took a hot bath. Chopper group had about 10 water wells, and even if there was a lack of running water now, it was able to obtain water resources by way of extracting groundwater. Therefore, there was no shortage in terms of water resources. Having labored for several days, Chen Jie's entire body was covered in bullshit giving into the bathtub. That long-lost sense of warmth made him extremely relaxed. Little Jie, let me help you. Rubbing the bath, Xiao Wanru stood beside the bathtub and picked up a bath ball. From the robust pectoral muscles, downwards, she gently rubbed. You're not here for these few days. Do you know how hard it is for me? Every night I dream. I dream of you coming back. Xiao Wanru said. Two teardrops unconsciously hung at the corners of her eyes. Seeing the person in front of her. So sad. Chen Jie clattered. Stood up from the bathtub. Drying his body with a towel. As soon as he picked up Xiao Wanru. Turned off the lights. And talked with her all night long about all kinds of things that happened during this period of time. Early the next morning, after a night of fighting, Xiao Wanru was finally enlightened by Chen Jia. After a simple breakfast, Chen Jia held a meeting on the top floor of the group. Having just established the Dragon Chopper group, there were still quite a few things that needed to be arranged. After the exhaustive investigation, there were a total of 38 people that Chen Jia had taken under his wing and had awakened their ultra martial arts. Among them, there were three who had reached the fifth rank. Besides Lin Yao, there were two others called Wang Hong and Du Tian respectively. These two were about the same strength as Lin Yao. Therefore, Chen Jie had arranged for these two people to act as Lin Yao's right and left hands. 
working together to take care of the top and bottom of the group. The rest of the awakened were third and fourth order, so Chen Jie did not know much about them. Those of the fourth order were appointed as the company's top management, and the remaining third order served as squad leaders for ordinary people. Of course, in the early stages of establishment, benefits were naturally rare. In the conference hall, Chen Jie waved his hand and transformed out a large pile of herbs and fruits filled with spirituality. These things, although not as good as the evolutionary fruits that Chen Jie had used in the secret realm before, however, they were also greatly beneficial to the current awakened one. These things, take them down and divide them. Every awakened has a share, Chen Jie said indifferently. When the crowd saw these things, their eyes were glowing with gold stars. They were all awakened ones and were naturally able to feel the energy contained in these things, even the smallest of these herb fruits. The energy contained within them was feared to be hundreds of spirit crystals in total. Thank you, Boss Chen. The crowd was overjoyed and bowed to Chen Jie. Such treatment was enough to buy them off. Previously, serving the Yao Tian group, it was all just five spirit crystals a day, distributing the things down. Chen Jie got up and prepared to leave, serving for the Zhang Long group. The treatment afterward will only be even more generous. Cheer up and do a good job. After saying that, Chen Jie lifted his feet and headed out. Yes, guarantee to sacrifice yourself for the group at any time. These people spoke in unison, as if they had purposely trained last night. However, Chen Jie did not care. After all, establishing this group was nothing more than him wanting to simply cultivate his strength. Of course, it was best to be able to serve a purpose. For the rest of the time, Chen Jie was holding Xia Wanru and resting inside the room. At the same time, he watched some news. In the post-apocalyptic period, news was still able to spread. After understanding, Chen Jie knew that from the beginning of the end of the world until now, each country were all caught up in the fear of aberrant monsters. The larger countries were fine. They all possessed legacies. They were able to utilize these legacies to deal with cleaning up the aberrant monsters. Like the Eagle Sauce Country, they were able to utilize powerful vampires to clean up some of the more harmful mutant monsters. As for those small countries, they basically didn't have any inheritance. Within a few days of the end of the world, they had completely fallen into the country of monsters. In the evening, just as Chen Jie wanted to continue reminiscing with Xiao Wanru about what happened last night, Chen Jie's cell phone rang. It was an unfamiliar call. However, Chen Jie did not hang up and instead tapped answer. Hello, which one are you? I, Tang Long Group, Nong Jianping. I heard that Mr. Chen recently defeated the Silver Empire's Laos and has taken over the Yao Tian Group. The other party's voice was heavy, and Chen Jie was able to estimate that the other party was probably a person who had awakened his talent as well. That's right, what is your business? Chen Jie replied calmly. It was now in the post-apocalyptic world. There was no law and order. There was no need to hide this kind of murderous occupation of the other group. Your group, which is just starting out, has taken in awakened people, probably only a few dozen or so. You also don't have a stable source of supplies. I was thinking, why don't you take the Yao Tian group and join us at Tenglong? Nong Jianping's tone was very condescending. They, Tong Long, had more than a dozen sixth order awakened. There were even hundreds of other awakened ones of a somewhat lower rank. The volume of their group could be said to be the number one in the country. He did not believe that Chen Jie would not be willing to submit. Who knows? Only one sentence came from the other side of the phone. Where cool? Where to stay? I am sorry to accompany my daughter to take pictures during the day busy until now. 10, 000, 000 words to offer. Chen Jie did not hesitate to reject the other party. The dragging group. Whatsoever is worthy of annexing him. Hanging up the phone of Nong Jianping. Chen Jie picked up Xiao Wanru and continued to make out. On the other hand, Nong Jianping on that side was pissed off. How could he not have thought that a character from a small group would dare to reject him? The more he thought about it, the more angry he became. Nong Jianping was really resentful in his heart. So he found two sixth order awakened within the group, arranging for these two to find an opportunity to directly kill Chen Jie, since it was not possible to use negotiation to acquire the other party's company. Then it would be resolved through violence. Nong Jianping's rule had always been. If you can't get it, destroy it. Just this night, the harbor of the Dragon Kingdom's Jiang province, a ship that was not a symbol of the country docked. At a closer look, the average person would be able to distinguish that this was none other than the Sakura country ship. During the end times, most of the areas that relied on the sea had a large number of aberrant monsters operating in them. Therefore, the country basically had no control over the ports. This was what allowed the people from the Sakura country to smuggle themselves over. The people who came down from the ship were all dressed in dark black ninja uniforms. In total, there was a squad of five people. These five people all had long hair and were obviously women. On the side of the Dragon Kingdom, 
there was already a guide waiting at the harbor. It was a fat man wearing gold-rimmed glasses. The warriors of the great nation have come. I have already prepared rooms for the five of you. With a warm face, the fat man guided the way for these five samurai from the Sakura kingdom. After bringing these five samurai of the Sakura kingdom to an arranged room, Fatty, these five people, played the video of Chen Jie when he was fighting, which had been discussed before he arrived. The five Sakura nation samurai, the one in the lead, was called Hashimoto Tana. After watching the video of Chen Jie's recent battle with the sixth-ranked Laos, Hashimoto Tana sort of understood why the empire had sent them to deal with this dragon kingdom man called Chen Jie. This man was simply too powerful, at least the toughest man they had encountered after becoming martial artists. However, Hashimoto Tabi believed that with the strength of the five of them, joining forces together, it would not be too difficult to kill Chen Jie and complete the mission that the empire had given him. After a brief rest, Hashimoto Tasana led his squad. He set off towards the Jinshin group where Chen Jia was. At this time, it was already dark, and every now and then, a gust of cloudy wind would blow. It was as if it was suing for tonight's assassination. Chen Jie, who had already been in his room for the entire day, stepped out to find a place to take a walk. As for, Xiao Wanru was really too tired, and as soon as it became dark, Xiao Wanru drifted off to sleep, walking within the small park on the side of the Divine Beheading Group. Chen Jie suddenly heard a crisp blowjob sound. In this post-apocalyptic world, it was possible to hear the sound of a musical instrument. This made Chen Jie somewhat curious about the sound. However, it always felt like it was not something good. Why is there a murderous aura in this blowjob sound? Chen Jie looked around vigilantly. However, the surroundings were all bushes. Trees that had been ravaged by the end of the world stood beside each other in seven different ways. There was nothing special that appeared, except for this piece of Xiao sound. Just when Chen Jie was puzzled, behind him, there came a section of extremely subtle vibrations. Chen Jie, who had gone through many battles both big and small, immediately reacted. With a shake of his hand, he summoned the heaven opening axe and turned around to slash horizontally over. Sure enough, just as he turned around, Chen Jie saw a masked man in black. This person, who was holding a sharp pure steel longsword, silently tried to stab him in the back. Chen Jie's axe happened to hit right on top of the opponent's longsword. Dang, a crisp sound rang out breaking the previously tranquil night, a tussle that opened up. What are you? Chen Jie asked with a heavy face as he pointed his heaven-opening axe at the other party. He was able to clearly sense that the other party was not someone from the Dragon Kingdom. In the Dragon Kingdom, those who could fight him were either aberrant monsters or super martial awakened. Those who possessed the third type of awakened talent, he had yet to encounter. Looking at the other party's appearance, Chen Jie felt that the other party was more like the Hinokawa steel plate that he had encountered in the secret realm. Could it be that Hinokawa Steel Plate had really called out the people from their Sakura kingdom? Chen Jie was slightly surprised in his heart. The masked person in front of him did not answer Chen Jie's question. She only saw that she touched the long sword in her hand with her hand, and a dark energy began to slowly emanate from within the long sword. This person raised the long sword up, and the purple green energy body within her long sword began to converge in the night sky. It eventually formed a violet. This is somewhat like the mimic battle spirit that Chen Jie used. Chen Jie stared at the other party's violet, realistic eye, and did not see the special characteristics of this purple energy body of the other party. It just felt that the power of this energy body was definitely not small. Facing the other party's special attack, Chen Jie also summoned his Hongmeng Clear Turbid Qi. After evolution, the current Hongmeng Clear Turbid Qi was several times stronger than before. As soon as it came out, it enveloped half of the sky. At once, the Black Knight sky was illuminated into a golden color. Of course, there was also a splash of purple from the other side's violets. Woo woo, just when, Chen Jie wanted to make a move, a melodious Xiao sound came from the sky. This time, the sound of the Xiao was no longer elegant. Instead, it was secretly murderous. The sound poured into Chen Jie's ears, and then Chen Jie felt as if his head had been stabbed by a needle. A burst of pain immediately came from his head. This pain, surprisingly, caused Chen Jie, who was still in the middle of the battle, to shake his head slightly. You can die now. The masked man on Chen Jie's front swung his longsword and attacked while he was distracted. The violets in the sky drifted towards Chen Jie. It looked so beautiful. Yet, it contained a terrifying killing energy. Before this brightly colored violet could even get close to Chen Jie, Chen Jie had already felt it. A gust of scalding heat. It must be countered. Chen Jie resisted the effects of this Xiao sound while maneuvering the Hongmeng Qingfeng Qi in his hands to meet the enemy. Boom! The Hongmeng clear and turbid Qi swept towards violet. Bang bang bang! The Hongmeng clear turbid qi, transforming into a golden dragon, only gently swept violet, and the opponent was reduced to dots of purple debris. Poof! 
As the violets were destroyed, the masked person's face instantly changed drastically, and unable to withstand the pressure, she spat out a mouthful of blood, and she was none other than the Sakura Kingdom, who had sent out the strongest of the assassin-type warriors, Hashimoto Tana. As the opponent spat out blood and lost, Chen Jie hurriedly seized the opportunity, raising his heaven-opening axe, he unleashed his talent, final open heaven and earth, the heaven-opening axe was wrapped in powerful energy and slashed at the masked man, no matter what the other party was, as long as they posed a threat to him, all of them had to die, rumble, the sky trembled loudly, Chen Jie mercilessly chopped down with an axe, it was bound to cut this masked man, in half with one axe, Hashimoto Duokai felt the violent energy fluctuations in front of her, her eyes glaring as wide as bells, this move, if she couldn't dodge it, she would definitely die, in desperation, she slammed her chest and shook out a mouthful of blood, put, a cloud of blood mist was spat out from her mouth, it was also this massive blood mist that wrapped her entire body and shifted her in a flash of lightning, Chen Jie's heaven opening strike did not hit Hashimoto Tasana, but rather swept across, boom, with a loud thud through the sky, the attack landed on a tall building not far away. Kaching, clatter. Instantly, a building of more than 50 floors collapsed with a shattering crash. Hashimoto Tabi, who had been moved to a safe location, covered her rippling chest. Unbelievably, she looked at all this in front of her. Generally speaking, in their Sakura country, a random strike that could cause such an effect. At any rate, one would have to be at the peak of the Samurai 7th Order or above. Chen Jie, on the other hand, was only an awakened who had just stepped into the sixth rank. A seemingly ordinary strike had such a terrifying attack power that the entire building was shattered into pieces by him. Just now, just as Hashimoto Tabi faced Chen Jie's heaven opening axis strike head on, she even felt like she was being choked by the Grim Reaper. In the end, she used her awakened talent, Blood Escape, to escape this calamity. If, this hit on her body, not to mention the whole body, I'm afraid that even the broken pieces are not left. Right at this moment, the chip hidden in Hashimoto Tana's ear rang out the voice of a teammate. Tana-san, this Chen Jia is just too terrifying. With my Xia Jiao, I can't actually suppress him at all. Before, I was able to drag even a Samurai 7th ranker for quite a while, but he, just by shaking his head slightly, got rid of my control. Whether or not, it requires our strikes. My bitterless has already finished storing up its power. From what I've seen so far, there's a certainty of hitting the target. But, can't determine if it can cause damage. Baka, letting this Rukoku man be so arrogant is simply a strange shame for my Sakura country. I apply to go to war. Having seen Chen Jie's terror, the squad members hiding in the shadows were afraid of Chen Jie and wanted to fight him. Only, without the orders from their captain, Hashimoto Tabi, they did not dare to act rashly. This was their discipline. The target is too strong. The others stay put for now. If the bitterless is finished storing power, move out. Strive to kill the target directly. Hashimoto Tana gasped and analyzed rationally. Right now if, all of them showed their heads, in case they were unable to defeat Chen Jie, their squad might all have to die in the Dragon Kingdom, like a full squad of 6th rank samurai like them, if they were killed in action, that would be a major blow to their Sakura Kingdom. Receiving instructions, the two black clothed men who were originally hiding in the shadows, turned the giant bitless filled with energy, reversing its direction and aiming it at Chen Jie in front of them. This bitterless, was filled with two streams of energy, one strand was black, representing the highly toxic talent of one of the team members. Once contaminated, an ordinary awakened person would directly turn into blood. The other strand was golden in color, representing the light speed talent of another team member. This talent was able to provide speed to Bitterless. After the squad's experiments, with this team member's talent, the speed of Bitterless will exceed the speed of light. Bitterless speed would surpass the speed of light. Bitterless, ready, launch, swish, the Bitterless, which had been storing its power in the dark for a long time, suddenly rushed out like a bolt of lightning, it carried with it a shadowy energy and attacked Chen Jie mercilessly, in just a split second, it was about to pierce through Chen Jie's back heart, even the Sakura Nation's assassination team members had seen hope, this bitterless is more than enough to deal with an awakened person at the peak of the seventh stage, once it hit Chen Jie, with Chen Jie's realm, they believed that Chen Jie would definitely die, however, Chen Jie, who was standing in the open space, immediately detected the powerful energy fluctuation behind him with just a thought. At this moment, Chen Jie wanted to dodge was already impossible, only to see a red light flash through Chen Jie's eyes. God-killing domain. Unfold. Ding. The space centered on Chen Jie was instantly distorted. The bitterless that was about to be stuck into Chen Jie's body suddenly seemed to be plunged into nothingness. Nanny. As he watched, 
The bitterness that had been building up its strength for a long time and was about to take Qin Jie's life suddenly disappeared into thin air. The squad members hiding in the shadows were shocked beyond words and couldn't help but shout out, could this be something that a human could do, even after experiencing such strange things as human aberrations and human awakenings? However, the terrifying abilities of Chen Jie in front of him still left the entire Sakura Nation squad, unable to believe it, terrifying, unable to be explained by common sense. So, you guys are hiding here. Chen Jie's ears were exceptionally sensitive, and he quickly discovered the two squad members who had played the underhanded trick, his voice, eerie and terrifying. Zero flower. Sure, run, he's found you guys, sensing something bad. Hashimoto Tasana immediately informed the duo. Unfortunately, a little too late, Chen Jie made a flash and appeared like a ghost outside the bushes where the duo was hiding. Open heaven. Terrifying energy covered the heaven opening axe in another sweeping strike. Swish. Poo dash. The bushes were sliced through, and flowers and plants flew in all directions. Of course, there was also the assassination squad, the member who had infused the bitterness with the gift of intense poison. It was also sliced in half. As for that member with the speed of light, with his own speed talent, he managed to dodge a blow. At this moment, he was hiding behind a giant tree with a nervous expression. He begged God not to let Chen Jie find him, because, just now, dodging that strike from Chen Jie had already used up all of his energy. One more attack, he would surely die. After resolving one of the assassination team members, Chen Jie stepped on the grass and searched around the area with considerable interest. It had to be said, he was also enjoying this feeling of hunting others. Previously, when he was chased by the demon ape in the secret realm, I'm afraid that the demon ape had the same feeling in his heart. Make the other person fearful, then slowly find them. Eventually, then end the other party with an axe. It is interesting to think about it. Captain. Now. What to do? Should I make a move and lure Chen Jie away? Preserve the shore. With my defense talent, I reckon I can withstand his strike. Please captain. The third member of the assassination team, who was hiding in the shadows, inquired towards Hashimoto Tasana. However, after requesting for a long time, there was no response. When he looked up, Chen Jie had already disappeared. It could not be found. However, what he did not expect was that at that moment, Chen Jie had already dodged and found their captain, Hashimoto Tana. His heaven opening axe was already on their captain's neck. Chen Jie dug out the chip in Hashimoto Tana's ear and listened carefully to their team member's request. After listening clearly, like a demon, Chen Jie opened his mouth and replied, No need to request. Soon, I'll come for you. You drop. What do you want to do? Hashimoto Duo Kai spoke in Rusty Rokoku, conversing with the person behind her who was like a demon. Just now, she was still thinking about how to evacuate. Suddenly, Chen Jie's axe appeared on her neck like a ghost. Chen Jie's axe, how sharp it was, she knew, therefore, did not even dare to make half a move more. The current Chen Jie was a demon in her eyes. Hearing the other party's question, Chen Jie did not rush back to her. Instead, he took the other party's mask and removed it. A pink and white, mouth dotted with cherry red cherry blossom country woman face, then appeared in front of his eyes. Sure enough, with Chen Jie guessed correctly, it was the trouble caused by killing the Hinagawa steel plate before. You are from the Sakura country? Chen Jie asked the other party in return. Since his life was in Chen Jie's hands, Hashimoto Tana could only nod. Oh, you should be their captain. I think you should have a way to contact the headquarters. However, I have to deal with your other two team members first. Chen Jie set up Hashimoto Tana with one hand and picked up the communicator that he had just used with the other. There was no longer anyone speaking on that side of the communicator. However, Chen Jie naturally had a way to lure the other side into talking. You guys, there should be two more team members. I don't think you guys want your captain, because of you, to land on his head. On the count of three, come out immediately. Otherwise, Chen Jie said slowly into the walkie-talkie. The entire process was as if he was issuing a notice. Despicable. Shameless dragon nation. Release my captain. If you dare to harm our captain, you will be hunted down by the entire Sakura kingdom. On the other side of the communicator. The two team members wailed. They originally thought that they were already shameless enough. To their surprise, they did not expect that Chen Jie, a dragon countryman, had even more shameless methods than them. However, Chen Jie did not pay any attention to their abuse. 1. 2. Chen Jie stretched this too very long. Baka, we're coming out. Ki Shi, who was hiding behind a large tree, couldn't endure this torture and came out. After she came out. Another Sakura Nation man with a huge figure also climbed out from the stinking ditch not far away. In order to kill Chen Jie, he was also desperate enough. After the two came out, Hashimoto Tabi looked unusually agitated. Baka, 
How dare you guys come out without my orders? I'm ordering you guys to run now. Go! You guys don't even listen to me. The captain? Hashimoto Tana frantically roared at the two team members. Previously, the humane training in Sakura country seemed to be meaningless at this moment. These team members, still, sacrificed themselves for him. However, captain, sacrifice for the empire. Kishi did not hesitate to pick up a Xiao and blow it in front of Chen Jia. This was a frontal spiritual impact, positively urging the Xiao in her hand. This was the mandatory, necessary unlock condition of her talent. Only by dealing damage to the opponent head-on, could this spiritual attack maximize its effect? The powerful spiritual impact, belonged to a ranged attack. Therefore, with this strike, Kishi did not even consider saving Hashimoto Tabi. Rather, he intended to blast Chen Jia and Hashimoto Tana together. As for, the bitter drama just now, was just a play. You, the squad leader, don't seem to be cherished by your team members that much. Chen Jia did not take the Xiao attack on the shore in his eyes, but instead mocked Hashimoto Tana first. Woo woo, the sound of the Xiao sounded, and the magical sound penetrated the ears. At that very moment, the surrounding grass and trees, all of them, fell into a state of rapid withering. A powerful wave of sound swept in Chen Jia's direction. Don't make a fool of yourself in front of me with this kind of small trick. Chen Jia's body shook as two channels of Hongmen clear and Turbid Chi appeared, transforming into a prime dragon that hovered beside Chen Jia. No matter how powerful this spiritual type of attack from the opponent was, it would not be able to harm him. The Hongmen clear Turbid Chi specialized in breaking falsehoods, and was a natural enemy to spiritual attacks. Sure enough, after the Hongmen clear Turbid Chi came out, no matter how hard the shore underneath blew, it was of no use. It simply couldn't affect Chen Jia by half. Instead, the teammate beside her had tumbled to the ground and kept rolling, eventually foaming at the mouth. His body jerked up and died. Why? Why is it useless? Giving up on the shore, she looked at Chen Jia in despair, her hand tightly gripping the Xiao. She was not willing to do it. After awakening her talent, this blowjob was another incidental talent to her speed talent. This talent, killing people invisibly. As such, she had received the Empire's focused cultivation. Moreover, in order to enhance the spiritual attack of this blowjob to the extreme, she killed her own parents, so that she would have no half-hearted distractions in her mind. In the end, she blew out the Sakura country, the strongest Xiao sound. However, now in front of Chen Jie, it was as if it had become a joke. It's over. Chen Jie merely moved his mind, and the golden dragon beside him, swept away. Roar! The golden dragon roared violently, completely and utterly subduing the shore letting her not even have a chance to escape, because in the midst of this energy-filled roar, she couldn't even unleash her talent. Swish, the golden dragon transformed by the Hongmen clear in Turbid Chi passed through Kishi's body. Ah ha, Kishi screamed miserably and flew away in ashes. The only thing left on the ground was her Xiao that was unable to cause damage to Chen Jia. At the moment of death, it was as if she saw her dead parents, with a smile, coming to lead her to hell. All right, your squad. All of them are taken care of by me. Contact your country's leader. This point of people. It's not enough to deal with me. Chen Jie utilized the Hongmen clear in Turbid Chi, transforming it into a golden nylon rope, and gave Hashimoto Tana an Asian binding. After confirming that there were no mistakes, he moved the heaven opening axe away from her neck. No, this is my shame. Don't you dare try to humiliate me. Hashimoto Tana's eyes were filled with resentment, and her mouth moved, wanting to bite her tongue. It was only a pity that. Chen Jia merely glared with his eyes as the god-killing domain unfolded, covering her. She was, at once, unable to make her next move. Alas, I originally wanted you to contact yourself. Now it has to be me searching your body to find out your contact tool with the higher-ups. Chen Jia shook his head and reached out his hand to feel around this female warrior's body. Finally, in a hidden location, he found a camera-like device. There was only one button on it. Without thinking, Chen Jia pressed this button. Soon. The images of the high-ranking people of the Sakura kingdom appeared in front of Chen Jie. Similarly, the images of Chen Jie and Hashimoto Tana were also placed on the other side. Having just seen the image, the Sakura country's top management was so shocked that they were unable to speak for a moment. The top assassin samurai of the Sakura kingdom that they had sent out was tied up by Chen Jie and was still unclothed. This was simply a strange shame. At the top of the Sakura kingdom, a total of more than 50 people stared intently at Chen Jie. Their eyes were filled with anger itching to drag Chen Jie out of the picture and eat him alive, especially Sasaki, the most powerful Sakura nation leader sitting in the center. Right now, his face was filled with redness, and his intense sense of anger caused his chest to rise and fall violently. It was just like a red-crowned rooster whose head had been turned up by battle. 
Chen Jia placed the heaven opening axe on Hashimoto Tana's neck and looked squarely at the group of high ranking Sakura Kingdom officials in front of him. Bastard, what the hell do you want? Hashimoto Tana struggled and hissed at Chen Jia. Being tackled in front of a large number of high ranking officials, this feeling of shame towards the empire and the shame cultivated by her predecessors was even worse than killing her. Chen Jia did not pay any attention to Hashimoto Tana. Right now, she was nothing more than a hostage in his hands. Chen Jie faced the many high-ranking officials of the Sakura Kingdom and said angrily, Now I, Chen Jie of the Dragon Kingdom alone, am conversing with all of you, the Sakura Kingdom. This sentence alone, infuriated Sasaki from his seat, standing up. Baka, Sasaki drew his matching sword, itching to chop Chen Jie to death right now. This young man from the Dragon Kingdom was just too arrogant. Release our country's Hashimoto Tana. Sasaki took a deep breath and tried his best to regain some sanity. I can consider what happened in the past. Written off. The last four words. Sasaki bit down extremely hard. Word by word. Right now. Negotiating with a person with no status in Chen Jie Longwa. This had already made him extremely livid. Merely. Now Hashimoto Tabi. The top assassin elite of Sakura Nation. Was still in Chen Jie's hands. The value of the other four assassin members was not even comparable to Hashimoto Tana. Not to mention. She was also her own illegitimate daughter. Sasaki thought that after saying this, Chen Jia would release Tana Hashimoto. After all, minimizing big issues and minimizing small ones had always been their Dragon Kingdom style. However, Chen Jia smiled slightly. No, I don't need you guys to understand about this, but rather, I hope that you guys will send more powerful samurai to deal with me. Sending these few shrimp warriors. Is your Sakura Kingdom unoccupied? Boom. These words of Chen Jie completely ignited all the executives on the Sakura country's side. A burst of Baka came from the projection side. They had never seen such a hardened Dragon Kingdom person before. He was provoking an entire country. Wasn't he afraid that the Sakura country would mobilize the entire nation to kill him? At that time, I'm afraid that even if the Dragon Nation's face resisted, it wouldn't necessarily be able to defend itself from the Sakura Nation's national fury. At this moment, Sasaki clenched his teeth tightly, his entire face trembling unceasingly. He wanted to completely rage on the spot sending the strongest samurai in the country to the dragon kingdom to kill Chen Jie, for the honor of the Sakura kingdom. However, his daughter was still in Chen Jie's hands. Moreover, the other party had only verbally made some insults, and had not actually caused any real to no harm to the Sakura kingdom. Of course, after picking up Hashimoto Tana back to Sakura country, he would make the other party pay a sufficient price. The tied up Hashimoto Tana, seeing Chen Jie using himself to humiliate Sakura Gaku so much, Guessing that Chen Jie didn't dare to really lay his hands on her due to the Sakura Nation's national power. He didn't dare to really lay his hands on her either. So she frantically shook her head and shouted, Coward of the Insect Kingdom, if you have the ability to kill me immediately now, using me to negotiate with the Sakura country is not fear of my Sakura country. Ha ha ha, Bug Kingdom Coward, is Bug Kingdom Coward, do it. Hashimoto Tana shouted like this, feeling that she had finally saved some face for her country. The sense of guilt on his body was also alleviated a bit. However, Chen Jie did not feel angry because of what she said. Instead, he looked at Hashimoto Tana with a very pathetic gaze. If you hadn't reminded me, I would have forgotten. Chen Jie laughed and shook his head. Give you Sakura Nation a practical action. Otherwise, you all think I'm joking. A cold light appeared in Chen Jie's eyes. The heaven opening axe hand rose and fell. Put. Hashimoto Tana's head was chopped off by Chen Jie. Before dying, her eyes were glaring round. She simply couldn't believe that Chen Jie really dared to make a move. Could it be that he really did not fear the Sakura Nation? Not afraid of Sakura Nation's crazy retaliation? This madman, the scene of Hashimoto Duokai's head falling to the ground was clearly and incomparably played in the Sakura Nation Hall. The Sakura Nation Hall at this time was silent. Everyone was staring wide-eyed at the scene before them. This dragon countryman had really killed Hashimoto Tasana in front of them. This was simply unbelievable. Just now, they had thought that Chen Jie was saying some mouthy words. He really was making an enemy of the entire Sakura nation. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. Sasaki's gums had bitten out blood as he raised his katana at Chen Jie and shouted violently. But Chen Jie did not care in the slightest. Turning to the screen, he stomped down, crushing it along with the equipment. If you have some skills, come to Dragon Kingdom earlier to die. Don't wait for me to find you. The boat tickets are too expensive. Chen Jie left behind his last words. He was so deliberately targeting Sakura nation. In fact, there was still not enough relief in his heart. This was merely a trivial debt collection from Sakura Nation, which had once caused irreparable harm to Dragon Nation. Sakura Nation's high-level hall. The scene ended with Chen Jie's foot stepping down. This foot, stepped on the heads of all of them in Sakura Nation. 
It made them unable to straighten their backs. Baka Baka, pass the order down. All the samurai of the Sakura kingdom of the fourth rank and above, set out for the dragon kingdom. If, you cannot kill Chen Jia, all of you will kill yourself. Sasaki erected his katana and yelled at the center of the hall, the adjutants at the side. Their faces were difficult. Our country, there are still a lot of aberrant monsters. If, all the fourth rank samurai are sent out now, I'm afraid, the entire country will be wiped out. Great emperor, it's better to be calm. In the words of their dragon kingdom, it's not too late for a gentleman to take revenge. So why don't we finish cleaning up the deformed monsters before we go? Baka, shut up. At this point in time, doing Sasaki was already completely furious. Red eyes, angrily rushed out of the meeting hall, constantly waving his katana, slashing around, like a mad dog. After Chin Jie settled these Sakura Nation assassin samurai, he touched them from their bodies. The bodies were still warm now. From their bodies, he did find Sakura Nation assassin type weapons, just that he might not be able to use them. However, it was not bad to leave it to the groups awakened as a reward. What Chin Jie really looked at was the talent and spirit crystals in their bodies, using the Hongmen clear and turbid chi to wrap these five people up. In no time, five spirit crystals of different colors were extracted by Chin Jie. What excited Chin Jie even more were the added talents. Light speed flicker, during the use of the talent stage, it can increase the user's speed by 50%. Manipulation musician, by playing a musical instrument, the user is able to manipulate aberrant monsters of a lower level than themselves. The amount of manipulation increases as the level is upgraded. The Cherry Blossom Kingdom saw that it was unable to pose a direct threat to Chen Jie. It was only able to blackmail the top brass of the Dragon Kingdom into handing over Chen Jie by starting a war. The other side of the message explains that the Dragon Nation, Chen Jie, assassinated five of his Sakura Nation warriors, and, to the Cherry Blossom Country to implement a serious insult, public hacking his Cherry Blossom Country warriors. If, within a week the Dragon Nation did not hand over Chen Jie, the Sakura Nation would unilaterally declare war on the Dragon Nation, even if it was at the stage where the two countries were subjected to an aberration disaster, also to wage war. And it was clearly stated that Sakura Nation had restored some of its electronic equipment and was able to use nuclear weapons to enter the war. This news was transmitted to the top echelons of the Dragon Kingdom. It was immediately highly valued by the top brass of the Dragon Kingdom. A high-level meeting was directly held tonight. Dragon Kingdom's five-star general, Zhou Lao, clad in his military uniform, which was covered in medals, sat majestically in the center of the conference. The departments at the bottom, sitting upright, waited for Elder Zhou to speak. Everyone, what do you think of the news from Sakura Country? Elder Zhou's voice was calm and steady. After a moment of silence, the first to speak was the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Dragon Kingdom. Elder Zhou, the Cherry Blossom Country has bullied my Dragon Country too much. After investigation, it is clear that it was their Sakura Nations people who came to my Dragon Nation to plot against my Dragon Nations people. Chen Jie was only acting in self-defense. And they, in turn, are now falsely accusing my Dragon Country subjects of killing his Sakura Country's people. It's really shameless to the extreme. If he wants to fight, we'll fight him. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs spoke, impassioned and without fear. The person who spoke immediately after was the Minister of Military Affairs, Elder Zhou. After investigation. Chen Jie is a peak sixth order awakened in our country. Whether it's in terms of strategy or defending our country's subjects, we should support Chen Jie and protect him. Moreover, Chen Jie once killed one of their Jiang province's sacrificial spirit kings, maintaining the security of Jiang province, and is a hero in his own right. Therefore, we resolutely cannot hand over Chen Jie. As for the nuclear weapons, after the salvage, if they can use them, so can we. Fairness is within the range of my Dragon Kingdom's cannons. The next various executives, one after another, came forward to support Chin Jie. Originally, they were cynical towards the Cherry Blossom Kingdom. Now that the other party had come to their door to provoke them, it was as if they had now found a vent. One after another, they advocated taking on the battle, even though, right now, the Dragon Kingdom was deeply affected by the aberrant monsters. Rashly taking on the war would worsen the situation in the country, but the people of the Dragon Kingdom could not be humiliated and the dignity of the Dragon Kingdom could not be humiliated. After listening to a bunch of suggestions, Elder Joe finally stood up, straightened his collar, and began to voice his opinions in his majestic and powerful voice. Chen Jie is our Dragon Country's young talent, the sword of the strategic layer of our Dragon Country's awakened ones, and even more so, the hero who maintains the security of our Dragon Country. The other party's delusional attempt to kill our Dragon Country's heroes has failed to work, and instead wants us to cut off our own arms and legs, Sending Chen Jie to their tiger's mouth, a small cherry blossom country, 
a bullet-ridden place, now playing with right and wrong and reversing black and white in front of us, is he really bullying my five, zero 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 year old dragon kingdom and not being tough enough, I see him as a jumping clown, ministry of foreign affairs, now immediately transmit the message that the dragon kingdom vows to defend Shinjia to the death, and if it causes any more wrongdoing, war will start immediately, elder Joe's sent word was resounding, and the entire hall echoed his voice, as the words fell, a thunderous applause erupted, after the general meeting ended, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs immediately sent a message to the Cherry Blossom country. On the message, it first severely condemned Sakura country's brazenness. Then, it conveyed to the other party the forcefulness of the Dragon Kingdom's war power. In the end, it solemnly informed the other party that if they wanted to fight, then they would go to war immediately. The Sakura country's senior management, who had received the news, were furious. They had underestimated the importance of the Dragon Kingdom to one of its subjects underestimated the hardness of the Dragon Kingdom. Their wish for the Dragon Kingdom to hand over Qin Jie and put things to rest was a completely unbearable bubble dream shadow. With a single punch, the Dragon Kingdom had broken it. A frontal war. In reality, the Sakura Kingdom was nothing more than a mouthful. Right now, they were also deeply jeopardized by the deformed monsters. If they went to war, the Dragon Kingdom might be hurt. But they, the Sakura Kingdom, would inevitably face destruction. Sakura Nation's Supreme Commander. Sasaki, gritted his teeth as he looked at the Dragon Nation's reply, communicate the order, Sakura country's highest awakened people at the level of the five emperors and ten emperors, all accelerate their upgrades, ultimate goal, assassinate Chen Jie, frontal combat would not do, the Sakura kingdom took out their ultimate weapon, their Sakura kingdom's strongest awakened samurai, the awakening of a samurai, the tiers were categorized into ordinary, elite, epic, immortal, imperial, and emperor levels, and the strongest that had appeared in the country were the five emperor levels and ten imperial levels. In order to deal with Chen Jie, Sakura Nation had sort of pulled out the sharpest tip of its blade. With Sasaki's directive, the Sakura Kingdom would use the entire nation's strength to cultivate these fifteen individuals. After killing Chen Jie, these fifteen people would also be able to become the top pillars of the Sakura Kingdom. Chen Jie did not know about these things happening at the national level. At this moment, he was sitting in a coiled position to stay in his room. After killing those five Sakura nations awakened, he felt that his strength had risen quite a bit more. It had already reached the middle of the sixth rank. If, together with the five medium crystals that had just been seized, there might be a chance to boost and break through to the seventh rank. Right now, he was facing a country's retaliation, so he had to speed up his ascension. After making preparations, Chen Jie threw the five medicinal herbs into the air and inspired five subtle Hongmeng clear turbid qi from his body. Binding the herbs, he then began to devour the energy of the herbs. The pure herb energy entered Chen Jie's body in a steady stream. After these energies entered the body, they began to moisturize every inch of the body's skin and sinews. It allowed Chen Jie's body to reach its optimal state. After only three minutes, three of the herbs withered. It's about time. Chen Jie followed up by taking out the five medium crystals he had seized today, plus some ordinary crystals, gathering them all together in one piece. With his right hand outstretched and a movement of his mind, the energy of these crystals, like a torrential river, madly surged into Chen Jie's body. Instantly, Chen Jie's body began to turn into a golden color, and a rushing yellow golden light emerged from Chen Jie's body, and his aura also climbed upwards. A moment later, from the middle of the sixth rank, it directly jumped to the peak of the sixth rank. It was just short of breaking the layer of diaphragm that separated the sixth rank to the seventh rank. The level of energy impact is still far from enough. Chen Jie's heart was ruthless as he increased the rate of energy inhalation. Generally, a sixth order awakened could only take one medium crystal at a time. Absorbing a large amount of it would certainly be beneficial to breaking through the rank, but there was also the risk of the body not being able to withstand it and dying a violent death. Chen Jie, on the other hand, was the one who took the wrong path. He directly absorbed five of them and also increased the rate of absorption. If this scene were to be seen by others, they would definitely think that Chen Jie was a madman. Boom boom boom, the five crystals, in an instant, dimmed and turned into flying ash. The powerful energy was completely injected into Chen Jie's body. Chen Jie felt that the layer of film within his body was slowly disintegrating. In the middle of the night, Chen Jie's body finally began to move. A powerful energy field came out from Chen Jie's body, gushing out. Boom! Chen Jie's energy surged, and the space around him, all stagnated for him. The film within his body that had been impacting before was successfully broken through by Chen Jie, advancing to the seventh stage of Awakened One. At this stage, Chen Jie felt that the energy in his body was unceasing and inexhaustible. 
No wonder that the demonic ape that he encountered in the secret realm before was so difficult to deal with. It turned out that this was the extent of the energy of the seventh stage. Little Jie, you've advanced again. Xiao Wanru, who was outside the door, heard the noise and was the first to come over to care for Qin Jie. That's right, I have advanced to the seventh rank. Come in quickly, Wanru. Qin Jie was overjoyed as he felt the energy rushing through his body. Only after receiving Qin Jie's instructions did Xiao Wanru push open the door and walk in. He was holding a bowl of yam porridge that she had personally boiled. Chen Jie was in his room and had not eaten anything all night in order to break through the realm. So Xiao Wanru was worried that Chen Jie would go hungry. As soon as Xiao Wanru came in, she brought in an aroma. Xiao Wanru had just finished her bath not long ago, and her body still carried the scent of shower gel. On her body, she was even wearing only a small halter. Xiao Jie, drink this porridge. You haven't eaten anything for a day. Xiao Wanru thoughtfully even helped Chen Jie blow on the porridge. Chen Jie took the porridge into his hands and did not rush to eat it. Instead, he placed it on the desktop. Why aren't you hungry? Xiao Wanru asked. Hungry, but, I want to eat you first. Chen Jie had just absorbed a large amount of energy, so it was just the right time to share a bit of it with Xiao Wanru. He picked Xiao Wanru up in a hug and began to transfer the energy. More than a week had passed since the beginning of the end times. Previously, it had always been the ground that had fluctuations, unbeknownst to him. In fact, the seabed was even more turbulent. In the East China Sea area of the Dragon Kingdom, customs defense and control. Just tonight the red light kept flashing. Alert! Alert there is an unknown powerful life form approaching. Inside the monitoring room, the radio kept ringing. Quick, East Sea 333, powerful life forms have appeared. Evacuate the people urgently. The monitor picked up the wireless phone and shouted. Just as he was shouting, the screen above the monitoring room changed again, only to see that the original Screen that only had one or two red dots. Suddenly a large number of red dots appeared. It even had the meaning of wanting to take up the entire screen. No, it's not just one or two life forms. It's swarms. This should be the monstrous monsters coming ashore at the same time. At this point, this is a monster wave. We must report it as soon as possible. Calling headquarters. Calling headquarters. Inside the monitoring room. Everyone was sweating profusely. This was also the first time they had encountered such a terrifying situation. In previous times, although there were occasionally one or two marine aberration monsters washed ashore, however, those were ordinary small aberration monsters, they were easily resolved by the super martial awakened on the coast, however, now, there were thousands of them coming, and, there were also life forms with energy fluctuations that showed signs of surpassing the seventh stage or higher of the awakened, the dragon kingdom was in danger at this moment, roar roar roar, countless marine aberration monsters, in one night, rushed up the coast, at the same time, they drove a tsunami. The powerful tsunami destroyed the surrounding marine complexes. All of them, those aberrant monsters, swarmed up, countless scarlet eyes, staring at the residents of the seashore, rushed over. Boom! The family that was still sleeping, the windows of their home, were suddenly smashed open. A mutated marine octopus with fangs stretched out his countless tentacles and bound the people in the house. My child! Mom! Save me! Mom! Ah! Monster ah! The seaside area of the Dragon Kingdom was instantly thrown into panic. Originally, the brief peace that had formed after the appearance of the Super Martial Awakening was instantly broken. The Dragon Kingdom's general command received the news. The first thing that was done was to send out a large number of, in the midst of the end times, salvaged and still usable warplanes. Have to say, even if the Dragon Kingdom experienced aberration havoc, but it also still maintained a strong fighting force. After receiving information about the danger, there were hundreds of fighters that rushed to the coast alone. These fighters carried tons of missiles. After arriving at the coast, they aimed at the larger sized mutant havoc that washed ashore. Subsequently, the missiles were fired. Swish swish swish. The missiles formed a large net and swooped towards the aberrant monsters. Boom boom boom. At the coastline, fireworks were immediately set off. However, by the time the explosions passed, the combatants, however, realized that these ordinary cannonballs didn't have much effect on these aberrant monsters at all. Those small, low-grade aberrant monsters were still able to be killed. However, against those large deformed monsters, they were useless. Calling HQ, the cluster of deformed monsters, the scale has reached the dragon level. The fighter warrior fed back to the headquarters about the emergency situation at the front line at this moment. Such a large number of aberrant monsters they had never encountered before. Initial estimation, if left unchecked, these marine aberration monsters washed ashore and then flooded into the Dragon Kingdom. After that, it would definitely be able to cause a danger of annihilation to the Dragon Kingdom. 
Sora Sora. Suddenly, a strange song sounded in the sky. Under the influence of the song, the aberrant monsters became even more manic and rushed towards the shore as if they were on hormones. Flare, a fighter jet, venturing past the group of deformed monsters, dropped a flare towards the source of the song. Instantly, the sky flashed with a white light. It illuminated the location where the song appeared. At that moment, the crowd was able to see what was probably the mastermind of the whole thing. A mermaid that was several hundred meters tall stood on the waves. Her eyes were crimson, her jagged fangs were exposed, and her claws were constantly waving as she tried her best to sing. It was under the influence of this mermaid monster that numerous oceanic aberration monsters washed up on the shores of the Dragon Kingdom. Fighter planes took videos and were quickly sent back to the Dragon Kingdom headquarters. This aberration monster is controlling those ordinary marine aberration monsters. Solving him will solve this crisis. What is her approximate strength? According to the Ocean Energy Monitoring Station, the news that came back, this aberration monster, the approximate strength has reached the level of a 10th order awakened person. It is even possible to exceed. With the introduction of the strength of the aberration monster, everyone in the Dragon Kingdom's command room fell into silence. 10th order awakened one. Within the official Dragon Kingdom, Elder Joe was only a 9th order super martial awakened. To grow to the next awakened one rank, it would take even more countless spirit crystals. And now, it was directly facing a 10th order or even stronger aberration monster. Was this god trying to destroy all of Dragon Kingdom? Can we try a nuclear strike? The commander of the Dragon Kingdom's strategic missiles snapped. Ever since the end of the world happened, even though the electronic facilities were all destroyed, but with the joint efforts of many scientists and staff, it had still recovered quite a bit. Now even nuclear strikes were able to be used. Only, it wasn't able to be used in large quantities. Nuclear strike. Are you confident in dealing with this ocean monster? And this is our last hope for humanity. A voice appeared and the crowd stopped talking. Just when the crowd was silent, another message came from the seashore. Reporting to headquarters, this monster has retreated. However, there are still some ordinary aberrant monsters left behind. Requesting headquarters to send support. A 10th order aberration monster withdrew? Why? Could it be that he appeared this time just to show his face? A fog appeared in the hearts of the crowd. However, the current urgent matter was not to discuss this. Rather, it was necessary to, as soon as possible, resolve the aberrant monsters on the seashore, and absolutely not allow them to jeopardize the safety of the people. Ordinary missiles are useless against them. Send out our awakened ones and arrive at the seashore to fight. At the same time, notify all the awakened who can be notified to join in this battle to defend the Dragon Kingdom. The strategic commander made an immediate decision and issued the order. No matter, what was the purpose of that 10th level aberration monster? Currently, the most important thing was to clean up those other grade level aberration monsters, and not to let them jeopardize the people of the Dragon Kingdom. In just two days, the Dragon Kingdom had gathered a large number of Ultra Martial Awakened to come together to the seashore to deal with the aberration monsters, as Jiang Province was also relatively close to the seashore. Chen Jia also led his group's people to join the battle together. The senior management of the Dragon Kingdom stipulated that as long as they participated in the defense against the aberration monsters on the seashore, any crystals obtained would go to the awakened person themselves. Chen Jia mixed into the team that was strangling the undersea aberrant monsters, and specialized in picking those powerful aberrant monsters. In the middle of the entire battlefield, Chen Jia became the shining one. Little Jia, there's a seventh ranked seahorse aberration monster here. Xiao Wanru carried her green scale longsword and hacked around. At the same time, she did not forget to remind Shen Jie, this monster, covered in thorns, had its eyes protruding out like a telescope. The powerful aura of the seahorse monster directly forced Xiao Wanru, who had already reached the peak of the fifth rank, back. This could be said to be, the strongest aberration monster encountered on the entire battlefield. The appearance of this seventh order seahorse monster scared the crowd of awakened people into retreating. They had at least come to the coast to rub some spirit crystals, and for this amount of spirit crystals, it was not a good idea to make a mistake with this large aberration monster. Similarly to ensure that losses were minimized, the official side also issued a retreat plan. This level of aberrant monster would not be something that an ordinary super martial awakened could fight against. Just as, the crowd was retreating back and forth, one person stood out, in the complete opposite direction of the crowd's escape. This person was none other than Chen Jie. In his eyes, this seahorse monster was more like a giant spirit crystal. This brat, is he crazy? The one in front of us is a marine aberration monster of up to the 7th rank. The kind that can slap us to death with a single slap. Why is he still walking towards this monster? Alas, what a pity. Such a young life. When I was young, I was also as young and vigorous as him. No, 
He seems to be Qin Jie from the Dragon Chopper Group, I recognize him. Legend has it that he is the strongest awakened person in Jiang Province. What strongest awakened person? This is a 7th order aberration monster. Even the strongest would be a slap in the face. As the crowd looked at Chen Jie's figure, they were all stunned. More than a few were of the opinion that Chen Jie was purely and simply going up there to die. On the observation tower next to the coast, Elder Zhou had personally arrived at the battlefield, seeing the appearance of the seahorse monster. Originally, he still wanted to make a move. Until he saw Chen Jie. This young man, I'm afraid that he is the person that the Sakura Kingdom has named as the one they want. Truly worthy of being my Dragon Kingdom's young talent. Alone, he dares to charge at this 7th ranked aberration monster. Terrific. Elder Zhou did not mince words as he praised Chen Jie, his eyes containing his love for Chen Jie. He is also a 7th order. The assistant at the side reminded. I know, no need for you to remind me. However, don't you think, the same 7th rank, risking the possibility of falling, he still stood up. Isn't the spirit of standing up to the Dragon Kingdom honorable? Zhou Lao glanced at the little assistant and continued to look at Chen Jie with an admiring gaze. Right now was the end times. In the midst of the post-apocalyptic world, there were not many people who could achieve such selflessness as Chen Jie. The decision to tear the Sakura country apart and protect Chen Jie was correct in the first place. However, for Chen Jie, he did not have that much righteousness. He merely felt that it was not easy to encounter a stronger aberration monster. Being able to obtain better spirit crystals, this kind of opportunity could not be easily let go. Roar! The seahorse monster sensed Chen Jie's figure and immediately responded with excitement. He was able to sense that the human in front of him possessed the ability to kill him. Chen Jie did not pay any attention to the hissing of the seahorse monster. Instead, he summoned the heaven-opening axe, stomped on the ground with one foot, and then rushed out. Like a meteor, it crashed into the seahorse monster. Heaven opening. Chen Jie wielded the heaven-opening axe, powerfully slashing horizontally with overbearing energy, sweeping away all the ordinary aberrant monsters in the surroundings. A powerful and sharp blade slashed at the seahorse monster. The seahorse monster was not panicked. A jolt, suddenly the scales on its body, all tightened. The entire body took on a golden color. This one was the seahorse monster's defensive talent. Golden armor, when caught in a crisis, the golden armor will actively tighten up and drastically increase its own defense. Boom! Chen Jie's rigid axe slashed at the opponent's golden armor. However, small cracks appeared on it. What a strong defense, worthy of being an aberration monster that has already reached the seventh rank. Chen Jie's strike did not succeed. Taking two steps back, he re-examined the seahorse monster. At this exact moment, the seahorse monster seized the opportunity, and its cylindrical mouth spewed out two channels of dark liquid. This liquid made a crackling sound even as it flew. The energy contained on it was even more amazing. In order to avoid this attack, Chen Jie immediately launched a lightspeed flash, turning into a ray of light. He sidestepped the opponent's black liquid. Tear dash. This black liquid, which landed on the ground, immediately corroded out a 50 meter wide cave. What a strong liquid attack. Chen Jie looked at the seahorse monster's complexion and became even more vigilant. This seahorse monster was still very strong. Not only did it possess a very strong attack, but it also had a defense that was not too weak. At least now, Chen Jie had not thought of a way to break through his defense to harm him. Damn, this teenager's attacks don't seem to be a threat to this seahorse monster. Should we go up and assist him? You're crazy. This is a 7th ranked machine change monster you going up isn't enough to slap it. I told you that this young man will die if he goes up. Alas, young people, I told you not to be too young and impetuous. The awakened who had already withdrawn to the distance were talking sarcastically. In the middle of the tomb, everyone was in danger as if people wanted to see others in danger even more. Watching Chen Jie fall into a disadvantage in the middle of his battle with the seahorse monster, Zhou Lao in the distance was also clenching his fists, ready to strike at any time. Not many outstanding youths like Chen Jie existed in China anymore. No matter what, he could not let Chen Jie fall in this battle. Even, Zhou Lao had already thought about how he should train Chen Jie in the future, so that Chen Jie would become the strongest warrior in the Dragon Kingdom. Then, what happened immediately afterward caused everyone to hold their breath, only to see, Chen Jie summoned out two sky-charging golden dragons. Roar! The golden dragons circled in the air for a week, hissed, and then poured into the heaven-opening axe in Chen Jie's hand. This method of using a mimetic battle spirit was the first time most people had seen it. Of course, the ones that were awakened amongst them, the mimic battle spirit was not able to attach itself to the weapon to increase its combat power. Buzz buzz buzz. The heaven-opening axe in Chen Jie's hand emitted a wang sound, as if it couldn't wait to split the seahorse monster in half. The seahorse monster in front also realized that something was not normal. 
and hurriedly spat out several strong, black liquids from its mouth. Purity's speed was very fast, after only a few dodges, all the attacks of the seahorse monster were dodged. Then Shin Jia killed from the side and slashed horizontally at the huge body of the seahorse monster. The hippocampus monster stretched out its hand to hastily parry. When a pure catch was made, it directly chopped off his hand, and at the same time, it left a terrifying crack on the hippocampus monster's torso. Sure enough attaching the mimic battle spirit, able to break his defense now. This human, there was something abnormal. The seahorse monster panicked and turned around in a hurry. Why do you want to think of escaping now? Sorry, it's already too late. Chen Jie directly rose into the air, accompanied by the red killing god domain. It instantly unfolded and quickly pounced in the direction of the seahorse monster. The seahorse monster was still considered fast. It was still under the deadly control of Chen Jie's god killing domain. In an instant, his body appeared to stiffen for a short period of time. However, this was already enough. Chen Jie raised the heaven opening axe in his hand and gathered a powerful move. Final heaven opening. After elevating to the seventh rank, Chen Jie's ultimate move began to appear as a complete void. Boom! The heaven opening axe descended from the sky. All of the surrounding items were overturned. Swish! Bang bang bang! The heaven opening axe sliced through the seahorse monster's body without mercy. Even the ocean in the distance was split apart by the might carried by the heaven opening axe. The seawater was split into two massive turquoise blue walls. Chen Jie put away the heaven opening axe, and the seahorse monster in the distance instantly became two halves, its body slowly collapsing. My goodness, this young man is too terrifying. A seventh rank aberration monster is as good as paper mache in his hands. Wait, what was his name again? Chen Jie, is Big Brother still missing any leg pendants? That move just now was just too strong. It was as if my entire space stood still. That move is so cool. Big Brother, I want to learn it. After defeating the seventh order aberration monster, the crowd's attitude made a 180 degree turn. At this moment, all the awakened present were cheering. All the awakened were looking at Chen Jie's magnificent body with admiration. After simply cleaning up the battlefield, Chen Jie was invited by the official people to an office building. Just standing outside a certain office door, Chen Jie could already feel the powerful pressure coming from the people inside. In the Dragon Kingdom, there were still powerful awakened people. However, those were all the official high level. Could it be that this killing of a 7th order aberrant monster by himself had already been taken seriously by the officials? Chen Jie calmly knocked on the door. Come in. A voice filled with majesty came from inside. Chen Jie gently pushed open the door. An officer in military uniform instantly appeared in front of him. Chen Jie had always been full of respect for soldiers. In the midst of the post-apocalyptic world, almost everyone was living for themselves. Only they, too, were living for the people of the Dragon Kingdom. Living for the defense of the Dragon Kingdom. You are Chen Jie, right? Elder Zhou asked kindly. Yes. Chen Jie nodded. Please take a seat. Elder Zhou extended his hand, signaling Chen Jie to sit down. Chen Jie pulled back the stool and sat down. I wonder, what is it that you are looking for me for? Chen Jie was the first to ask. He knew that the one in front of him was definitely not simple. Not only was he full of metals, but the energy contained in his body was not below him in the slightest. Comrade Chen, I am Zhou Anhua. I invited you here to ask you if you have any thoughts of joining the army. Right now, aberrant monsters are ravaging the Dragon Kingdom. We must unite to deal with aberrant monsters. Your natural ability, it's very powerful. The motherland needs you. The people of the Dragon Kingdom need you. Elder Zhou looked a little agitated, and even had some tears in the corners of his eyes. He thought of the suffering people of the Dragon Kingdom. He wished too much to be able to rescue the people of the Dragon Country from the depths of water and fire. Therefore, every time he met an awakened who possessed a more powerful awakening, he did his best to pull them together, letting them join together in the team to repel the aberration monsters and save the dragon kingdom, especially for precious talents like Chen Jie. He was even more in love with them. Chen Jie looked at the other party's passionate gaze, and in his heart, he actually could not bear to refuse. However, he was already used to being free. He did not want to be bound by all forces, even if it was on the side of absolute justice. Officer Zhou, I can very well appreciate your feelings. However, I, as a person, have always been used to being loose, and perhaps, not very suitable for joining the army. Of course, dealing with the aberrant monsters and defending the country is a duty incumbent on every one of our Dragon Kingdom subjects. I will definitely contribute my share. Chen Jia politely refused, but left room for maneuver. Zhou Lao listened carefully to Chen Jie's words and understood what Chen Jie meant. After a moment of contemplation, Elder Zhou nodded. I respect your wishes, however, can I request you for one thing? Zhou Lao's gaze was filled with anticipation. Of course, Chen Jie nodded in agreement. 
This one officer, who had served his country and the people, said the word request to him, and he simply had no reason to refuse. Comrade Chen, the best way to solve difficulties is, hope, for someone as outstanding as you, the Dragon Kingdom needs you to be hope, therefore, I want you to make a national speech as the younger generation of awakened ones, awaken the, hope, of the Dragon Kingdom, Elder Zhou's eyes were filled with expectation, he felt that as long as Chen Jie was willing to step forward, he would definitely be able to revitalize the hearts of the awakened in the Dragon Kingdom, whether it was, Chen Jie's current rank, or Chen Jie's recent fame of killing a 7th order seahorse monster. These were all points that could inspire many awakened in the Dragon Kingdom. Moreover, this speech, Zhou Lao's main purpose was to establish a heroic image in the Dragon Country, a country that wanted to be strong and continue to develop, wanting to survive in the end times. They needed a hero, and Chen Jie happened to be the most suitable candidate. HM, alright, I promise you. Chen Jie briefly thought about it and agreed. Ha ha ha, great. Of course I won't let you work for nothing. There's a small gift for you. Zhou Lao was overjoyed. He quickly pulled open the drawer under the table and took out a string of necklaces. This string of necklaces had a ruby set in the center, and the rest of the chain part was made of delicate silver rings. At the first glance of the necklace, Chen Jie immediately noticed the ruby on top. The energy emanating from the top of this gemstone actually caused him to be disturbed a little. The ruby on top of this necklace was snapped off from the body of an 8th order Tyrannosaurus Rex after I killed it. Wearing it calms the spirit and soul, and is able to keep you calm no matter how panicked you are. Furthermore, it is also able to provide you with a 10% power boost, allowing you to generate even more power when you swing the axe in your hand. Zhou Lao proudly introduced this string of necklaces to Chen Jie. This string of necklaces, he had always viewed as a treasure, and even he himself did not spare much time to wear it. It had always been well preserved. But today, it was taken out and given to Chen Jie. It was evident that he valued Chen Jie to a great extent. This, then I thank Elder Zhou for his kindness. Chen Jie smiled and accepted the necklace, thanking him repeatedly. This necklace's ability to remain calm and awake was actually a bit of a chicken rib for him. This was because, with his special ability of Hong Meng Clear and Turbid Qi, it was impossible for any kind of crisis to send him into a panic, being able to stay awake at all times. However, the 10% of power provided by this necklace made his heart flutter. If, this 10% was attached to his swinging of the heaven opening axe, the power generated would sometimes be boosted by a large margin. After that, Elder Zhou talked to Chen Jie after talking about the suffering that the Dragon Kingdom was suffering right now. He then sent Chen Jie out of the office. Chen Jie also had to marvel at how much this Elder Zhou had bowed to the Dragon Kingdom. He was worthy of Chen Jie's true respect. This land of Dragon Country, no matter what time of the year, there was no shortage of great righteous people who worried about the country and the people. The next day, Elder Zhou contacted the propaganda department to set up a speech venue specifically for Chen Jie. Several cameras were aimed at Chen Jie at the same time, while a national live broadcast was conducted. After this period of repair, communication in many parts of the Dragon Kingdom had been restored quite well. 3.50 PM, Chen Jie was now in the Dragon Kingdom, on all the information channels that were still functioning, the city's broken TV big screens, the radios that made rustling noises, or the cell phones that were still able to function. At this moment, Chen Jie's voice appeared on them all. This strange, young, powerful voice, for the first time, appeared in front of the many people of the Dragon Kingdom. Everyone, people of the Dragon Kingdom, good afternoon. I am a Seventh Order awakened person from the Dragon Kingdom. Chen Jie. Chen Jie's voice was loud and powerful. His name, for the first time, appeared in the hearts of the crowd. At this moment, I know that each and every one of you in the Dragon Kingdom has suffered. After a period of time ago, a catastrophe from the heavens, a cataclysm of aberrant monsters, landed in the Dragon Kingdom. Borrowing from the situation of the Dragon Kingdom that Zhou Lao had narrated to him yesterday, Chen Jie related once more. Every sentence contained Chen Jie's feelings, and was spoken in an extremely moving manner. Some people were hiding in the room, listening to Chen Jie's speech and could not help but weep. In this apocalyptic calamity of just less than a month, what they had endured was simply too much. Every day, they lived in terror. Now there was finally someone, as a mouth substitute, who had spoken these difficulties out, bringing these sufferings, out into the open. In this instant, all sorts of heartaches and grievances, all of them were catharticized. This young man Shen Jie, at this moment, truly considered into the hearts of most of them. After, a burst of sorrowful telling heavy pain, Chen Jie suddenly peaked, the voice began to become high. Many sufferings, have already happened, in this end of the world, I hope have the ability to awaken people, bravely come forward, stand in front of the dragon country, 
for the dragon country to raise the long sword in the hand, to the destruction of my mountains and rivers, harmful to my people of the aberration monster chopped away, and I, Chen Jie, am willing to defend a part of the dragon kingdom and vow to die in the front line. Gentlemen, are you willing to raise your swords with me and cut down the demons and monsters? At this moment, Chen Jie seemed to be the spark that ignited the strong and unyielding spirit within the bones of all the people of the dragon kingdom. Boom boom boom, countless awakened ones, their blood boiled in their hearts. Most of them, in the beginning, thought that awakening their talents was just to allow themselves to survive better in the end times. From these words of Chen Jie, it was as if they had found another meaning after they had awakened their abilities. Raise your sword, slay the monsters, protect the nation. This was something that any normal descendant of the Dragon Kingdom would feel passionate about after hearing this. After this speech, countless awakened people from all over the Dragon Kingdom swooped down by the coast. They threw themselves into battle. Together, they cleared the sea of the aberrant monsters that were about to ascend onto the land of the Dragon Kingdom. For a time, it was a completely one-sided trend. A large number of monsters from the sea were repelled back into the sea by the crowd. The crowd, however, also saw the hero who had inspired them earlier. Chen Jia held the heaven opening axe in his hand and always stood in the first line of the nation's charge, traveling through the battlefield. He was invincible and unstoppable. At this moment, Chen Jia truly became the hope that Elder Zhou had spoken of. Humans, you are too selfish. The land should have had a part of us as well. Just as the awakened and the aberrant monsters were mixing it up, the sky thundered and a terrifying black shadow emerged from the sea. The crowd tilted their heads to look, only to see that the deformed monster which was thousands of meters tall and had a crab-armed snake body, stood on the sea and looked at them with a spiteful gaze. This is an eighth-order aberration monster. Retreat at speed. The combat command immediately sent out a message. The crab snake monster tilted its head and coalesced a huge ball of fire, and without saying a word, it violently spewed out in the direction of the human awakened camp. Boom. Ah. Help. Run away. We're no match for him. All of a sudden, the dragon kingdom awakened ones were killed and injured fall back at speed, we will send out strong men to deal with this monster, the commander shouted at the awakened ones, suddenly, the crab scaly monster clawed and flashed violently, a white light was scraped out, which was as fast as lightning and directly penetrated her body, plop, blood splattered directly in the air, the commander is down, hurry up and retreat, the many awakened ones, immediately panicked into a ball, retreating to the back, in front of the eighth order aberration monsters, they were just like mole crickets, as for that crab jiao monster, it was as if he was enjoying the wanton slaughter. He kept accumulating fire clusters and kept spraying them towards the awakened one's large rear. Every time he sprayed, there would be five to six awakened ones that would be killed on the spot. Even if the awakened of a higher rank were able to dodge it, they would still be affected by its fireballs. Either they would be shocked into shock or burned through their epidermis. The attacks of the eighth ranked aberration monster looked plain and unassuming. However, the energy contained in each of his attacks was completely no less than a heavy bomb. When the crowd fled to the far side of the coastline in a swarm, they had thought that they were safe. Suddenly, the crab jiao monster roared angrily. Humans, don't presume to escape. At that instant, the ruby on top of his head bloomed with a dazzling light. This light covered the entire coast and then formed an impenetrable shield. This, this was a domain blockade. The crab jiao monster wanted to kill all of the awakened present. Through and through, what should we do? We're trapped. This monster has absolutely no intention of letting us go. I have a wife at home waiting for me to return. This shield can't be broken at all. We can only fight to the death. Drunkenly lying on the sands. You can't laugh. And several people have returned from ancient battles. I'll fight. An eighth order monster. Eighth order. If we go up there, we're just sending them to their deaths. Do we really want to go? Among these awakened ones, there were those who cried out to the heavens. There were also people who were calm and collected with a fervor to fight with the 8th order crab jiao, facing the powerful aberration monster, they knew that no matter what kind of choice they made, it was already difficult for them to escape death, it's just that that kind of death is more elegant, however, among this group, Chen Jie was also here, with his speed, he was definitely able to escape this place when the crab jiao monster sent out the boundary, however, Xiao Wanru was also among them, he could not leave, moreover, even if he was to face the upper 8th order deformed monster, it might not be impossible to fight. Wanru, you follow the crowd and retreat farther back. I'll deal with this crab jiao monster. Chen Jie said as he touched Xiao Wanru's head. Little Jie, this is an eighth order aberration monster. Will it be too dangerous? I'm afraid. Xiao Wanru looked at Chen Jie with worry and concern in her eyes. She did not want Chen Jie to endure too much. When she heard Chen Jie's speech earlier, she was initially happy. 
It was because her man had become a hero in the hearts of everyone in the Dragon Kingdom. However, it did not take long before she regretted it again. The greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. She knew that on Chen Jie, he was bound to bear more burdens. Compared to honor, Xiao Wanru preferred Chen Jie to live a more relaxed and happy life. Don't worry, wait for my triumphant return. Chen Jie smiled faintly and pinched Xiao Wanru's small face. With that, he turned around and transformed into a golden light, flying into the sky. It was his first time to deal with an 8th order aberration monster. All of you, back up behind me. Just when, everyone was in despair, Chen Jie's voluminous voice rang out. This voice became a sea pin in everyone's heart. Everyone, look, it's Chen Jie, our Dragon Kingdom's hero. Chen Jie, we're saved. He'll definitely be able to defeat the 8th order aberration monster and save us. But, Chen Jie is only at the 7th rank. That mutant monster, its strength is at the 8th rank. Can he really do it? The crowd looked at the sky. Chen Jie's magnificent figure. Their hearts were mixed. He was the faith in the hearts of the crowd right. But the enemy was simply too strong. Once they lost the battle, they would have to endure the pain of the faith in their hearts collapsing in that instant. However, no matter what, Chen Jie resolutely stood in front of them when they were in danger. At this moment, Chen Jie's image in the hearts of the crowd was already incomparably tall. He he, a seventh order awakened human who also dares to be my enemy. It's really too ridiculous. The crab Jiao monster snorted. It had also come from the seventh rank, and he knew how great the gulf that existed between just a gap of one stage. In order to ascend to the eighth stage, he was at the bottom of the sea, devouring hundreds of thousands of lives before accumulating the energy to break through. His hundreds of thousands of life energy would not be something that Chen Jie, a human, could resist. Ridiculous? You won't be able to laugh when I rip your head off later. Chen Jie did not change his face as he raised his heaven opening axe at the crab gel monster. The opponent was indeed one rank higher than him in terms of stage. However, let's not forget that he had eaten an evolutionary fruit and had evolved for the second time, which could be an ordinary seventh rank. Now that he was dealing with this eighth order aberration monster, he admitted that the opponent was strong. That didn't mean that he was afraid either. Arrogant, the crab Jiao monster shouted, condensed a ball of flame, and then erupted at Chen Jia. That fire mass, the temperature was extremely high, before, it even approached Chen Jia. Chen Jie could already feel the terrifyingly high temperature on its body. Light speed flicker. Chen Jie turned into a ray of light and dodged the fireball in just a split second. Afterwards, keeping his eyes on the flanks of the crab Jiao monster, he quickly slashed through a white aura. Swish. The speed of the white on was also extremely fast, and that eighth rank crab Jiao monster, with its relatively large body, it didn't dodge it at all. Boom. The attack hit the crab Jiao monster's body. However, it only left a white mark. It did not cause any substantial damage. This was something that Chen Jie had already anticipated against these higher aberration monsters. For every step up, the monster's defense would rise exponentially. Therefore, it was simply not possible to look at them with common sense. In particular, this crab Jiao monster also carried the characteristics that came from the crab mutation on its body. And its defense was extremely high. Seeing that the fireball could not hit Chen Jie, the crab Jiao monster hurriedly switched moves. His two huge crab claws were raised and his two round eyes were focused and locked onto Chen Jie's position at the same time. Swish swish, the two crab claws, left and right, slashing with wind, were bound to split Chen Jie into two halves. Chen Jie flickered to the left, dodged a blow, but the attack behind him, quickly arrived. It was too late to dodge, so he could only bring up his heaven opening axe to collide with the other party. Boom! This crab Jiao monster was so powerful that Chen Jie was shaken back three meters by him. What a domineering strength! Chen Jie coldly looked at the other party's crab claw. Next, it was necessary to dislodge him. Chen Jie's body shook, monstrous golden yellow energy scattered out, and the heaven opening axe in his hand, slowly rose, the body flowed like energy, slowly injected into the open sky axe. The Sakura kingdom is easily river crabbed, so it is replaced with the Sakura kingdom, absorbing the powerful energy within Chen Jie's body. The shape of the heaven opening axe began to expand, it directly covered half of the sky. It had even become the same size as the crab gel monster. Why do I feel like the bloodline within my body is being restrained by this human kid's weapon? The crab gel monster was terrified within. While the intention to retreat had already appeared in his heart, he had crisscrossed within the seabed. And other than those few perverted monsters, nothing had been able to make his heart so terrified. Just with you. You also want to suppress me. The crab gel monster roared, facing the heaven opening axe with an increasingly powerful aura on Chen Jie's head. The crab Jiao monster began to condense energy in his mouth, only to see that a pitch black colored thundercloud appeared in his mouth. 
The energy of this thundercloud was constantly compressed until the moment it was released. It instantly exploded, maximizing the damage. This was also one of his talents, Dark Thunder Cluster. One of the characteristics of Dark Thunder Cluster was devouring energy, which meant that when the enemies collided, the Dark Thunder Cluster was able to absorb the opponents. Suffer death. Chen Jia frowned as his hand slowly fell. The huge heaven opening axe in the sky also followed Chen Jia's hand and slowly fell. The speed was not fast, but, by virtue of its huge size, the opponent was also unable to escape at all. Then let's try and see who is the overlord of this domain. In an instant, the Dark Thunder Cluster shot out from the crab scaly monster's mouth. The heaven opening axe and the Dark Thunder Cluster collided together. The entire sky was instantly divided into a yellow and a pitch black. The Dark Thunder Cluster was expanding from its original small mass and was stirring up a whirlwind. It was absorbing energy. Your axe, how long can it last? The Crab Jiao Long added another mouthful of energy to the Black Thunder Cluster. And at once, the Black Thunder Cluster doubled in size. Looking at the battle, it vaguely had the intention of suppressing Qin Jie's Heaven Opening Axe. The reason why this Thunder Cluster can fight against the Heaven Opening Axe is mainly because it can continuously absorb energy right. Chen Jia coldly looked at the Thunder Cluster in the sky. Good. Then let's show your Thunder Cluster who is more capable of eating. Chen Jia bellowed and summoned the mimic battle spirit Hong Meng Qing Turbid Qi. As soon as the Hong Meng Clear Turbid Qi appeared, it transformed into two golden dragons that circled around for a week, hissing as it rushed into the sky. At once, the entire sky was illuminated in gold color by it. Immediately afterward, the golden dragons opened their bloody mouths and frantically snatched the energy that originally belonged to the Dark Thunder Cluster. What is this thing of yours? The devouring ability is surprisingly so strong. As soon as the Hong Meng Clear Turbid Qi came out, the Crab Jiao Dragon's eyes glared round. He had already sensed that the Hong Meng Clear Turbid Qi was completely restraining its Black Cluster's existence. If you violate my Dragon Kingdom, you will be cut down. Seeing that the Thunder Cluster had almost dissipated, Chen Jia formed a sword with both of his fingers, and a might of the God Killing Domain was injected into the Heaven Opening Axe. The Heaven Opening Axe which was still holding on to the thunder cluster, suddenly went berserk. Some dark red thunder appeared around it, generating a power that could be many times stronger than the thunder inside the thunder cluster. ka -ching. Silky cracks appeared in the crab jiao monster's dark thunder cluster. Impossible. I can't possibly lose. Suddenly, the crab jiao monster unexpectedly stood up from the bottom of the sea, and his body underneath was the size of a military base. The body underneath, steel-like, densely packed thousand feet supported him. The Crab Jiao monster's stomach shrunk, and he spat out towards the sky, clumps of dark energy, and it was obvious that he had done his best. However, no matter how he output his energy, in front of the heaven opening axe that Chen Jia had inflicted, it was completely inadequate. Boom! A loud bang resounded in the air as the Crab Jiao monster's thunder cluster completely collapsed. No! The Crab Jiao dragon shouted in despair. The sharp heaven opening axe met him and slashed at him head on. Put! The heaven opening axe was unstoppable splitting right through the Crab Jiao Monster's head until it was split in half. Boom! The two sides of the Crab Jiao Monster's corpses slowly fell down, causing a fluctuation. The shield in the sky, too, dissipated. The eighth-ranked aberration monster, likewise, fell onto the Heaven Opening Axe in Chen Jia's hand. With the sharpness of the Heaven Opening Axe, Chen Jia even felt that it was possible to slice through the opponent even if it was a ninth-order freak monster. Chen Jia has won. He defeated the eighth-ranked aberration monster and we are saved. Chen Jie is the hero of our dragon kingdom. Thank you big brother Chen Jie for saving my life. I am willing to follow big brother Chen Jie for the rest of my life. Too strong big brother Chen. I want to give birth to many, many monkeys for you. Where's the burnt goods from? Get lost. Our big brother is in love with his sister-in-law. The many awakened at the bottom looked up at Chen Jie. They were filled with gratitude and admiration for Chen Jie. This hero of the dragon kingdom. The hope of the dragon kingdom. He really did it. Rushing to the front line of killing the aberrant monsters, he was the strongest bulwark when the people of the Dragon Kingdom were in danger. Chen Jie glanced back at the excited awakened ones. At once, cheer after cheer rang out. Brother Chen, look at my brother Chen. My brother Chen is just too handsome. That axe just now. Not only did it split open this 8th rank aberration monster, it even split open my heart. From now on, I'll be brother Chen's man. Boss Chen, take me. Among these awakened ones, the male awakened ones were even more excited than the female awakened ones. If it wasn't for the fact that, they didn't have the talent to ascend to the heavens, they would be itching to rush up and give Chen Jie a hug right now. Chen Jie waved his hand at them. Then, he put away the heaven opening axe and flew towards the body of the crab gel monster. 
An eighth order aberration monster was definitely capable of producing quite a few good things. As soon as he got close, the strong smell of blood from the crab Jiao dragon rushed through his nose. The organs on his body were completely steeled, and blood kept flowing out from them. At the head position, a golden colored orb slowly rose. The energy contained on it was so dense that Chen Jia felt a warm feeling just as he approached it. This is a higher spirit crystal. Chen Jia had an impression of higher spirit crystals, which were different from ordinary primary spirit crystals. They were all prismatic, whereas only the higher spirit crystals were round and emitted temperature. Chen Jia was slightly excited and put the higher spirit crystal away. As soon as he touched the higher spirit crystal, Chen Jia's heart and mind were revitalized. This energy fluctuation, it was very strong. Putting the spirit crystal away, Chen Jia immediately called out the mimic battle spirit. Swallow it. The carcass of an eighth order deformed monster was a great tonic for the mimic battle spirit. The mimetic battle spirit had just come out. And when it saw such a delicacy, it shivered with excitement and directly rushed up, wrapping the crab jiao monster's carcass in a deadly coil. A full three minutes passed before the Hongmeng clear turbid chi finished devouring the crab scaly monster. When it was finished, the aura of the Hongmeng clear turbid chi was three times more powerful. Next time, if the Hongmeng turbid chi was injected into the heaven opening axe, the power would definitely be another qualitative increase. After the crab scaly monsters were dealt with, the monstrous monsters on the coast also began to slowly recede. Only, there was no telling when in the future they would make a comeback. Tough luck to all of you for contributing your part in the defense of the Dragon Kingdom. The Dragon Kingdom will always remember you all. Regarding the rewards, after the official statistics, we will be rewarding you for your merits. Elder Joe stood in front of the crowd, with his hands behind his back, and loudly proclaimed. He was pleased that under Chen Jie's leadership, the scattered awakened had united together. Together, they fought against the aberration monsters. There was hope for the dragon kingdom to completely remove the aberrant monsters and return to the peace of old. Just, the only thing that worried Elder Zhou was that 10th ranked aberration mermaid. This battle, she was the one leading it. In the end, it would definitely run into her as well. On the contrary, the fate of the dragon kingdom, that was really stormy. The battle ended. Chen Jie led his squad and returned to the Dragon Chopper group to recuperate. After experiencing this war, the Awakened of the Dragon Chopper group had received a lot of boosts. The original Third Order Awakened basically upgraded to Fourth Order. As for those Fourth Order Awakened, quite a few of them had already entered the peak. A breakthrough to the fifth rank was just around the corner. At the same time, as Chen Jie's fame rose, there were also quite a few other Awakened who took the initiative to join the Zhang Long group. Right now, in the Zhang Long group, there were already more than 300 awakened alone. It could be considered as not knowing the battle force. All have worked hard. Have a good rest. We only have enough to continue to grow bigger and stronger. On the roof of the company, Chen Jie stood straight and said with a straight face. Chen Jie's voice was full of inspirational effect. The hearts of the people were full of fighting spirit. Yes, the crowd spoke in unison, their voices loud and clear. Ever since Chen Jie had become the hope of the Dragon Kingdom, the crowd felt that joining the Dragon Chopper group was infinitely honorable. After pacifying the awakened under his hand, Chen Jie felt tired all of a sudden. Returning to his room, he simply took a shower, then lay down headfirst under the covers. Boom! Suddenly, Chen Jie heard a wooing sound from Xiao Wanru. Back when Chen Jie was taking a shower, Xiao Wanru had already hid inside the quilt. Wanru, when are you? Before Chen Jie could finish, the quilt revealed Xiao Wanru's playful face. Hush, don't talk. Today, I wore your favorite, Xiao Wanru said softly, my favorite? Chen Jie curiously lifted a portion of the quilt, a black silk that carried an infinite temptation was revealed, so it's this, Chen Jie became excited, lifting the quilt and pouncing on it, tonight, it was destined to be impossible to rest properly, in just one night, Chen Jie's name once again appeared in front of the people of the dragon kingdom, countless television screens were filled with scenes of Chen Jie standing in front of many awakened people, Fending off Eighth Order aberrant monsters, the heaven opening axe floated above Chen Jie's head, and majestic golden energy infused. Anyone who offends my dragon kingdom will be decapitated. Immediately afterward, the Eighth Order crab jiao monster, which was like a building through the sky, was split in two. Handsome, overbearing, convincing, Chen Jie's image instantly became incomparably taller in the hearts of the nation. That heaven opening axe dispelled everyone's fear of monstrous monsters. His soaring voice activated the nation's hope to live. This was the power of a role model, a hero. On this night, even the lower ranked awakened set off a revolt against the monstrous monsters that harmed them. Even the ordinary people, no longer afraid of the deformed monsters, frantically fought back. The deformed monsters were dumbfounded. The humans nowadays, how could they be so brutal? 
Sakura Nation's high level. What? The Dragon Kingdom actually portrayed Chen Jie as a hero? Not only did they ignore our demands, but they even went after Chen Jie instead. Unforgivable. The Dragon Kingdom doesn't even have us in their sights. Chen Jie must pay the price. The Sakura Nation's top management was in a state of discussion. For a while, the matter of Chen Jie becoming a hero of the Dragon Kingdom was unacceptable. And now, the Dragon Kingdom was creating Chen Jie as a hero. Wasn't this, looking down on their Sakura Kingdom? Obviously, the Dragon Kingdom just didn't put the Sakura country in their eyes at all. The Sakura Nation's leader, Sasaki sat calmly in the center. He did not have the madness he had before. He just waited quietly. Until, our five emperors and ten emperors warriors, have returned from their training. Outside the hall, a Sakura Nation defender rushed in, emotional and shouting. The five emperors and ten emperors have returned. Immediately, the originally noisy executives all quieted down. At the same time, they stood on both sides in a well-organized manner, waiting for the 15 warriors from that Sakura country to come in. They represented the strongest awakening of the Sakura kingdom. Clack 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 clack. The sound of armor, within the hall, resounded in a neat and orderly manner. Not long after, 15 warriors with strong bodies and energy surrounding their bodies walked in. Greetings, your majesty, the 15 samurai, at the same time, kneeled down on one knee and bowed to Sasaki. Rise, my son, Sasaki said in a deep voice. Upon receiving the command, these 15 people, only then stood up. Their unified gazes were on Sasaki, and the others, they didn't even look at them. In this hall, it was as if only Sasaki could enter their eyes. Sasaki turned towards these 15 people and slightly probed. He immediately laughed out loud. Great, great. Our five emperor level samurai have been raised to the peak of the seventh rank. Of the ten emperor level warriors, three have entered the seventh rank, and there are seven at the peak of the sixth rank. There's hope for us to regain face from the dragon kingdom. Sasaki looked at the 15 people in front of him with anticipation. In his heart, he thought to himself, Chen Jia was no stronger than an early 7th rank, and he had 8 7th ranked warriors, as well as 5 10th emperor level awakenings. Sasaki did not believe that he, with these 5 emperors and 10 emperors, would not be able to cut Chen Jia down. 15 warriors, you have returned at the perfect time. Sasaki turned towards these 15 warriors and spoke about the exact course of what had happened recently. Previously, they had also heard roughly that Chen Jia had insulted their Sakura kingdom. Now, hearing Sasaki's account in person, each and every one of them were filled with righteous indignation. Bastard, where is this Chen Jie? I want him to taste my katana. Is it sharp enough? Your majesty, as the leader of the imperial squad, I request to go to war. I also request a fight. Me too. These samurai, one after another, asked Sasaki to fight. Good. Great. Everyone, the chance to completely defeat the dragon kingdom has come. Didn't they create Chen Jie, the hero, this faith? Then let's beat them. This hero, down like a dog. Make him kneel and beg for mercy from us. Send a letter to the Dragon Kingdom and place a war order. Sasaki looked excited. And when he spoke, he spat. The next day the Luo Kingdom's top management received the Sakura Kingdom's letter of war. The person who presided over the big picture was still Elder Zhou. Due to Chen Jie's special status, he was also invited along by Elder Zhou to participate in the high-level conference. After the assembly was in place, the first speaker was Elder Zhou. The Sakura Kingdom has placed a letter of war against us. This is a battle that we must meet. Elder Zhou slowly turned his head and glanced at the people around him. Elder Zhou, if it was before the appearance of the coastal freak monsters, we would have been able to answer the war. However, due to the harassment of the aberration monsters, most of our awakened who are above the seventh rank have already traveled to suppress the coastlines everywhere. There are probably only three awakened above the seventh rank that are free right now. They are Li Guan, Xu Kai and Chen Jia the rest of the peak of the sixth order, and there are several more. The military department acted a little difficult. If, right now, those awakened above the seventh order were to respond to the battle together, once the deep sea aberration monsters swooped in, it would cause a large number of casualties. He didn't dare to gamble with the lives of the Luo people. Seeing the difficult look of the military department, Chen Jie stood up. Everyone, there's no need to look so blum. Chen Jie glanced around. All of the top brass were looking at themselves in slight surprise. The Sakura Kingdom's letter of war this time was probably directed at me as well. So, there's no need to be so troublesome and deploy troops. I'll single-handedly take on their so-called five emperors and ten emperors. Chen Jie's voice was calm, as if he was pulling a family game with the top brass. But this matter, however, set off a huge wave in the hearts of the crowd. Chen Jie, alone, had single-handedly challenged the other party's 15 emperor-ranked and emperor-ranked samurai awakened. 
You have to know that the Sakura Kingdom's warrior awakening, emperor level, is already equivalent to the Luo Kingdom's epic level super martial arts awakening. As for an emperor ranked warrior awakening, and reaching the seventh rank level, it could even be equivalent to a god rank calamity. The five emperor levels on the other side were all existences that could jeopardize a small country on one side, and Chen Jie was actually going to be the one to single handedly take on the other party's five. Chen Jie, this matter, are you sure? Although, I know that you only just killed an 8th rank aberration monster a few days ago, but, this is, after all, a human awakened, and there is a huge difference in terms of combat and intelligence, you'll also have to engage in a wheel battle, I hope you, think carefully, Zhou Lao looked serious and spread his hands to analyze with Chen Jia, as a senior commander of Luo, he had never lost his temper like this before, however, in front of Chen Jie, he was out of character, he did not want Chen Jie, to have any little accident, Elder Zhou, this matter, I have already thought about it, after all, it was a grudge between me and the Sakura country to begin with, as for, whether or not I can defeat the other party, please believe me, though 10 million people, I will go forward, Chen Jia held his head high and faced all the executives present, snap, as soon as Chen Jia's words fell, the entire hall resounded with loud applause, Luo country, to be able to have such ambitious young men, why worry about surviving in the midst of the end times? Why worry about cleaning up the aberrant monsters? Why worry about revival? Good, good one. Although millions of people will go on, Chen Jie, go ahead and go. But remember, you're not alone. There still are Luo Kingdom behind you, and our entire population of Luo Kingdom. We are all supporting you. Bravo to my Luo Kingdom. Challenging the five emperors and ten emperors of the Sakura Kingdom today. This matter will surely go down in history. All of the top echelons, all of them stood up, applauding, their mouths speaking impassioned words, even the corners of their eyes glistened with tears when they reached the depths of their emotions, as a Luo man, this is how it should be, not to be afraid of the strongest enemy, not to be afraid of the difficulties and dangers, Chen Jia had given them too much shock, this meeting, eventually ended in applause, Chen Jia also went back to prepare for the battle, the five emperors and ten emperors of the Sakura kingdom were about to arrive, and he had to be well prepared, back inside the room, Chen Jie took out the high-grade spirit crystal that he had used to kill the 8th order crab Zhao monster. This spirit crystal was probably able to raise Chen Jie's rank to the mid-7th rank. Chen Jie estimated that mid-7th rank should not be much of a problem against 10 7th rank warriors from the other side. After soothing his body and mind, Chen Jie sat cross-legged on the bed with the high rank spirit crystal floating at the small of his back. The spirit crystal emitted a majestic energy, and it was surrounded by ribbon-like energy bodies all around it. Begin! Chen Jie stretched out his hands and slowly approached the high-grade spirit crystal. Slowly, the high-grade spirit crystal slowly dissipated, all of it merging into Chen Jie's body. Powerful energies were within his body, roaming and merging. Ten minutes later, phew, Chen Jie took a long breath. The aura on his body had risen a few more points. It had successfully entered the mid-seventh stage. Tomorrow, the five emperors and ten emperors of the Sakura kingdom may come in spite of themselves, tired and worn out. Chen Jie took a bath and slowly fell asleep, since she knew that Chen Jie had a big battle tomorrow. Xiao Wanru had purposely moved to the next room to sleep. The next day at noon, the people involved in the Luo Kingdom and the Sakura Kingdom came together to the island of no return. This was the location that had been agreed upon beforehand. Luo Kingdom, Zhou Lao, you guys really dare to meet the battle ah? Sasaki looked at Zhou Lao with a smile and secretly used his talent to lash out at him. Why wouldn't I dare? Zhou Lao did not change his face and launched his talent to counterattack. Wild winds suddenly appeared in the originally calm waters around them. The surface of the sea also began to choppy, the seawater crazily slapping the reef on the shore. The two fought for a minute, ending with Sasaki taking a step backward. Ahem, who did you guys from Luo Kingdom come? I, Sakura Kuni, am sending, five emperors and ten kings. Sasaki proudly introduced their battle power. Not long after, fifteen majestic figures appeared behind him each with an impressive aura, us, I, the Luo kingdom, will only send out one to single-handedly challenge you, the Sakura kingdom, all five emperors and ten emperors, Zhou Lao smiled faintly, giving his position away, Chen Jie's figure immediately appeared in front of the Sakura kingdom's crowd, as soon as the crowd of the Sakura kingdom saw Chen Jie, their faces immediately changed, this person was the one who had publicly humiliated their Sakura kingdom, you, are Chen Jie, Sasaki asked knowingly, his eyes looking at Chen Jie as if he was looking at his father's murderer. If it wasn't for Elder Zhou being here, he couldn't wait to personally go up and tear Chen Jie apart right now. That's right, Chen Jie even when facing this old monster. Sasaki, 
Chen Jie did not fall into the wind in the slightest. You, Luo Kingdom, are too arrogant to send just one Chen Jie to try to single-handedly challenge our Sakura Kingdom's five emperors and ten emperors. Of course, it is your choice to do so. However, if there are casualties on both sides, you can't be held accountable. Sasaki thought that he had already secured the victory. Since Chen Jie was willing to die, he was naturally happy to do so. Sasaki, swords have no eyes. It's normal for casualties to occur. However, it seems that your five emperors and ten emperors are already the entire foundation of your Sakura country ah. Elder Joe smiled and shook his head. It was as if he was warning Sasaki that once he lost today, the Sakura kingdom would surely die. Dragon kingdom is a river crab word. It's all been modified to Luo kingdom. Soon both sides pulled back. Luo kingdom Chen Jie was present. The Sakura country, on the other hand, sent out their five emperors and ten emperors, without the slightest bit of shame. This battle was being broadcast live by both countries. That is to say, life, this battle was a matter of face for both countries. As long as one side lost, the other side might not be able to raise their heads all the way. Look guys, our Luo country's hero, Chen Jie, is fighting against the other country's Sakura country. Wait, this is a bit off. How come our dragon kingdom only sent one person, and the other side has a full 15 people? This Sakura country is simply shameless. They want to fight even if we only sent out one person? Moreover, it's still a wheel battle together. The Luo country's people all rushed to fight for Chen Jie. They didn't realize that the matter of taking the initiative to challenge the other side's 15. That was something that Chen Jie alone brought up. Then let's begin. Zhou Lao blandly said, turning around and retreating backwards, leaving Chen Jie on the island. The opponent, Sasaki, gave Chen Jie an indignant look before also retreating backwards. On the field, only Chen Jie and the five emperors and ten emperors of the Sakura kingdom began to remain. Luo kingdom's awakened one. You are really arrogant and cocky. One person comes and dares to deal with fifteen of us? The bald warrior at the head, dressed in a red flowing fire warrior, stood out to speak with Chen Jie. He was the leader of these fifteen people. Inoue Namba. Of course, amongst these fifteen people, he was the one with the highest realm, reaching the middle of the seventh rank of martial artist. There was even a slight appearance of wanting to step into the peak of the seventh rank. Isn't it arrogant and cocky? Won't you know if you've tried it? Chen Jie skimmed his mouth. Fine. We won't take advantage of you either. I'll go one by one. Inoue difficulty took a step backward. Making way. He left the spot for a royal rank awakened samurai amongst their ranks who had just advanced to the seventh rank. This samurai had a face full of fat. Looking more like a sumo wrestler from the Sakura country. As soon as this person came up, he politely bowed to Chen Jie. Aoi Wujua, please enlighten me. Chen Jie also nodded towards the other party as a return greeting. Chen Jie, as the two greeted each other. Aoi Wuzo's big foot stepped forward, and the katana in his hand was raised and aimed at Chen Jie. He did not move. He was waiting for Chen Jie to make a move. On the other hand, Chen Jie only had his hands behind his back and did not summon out his heaven opening axe. Against such a small shrimp, there was no need to summon out the heaven opening axe. One would be able to him resolve with just his bare hands. Boss, what do you think? Will our Aoi Wujua be able to defeat this man from Luo country? The vice squad of Sakura Nation squad. Yuya Yamayama sidled up to ask his captain. In his eyes, Aoi Wujua was a warrior of the imperial level of awakening. Against ordinary awakened, they were all a stage stronger. As for Chen Jie, although he also detected that he had reached the middle of the seventh stage. However, in his eyes it was far from being a match for Inoue Matsu. However, Inuyasha difficulty just shook his head. Atso is not an opponent. This Chen Jie is very strong. I just want Wu Kuo to go up and force the opponent's moves out so that our chances of winning behind us will be even greater. Inoue Watso's eyes revealed a refined light as he looked at the location of the bout with all his concentration. He hoped to be able to see something from this fight. Chen Jie and Aoi Wutso had been in a stalemate for a short while, and finally Aoi Wutso couldn't help but move first, only to see that he suddenly exerted force on his feet and pounced on Chen Jie like a missile. Every step he took was accompanied by a strong earthquake. It looked very powerful. The long knife in his hand was even more precise and accurate as it stabbed at Chen Jie's heart area. If, for any other opponent, he would definitely die under his blade in a single move. Unfortunately, he was facing Chen Jie, only to see Chen Jie's finger, which was quickly stretched out, and then clamped against the opponent's long knife. Ding! A subtle sound rang out. Sang Jing Wuzhua's knife, surprisingly, was directly clamped to death by Chen Jie. Seeing his sword being clamped, Sang Jing Wuzhua gritted his teeth and pulled it backward with all his might. However, surprisingly, it didn't work at all, and the blade still didn't move. Ah ah ah! Bastard! Aoi Wuzhua was going crazy. To have one's own weapon, 
Under the death grip of an opponent, this definitely counted as an insult to people like them who possessed the spirit of a samurai. You go down. You're too weak, Chen Jie said indifferently. Then he gently twisted his two fingers. Dang, Ai Wu Tzu's long sword broke on the spot. This, Kang Wu Chao's eyes widened as he looked at his long sword, completely unable to believe what was happening in front of him. His long sword, however, was crafted with fine steel and then attached with his domineering talent. How could it be interrupted by a man-made man? Go down. Chen Jie coldly glanced at Ai Wu Tzu. Then, with a big wave of his hand, the broken blade in his hand flew out. The flying blade was very fast and directly struck Kangai Wu Kuo's shoulder. The powerful impact caused Aoi Wu Chao to fly directly backwards. His strike contained the Hongmeng Ching Tu Chi, and once it hit, the Hongmeng Ching Tu Chi would erode the opponent's body, until the other party's natural abilities were all destroyed. Only now the other party did not know. Ah ah ah! Aoi Wu Zhuo kept rolling on the ground, unable to even utter a single word out of his mouth. At this point, the people of Sakura Country had sort of seen the terror of Chen Jie. My god, big brother Chen, just using a single move, he subdued his opponent, it's just too powerful, not only that, our big brother Chen, it seems like he didn't even use his weapon to come out, he just used his hand and broke the opponent's knife, then a merciless counterattack, it's just a pity that it didn't waste the Sakura nation person, everyone don't be too happy, in fact, the other party seems to have only sent out a weaker power to test big brother Chen Jie, the other party's powerful person has not yet been sent out. Winning the first battle, Chen Jie hooked his hand at the crowd of Sakura Nation, signaling his opponent to continue. This bit of intensity just now was completely insufficient. Bastard, boss, let me go up. I'll get this Chen Jie, the vice captain. Yuya Yamayama gritted his teeth, itching to go straight up and tear Chen Jie apart. Unfortunately, he was stopped dead in his tracks by the captain. In no way difficulty. Baka, obey the orders and let the others continue up. You wait for me. Inoue Nanshan couldn't believe that he had sent out all of the ten emperors and couldn't test Chen Jie's bottom card. One Aoi Musho was gone. Not much damage. Tomodachi fake high. You go up. Inoue difficulty gave orders to a small old man smoking a cigarette on the side. The other man turned to Inoue Nanyang, nodded, and then wandered up. He was also one of the ten emperors. However, he wasn't afraid of Chen Jie, and he thought that Chen Jie had just been able to defeat Aoi Nanbu simply because Aoi himself was stupid. Even his weapon was controlled by the other party. Stupidity is unattainable. Tomodachi Feikai smoked a cigarette and walked up to Chen Jie. He didn't greet him either, and he directly took a puff of smoke in front of Chen Jie. Subsequently, the smoke he exhaled formed a single evil ghost beside him. The strength of each of these evil ghosts was probably around the fifth rank. If, used to deal with other people, it would be somewhat powerful. To perform this move in front of Chen Jie was really like a joke. Luo country brat. Ahem. I'm not like that stupid big guy just now, so easy to deal with, my weapon, there's no way you can control it, Tomodachi Feikai had a smug look on his face, he thought that his moves would definitely be able to make Chin Jie giggle, his weapon, was not the cigarette stick in his hand, nor was it any sword, but the smoke that was now being created, these smokes, could not be destroyed, nor could they be controlled, furthermore, he was able to produce a constant stream of it, causing Chen Jie to fall into a bitter battle and eventually die of exhaustion, Little ones, charge for me, Tomodachi fake high shouted, and then the smoke monsters beside him, one by one, were like fish leaping through a dragon gate, lunging towards Chen Jie, these smoke monsters, were also troublesome, after running next to Chen Jie one by one, as long as Chen Jie wanted to attack them, they directly exploded, the damage produced by the explosion was dispensable to Chen Jie, however, the generation of those unpleasant odors, on the contrary, made Chen Jie a little upset, these things, they can be really annoying. Chen Jie's right hand shook, and a golden needle appeared on his finger. Tomodachi, be careful, he has a concealed weapon in his hand. The golden needle had just come out, and Inoue Namba, with her powerful eyes, immediately noticed it and hurriedly reminded Tomodachi Feikai, who was on the field, a concealed weapon? Sakura domestic, playing with a concealed weapon. I'm number one, there's no way he can. Shu, puff, before Tomodachi Feikai could finish speaking. Chen Jie's golden needle had already passed through space silently. Afterward, it pierced the back of Tomodachi Feikai's head from behind. Even his face wore a smile. He knew a lot about concealed weapons. However, he simply could not have expected that Chen Jie's golden needle would be so fast, and it was still attacking from his back. It was really unexpected for him, a concealed weapon expert, and he wanted to say that he would definitely be able to notice it next time. It was just a pity that there was no next time. Boom! 
Arigato fake high's body staggered, and a moment later, his body collapsed to the ground. The cigarette stub in his hand also fell to the side. The cigarette but inverted on the ground, announcing that he had been killed in action. What? In just less than 10 seconds, Chen Jia has killed another one of the other party's warriors. I thought he was pretty good when I saw him smoking and making a smoker out of himself. Just this? Sakuragak, can it be done? Can you send out some powerful characters? This is totally not enough for our Chen Jia to fight. Everyone, don't open the champagne at halftime first. This one on the other side is only at the imperial level. But, it has already forced big brother Chen Jie to have his hands shake a little bit. Chen Jie once again defeated the Sakura nation's opponent, causing the Luo nation's audience to once again go into a frenzy. On the other hand, the ten emperors and five emperors of the Sakura kingdom had faces more ugly than a bitter melon. They had sent out two emperor level warriors, and in the hands of Chen Jie, they couldn't even last a minute. Everyone, there's no need to be too demoralized. At least, we forced him to throw a golden needle. I've already understood one of the opponent's skills. Moreover, the one we sent out was only a peak of the sixth stage of the imperial rank. At the back, it's time for us to hang Chen Jie. I will avenge you all. Next, Cheyenne Narama. Inoue difficulty tried his best to comfort his men while calling out the next player. Cheyenne Narama, a middle-aged man with a pale face quickly ran up. But, ten seconds later, boom, he quickly flew backwards back into the group again. Asa Wang. Benito Pants, neighboring village Ailey. As one by one, the imperial level warriors rushed up. One by one again, they were easily defeated by Chin Jie, apart from the individual troublesome ones that used golden needles. The rest were almost all punched, hitting the grounds. Boom boom boom. Imperial level warriors, all of them were wiped out. Ha ha ha. This Sakura nation, is just too funny. Still wanting to test out Chen Jie's bottom card. As a result, Chen Jie got them down with his physical body alone. A mere imperial grade samurai. Their rank is not even as high as our big brother Chen. How can they be a match for my big brother Chen? Yes, their awakening qualities are good, but they're overlooking. Are our big brother Chen's weak? Everyone, it's better not to half. The game. Shut up upstairs. Half nigga. Can't comment can't comment. At this time, in no way difficulty, his face is extremely ugly. Originally, his tactic was to want to continuously reveal out Chen Jia's bottom card through Luo Guotian Jima's way. However, it seemed as though, other than making the Sakura Kingdom's 10 Imperial Level 5 Dawn die in battle, it didn't serve any purpose. Everyone, rest assured, the sacrifices of our Imperial ranks are worthwhile. At least, they have already consumed Shinji's stamina for us. Now it's the turn of our Emperor grade. An Emperor quality awakening is not something that he, Chen Jie, can handle alone. Inuyasha Namba looked at the four Emperor level warriors beside him and was once again filled with confidence. They were five Emperor level warriors. They could be said to be the top combatants of Sakura country. All possessed a wealth of combat experience. Even the 8th ranked aberration monsters, they had all fought together. Inoue Namba looked around the room at a man with a tiger's back. Kato Tiger, you're the first to go. Be more vigilant and make sure to knock his bottom out. Inoue Namba said with a straight face. Kato Tiger held his head high and said confidently. I'm not one of those imperial level imbeciles. Beating out his bottom? I'll even knock out his bottoms. Kato Tiger's body shook and mutations began to appear on his body. Brownish yellow tiger hairs emerged from his body. The originally flat teeth also became sharp. With red eyes, his claws plowed the ground and he turned into a whirlwind and rushed up. His aberration was related to the tiger. When Chen Jie saw this person, his aura was monstrous. The energy fluctuations, too, were completely different from the previous person. Thus, Chen Jie slightly righted himself. Luo, suffer death. Kato Tiger was a violent temper, and without greeting, he directly charged towards Chen Jie. Swish, the tiger's claws split from Chen Jie and grabbed down. Chen Jie turned into a bolt of lightning and flashed to the side. Instantly, the tiger's claw fell short and directly grabbed onto the ground. Boom. Instantly, the ground cracked out five chasms. Somewhat interesting, Chen Jie smiled faintly and summoned the heaven opening axe. Finally, you're willing to use a weapon. However, it's hard for you to escape death. Kato Tiger twisted his body and turned his head to stare at Chen Jie in death. Immediately, his body shook as a murderous aura rushed out from his eyes, wanting to forcefully subdue Chen Jie. HM, using a domain? But that's too trashy, isn't it? Chen Jie merely glared with both eyes and counterattacked back. The god killing domain unfolded. However, two golden fingers suddenly flew towards him. Just then, that Kato tiger suddenly madly rushed towards Chen Jie, directly pointing at Chen Jie's legs, as if it were a maddened beast, with an evil emphasis. Howling, Chen Jie. 
Under my golden fingers, submit. Seeing Kato Tiger make this move, Inoue Nanyang's eyes perked up, his hands clenched into fists, and he cried out passionately. Old Five has actually used his innate talent. With this move of his, even I have to be controlled for three minutes, and after that, my strength will be exhausted, and my physical ability will drop by half. Evil Gold Finger, after the hit, the target will be weak all over. Females will lose their combat power for three minutes. Male effects are reduced by half. Chen Jia frowned and pressed the heaven opening axe. Heaven opening. Kato Tiger rolled his eyes and turned around in an attempt to dodge Chen Jia's heaven opening axe, reaching out and pointing his hand at Chen Jia, disregarding the fact that the clothes on his body were being torn apart by the airflow of Chen Jia's heaven opening axe. Boom! The heaven opening axe struck the earth, and immediately the mountain touched the ground, and Kato Tiger's golden finger has approached. Ha ha ha! It's going to hit. Kato Tiger stuck out his tongue and smugly laughed, looking very obscene. Chen Jie's eyes were lowered, indifferently looking at Kato Tiger. Do you really think that this trick of yours can deal with me? A strong aura erupted from his body, as Chen Jie summoned the Hongmeng Qingfeng Qi, forming a barrier. Looking at Chen Jie's Hongmeng Qing turbid Qi, Kato Tiger directly ignored it and pointed it down hard. His eyes were filled with madness, and his breathing became more and more rapid. As long as he tapped Chen Jie, he would have a chance to kill Chen Jie and become the hero of their Sakura country. Ding! The golden finger was so charged that it actually directly pierced through Chen Jie's Hongmeng Qing turbid Qi. Breaking through the Hongmeng Qing turbid Qi, Kato Tiger was incomparably excited. Become my crotch slave. Chen Jie revealed a wicked smile. Fooled you. Only to see Chen Jie grabbing with both hands. The Hongmeng clear turbid Qi flipped steeply, locking Kato Tiger's golden fingers in place. What? You're not using this gas for defense. Kato Tiger was incomparably shocked. He originally thought that this massive gas from Chen Jie was just a protection. Who knew that it was actually a living body, able to grab his golden finger. I actually want to see what this golden finger of yours can do. So I had to use you as a test subject for a bit. Only to see. The yellow light twisted and the golden finger pointed at Kato Tiger. Ding. A crisp sound rang out. Afterwards, Kato Tiger fell straight down from the air. Ha ha ha. As if he had lost his mind. Kato Tiger laughed dementedly, unable to stop drool from the corners of his mouth. And like a maggot, it kept rubbing on the ground. Kato Tiger has gone completely insane. Chen Jie floated in the air and snorted helplessly. A white light was then slashed. Kato Tiger's head flew out. However, the body was still repeating the same action. Chen Jie determined that he had lost his life breath, so he did not care much. He turned his head towards the Sakura Nation camp, and towards the remaining four emperors. He stretched out his fingers and counted them one by one, point by point. Afterward, a light sentence came. Four left. Boom. Whether it was the people present, or the crowd in Luo watching the live stream, they were all shocked. Oh my god, what is our big brother Chen doing? Is this pointing at people to kill them? He's really so arrogant. But I like it so much. I look at his breezy demeanor, as if he's not in a duel to the death with someone. Instead, he's picking out chickens to kill like he's working in a chicken killing farm. Heaven doesn't give birth to my brother Chen. The doctrine for ages is like a long night ah. This is too capable of pretending. I also want to be as awesome as big brother Chen. Who can teach me? Upstairs, Vini 50 and listen to my enhancement program. At this time, the four people of Sakuragak were as if they had eaten a dead fly. Their faces were extremely ugly. And now they had almost lost their minds. Chen Jia looked at the four epileptic emperor levels in front of him and only felt that they looked like jokes. The three of us will go together. Boss. You have special abilities. Stay as the strongest weapon. If we lose as well, there's still you. Mountain Yuya really couldn't take it anymore. And said to Inoue difficulty, turned around and brought along the other two emperor levels. Rushing towards Chen Jie. Looking at the three people who had gone mad and rushed in front of him, Chen Jie did not panic in the slightest. Slightly tightening his grip on the heaven opening axe. Ah ha. Fight. Before waiting to get close to Chen Jie, Yuya on the mountain had already gone crazy biting off his own tongue and devouring his own blood. Immediately afterward, his body underwent a crazy mutation, only to see the skin layer of Yuya Shan's head disappear. Countless eyes emerged from his head, and a sharp bone spur pierced out from his body, and the other two also underwent the same change. What kind of aberration monster is this? Chen Jie was also slightly stunned. He hadn't seen such a battle either. However, we're all the same. Buzz. The heaven-opening axe in Chen Jie's hand vibrated slightly. The energy of the god-killing domain was madly injected into the heaven-opening axe. Fusion. The heaven-opening axe revealed a ferocious blood-red color. The three of them on the mountain in front of them. Yu Ya. Simultaneously felt the power of the heaven-opening axe in Chen Jie's hand. We also fuse. Suddenly, 
the three men on the other side, merged together and were piercing each other's bodies, the blood followed the needles and fused and exchanged with each other. As this process went on, the aura of these three men, too, was climbing up. In no time, the aura had actually broken through to the level of an eighth order awakened. Right from the start, you guys have already decided to fight to the death? Alright, then I'll give you guys a good send off. Final open heaven and earth. Boom. The heaven opening axe in Chen Jia's hand, wrapped with the god slaying domain, rose up into the sky and a huge shadow began to emerge. The momentum was monstrous. Pierce him. Mount Yuya hissed. The speed of the three of them suddenly increased. Chen Jia formed a sword with both fingers and quickly swung down. Boom. The heaven opening axe went down ferociously. The three of them, all of their strength was condensed to a single point, and they were determined to penetrate through the heaven opening axe and through Chen Jie. The two collided, and a white light flourished. The river was turned upside down, and the surrounding mountain peaks were hardened and shaken into two halves. Everyone present held their breath, waiting for the final result. When the white light dispersed, a piece of Chen Jie's body was dyed red. However, this was not his blood, but the blood of the three Yuya people on the mountain. Very good. The blood was able to splatter me. Chen Jie glanced at the four people who were in pieces in front of him, the five emperors of the Sakura country, four of them died in battle, and the end result was merely blood staining a piece of Chen Jie's clothes. Aha! Uh -huh. In no way difficulty, who was watching the battle from afar, roared lowly in pain as two streams of blood flowed from the corners of his eyes, as he saw that Chen Jie was not dead, he took an elixir. This elixir was condensed from the tens of thousands of chicken-type aberration monsters that he had killed. Within a short period of time, it was able to allow him to increase drastically. In just a few moments, he, who was originally at the peak of the seventh rank, maintained his eighth rank aura. Chen Jie, today you must die. Chen Jie looked sideways at Inoue Nanyang in front of him, his hand resting blandly on top of the heaven opening axe handle as he prepared for battle. At this moment, Inoue Nanyang's head had shriveled up like a deflated balloon. A new pair of eyes grew out of the chest area. Those eyes were covered in blood, and when they moved at high speeds, rolling blood chi bubbled out of their bodies, and their hands, which were originally normal, had turned into eagle claw shapes. The claws emitted a bizarre red light, drawing a circular arc in the air, grabbing down violently towards Chen Jie. Even in the face of such a ferocious attack, Chen Jie was calm and unperturbed, not seeing the slightest panic. Such a high-intensity human aberration would be the first time he had seen it. However, it was able to be seen that the energy fluctuations of the Inuyasha difficulty were very unstable. Sometimes it maintained at the 8th rank, and sometimes it would show signs of falling to the 7th rank. Against Inoue difficulty, a head-on confrontation was certainly possible. However, at this moment, Chen Jie felt that fighting a war of attrition would also be a good choice. While he was thinking, Inoue difficulty's attack had already arrived. He slowly swung the heaven opening axe in his hand, and his attack was not as powerful as before, but rather had a bit more composure. Hong Meng clear turbid chi surged out from his body, covering Chen Jie. At this moment, the Hongmeng clear turbid chi played a protective role. This was a very different way of fighting. The heaven opening axe slowly slashed through. The golden light emerging from the axe body was calm and powerful. This axe was like a Tarzan punch, heavy and infinite in force. In a flash of lightning, the eagle claw collided with the heaven opening axe. Inoue male production immediately felt a great force, and he looked at the calm and somewhat cold-blooded Chen Jie in front of him with shock, just a meter away. His eagle claw was able to penetrate Chen Jie's head and remove it. But, right now, with his claws, he was unable to shake the heaven opening axe by half a point. Inoue difficulty's brow furrowed. His muscles swelled once again. The blood in his body began to churn. And he tried his best to close his claws and strike out. Dang. Only large sparks were seen stirring up on his eagle claws. Immediately after, a tingling sensation surged through his entire body from the eagle claw area. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Chen Jie withdrew his heaven opening axe, bent his legs, and then rose up in the air. From afar, Sasaki stood trembling on the ground, tilting his head to look at Chen Jie's upright figure. The muscles on his face were twisted as he gritted his teeth, unable to stop taking deep breaths, causing his chest to rise and fall terribly. Seeing Chen Jie being so arrogant and strong, Sasaki could only feel his lungs bursting with pain. Just a short while ago, Chen Jie was only an awakened of around the sixth rank and now he was actually able to resist an 8th ranked emperor level warrior. Sasaki could not believe what he had seen today. He didn't expect Chen Jie's growth rate to be so fast. However, even so, he had hopes for Inoue Nanyang, hoping that he would be able to defeat Chen Jie and save face for Sakura Nation. In case, in the end, Inoue Nanyang also lost. Thinking of the worst possible outcome, a crazy thought surged in Sasaki's heart at this moment. 
It is better to be broken than to be broken. Big deal. Suddenly striking out and scrapping Chen Jia would most likely cause a war to start between the two countries. Super geniuses. He, Sakura Nation, had all fallen. Then Luo Nation would have to break a hand as well. As for the Luo Kingdom's anger, he was also willing to bear it. Chen Jie, don't think that you were able to withstand one of my attacks, just because you can be complacent. Next time, it won't be so easy. After failing to win with a single strike, a subtle change had actually occurred in Inoue male leader's heart. He desperately tried to maintain the appearance that he still had the upper hand. However, his hands had begun to tremble slightly, and he could not shake the heaven-opening axe in Chen Jie's hands. That heaven-opening axe was like a huge mountain, pressing him down to death. Next strike? Do you have a next strike? Chen Jie's eyebrows gently raised, already feeling that fear in Inoue Nanyang's heart. He gripped the heaven-opening axe tightly with his five fingertips, and his body retreated backward slightly, followed by a powerful energy gushing out. Chen Jie transformed into a meteor that rushed towards Inoue Nanyang. Final open sky. Since his awakening, Chen Jie's strongest strike was issued. This strike fused the Hongmeng clear in Turbid Qi in the Killing God domain. On the surface, the Heaven Opening Axe did not change much. However, Chen Jie had infused these two special elements into it. Chen Jie looked straight at Inoue difficulty. The environment around him was draining away at a rapid pace, and Inoue difficulty's terrified face was getting closer and closer to him. Suddenly, in full view of everyone, golden colored light crossed the sky and passed through Inoue Nanyang's body, only to see that at this moment, Inoue difficult birth. His eyes were glaring round and his mouth was open in disbelief as he looked at what was happening in front of him. Chen Jia had steadily turned his back and stood behind him. The bright red blood flowing from the heaven opening axe announced the outcome of the battle. A fist width crack appeared in Inoue's difficult chest. The cut was flat and smooth. From the front, directly through to the back, any connoisseur could see that it took a veteran of killing to make such a cut. A moment later, the upper half of Inoue male's body slowly slid down, fell to the ground with a thud, the wound gurgling blood. Boom! Victory and defeat had been decided. Chopping Inoue Nanyang with a single axe. Chen Jie flicked his wrist and retrieved the heaven opening axe, leaving only a puddle of bright red blood on the spot. He turned around calmly with a smile on his face, revealing partially white teeth as he happily waved his hand at Zhou Lao. In the distance, Zhou Lao proudly touched his long, long time because of the drudgery did not care about the beard. Somewhat solid, Zhou Lao decided to shave him the next day when he returned to Luo country. And on the contrary, Sakura country, proud of the five emperors and ten emperors, one by one blades smashed through the arms unconscious, golden needles pierced through the head and died violently, the torso was now still rubbing, was split in two, the deaths and injuries were incomparable, by this time, Sasaki's face had risen red as if he had smeared pig's blood directly on his face, his body was shaking, and his grip on his katana was getting tighter and tighter, destroyed the entire foundation of my Sakura kingdom, and you still want to go back alive? Impossible. Suddenly. Sasaki's katana was quickly drawn out. Aurora flash. Sasaki's high mobility talent was unleashed in just a moment. In an instant, in a very, very short period of time, he had already flashed to Chen Jie's back. The samurai sword swung mercilessly, chopping down directly at Chen Jie's neck. In an instant, white light flashed by. Dang. Sasaki's katana dislodged. He himself was also sent flying ten feet away. Zhou Lao had struck. Zhou Lao had one hand behind his back. And with one hand, he formed a sword with both fingers, pointing at Sasaki. It was him who had delivered the strike just now. As the highest level commander of Luo, how could he possibly allow Chen Jie to receive a single bit of damage? Knocking Sasaki away, Zhou Lao's figure flashed continuously in the air, eventually arriving beside Sasaki. He stomped on Sasaki's head with a powerful force, causing Sasaki's head to be half buried into the earth. Zhou Lao's face was calm and his voice was thick. Apologize to Chen Jie. Otherwise, the next second. Your head will shatter and become one with this land. P.S. Luo country is river crab after no way but to use this country name. Chen Jie's nose twitched as he sucked in a mouthful of cold air. To his surprise, he had not expected that Elder Zhou, who usually seems so level-headed, would have such a domineering scene today. Chen Jie's impression of Elder Zhou was one of even-handedness, and this situation was normal. After all, Zhou Lao had shown great affection towards Chen Jie from the moment he met him. Moving around, he would make an appointment and then send a small gift. The warriors who followed Zhou Lao in battle together knew that this Luo chief commander was definitely a ferocious and incomparable character. At one time, in countless battles, Zhou Lao did not know how many enemies he had killed under his hands, the viciousness of which was self-evident. As for, Sasaki's sneak attack just now, Chen Jia was actually able to resist it. All that was needed was, for him to turn on the god of killing domain, 
with Sasaki being so close to Chen Jia, even if he had already reached the eighth stage of Awakened One, as usual, he would enter a short pause. And, with Chen Jia's speed, this short pause would be enough for him to escape. Only, in that moment alone, he had seen Elder Joe strike. Since the old man had already made his move, there was no need for him to show off his skills. Sasaki's eyes were wide with rage as he kept bracing his hands on the ground, wanting to escape from old man Joe's grasp. However, his head, as if it was a nail, was nailed to the ground. It couldn't move a bit. Sasaki gasped violently, raising the mud and sand on the ground, almost making him unable to breathe. Baka, there's no way I'm apologizing to a Luo trash. You drop. If you have the ability, kill me. Kill me. Sasaki's attitude was extremely strong, with a feeling of being at home with death. This was their Bushido spirit. Very well. Zhou Lao smiled indifferently, and the force on his foot increased by one point. But with just this much force, Sasaki could already hear his skull clicking. It was as if his head was going to explode in the next second. This old man really wants to kill me. He's gone crazy. No, no way. Sasaki felt the intense pain in his head and struggled immensely inside. One second, two seconds. I apologize. I was wrong. Sasaki shouted excitedly as he wore white gloves on his hands. He managed to apologize to Chin Jie before Zhou Lao lost his patience. Fine, you can leave. But next time, if you sneak up on me again, I won't hold back. Zhou Lao moved his foot away. Instantly, Sasaki felt his head loosen, and an unprecedented sense of relief rose to his heart. He quickly stood up and bowed to Elder Zhou. He utilized his afterglow to glance at Chen Jie, his eyes filled with resentment. On his lips, he was admitting that he was wrong, but in his heart, his killing intent towards Chen Jie increased instead of decreasing. Collect your gaze. Zhou Lao's face was cold as he raised his foot and kicked at Sasaki's abdomen. As this Jew went down, Sasaki's abdomen, just like cotton, was violently sunken. Wow. Sasaki screamed miserably, and his entire body flew out backwards like a dead dog. It crashed into the boulder behind him. Boom. The boulder was instantly split into pieces and smoke swirled up. Before I lose my patience, take your people and get out. Otherwise, I don't mind killing all of you. Zhou Lao turned his back, his words filled with endless killing intent. He hated these Sakura Nation people with a passion. As for not immediately laying his hands on them, that was also in consideration of the fact that the other party still had a nuclear strike capability. If, just for the sake of a momentary pain in his heart, he killed the Sakura Nation's supreme commander, Sasaki, he would inevitably usher in the Sakura Nation's irrational retaliation. It didn't matter if they were able to survive the war with their awakened abilities. However, those people in Luo country would have to suffer. Zhou Lao, no matter what time of the day, what is always in his heart is the Luo country's population. Sasaki climbed out of the rocks with great difficulty, wiping the blood from the corner of his mouth in a wretched manner. No longer daring to look at Chen Jie with a straight eye, he nodded frantically to Zhou Lao, and then, greyly, left from the island with the samurai who were still able to move. He now finally realized the gap between himself and Zhou Lao. Within Luo country, seeing Sasaki and the others greatly escaping, the masses in Luo completely boiled over. Too strong my big brother Chen Jie, just one person, knocked down all the so-called five emperors and ten emperors of the other side. Magnificent. My great Luo country. Mr. Chen's great righteousness. Elder Zhou's great righteousness. A shrine should be set up for the two of you for us to worship every day. Seeing Sasaki and those samurai of his defeated in battle, I felt a long hidden resentment in my heart spurt out. Finally comfortable. Inexplicably. I have a feeling of having my anger out. It's just too good to be true. I feel proud to have been born in the Luo kingdom and to have great heroes like Chen Jie and Elder Zhou. This battle, although, small in scale, I feel that it should go down in history. What is the concept of the five emperors and ten emperors of the Sakura kingdom? Almost that is the Sakura kingdom and the end of the world. All of the foundations, Chen Jie will be all of them abolished. Sort of, avenging my Luo kingdom. Chen Jie, you are the hope of our Luo kingdom. The hope for us to survive in the end times. In the midst of the persecution of the deformed monsters, the people of the nation, one by one, felt immensely proud at this moment. This battle, when it was said to be simple, was actually not simple at all. What a concept of five emperors and ten emperors. All of them were picked off by Qin Jie one by one. In the Luo kingdom, only Qin Jie was able to do this. If it was anyone else, this would simply be impossible to achieve. In terms of realm alone, there were also Seventh Order awakened in Luo. However, Chen Jie was the only one who could fight and kill all 15 of them. The Luo 7th ranked awakened who were guarding the various aberrant monsters in the Luo country had likewise watched the live broadcast. Every single one of them was applauding Chen Jie. 
Some of them had fought against the five emperors and ten emperors of the Sakura kingdom and knew what the other party's strength was. Among the many engagements, they were also, at best, able to fight the other party to a draw. Chen Jie, on the other hand, had picked off fifteen people in a row. This kind of power was self-evident. After ending this engagement, Zhou Lao and Chen Jie returned to the Luo country. And in the next week, Zhou Lao and Chen Jie turned around on all shores, helping the Luo country to basically pacify this turmoil. Even though there were still aberrant monsters throughout the country now, it was much better compared to when the end times had just broken out. In order to recognize the outstanding contributions made by Chen Jie, after, the Luo kingdom's top management unanimously voted to organize a commendation meeting next week. Xin Jie would be made an admiral of the Luo kingdom and awarded the war god medal, a Luo admiral in his twenties. This is the first one since the founding of Luo. As for the war god medal, this one, on the other hand, was as the supreme honor of the Luo people. In the entire history of the Luo nation, there were only three people who had been awarded the war god medal. Two were awarded at the founding of Luo, and the most recent one was awarded to Zhou Lao. Zhou Lao was able to obtain this medal only after he had pacified the four directions of war and turnover battles for decades. This shows how precious it is. Chen Jie, at a young age, had become the fourth recipient of this war god medal. Of course, in the hearts of all Luo people, Chen Jie deserved it. The second week was quickly approaching. This assembly, too, would be broadcast live across the country. It started right at 10 o'clock in the morning. Tens of millions of homes across the country, at the same time, stood guard in front of their television sets. If, at home, the television set was broken, they would run to a location that had a television set, or was able to receive the news. In order to see, once again, the hero of their hearts once again receive supreme honor. Even, they weren't afraid of the threat that the aberration monster posed to them. Of course, on this very day, Luo had also strengthened its troops in every province. And once a deformed monster that could pose a large threat appeared, it was immediately killed. Luo's commendation meeting was held in a hall that could hold thousands of people. Today, after so many days since the end of the world, for the first time, Luo's commendation hall was lit up with as many large lights as before the end of the world. Inside the hall, which was incomparably bright and open, it was filled with Luo's top brass, all of whom were sitting up straight, eagerly waiting for their Luo's heroes to come on stage, as the 100 round salute was fired. Chen Jie dressed in a set of formal attire, gallantly walking up to the awards platform step by step. The person standing on the awards platform waiting for him was Elder Zhou. At this moment, Elder Zhou, with a powerful aura and a straight body, was holding a shiny medal inside his hand, waiting for its owner. It's appeared. Chen Jie came out. My big brother Chen is just handsome, wearing formal attire. His temperament has changed from the kind of ferocity he used to have, to an atmospheric ponce. You don't say. You really don't say. Big Brother Chen's handsomeness has risen to another level. Before, I liked the sense of security he brought to us when he fought, as well as that kind of air of pretentiousness. But today, I've tasted a different flavor of Big Brother Chen Jie. Today is the day that Big Brother Chen Jie is awarded with the status of Admiral, as well as the War God Medal. Such an honor is something only he deserves. Amidst the nation's expectations, Chen Jie arrived as promised. Originally, for all these false names, Chen Jie didn't even want them. After all, how to say, he was also a person who favored a low profile. Unfortunately, unable to resist Zhou Lao's repeated persuasion, Chen Jie agreed to go on stage to receive the award. Amidst the rhythmic music, Chen Jie graciously walked towards Zhou Lao with a steady pace. With a smile on his face, Zhou Lao picked up the medal and personally hung it on Chen Jie's chest. Then, the etiquette behind him handed over an exquisite certificate of honor. Elder Zhou personally took the certificate of honor before handing it over to Chen Jie. At this moment, you have become the true god of war of Luo. Elder Zhou nodded at Chen Jie. He felt proud of this young man that he had personally dug up. Chen Jie also straightened his body. His gaze filled with perseverance as he responded with a straight face. Identity is just a layer of outer skin given to me by my countrymen. A layer that is so light that I am able to pick it up with one hand. But it is also heavy. And requires me to continue to work hard to be truly in line with this identity. This also means that my mission is even heavier. And I will do my all to lead Luo out of its current predicament. Chen Jie's words were impassioned and powerful. The voice echoed throughout the hall, and everyone could hear it clearly. Suddenly, the many senior officers stood up one by one, looking at Chen Jie with admiration and applauding for him from the bottom of their hearts. Pa pa pa. The thunderous applause echoed endlessly within the hall. It directly applauded for three minutes before it slowly stopped. Inside the hall, at the mouth of the steps up to the stage, Xiao Wanru was wearing an ocean blue dress, fluttering like a fairy. 
But such an extremely beautiful Xiao Wanru was carrying a box of bento in her hands. Today, Chen Jia washed up and set off very early, and didn't even have time to eat breakfast. So Xiao Wanru personally made a skin egg and thin meat porridge for Chen Jia. Watching Chen Jia receive his award on stage, Xiao Wanru felt proud and honored. The boy she had placed in her heart had become a hero of a country, a true guardian of a country. At this time when everyone was applauding Chen Jia's honor, while she was more concerned about Chen Jia, she hadn't eaten breakfast yet. Chen Jia guards the Luo country. Xiao Wanru chose to guard Chen Jia. After the applause stopped, Chen Jia turned his head to look at the camera. He knew that it was time to continue to inspire Luo country. Chen Jia turned to the camera and said firmly and sincerely, I am very grateful to the Luo kingdom for giving me this honor as the god of war. But more than anything, I hope that every single person in the Luo country will stand up, rise to the occasion, never give in, and become their own god of war. Boom boom boom. Chen Jie's words set off another furor in front of the nation's people. Rise up, never give in, and become your own god of war. Good. Admiral Chen said it well. After I heard that, I felt my body inexplicably get a little excited what's going on. In the midst of the end times, yes, we should also become our own god of war. From today onwards, I will take Chen Jie as my faith, and launch a frantic counterattack against the aberrant monsters. Buddies up there. You can join the defense army together, together with big brother Chen Jie to guard Luo country. I feel like I can't take it anymore. I need to vent. Brothers wait for me. I'm going to go chop up two deformed monsters first to let off some steam. The commendation assembly, in the end, once again came to a close amidst the applause of the crowd. When Chen Jie got off the field, he saw Xiao Wanru, holding a bento box with a light in her eyes, waiting for him. At this instant, Chen Jie felt that all these honors and medals on his body could not match up to the bento that Xiao Wanru was holding in her hands at this time. Little Jia, this is for you to boil porridge. Recently you have not been resting well. Can pay more attention to the body. Xiao Wanru tenderly handed the bento box in her hand to Chen Jie's hand. The bento, right now, was still carrying residual warmth. In fact, after Chen Jie advanced to a seventh order awakened, he did not really need to eat. However, this was what Xiao Wanru had specially prepared for him. Thus, Chen Jie displayed a look of impatience and found a seat to sit down. Revealing a gluttonous look, he opened the box and picked up a spoon to gulp it down. Be careful of the scalding, see how anxious you are. Xiao Wanru's mouth revealed a sweet smile and reminded, Who let you make it so delicious? Chen Jie did not mince words in praising Xiao Wanru. This skin egg and thin meat porridge was indeed deliciously simmered. Tasting the consistency of this kanji, and the aroma of the meat carried with the unique flavor of the leather eggs, Chen Jie thought that this was a masterpiece, the bottom of the ocean. Sora Sora, the massive Tenth Order mermaid aberration monster roared angrily. The roar carried a strong sadness, as well as hatred for the humans who killed his people. She had wanted to let the minions under her hand, enter the continent first and grow properly. However, she had underestimated the strength of the humans. The seemingly weak humans were actually killed by her first batch of law din minions, killing most of them. At this moment, she was furious. After the commendation ceremony ended, Elder Zhou once again received Chen Jie alone, inside the clean and tidy office. Elder Zhou and Chen Jie sat face to face. At this moment, Elder Zhou had a serious expression, completely lacking the joviality that he had just experienced on the podium. Even, he pulled out a pack of cigarettes from the position of his collar. Sorry, have a cigarette. Only after asking Chen Jie's opinion did Zhou Lao light the cigarette. With a slightly shaky hand, he took a drag. At this moment, this big brother who had stepped on Sakura Nation Sasaki and shocked the four directions of Luo Nation's country. His hand shook as he lit the cigarette. As a result of this, Chen Jie's expression also tightened up, and he waited squarely for Elder Zhou to speak. Obviously, there was something important looking for Chen Jie this time. Chen Jie. Elder Zhou's eyes stared at Chen Jie, paused for a moment, and continued. Just now, the Coastal Detection Office has sent another message. They found a strong energy fluctuation in the center of the ocean. It is very likely that the aberrant monsters at the bottom of the ocean will make a comeback. What worries me the most is that 10th order aberration monster. Saying that, Zhou Lao took another hard drag on his cigarette. That 10th order aberration monster, ever since she showed up, had always been a shadow in Zhou Lao's heart. As long as she made a move, there would be no one within the Luo kingdom who would be able to stop him. Once, she killed her way into the Luo kingdom. It would definitely be a racially annihilating disaster for the Luo kingdom. A 10th order aberration monster? Chen Jie breathed slightly heavier. With his current strength, it was not a problem for him to deal with monstrous monsters of around the 8th rank. However, when it came to deformed monsters after the peak of the 8th order, he did not have any methods yet. But what was the purpose of old Zhou looking for him? In the middle of the ocean, 
There are still monsters of the Tenth Order? That's a bit tricky. Chen Jie did not express too many opinions, as Old Man Zhou had looked for him. Naturally, Old Man Zhou had a decision to make. Otherwise, he wouldn't have shouted for him to come. Right, moreover, it's very likely that the last influx of marine aberration monsters into Luo country in large numbers was also led by her. Initial estimation, it's a top-tier aberration monster with a powerful control talent. The shape is roughly thousands of meters high, the body size is about 800 meters, and the body is covered in scales. It is estimated to be a single type of mutation that occurred in the mermaid itself. The tenth stage has already produced a spirit. Last time, after leading a large number of aberrant monsters to wash ashore, it inexplicably retreated. Zhou Lao told Chen Jia all that he knew. He was already old, and the task of defeating this tenth order aberration monster and defending the dragon kingdom could only fall on Chen Jia's shoulders at that moment. With our current strength, I'm afraid we're not her match. A tenth order aberration monster, even if we use a nuclear strike, may not have a chance of winning. Chen Ji shook and put his point across. In his last life, he had heard of the terror of tenth order aberration monsters, and countless nuclear bombardments were only about as good as a cannonball blowing up a person to them. Slightly painful, but not fatal. And on the contrary, it would anger them and take even more insane revenge on humans. That's right, Elder Joe was slightly silent and finally took out the key item that he had come to Jay this time, a cube made of steel, Chen Jie, at the moment, the only hope for the Luo kingdom is you, this is the key to the Xian Tian ancient mysterious realm, pushing the cube towards Chen Jie, Zhou Lao stood up from the desktop and walked to the floor to ceiling window, looking outside, aberrations, don't just exist in modern times, according to our country's research on aberration monsters, this aberration that has jeopardized the entire globe, most likely existed in the ultra ancient era, as well, and in that era, humans were very strong, and it's very likely that super awakened people, or immortal like existences had already appeared. Those great powers of the ultra ancient era created many secret realms in order to prevent the effects of the planet's operation, the aberrations from happening again. These secret realms can be provided to those who came after them, to be used to enhance and defend against the aberration monsters. The square in your hand right now is the key to an advanced secret realm, in order to defend the Luo kingdom. I, I hope that you can enter the secret realm and upgrade yourself. Zhou Lo sighed. He knew that this was not fair to Chen Jia. The secret realm was full of dangers, and after going in, it was a life of nine deaths, placing the burden of rushing into the secret realm, upgrading oneself, and then coming back to save Luo country on Chen Jia. This was obviously too heavy for this young man in his twenties. However, he was already old and had to preside over the situation at all times in Luo kingdom. Zhou Lao, he has no choice. Of course, you can also not go. In case the 10th order aberration monster really attacked Lu Ogua, we can consider using nuclear bombs and put up a fight. Zhou Lao turned his head to look at Chen Jie, his voice full of vicissitudes. In his heart of hearts, he was very reluctant to let Chen Jie go. This young man, internal removal of aberrant monsters countless, stabilizing the people. Outside, he shocked and killed the enemy countries, the five emperors and ten emperors, and the national prestige of Yang Luo country. In the event of a little accident, he would be incomparably heartbroken. Elder Zhou, this secret realm, I'll go. Chen Jia picked up the cube, a touch of fortitude flowing from his eyes. For the sake of the Luo kingdom, the great family, and his own small family, it was incumbent upon Chen Jia to even travel to the secret realm this time. Hearing Chen Jia's reply, Elder Zhou burst into tears and slightly excitedly gripped Chen Jia's shoulders. Good, good, good. Zhou Lao said three good in a row biting his words extremely heavily each time, Luo country, have you, why worry in the end of the world, survive not go on, Luo great history, more than 5000 years, cannot die out in our generation, a generation has a generation of tasks, you and my mission, is to let this culture pass on ah, Chen Jie, you are a hero of Luo history, a hero in the hearts of everyone in the Luo populace, Luo will remember you forever, Elder Zhou spoke with an impassioned and heavy tone, and in his heart, he even showed incomparable respect for Chen Jie. Under Zhou Lao's infection, Chen Jie's heart, inexplicably, was also burned up. In the past, he only wanted to live well in the post-apocalyptic world. Until he encountered a nationalist like Zhou Lao, Chen Jie felt that he could not help himself at this point. The greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. He was no longer that person who only cared about his small family. Today's Chen Jie was already the one carrying the charge of Luo country forward. Definitely. I will not dishonor my mission. Chen Jie stood his body straight and gave a military salute to Elder Zhou. And Zhou Lao also gave Chen Jie a return salute on the board. Nighttime. After the violent wind and rain, 
The night was cool. Chen Jia hugged the smooth and soft Xiao Wanru and kissed her forehead once again. Judging from today's behavior, Xiao Wanru also guessed Chen Jia's mind. What? Something is about to happen again? Xiao Wanru drew a circle on Chen Jia's chest and asked softly. That's right. Tomorrow I have to leave for a new secret realm. It's possible that I won't be by your side for another period of time. Chen Jia backhanded Xiao Wanru's hand and looked down at her slightly smoldering face, his voice gentle. Then go ahead. It's fine. Wanru will always wait for you. Xiao Wanru pressed her face against Chen Jia's chest, listening to Chen Jia's heartbeat, and Chen Jia did not say anymore, holding Xiao Wanru gently in his arms. The two of them then slowly fell asleep like this. Early in the morning the next day, outside of Chen Jia's group, more than a dozen armed helicopters were hovering, experiencing the end times. All sorts of equipment had been destroyed. After Luo's tireless efforts to restore the equipment, now Luo was able to send out so many airplanes. It was already enough to see the degree of importance that the Luo country attached to Chen Jia. When Chen Jia stepped out of the group, he already found two rows of soldiers lined up on both sides of the road. Then from one of the helicopter gunships, a person walked down. This person, dressed in a five-star military uniform, at a glance, one could tell that it was another high-level Luo bigwig. Mr. Chen, I am Huang Wei. I received orders from Elder Zhou to escort you to the Langma Peak location. Huang Wei gave Chen Jia a salute. At this time, Chen Jie's name had already spread throughout Luo country. From the top to the bottom of Luo country, all of them respected Chen Jie. Chen Jie also returned a military salute towards the other party. Hello General Huang. Receiving Chen Jie's response, Huang Wei revealed a smile and flashed a body position to the side. Chen Jie understood the other party's meaning and walked over towards the location of the armed helicopter. Such a large formation also attracted quite a few nearby residents to watch. They knew that the person being transported in front of them was Luo's great hero. Chen Jie, Chen Jie, that's Chen Jie, the hope of our Luo kingdom. I can finally see him in real life today. It was the words he said that inspired me. And that's how I escaped from the mouth of the aberration monster. He's really so handsome in person, even more handsome than what you see on top of the TV. The crowd in the distance greeted and cheered at Chen Jie. Chen Jie also smiled and waved at them. He could feel that these populace loved him and had that passion for him. Such lovely people were worthy of his guardianship. Suddenly, just as Chen Jie was still waving at the populace, a little girl rushed up. Behind her was a middle-aged woman, woefully chasing after the little girl. Nyonya be good. Don't run around. That little girl did not care and rushed straight towards Chen Jie's direction. The soldier beside him originally wanted to go up and actively block it. After seeing Chen Jie's gesture, they retreated back to their original position and waited for Chen Jie to deal with it. This little girl ran to Chen Jie's body, raised her head and blinked her big watery eyes, sizing up Chen Jie. Are you the big hero from above the TV? In a childish tone, the little girl asked Chen Jie. Aha. Chen Jie squatted down and nodded to the little girl with a smile. Confirming Chen Jie's identity, the little girl pulled out a lollipop from behind her. At the moment of the end of the world, the little girl's clothes, which were full of dust, looked a little dirty. However, the lollipop in her hand was extremely clean and intact. Big hero, my dad was captured by a monster. I'll give you the lollipop. Can you help me fight the monster away and save my dad back? The little girl's clear gaze was filled with anticipation as she held the well-preserved lollipop up in front of Chen Jie. Looking at the little girl in front of him, Chen Jie froze for a moment. Nyo nyo, don't bother big brother. Sorry ha, sorry, little kid, doesn't know anything. The girl's mother, flustered, picked up the little girl and bowed repeatedly to Chen Jie and the surrounding soldiers. Afterward, it wanted to carry the little girl away. This lady, wait. Chen Jie called out to the little girl's mom, walking over to the little girl. He gently, slowly took the lollipop from her hand. Little sister, brother promises you that he will do his best to fight off all the monsters, and then, bring your dad, back, then pull the hook. The little girl was in her mom's arms, stretching out her little finger, and Chen Jie also stretched out his hand, signing such a small, yet heavy contract with the other party. After pulling the hook, the little girl was taken away by her mom and the little girl waved her hand repeatedly at Chen Jie. Chen Jie likewise gave a response to her, the mother and the little girl, walking further and further away. He saw the figure of that mother sobbing. Mr. Chen, let's go. Huang Wei stretched out his hand and guided Chen Jie. Good. Chen Jie took the little girl's lollipop and placed it in his chest pocket. This would allow his heart to always feel the lollipop's presence. Eagle Sauce Country. Edward Ali, the Vampire King, sat on his ruby throne, listening carefully to the report from his men. From his men's report, he grasped most of Chen Jie's information. In his heart, he could not help but feel shocked by the power of this young man from Luo. 
At the same time, a new idea was also bred. If one could drink his blood, would one be able to become even more powerful? All right, I understand all of these situations. Stand down. After listening, Edward waved his hand in boredom, signaling his men to retire. After the hall was empty, he took out a square from behind his throne that was exactly the same as the one in Chen Jie's hand. This key to the mysterious land is reacting. It's time for me to set off. Edward picked up a cup of bright red blood on the table and drank it in one go. With an expression of enjoyment, he indulged for half a minute. Edward smashed the glass and rushed out of the fortress window, setting off towards the location indicated by the cube. And the same. Sakura Nation even though the power was gone. Sasaki was likewise within the country and had collected a cube key. Chen Jie, when I return, you're Luo country and you must submit to my feet. Sasaki similarly set off based on the guidance of the cube. Almost immediately, everyone used the secret realm guided by the cube as the key point of the breakthrough. It wasn't just the Eagle Jam country and the Sakura country, but even some countries such as the Pickle country. They all entered the secret realm in succession. And at this moment, Chen Jie, led by Huang Wei, quickly arrived at the secret realm's incoming location. At that location, there was a pillar of light through the sky, and as long as one stood in it with a square, they would be able to teleport into the middle of the secret realm. General Huang, it's been a hard journey. Chen Jie took out the cube and prepared to set off. Mr. Chen, please make sure you cheer up. The hope of the Luo Kingdom all rests on you. We are waiting for your triumph in the Luo Kingdom. All of you, salute. Huang Wei led the sergeants to give a big salute to Chen Jie. Thank you. Chen Jie nodded at the crowd and turned around to walk into the secret passageway. At this time, the cube in his hand began to disperse, transforming into a little bit of energy that surrounded Chen Jie's body. Instantly, Chen Jie could feel a tearing sensation. His body began to dissipate a little bit within this space until it disappeared. By the time Chen Jie opened his eyes again, he was already in the middle of a hidden deep forest. Roar roar roar. Chen Jie's ears rang out, a rough low roar that sounded like a blower. Chen Jie's body tightened as he looked sideways towards the source of the sound, only to see that a three-headed aberration dog as big as a small mountain was staring at Chen Jie with glowing red eyes, drool dripping from the corners of his mouth like a chain. His muscles were thick like rocks, squeezed together. The fur on his body was like sandpaper, black and rough. In the center of the three dog heads, there was actually a hot little sun on top. The size of the sun was already as big as a basketball. This was the characteristic of a three-headed aberration dog. Marking that he had already reached the strength of around the middle of the eighth stage of Awakened One, he cocked his head and licked his lips. Humans, delicious ingredients. Upon hearing this, Chen Jie's face turned cold as he summoned his heaven-opening axe in Hongmen clear in Turbid Chi, his vigilance reaching the extreme. The aberrant monsters in the secret realm were, indeed, different from the outside world. The setting sun was dim in the evening, and the south wind was picking up. Against such a freak monster, Chen Jie had to go all out, and if he was not careful, he might be killed. A hint of disdainful smile appeared at the corner of the three-headed aberration dog's mouth. Humans like ants, still want to resist? Chen Jie did not pick up on his words either. Suddenly, along with the southern wind, Chen Jie's body moved violently. The Hongmen clear and turbid chi was madly injected into the heaven opening axe. The heavens and earth, violently changed to scarlet red. The god-killing domain, instantly unfolded. In this moment alone, the three-headed aberration dog froze for a moment yellow light drifted by, and the aura was overwhelming. In the next moment, Chen Jie was already standing behind the three-headed dog. The heaven-opening axe was stained with a large area of black and red dog's blood, which slowly converged on top of the axe's blade and eventually slid down on the ground, adding a color to the evening earth. Immediately after that, the middle of the three-headed aberration dog's rather arrogant dog head, fell off its body and tumbled twice on the ground before coming to a stop. Ah ah ah! Damnable human! I'm going to kill you! The three-headed aberration dog, with two dog heads remaining, wailed in agony, and some birds within the deep forest were scared by his screams and rushed into the sky. The remaining two dog heads, turned their heads to the energy sphere in the center, and opened their mouths to inject a large amount of energy into it. The energy sphere, then, inspired a beam of light that sprayed directly towards Chen Jie. Beam of light flashes. Chen Jie flashed through the light beam like a ghost, and in the next second, he arrived at the three-headed aberration full flank. He raised his heaven opening axe, a bit of sharpness showing in his eyes, and viciously chopped down at the remaining two dog heads. Final heaven opening. The powerful blade of the axe penetrated the two dog heads, and without even having time to wail, the dog heads rolled down to the ground like leather balls. The dog's head was broken, but its body was still twitching. In order to prevent it from resurrecting, Chen Jie stepped on the dog corpse's stomach, 
raised the heaven opening axe, aimed at its heart position, and violently stabbed it down. Put, blood sprayed out from the cleft, and with its heart destroyed, the dog body finally quieted down. Chen Jia indifferently pulled out the open heaven axe and scraped twice on the sandpaper-like skin of the three-headed aberration dog to clean up the blood from the open heaven axe. Only after doing this did Chen Jia let out a long sigh of relief. Luckily I was decisive enough. Otherwise, dealing with this dog-headed monster would definitely be troublesome. An aberration monster like this with an eighth rank strength would definitely have fewer treasures. Putting away the heaven opening axe, Chen Jia crouched down and Chen Jia's three-headed aberration dog's body fumbled around. At this time, the energy ball that was originally hanging on the dog's head became reddish in color, emitting a hint of a mugwort-like sweet flavor. Chen Jia frowned and looked up at this energy ball, slightly pondering. This energy ball had always been held by the aberrant dog as if it was a treasure. Could it be that, that there was an extraordinary treasure hidden inside? The treasure hidden by a freak monster of the eighth order of strength or higher was definitely of an extraordinary value. If there really was a treasure, then he would have made a fortune. All right, cut it open and take a look. Chen Jia recalled the heaven opening axe, pressed the blade against the energy ball, and slightly exerted his hand towards the axe handle. Tear. An additional opening appeared on the energy ball, and when Chen Jia looked inside, something was actually pulsing inside, peeling back the sides of the core. Light shot into the energy ball. Chen Jia finally saw clearly what was inside. A little wolf dog. However, this little wolf dog was no ordinary wolf dog. The moment Chen Jia saw him, he could feel the pango bloodline in his body. It suddenly pulsed, and it was obvious that this little wolf dog was a rare and good thing. In his previous life, Chen Jia had heard that powerful awakened people also came with pets. If not, taking this little wolf dog as a pet would not just be an extra helper next to him. Xiao Wanru would definitely like such a small pet as well. After thinking clearly, Chen Jia pulled out his little wolf dog. Ow ow ow. The little wolf dog breathed in the outside air and wailed with its little pink mouth. It even used its little paw to keep picking at Chen Jia's hand. This little thing. It's quite cute. Chen Jia placed him on the ground and let him try to crawl. To Chen Jia's surprise just after placing it on the ground, the little wolf dog would already walk in on its own and sniff the smell of blood in the air as it walked towards the location of the aberration dog's wound. Subsequently, the little wolf dog opened its mouth and kept sucking the blood, and also looked towards Chen Jia's position from time to time, fearing that Chen Jia would snatch the food from him. Eat it yourself. Chen Jia did not pay any attention to him and continued to search on the body of the three-headed deformed dog. Soon. He found what he wanted, a blood red high level spirit crystal. This three headed dog had hidden it so deeply that he had actually hidden his spirit crystal in the heart area. Without searching hard, it was not easy to find. After obtaining this spirit crystal, Chen Jia hurriedly sat down and began to absorb it. It just so happened that the little wolf dog could also be beside him and have a full meal. The energy of this advanced spirit crystal was very overbearing. Just after placing it in the palm of his hand, it invaded Chen Jia's body in general and was madly integrated. Ten minutes later, the sun was setting in the west. The sunlight that was originally present began to disappear and the sky darkened. Ah! Finishing absorbing the high-level spirit crystals, Chen Jie stretched his waist and cried out in relief. The spirit crystals of the secret realm were truly too much stronger than the ones outside. Just by absorbing one Chen Jie already felt like he was going to make another breakthrough. Last time, during the battle of the five emperors and ten emperors stage, he had already reached the middle of the seventh stage. Now! Chen Jie felt that he had already vaguely touched the peak of the seventh stage. Suddenly, Chen Jie felt that there was something that was rubbing against him at the location of his thigh. He looked down and saw that it was none other than the little wolf dog. This little thing, rubbing against himself with his head, it had already eaten its fill, its round and bulbous belly, towards the sky, with an extremely satisfied look, lying on the ground, pack up and find a place to rest, touching the little wolf dog's belly. He picked it up and placed it on his shoulder. As the sky was getting late, Chen Jie found a piece of ground, so he made a living. The blazing flames expelled the cold brought by the late night for Chen Jie. Looking at the crimson flames and the squeaking oiled three-headed dog meat, the roasted meat gave off a charred flavor. Smelling the flavor, the little wolf dog frantically rubbed against Chen Jie, hoping that Chen Jie would share a portion of it. All right, all right, I knew you had a craving. Chen Jie cut off the roast meat, a small piece of cooked roast meat, and placed it in front of the little wolf dog. Looking at the roasted meat in front of him, the little wolf dog revealed its pink tongue and shouted with an excited woof, then began to feast on it, a face full of enjoyment. This little wolf dog was really good at enjoying itself. Chen Jie was not in a hurry to eat the meat, but waited for 10 minutes after which the little wolf dog did not have any adverse reactions. Only then did Chen Jie cut off small pieces of meat and put them in his mouth to chew. Boom! Just after the roasted meat was placed in his mouth, 
Chen Jia felt that his entire taste buds were massaged. The meat was fatty but not greasy, and very sweet. It was not as firewood as expected. Just as Chen Jia was enjoying the roasted meat, a magnificent and heavy voice came from the sky. Greetings to all the awakened who have entered the secret realm. This secret realm will be closed after a week. Please cherish this time in the secret realm and enhance properly. In the future, aberrant monsters will be given a big boost. In the secret realm, those who can collect 100 primordial crystals will receive the treasure left behind by the founder of the secret realm. Those who have less than 5 crystals of primordiality will remain in the secret realm forever. This secret realm in the middle, there is still broadcasting? Chen Jie's heart surged with a trace of doubt, but soon is relieved. After all, this secret realm is the creation of the ancient mighty, can leave a trace of consciousness this is also very normal. Just, what exactly is this primordial crystal? The rewards left behind by the founders of the secret realm. Chen Jie is very interested. If you want to improve faster, you still have to stand on the shoulders of giants. The people from the other countries were also confused when they heard about this thing. My Fark, I just came here and I'm asked to find some primordial crystal. Where am I going to find it? You can't get out with less than five? Isn't this an obvious pitfall? I'm only at the peak of the sixth stage of Awakened, and the monsters I've encountered in the secret realm are all above the eighth stage. I was forced to come to the secret realm. Mom, I want to go home. Mom, what the hell is this secret realm? The aberrant monsters here are too strong. I'm currently being chased by an eighth order serpentine aberrant monster. Someone please save me. Compared to these people, Chen Jie was much calmer. This time in the secret realm. The main task was to collect the primordial crystals, and the secondary task that would be to boost his ego. Luo Guo was still waiting for himself to go back and deal with the 10th ranked aberration monster. Woof! The little wolf dog suddenly shouted and bit Chen Jie's pants leg before walking ahead himself. It seemed like he was going to lead Chen Jie to somewhere. Kind of interesting. Then I'll follow you over there to take a look. Chen Jie also understood what little wolf dog meant and picked up a still burning stick and followed him. Little wolf dog, where are you taking me? After walking for almost three minutes, Chen Jie opened his mouth to ask. The little wolf dog did not pay any attention to Chen Jie at all, and instead walked more and more. Chen Jie could only smother his head and follow. Not long after, the little wolf dog brought Chen Jie in front of a huge hole. Instantly, Chen Jie's eyes lit up and he happily bent down and stroked the little wolf dog's forehead. Could it be that there are treasures inside this cave that you brought me to? Chen Jie asked excitedly. The little wolf dog wagged its tail frantically, clearly answering Chen Jie yes. Good fellow, if there's something good, I'll share some of it with you. Chen Jie walked to the entrance of the cave and stuck the torch in. But, suddenly, a pair of glowing green eyes lit up, and with a black nose, they spat out a ball of air, spraying Chen Jie's torch out at once. There was a big guy in here. Roar! Suddenly, a huge object rushed out, and Chen Jie hastily summoned out the heaven opening axe. Under the light of the heaven opening axe, Chen Jie saw clearly what was in front of him. This one was a complete combination of a bear and an elephant. Bear elephant aberration monster. His carapace, which was as tall as a three-story building, had hard claws like steel knives that stabbed out from within the bear's paws. Even more iconic was his five or six meter long, ebony black trunk. Chen Jia hastily took two steps back, holding the heaven opening axe. Chen Jia looked at the bear elephant freak with vigilance in his eyes. It had already reached the peak eighth rank realm. This bear elephant freak monster in front of him was not weaker than himself in terms of realm, and was even stronger than a large freak monster. So his face was incredibly grave at the moment. Kid, how did you dare to trespass into my territory? The bear elephant freak monster looked at Chen Jie and asked, his voice somewhat low and hoarse. Chen Jie nodded and said, his eyes flashing with a brilliant light, what do you want? Kill you. Kill me? A cold smile appeared on Chen Jie's face. I would like to see how much skill you have. Chen Jie held the heaven opening axe his footsteps violently stepping forward as his entire body directly rushed towards the bear elephant deformed monster. Rumble. The two men fought furiously in midair, and every collision caused the ground to shake violently, as if a large earthquake had occurred. Chen Jie's attacks were powerful, but they were always suppressed to death by the bear elephant deformed monster. The bear elephant mutant monster was a peak 8th ranked powerhouse. Its strength far exceeded that of Chen Jie. Chen Jie's speed was as fast as the wind, while the bear elephant mutant was as athletic as an ape. A pair of iron palms slapped on Chen Jie's body, emitting a loud and deafening sound. Chen Jie's heart was slightly startled as the opponent's physical body was too strong. Even if he was at his full strength, he would have to pay a high price if he wanted to defeat him. Moreover, the other party's strength was likely even stronger than his own. Chen Jie knew very well in his heart that the other party was not his opponent, and he was completely confident that he would be able to decimate him. Thinking of this, 
A cold aura flowed in Qin Jie's eyes as the heaven opening axe swung out violently, a violent forceful qi bursting out from the blade. Ka Ching, the bear elephant freak's defense was very strong. Chen Jie's heaven opening axe slashed at his body and did not manage to break his defense. What a strong defense. My heaven opening axe couldn't even break through. Chen Jie's eyebrows furrowed. Without any hesitation, he continued to execute the heaven opening. The three heaven opening axes, each of which contained a terrifying force of infinite power. Bang bang bang. A series of collision sounds came from the ground, and with each attack, Chen Jie was able to bring damage to the bear elephant freak. However, in this way, Chen Jie was caught in the middle of a stalemate. This was because he was never able to break the bear elephant deformed monster's defense, which annoyed him. Without breaking the defense, how could he deal damage to him? Damn guy, it's so strong. It looks like the only way is to use a masterstroke. Chen Jie secretly gritted his teeth and pondered in his mind. Is a stance feasible? When Chen Jie thought of this, he immediately thought of the last stance. It was a stunt, a secret weapon that Chen Jie had recently thought of. Once used, it would completely explode with the most terrifying power. However, this would cost him a great deal, and he might even be injured. Chen Jie did not know if it was worth using this trump card. After all, his strength was limited and he simply could not utilize the maximum power of this one trump card. However, Chen Jie knew that once this one stance was used, it meant that he would have to fight for his life. Ho ho ho. Suddenly, Chen Jie took a deep breath and gripped the heaven opening axe with both hands. He was going to use the stance. Ka Ching. Chen Jie's eyes became determined as his wrist flicked, and the heaven opening axe instantly disappeared from his hands and floated into the air, forming an even more enormous heaven opening axe. Immediately following this, a violent energy exploded out of the heaven opening axe. It transformed into a huge blade of light in the void, emitting a dazzling silver white light. Kill! Chen Jie fiercely shouted. The bear elephant monster body lunged towards that silver colored blade of light, his arm waving fiercely. Buzz buzz buzz. The silver colored blade of light arrived instantaneously, colliding fiercely with the bear elephant freak monster. Ka Ching. A loud explosion sounded in midair, followed by a deafening sound. Chen Jie's heaven opening axe was directly knocked back by the bear elephant freak. Pooh. Chen Jie's body was like a kite with broken strings, directly flying back hundreds of meters, blood spilling from the corners of his mouth, clearly injured. This was still because he possessed the Xian Huang chaotic body. If it was an ordinary person, I'm afraid he would have died long ago. How is it possible? His power is so strong. Chen Jie's face was shocked. That hard collision just now made him feel as if his bones were about to shatter all over his body. Human, you really are strong. A sinister smile surfaced on the bear elephant freak's face. But no matter how strong you are, you are not my opponent. Be good and die. When Chen Jie heard these words, the expression on his face turned ugly and his eyes turned red. When had he ever been so suffocated as an earth god level awakened person? But his strength was indeed much worse than the bear elephant freak, and now he was only left to fight for his life. Boom! The bear elephant deformed monster blasted out with a fist, directly smashing into Chen Jie's chest, and instantly, Chen Jie's chest collapsed in. Put! Chen Jie could no longer endure it and spat out a mouthful of blood. Human! Your strength is too weak, you can't even resist one of my punches. The bear elephant freak shook its head a look of regret appearing on its face, but then it turned icy cold and said in an indifferent tone, of course your body is indeed good, if it were someone else's body, I'm afraid it would have already been pulverized by me, boom boom boom, as the bear elephant freak's words fell, Chen Jie felt all the energy within his body running wild, the energy within his body, as if it had broken the dike, surged out of his body crazily, converging towards the heaven opening axe, as the energy continued to be injected, the heaven opening axe began to gradually regain its original color, emitting a piercing metallic luster. Heaven opening axe. Chen Jia roared, and the heaven opening axe instantly grew larger. A circle of ripples emanating out, causing ripples in space. Buzz. Chen Jia waved his arm and slashed towards the bear elephant freak, and space instantly distorted, forming a huge arc. Bang bang bang. Chen Jia's axe and the other party's bear paw continuously collided, emitting a loud ringing sound. The bear elephant freak's figure continuously retreated, a horrified look appearing on his face. What a strong strike. Your body, has it reached the awakened 8th stage realm? Chen Jie ignored the bear elephant freak's words and continued to swing his arm. Final open heaven and earth. Boom boom boom. With Chen Jie's cry of fury, the power of the heaven opening axe erupted once again. The bear elephant deformed monster retreated once again, this time retreating dozens of meters before stopping, its face pale and pale. The bear elephant freak's face was grave. He knew that he had met a formidable enemy. He had never encountered a strong enemy like Chen Jie before. 
Even though the other party only had a strength like the middle of the seventh stage of Awakened One, Hoomph, Chen Jie stifled a snort and rushed towards the bear elephant freak with his heaven opening axe in hand, launching another attack. Rumble. For a moment, the two of them exchanged blows in mid-air, erupting into an earth-shattering roar that caused the entire mountain range to tremble as a huge boulder rolled down. The surrounding trees, all of them, fell down or were directly snapped at the waist. Bang! Chen Jie's body hit the ground hard, leaving a deep trail. Chen Jie even felt as if he had been hit by a truck. The bones of his entire body were incomparably sore, and with another attack, he was afraid that he would fall apart. The bear elephant freak also flew backwards, although he blocked Chen Jie's strike, but he was also injured by the huge force of the heaven opening axe. A trace of blood spilled from the corner of his mouth. I am not one to give up that easily. Today, I must kill you. Chen Jie snorted coldly and continued to charge towards the bear elephant deformed monster. This battle with the bear elephant deformed monster could be said to be the most ferocious one that Chen Jie had fought since the end of the world. However, such a high intensity battle also made him feel that he had become more skillful in integrating with the heaven opening axe, the Hongmeng clear turbid qi, and so on. Fighting was also more stable. Unconscionable. The bear elephant monster still viewed Chen Jie with an extremely contemptuous attitude. Unbeknownst to him, Chen Jie's strength had already been enhanced even more through battle. The Pango bloodline was born to get stronger the more it fought. This was the final strike. Chen Jie waved his heaven opening axe, and the condensed Hongmeng clear and turbid qi in the killing god domain were all injected into it. Swish. Chen Jie's speed was very fast, three times faster than before. After the yellow light flashed, an extremely obvious blood-colored mark appeared on the neck of the bear elephant freak. Human. When did you become so fast? The bear elephant aberration monster couldn't believe what was happening in front of him. He was a senior 8th order awakening aberration monster. Surprisingly, let a human awakened in the middle of the 7th order kill. Even though it refused to believe it, things had already happened, and it couldn't stop bleeding from its neck. Not long after, with a poof, the huge bear elephant aberration monster collapsed with a bang. The vibration produced was just like a missile explosion, and the earth shook. Woof woof, the little wolf dog had been hiding during the battle just now. It was only until the end of the battle that he was willing to rush out and lick Chen Jie's hand. It was as if he was heartbroken for Chen Jie. Chen Jie extended his hand and stroked the little wolf dog's head. You kid. You almost got me killed. Chen Jie briefly adjusted his breath and lifted his heaven opening axe towards the bear elephant freak, causing him to be injured to such an extent. He had to properly dissect this bear elephant deformed monster. He had to get his hands on all the valuable things. After dissecting the bear elephant deformity monster, Chen Jie obtained a large golden colored high grade spirit crystal. Although it was all spirit crystals, it contained three times the energy of the three deformed dogs. Not rushing to absorb the spirit crystal, Chen Jie felt that there were more goodies at the entrance of the cave. Chen Jie carefully stepped inside the cave entrance and was shocked when he saw the site in front of him. What he saw in front of him was a huge cavern that was black in color overall and surrounded by rocks. The only thing in the middle was an open space of more than 10 meters in circumference, which was filled with grass and vine plants. A lush greenery, Chen Jie felt his scalp tingle as he looked at these sites. Not only was this place full of vegetation and vines, even the walls were covered in moss. Moreover, on top of that wall, there were also human skeletons hanging all over the place. Chen Jie felt a chill on his back as he looked at the scene before him. He did not expect this cave to be so terrifying. However, thinking about it, since this place was able to be inhabited by the bear elephant monster freak, naturally, there were quite a few humans that had died by his hands. Chen Jie looked at the situation in front of him and could not help but suck in a breath of cold air. With that, he hurriedly walked towards the front. Right at this moment, Chen Jie suddenly heard a sound coming from behind him. Cluck, 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 cluck. Chen Jie was stunned at the sound, and at a loss for words, he turned his head towards the source of the sound, only to see a fully clothed in red, with a delicate and enchanting figure, was slowly walking towards him. Who are you? Why are you here? Chen Jie looked at the woman and asked. Giggle. Who am I? Who am I? I don't know. The woman in red looked at Chen Jie and laughed with a maniacal expression that gave people some chills. This cave is very dangerous. I advise you to leave this place. Chen Jie's brows furrowed as he heard this, and he couldn't help but look at her warily, saying, Who the hell are you? Your aura is very off. Cluck 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 does it matter what I am? You only need to understand one thing. The woman in red looked at Chen Jie and said, What is it? Chen Jie looked at her suspiciously. This woman looked crazy and made Chen Jie feel strange. Ha 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 ha. The woman laughed. Chen Jie was confused by her laugh and couldn't help but ask, Are you fucking mentally ill? The woman in red cackled once again. I don't care what you are. You'd better leave here immediately. Otherwise don't blame me for being rude. Cackle 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 cackle. 
The woman in red still laughed with an incomparably bizarre look. As Chen Jia looked at that look of hers, a chill could not help but rise in the bottom of his heart. He could not help but swallow a mouthful of saliva. Not leaving? Then stay here forever. Right at this moment, the woman in red suddenly ran over quickly and violently grabbed at Chen Jia's arm. Her claws were filled with mighty energy. The same as the energy used by awakened beings such as Chen Jia, but more pristine than the energy used by Chen Jia. Chen Jia dodged to avoid the other party's attack, and her sharp claws directly scratched through the cave rock layer. The crazy woman in red did not pay attention to Chen Jia's dodging, and continued to pounce on Chen Jia. The woman in red continuously shook her head as if her head had lost control. The corners of her mouth revealed a ghastly smile, appearing extremely bizarre and terrifying. Seeing this, Chen Jia's face was also chilly. Since you want to die so badly, I will fulfill you. The woman in red listened to his words as if she had heard a great joke. I'm an ancient martial artist. I've been in this secret realm for thousands of years. You're an ordinary awakened. Do you think you're a match for me? Right at this moment, he fiercely saw that in the woman's chest position, there was a string of bells hanging, and he felt that the woman was protecting the bells intentionally or unintentionally. He reached out his hand and attempted to take down the string of bells. Perhaps, this bell was this woman's weak point. When his hand just touched the bell, he only heard a ding dong ding dong ding dong ding dong sound, and the bell automatically fell off. The bell fell to the ground with a crisp ringing sound. The moment the bell fell off, a golden light flashed and instantly drilled into Chen Jia's mind. Chen Jia felt a stabbing pain in his mind and could not help but cry out. Right at this moment, a shrill voice resounded in his ears. Ha ha ha, all of you go to hell. Lol 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 lol. Rumble, a violent tremor rang out. Chen Jia had a splitting headache as he listened to the violent crashing sound that rang out beside his ears. But the woman in red simply ignored him and continued to frantically attack in his mind. Right at this moment, a muffled grunt sounded as two channels of Hong Meng clear and turbid Chi rushed out. Chen Jie, who was still in pain, suddenly had his eyes clear up. But just after reacting, the sharp claws of the woman in red once again grabbed at Chen Jie's face. Just when Chen Jie was in the secret realm, he encountered the tricky mysterious woman. Outside, the retaliation of the 10th order mermaid freak monster freak monster had already descended upon Luo country. As the mermaid freak monster rolled up a tsunami and rushed towards the human city, the people in the city took shelter. But even so, there were still countless people who were drowned in the big waves because they didn't run away from the shock. Things like this were already out of control. And every time the mermaid aberration monster appeared in a place it was bound to kill a lot of people. Like tonight, outside the city of Jiang province, the beach was inhabited by quite a few people. No one had expected the mermaid freak to actually come out of the water and rush towards them. Ah, help! From the crowd, a terrified scream came from the crowd. The crowd followed the sound and looked. They only saw a woman being grabbed by a mermaid aberration monster that was about a dozen meters long, snow white, and covered in black scales, and then dragged closer and closer to her. The speed of the mermaid freak was extremely fast. In the blink of an eye, it dragged the woman into the sea and then sank back to the bottom of the sea again. Watching the figure of the mermaid mutant monster gradually disappear into the sea, people's hearts were chilled. What kind of mutant monster was this? It was actually able to travel so fast. People were terrified in their hearts but they didn't run away. Instead, they gathered together and prepared to resist this mermaid mutant monster that suddenly appeared. Rumble. A violent explosion suddenly resounded on the surface of the sea, and immediately afterward, the seawater tumbled crazily as if it was being boiled, then violently rushed up into the midair. Ah, something has come ashore. It's gone ashore again. Help. A group of people shouted in panic, and someone in the crowd got a good look at the huge head and ran around screaming. It was a giant shark mouth. The mouth was full of sharp, sharp teeth, and with one bite, it would definitely be blood and guts. That mouth opened violently, and a powerful suction force instantly swept over. A number of people in the crowd were instantly caught up in it, and were directly devoured. Ah, help, help. Miserable screams began to come from the crowd again, and the voices became more and more mournful. Hurry, quickly lure it away. A Luo high level awakened bellowed. Several awakened immediately appeared around him using their talents to inspire beams of light that shot towards the mermaid aberration monster. However, the mermaid aberration monster was extremely fast, and the light beams simply couldn't catch up. The light beams of these few awakened could only stop it for a few seconds, and then it easily dashed across the distance. Hurry up and lure it to the land, or else it will cause an even bigger disaster. The Luo High Command roared anxiously, and the surrounding awakened were also anxious. There is no way. The mermaid aberration monster was too powerful. It was simply beyond their ability to stop it. The mermaid aberration monster swam its body and soon reached the seashore. Its body stopped all of a sudden and turned its head to look at the ships in the seawater, a fierce light flashing in its eyes. 
Right at this moment, a sudden sound of breaking wind came from the distance, it turned its head to look, and saw a huge battleship rapidly approaching, and the flag on that battleship read, Luo Kingdom War God Team, the Luo War God Squad was the most powerful army in the Luo Kingdom, possessing the most advanced weaponry and the finest equipment, its combat power was so strong that it was the number one in the world, there weren't many armies like this in the entire world, after the end of the world, countless awakened people had even been added, which even made the army's combat power increase by a large margin, roar, the mermaid aberration monster roared angrily, then roared towards the sky, the battleship in the sky was immediately stimulated, and the missiles on the battleship fired out, attacking towards the mermaid freak on the ground, whoosh whoosh whoosh, the missiles cut through the night sky and fell towards the ground with a whistling cracking sound, seeing this, the mermaid aberration monster immediately dodged, then jumped to avoid a missile's attack, bang, 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 a series of violent explosions came from the ground, and the earth was blasted out one deep crater after another, not only were the explosions deafening this time, they were also so powerful that the entire city seemed to be trembling, roar, the mermaid aberration monster roared as it continued to charge towards the center of the city, while the battleships in the sky saw this, it also turned its guns once again and started shooting towards the mermaid aberration monster, at this time, a silhouette sprang out from within the city and slapped a palm at the mermaid mutant monster, seeing this, the mermaid mutant monster immediately swung its claws towards the person, the person slapped his palm on the mermaid aberration monster's claws, then used his other hand to grab the mermaid aberration monster's tail and flung it away fiercely before lunging again, boom, this time, the incoming person used even more force, and the mermaid aberration monster was instantly thrown to the ground, letting out a wail, you bastards, how dare you sneak attack me, the mermaid mutant monster glared angrily at those warships in the sky, it then violently turned its head and stared at the huge ship that was slowly moving in the seawater, roar, an angry hiss resounded throughout the city, the mermaid aberration monster's wings revved up, and its entire body turned into a meteor flying towards that battleship, the two collided with each other, emitting a loud roar, the mermaid mutant monster and the huge battleship flew back at the same time, but there was a distance of thousands of meters between them, the mermaid aberration monster's body stopped in mid-air, its eyes staring deathly at the person standing on the battleship, that was person was none other than Zhou Lao, who had a small smile on his face, seeing this, the mermaid mutant monster immediately stared angrily at the other party, opened its mouth, and let out a low roar, this low roar immediately caused the seawater to ripple and the waves to crash up like a tidal wave, these seawater, which kept rushing onto the shore, surged towards the city, countless buildings were destroyed, the mermaid aberration monster's tail waved once again, a massive forceful chi spewed out, forming a circle of ripples spreading towards the surroundings, Zhou Lao was instantly blown around, he wasn't injured, but only carried a trace of blood at the corner of his mouth, mermaid, why do you want to rush all over my luo kingdom, the mermaid aberration monster sniffed and a look of indignation appeared in his eyes, a huge amount of energy was suddenly released from her body, and a blue arc of electricity lingered around her, boom, suddenly, a thunderous light erupted violently from the mermaid mutant monster's body, it reached a diameter of several hundred meters in size, enveloping everything in the vicinity, seeing this, Zhou Lao's face instantly changed, and he hastily raised the greatsword in his hand to fend it off, but the thunder light was too strong, destroying his shield in an instant and then blasting him away, Elder Zhou smashed heavily on the ground before a mouthful of blood spurted out, he looked at the body of lightning in front of him in shock, his eyes filled with shock, with the tenth rank, is the difference still so great, Elder Zhou's heart was horrified beyond belief, what was in front of him was too unbelievable, it was simply too much for him to accept, he raised his head, his eyes staring deathly at those blue lines on the lightning body, this this is, Zhou Lao's pupils contracted violently as he cried out with a horrified expression, you're not an ordinary aberration monster, roar, the thunderbolt body roared, and a monstrous pressure erupted from its body, an intense aura surged from the sky, causing Zhou Lao to suffocate and a mouthful of blood to spurt out, the body of lightning flew towards him, and Zhou Lao wanted to resist, but he realized that he couldn't move at all, he could only allow the body of lightning to grab him and throw himself onto the battleship, bang bang bang, when Zhou Lao saw the terrifying thunder patterns on the mermaid aberration monster, he then already knew that it was impossible for him to defeat the mermaid freak, ripples like this were collectively known as divine ripples, which could only be possessed by aberration monsters that possessed divinity, with an opponent of the 10th rank, Zhou Lao shouldn't have held out much hope in the first place, you humans, none of you are good, why did you hurt your Luo kingdom, you don't know how many sea creatures you have hunted and killed, a debt that you will have to pay sooner or later, our homeland, all of it was destroyed by you humans, 
and you killed them all when I sent my minions to wash ashore. Well, 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 you humans, you can invade our oceans. We've only been on one shore, and you've driven us all to extinction. Now, you're asking back, why I drove the Luo kingdom to extinction? Heavenly joke. The mermaid aberration monster loudly chided the human group in the air, using all her strength to spit out all the damage that their sea creatures had endured. At this point, the human camp suddenly fell silent. In this matter, if, indeed, there was a right and wrong, then it was indeed the humans who were wrong. Over the years, polluting the oceans and overfishing things, hadn't there been fewer occurrences? Only, through the end times aberration, the marine life crazy revenge on human beings, this price of destroying the environment has finally come. Mermaid, this is entirely the result of natural selection. No wonder humans, humans must obtain resources from the outside world if they want to survive. Moreover, haven't humans been advocating the protection of the environment lately? Why are you so stubborn? Joe Lau covered his violently aching chest, hoping to persuade the mermaid to come around, but he was still unable to impress the other party. He also knew that humans nowadays were doing too much harm to the environmental animals. Possibly, the aberrations were all likely to be the result of humans eating their own. Bullshit, since you say this is something humans are forced to do because they need to survive. Fine. The mermaid turned to point at the thousands of aberrant monsters behind him. There were lobster aberration monsters, crab aberration monsters, whale aberration monsters. Then they too are forced to survive and are now traveling to land. So what's wrong with that? But what about you guys? The last time they just landed on land, you guys drove them to extinction. Cut the crap and let me destroy it all. When the humans are destroyed, the entire planet will fall into a state of peace. The mermaid aberration monster hated humans to the extreme. He only wanted the current humans to immediately, immediately disappear in front of him, only to see that he stood in the air, gently raised his hands, and his eyes began to turn red. A powerful blue aura surrounded him. This was half of the strength of a tenth rank awakened. In just a moment, the seawater behind him was actually several thousand meters high. He wants to flood the entire seaside city. Everyone run, retreat towards the airplane. Joe Lau shouted in despair at what was happening in front of him, his mouth twitching as he hurriedly gave orders. The current situation was no longer something he could stop. One could only hope that Chen Jia would come out of the secret realm quickly. And, it would be best if he could have the ability to fight against a 10th order aberration monster. Otherwise, the fate of humanity was considered to be at an end. Zhou Lao knew that the first target of the mermaids was Luo, and the next target would most likely be the neighboring countries of Luo. As, the airplanes and the awakened continued to rescue them, the humans by the coast of Luo still escaped quite a bit. Zhou Lao was also only able to evade toward the land, seeking a better chance to break through. And, shortly after returning to the base, bad news came from the command and control room. Elder Zhou, this monster, has already flooded 30% of the Luo map, and the rate of flooding is still increasing. The person in the monitoring room reported to Elder Zhou with a tense expression. His hands were tightly squeezing the documents. He knew that it wouldn't be long before the Dragon Kingdom would be completely submerged in the ocean. And for this situation, no one could stop it. Is it really only possible to wait for death? Zhou Lao had tears in the corner of his eyes as he watched the land above the display screen slowly being submerged by the sea. He was heartbroken. When will, hope, be able to appear? In Zhou Lao's heart at this time, there was only Qin Jia. He was truly the last hope of the Luo country. The same people of Luo who were in deep water were also looking forward to Qin Jia's appearance. Mom, will the big hero really help us fight off the monsters? The little girl who had given Qin Jia lollipops earlier, her eyes filled with fear, snuggled in her mother's arms. She saw the terrifying 10th order freak monster. He hoped that Qin Jia would appear to defeat it. It will. Baby, didn't you guys pull the hook? Big brother will definitely appear and save us. The mother gently patted the little girl's back. However, while her mouth was saying this, her heart was actually already dark. Such a powerful monster. Even the renowned elder Zhou had only been repelled by him. That young boy. Could he really manage to defeat this monster? Perhaps. Possible. But the hope is really very slim. At this moment, Chen Jie, who was in the secret realm, had already recovered his consciousness. He looked angrily at the crazy woman in front of him, whose insidious move just now had almost killed him. You said you are an ancient martial artist? Chen Jie asked in a deep voice. That's right. I am indeed, and I have already reached the sovereign stage, which is of course equal to what you are now calling the awakening ninth stage. Ha ha ha. The insane woman laughed out loud, his consciousness sometimes insane and sometimes acting quite normal. After hearing the woman's reply, Chen Jie began to think, if what the woman said was true, then his previous guesses were all correct. In the past, thousands of years ago, there really was a first aberration. 
This also made sense as to why there would be such a thing as a secret realm. Originally, in Chen Jie's heart, he still held a skeptical attitude, because, if ancient martial artists really existed, then why would there not be a talent awakening until after the aberration? Why, ancient martial artists were not passed down? This all seemed too mysterious. Ha ha ha, kids suffer death, I see your meat, as if it's delicious. The crazy woman's face suddenly became hideous as she turned into a red light and pounced at Chen Jie. Chen Jie realized that this woman, if she was in her normal state, her eyes were black and white, and when it came to the state of insanity, this woman would show greed towards him, like a deformed monster, wanting to eat him, and her eyes would become scarlet. Humph, come on then, just in time for me to kill you and dig out a little secret from you. Chen Jie's aura shook, the energy in his body began to tumble, and the Hongmen clear and turbid chi turned into a ribbon that wrapped around Chen Jie's body. By now, he had almost figured out this woman in red's attack routine. Although this woman in red was an awakened ninth stage or so, however, her main means of attack was not physical attacks, rather, it was a mental attack. However, Chen Jie's Hongmen clear and turbid chi happened to be the one that was able to break all illusions. It just so happened that Chen Jie's talent completely restrained this woman in red. The opponent's physical strength should only be at the peak of the 8th rank like this. Previously, having killed an 8th order bear elephant freak, Chen Jie certainly had the confidence to resolve this red clothed woman in front of him. Ha ha ha, fun kid. The woman in red laughed up to the sky, stretching out her scissor length nails. Swish, it directly chopped towards Chen Jie's face. Chen Jie hastily rolled backwards while utilizing the power of his calves to power up. He jumped out violently and slashed towards the neck of the female ghost in red. You fell for it. The woman in red proudly revealed a smile, then used her hand to block Chen Jie's attack with a block. Immediately afterward, a red light emerged from his eyes and shone directly onto Chen Jie's eyes. This was the red-clothed female ghost's super talent. Infinite slumber. No matter who it was, even an awakened who had reached the 10th rank, by receiving this attack, they would fall into an infinite slumber. Never, ever being able to wake up. It was only in this instant that Chen Jie felt as if his mind was putting on the tape. He saw his previous life. The moment he was killed by the aberration monster, he saw Xiao Wanru die in front of him. No, there's no way I'm going to let these things happen, absolutely not. Chen Jie's heart was shouting furiously. It was in this one instant that Chen Jie's Hongmen clear and turbid chi underwent a qualitative change. Boom! An overbearing aura erupted from the Hongmen turbid chi. It forcefully squeezed out that endless control that the woman in red had exerted on him. How is this, possible, this control of mine, let alone you, a seventh stage awakened person? Even if it's those old guys of the 10th stage, they would have to have a headache for quite a while when they come. The talent you awakened. Could it be? An ancient talent. The woman in red looked at Chen Jie in shock, her hands unable to stop trembling. It was as if he had now felt the suppression that Chen Jie's bloodline had given him. It felt as if there was a huge shadow attached to Chen Jie, and that huge shadow made her tremble and tremble in battle. Terror, total terror. The woman's subconscious mind told her that she must escape now. Frantically escape. Otherwise, the next moment, his head would fall to the ground. Ancient bloodline? What is that thing? What garbage? It's also worthy to be such a talent on me. My talent. It's an initial level talent. It is the master of the entire heaven and earth. Chen Jie said proudly. His awakened talent was an existence that possessed the Pangu bloodline. It had long surpassed the ancient bloodline that the woman had spoken of. An existence at the Pangu level had long surpassed the ancient past and should be called initial. The woman heard what Chen Jie said. Further confirming her subconscious. Kid cheap you can't devour you this time. The woman in red hurriedly pulled out a red metal ball from her own body. She raised the metal ball high in the air and prepared to throw it to the ground. Trying to escape? I'm telling you to react now. It's already too late. Chen Jia revealed a wry smile as he looked at the woman in front of him who wanted to scurry away. It was only a moment ago that he had given him the slip. Now, he was saying that he could just leave. How in the world could there be such a cheap good thing? Just when the woman wanted to throw out the metal ball in her hand, Chen Jie suddenly unfolded his killing god domain. The entire space, at once, turned blood red. Ding. Even time had entered a brief time stop. This was the perverse enhancement brought about by the qualitative change in the Hongmen clear and turbid chi. Chen Jie gripped the heaven opening axe in his hand tightly. And suddenly, he transformed into a yellow stream of light, killing towards the demoness. Raise your hand. Falling hand. In just a split second. The heaven opening axe slashed across the neck area of the woman in red. A thin line of red blood appeared on her white neck. Instantly, the woman in red was already on the verge of death. An uh oh sound kept coming from her throat. She slowly turned her head to look at Chen Jie, the look on her face filled with shock, disbelief, and questioning. She rather did not understand how Chen Jie had suddenly killed him. 
to stop the flow of time. It would take an ancient god emperor to do that. Plop. The woman in red slowly fell to the ground, twitching for a moment before she stopped making any noise. Finally, we've solved this lunatic. Chen Jia exhaled a breath. He then crouched down and began to grope around the red clothed woman's body. It was reasonable to say that such a high ranked ancient martial artist would have quite a few good things. Sure enough, Chen Jia found a storage pouch at the woman's waist in no time. Chen Jia only needed to inject a little energy into it. Immediately, he was able to probe the contents. Countless spirit medicines, countless higher spirit crystals. This was completely developed. What even shocked Chen Jia more was that there were some ancient secret books inside. These secret books were completely equivalent to the talents of an awakened person, and they did not need to be awakened. All that was needed was to follow the things in the qualified books and start cultivating. After cultivating to great success, they were able to obtain this talent in its entirety. It's just a pity that, the talent recorded on it was too trashy, and was completely not as bullish as the talent Shen Jie currently had in his hands. However, this secret book could be passed on, form a huge force to unify the cultivation of this talent. In this way, he would be able to have a large number of awakened who possessed this talent. At that time, ruling the globe would not be a problem. Of course, Chen Jie did not have that mindset yet. Moreover, it wasn't easy either. The ancient martial artists he encountered today had given Chen Jie a wake-up call. This world had undergone an aberration before, and many ancient martial artists had survived. In other words, these guys' lifespans had also surpassed a thousand years, most likely, somewhere in outer space. There existed ancient martial artists from the ancient times, collecting the things from the woman in red. Chen Jie continued to explore inside the cave. This woman and the bear elephant aberration monster were both so attentive to protecting this location. This showed that there was definitely something extraordinary inside. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so bad that they would have two old things close to the 8th rank guarding it. Tick, tick, tick. Chen Jie's ears heard a crisp ticking sound. It seemed like there was a water source. At this moment, the path in front of him had turned very dark. He was also only able to take out his heaven opening axe as lighting. Soon, he reached the end, and at first glance, there seemed to be nothing in here. It was empty. However, woof woof, a shout from the little wolf dog attracted his attention. He looked down, and surprisingly, it was a milky white spring. Greedily, the little wolf dog licked at the milky white liquid spilling out from the side. Afterward, the body of the little wolf dog began to slowly grow and expand, and, at the same time, the energy aura emanating from his body, it was also slowly raised from the previous tiny, to an awakened third stage existence. This milky liquid, so powerful. Chen Jie looked at the liquid in front of him in shock. There was some disbelief. An advanced talent awakened like him wanted to ascend to the awakened third order. That would all require a good while of killing. However, now, the little wolf dog only needed to lick a mouthful of this milky white scattered liquid, and then it was elevated to the awakened one third stage in one step. Terror. Unexpectedly, the thing guarded by the bear elephant freak and the crazy woman in red turned out to be this. Chen Jie did not have time to think about it in detail as he gently cupped a small pile of liquid with his hand and placed it in his mouth to savor it. This milky white liquid, when it first entered his mouth, he instantly felt a refreshing coolness. This refreshing coolness, from the location of his mouth, directly rushed to his brain. It made his entire being much more awake. By the time the liquid entered his stomach, he instantly felt a warmth in his stomach. Afterwards, it turned into an exceptionally powerful energy that rushed into his limbs and bones. It was about to be elevated again. This is definitely something good, Chen Jie said with forced excitement. At the same time, he sat down in a platter and properly prepared for the sprint. He took out the spirit crystal obtained from the bear elephant freak and held it in his hand, and at the same time, took another sip of the milky spring water. A strange feeling began to turn over his entire body, breaking through to an eighth order awakened. And only today, those awakened ones outside the cave, after their tireless efforts, they had already obtained the primordial crystals. Ha ha ha, after a bout of exploration by my old self, I finally found this primordial spirit crystal inside a tiger's cave. It turns out that this spirit crystal is the crystal that is contained inside the caves guarded by every fierce beast of around the seventh rank in the secret realm. Oh, my great god, I've already obtained hundreds of primordial spirit crystals. So in that case, I'm guessing that no one in the secret realm will be able to possess more spirit crystals than me. When the time prize arrives, I, Edward, will be the first to receive the commendation. Baka, I fought to the death to get more than 10 spirit crystals from these high-level aberrations. Damn it, if it wasn't for Qin Jie killing our country's 5 emperors and 10 kings, I would have suffered so much. And what happened to these people? Qin Jie did not know. He also did not have any of the primal spirit crystals on him. However, he had already thought of a plan in his mind. As long as one was strong enough, 
who was afraid of not having primordial spirit crystals? These people, didn't they like to collect primordial spirit crystals and then become the first to harvest them, eventually obtaining the rewards in the secret realm? Then, it seemed that Chen Jia had not heard that it was not possible to turn the spirit crystals that the other party had already obtained into their own, right? In that case, they hoarded the primal spirit crystals, and Chen Jie chose to hoard them. That was much easier than hoarding the spirit crystals in one place. Outside the secret realm, the Luo kingdom was now in an unparalleled state of misery. Report. Report. Right now, our Luo kingdom has been flooded by seawater by 80%. In less than two more days, our Luo country will be completely submerged, and by then, our Luo country will cease to exist. The monitor looked at Zhou Lao in front of him with a miserable face. During this period of time, the 10th ranked aberration mermaid had been exerting her talent to attract a large number of tsunamis. In just over a day's time, it had flooded half of Luo's land. Alas, but we can't do anything about her. Even if we use a nuclear strike, we can't deal with her. This kind of strength. No. Should we really make an attempt? Instead of being afraid of completely pissing off the other party and being instantly rushed over and killed. But it's also better than hiding in this place right now, slowly waiting for death. Let's see what Elder Joe has to say. Experiencing the end times, and now having to experience this kind of disaster. Numerous executives spoke, and there were also quite a few people who turned their gaze to Elder Zhou. Hopefully, Elder Zhou would be able to come up with a solution to this current crisis. Elder Zhou pinched the beard on his chin, after thinking for a moment, finally opened his mouth to speak. Continue to wait for Chen Jie, wait for another day. If Chen Jie doesn't show up again, Zhou Lao was once again silent. He had even anticipated the worst outcome. Then launch a nuclear bomb. Although the possibility of the threat posed to the other party is not very high, it has to be tried. All of them fell silent at this moment. However, it seemed as if they couldn't think of a better plan other than this plan of Elder Zhou. If Chen Jie didn't show up, or if the nuclear bombs really couldn't do any damage to this 10th order aberration monster, then in the end, that would be the annihilation that they would face. In the Sakura country, they had already received the news of the 10th order aberration monster attacking the Luo country. They smiled one by one. The thing they wanted to appear had finally happened. But it was clearly them who posed the greatest threat to the ocean. Ha ha ha. Now that Luo kingdom is under attack by marine creatures. It's really a great joy. We were, before, killed by the other party's Chen Jie. And today it's like we've gotten out a mouthful of bad anger. Our people who traveled to the secret realm also seem to have good news coming back now. In this way, when the people from the secret realm return, we will be the strongest nation. On this day of great joy, I propose that today be turned into a holiday. These people sat and watched on the shore, as if they didn't care that the aberrant monsters at the bottom of the sea would revolt against them. Anyway, just quietly watching the kingdom of law fall into difficulty. The same went for the eagle sauce nation. The vampires, frantically drinking bad red wine, partied inside the hall. It was as if they were just enjoying the feast, and in the middle of the secret realm, Inside the cave where Qin Jie was located, the originally pitch black cave was suddenly filled with golden light. Boom! A powerful vibration caused the entire space within the cave to almost collapse. At this moment, golden light flowed from Qin Jie's body, and some patterns flashed non-stop on his body, finally breaking through to an eighth order awakened. During this period, Qin Jie had used up all of his spirit crystals, and even used the spirit pills he had previously obtained in the previous secret realm together. The current Qin Jie could be said to have, in addition to the strength of an 8th order awakened person, the rest of the things were all gone. However, the enhancement gained after awakening was also tremendous. Right now, he felt like he had inexhaustible strength all over his body, and the strength was three times that of before. He believed that if he encountered the bear elephant freak again, Chen Jia would be able to kill him with a single punch. There was no need to fight hard for half a day like last time. Alright, we have to continue exploring outside now. We haven't received half of our primal spirit crystals yet. Chen Jie smiled and petted the little wolf dog that was already half his size. Suddenly, he thought that he would have to give him a name as well. Whom? What would be a good name? Chen Jie held his chin and thought for a while. Let's call you Laughing Heavenly Dog then. In a flash of inspiration, Chen Jie remembered the name afterward in his mind. In order to avoid repetition of the name, Chen Jie also purposely changed the first word, but it was the same when shouted. Hearing this name, the Laughing Heavenly Dog was still quite happy repeatedly spitting its tongue and wagging its tail at Chen Jie, laughing heavenly dog. 1. The laughing heavenly dog was very smart and was already able to understand what Chen Jie said even before it had awakened to the 8th rank. Chen Jie stroked the smiling heavenly dog's head and turned his head to look at the puddle of milky white liquid. It's a shame to leave it here, 
Chen Jia took out two or three large pots from the storage bag he obtained from the woman in red. Each basin was filled to the brim. Only then was he satisfied and left. There were really no more vessels, or else Chen Jia would have to fill this spirit spring all the way up. After packing up, Chen Jia brought along the smiling heavenly dog and rushed out as a yellow spirit light. He kept searching in the secret realm. There was no telling who would be the first little unlucky bastard, providing him with primal spirit crystals. Soon, he found Sakura Nation's Sasaki. Phew, ran into an old acquaintance. Soon, he found Sasaki of the Sakura country. That lewd figure was always remembered. After spotting Sasaki, Chen Jie stared and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Coming to this unfamiliar environment, it was not easy to meet an old acquaintance. Chen Jie patted the smiling heavenly dog's head, then rushed down towards Sasaki's location. Sasaki, who was originally still happy about obtaining dozens of primordial crystals, suddenly saw a yellow light. It exploded in front of him. When the smoke cleared, Sasaki suddenly saw the person he had been thinking about day and night before. Chen Jie. The moment he saw Chen Jie, it was as if he was like a dog seeing a cat hating to directly tear Chen Jie apart. But, by the time, he probed Chen Jie's aura. He immediately realized that something was wrong. The current Chen Jie. How come he was already at the 8th rank? It had only been less than a week. This was too terrifying. Originally, Sasaki, who wanted to kill Chen Jie, began to panic. Subconsciously, he wanted to escape. What do you? You want? Sasaki protected the primordial crystal in front of his chest and trembled as he asked Chen Jie. Nothing. Ha ha ha. I just saw an old acquaintance and wanted to come say hello. Chen Jie waved his hand. It looked as if he had really just come to say hello. But, Sasaki is also not a fool. The relationship between the two are mortal enemies. When they encountered each other, they would have to fight to the death. How could it be as simple as just saying hello? Thus, Sasaki vigilantly drew his katana and aimed it at Chen Jie. My old friend, why are you so nervous? I really just came down to say hello. Of course taking a meet and greet is still necessary. Chen Jie suddenly changed his face. With two channels of Hongming Qing turbid qi attached to his hands he grabbed towards Sasaki. There was a flow of qi in Chen Jie's hand. He was like a sharp arrow through the sky, shooting directly at Sasaki's chest. Sasaki rose up and swung his sword to parry. Dang! Chen Jie's hand struck the katana. And instantly, the katana broke into two pieces. As a result, Chen Jie's hand that grabbed at Sasaki also slightly deviated. Put. It directly grabbed onto Sasaki's left shoulder. The hand carrying the Hongmeng clear in turbid qi was so powerful that it directly pierced through Sasaki's right shoulder. Like tearing apart a piece of paper, it tore through the opponent's shoulder. A 10 centimeter wide wound appeared. It made Sasaki hiss and grin in pain. Even with the pain, Sasaki desperately opened his talent. In his stomach, a huge mouth appeared, covered in jagged, sharp teeth. In just an instant, this mouth swooped down in front of Chen Jie. Surprisingly, it was detachable. Chen Jie did not dodge much either. Clenching his five fingers, he blasted out with a fist. The fist landed on the other party's fangs. And instantly, the fangs appeared with a slight crack, followed by the beginning of the disintegration. Ow! The sharp-toothed mouth, with a scream, ducked back into Sasaki's body. Sasari's stomach was back to normal, but it had a crimson fist brand on it. Oomph! Sasaki let out a deep grunt as wisps of bright red blood oozed from the corners of his mouth, slowly flowing down the sides of his mouth and converging at his chin. It dripped onto the ground. Sasaki looked at Chen Jie in shock, his mind fluctuating. When did he, unexpectedly, become so powerful? I was able to kill him steadily until a week ago, but now he is able to directly threaten my life. It's not possible to drag this out any longer. Hurry up and run. Even if I die in the middle of nowhere, then I can't die at the hands of Chen Jie. Chen Jie, remember, things between us didn't end so quickly. Wait until the next time I encounter you. I will absolutely kill you. Sasaki stared at Chen Jie with a fierce gaze, then as if he was very unwilling, he ran towards the position behind him, he used all of his energy, it converged on his thigh, this was his talent, falling scud, after casting his talent, his speed was so fast that even the speed of light could not catch up to him, this was why he dared to put down harsh words in front of Chen Jie, however, it also happened that he was the one who encountered Chen Jie, couldn't run away, wanting to run, doesn't seem to be that easy. The corner of Chen Jie's mouth revealed a wry smile. Afterwards, he clenched the five fingers of his right hand, on which crackling deep black lightning flashed. Boom! Instantly, the entire sky turned crimson. The entire space of hundreds of miles in a radius was controlled by his killing god domain. Even if Sasaki's talent was no matter how fast it was, it was still not the same as being confined in space by Chen Jie's killing god domain. Ah! Uh, Sasaki, who was far away, stood petrified. 
The powerful god-killing domain suppressed him so much that he could not move a bit. Chen Jia walked towards him slowly and idly. HM, Mr. Sasaki, didn't you say that the next time we meet again, you would take my life? Now we meet once again. My life, do you still want it? Chen Jia playfully stretched out his neck for Sasaki to look at. However, at this moment, Sasaki could not move a bit at all. The current him was desperate to the extreme. How is this possible? What exactly is your talent? Sasaki looked at Chen Jia in shock. According to his understanding, Chen Jia had at most a heaven opening axe talent. When did it come out that there was an additional sky talent that forbade people? This, I think that there is no need for you to know. After all, there is no point in a dead person knowing too much. Chen Jia's face sank, his black and white eyes revealing a bit of a ferocious aura. Swish, the heaven opening axe appeared in Chen Jia's hand at an unknown time. With a wave of his arm, the heaven opening axe slashed across the sky immediately afterward. Slicing through, Sasaki's neck, put, a crisp sound rang out, a head immediately floated in the sky, there was even a piece of blood that defiled this entire space, plop, Sasaki, who had lost his vitality, quickly fell to his knees, originally, I wanted to fight you bitterly, but I didn't expect that you, an old acquaintance, would be so ineffective, since, you're already dead, then these primal spirit crystals, I'll take good care of them for you, Chen Jia had the appearance of a bodhisattva who had sent a kind message. As if, the person in front of him was not killed by him. Chen Jia carefully counted the other party's inheritance. There were a total of 50 primordial spirit crystals. Truly not a small asset. As expected, it verified the phrase, killing and setting fire to a golden belt. After collecting the primordial spirit crystals, Chen Jia did not stay too long. He quickly turned into a stream of light and flew in the next direction. He hoped that he would encounter his old acquaintances next time and that way, not only would he be able to remove them all, he would also be able to harvest some primal spirit crystals. Along the way, Chen Jia also encountered some people from small countries who were sent to the secret realm. He had only collected the primordial crystals from the other party and did not have their lives. From this, it was easy to see that Chen Jia was not a person who liked to kill. After searching in the air for a while, Chen Jia quickly found another familiar aura. It's an old friend again. A flash of crazy excitement appeared in Chen Jia's eyes. Just after landing, he had sensed that the other party was in the midst of the deep forest, moving quickly in the darkness. Soon, he guessed who this old friend was. Nope. Strictly speaking, it wasn't considered an old friend rather it should be said that it was an old friend's kinsman. Since it was a friend's kinsman, he should naturally treat it well. Soon, he directly dashed to the front of the other party's fleeing path. He had his hands behind his back. The other party sensed Chen Jie's presence and also stopped. In the midst of the darkness, he stared at Chen Jie with reddened eyes. The other party wanted to take a bite and bite through Chen Jie's throat. Then, deeply sucked Chen Jie's fresh blood. You should be a vampire. Chen Jie did not look at the other party and just asked. Before the other party could come out, Chen Jie had already smelled the kind of smell that the other party's body exuded as the blood rotted away. That's right. If, I haven't guessed wrongly, you should be the Luo kid who killed the five emperors and ten emperors of the Cherry Kingdom. Vampire Edward, asked blandly. He knew that the person in front of him was Chen Jia with just a slight feeling. That flow rate of blood in Chen Jia's body was his favorite type. It was full of vitality and vigor. With just a slight bite, it had to be refreshing to the heavens. Your guess is also correct. So hand over the primal spirit crystals you have on you. I'll only give you 10 seconds to think about it. Chen Jia's voice was cold. Of course, what he said was just a joke with the other party. Even if the other party was to hand over the spirit crystal, he would still kill the other party all the same. Ha ha ha, it's really funny, a mere human, how dare he threaten us vampires, really hit a ghost. Edward did not take Chen Jie's words to heart in the slightest. In his subconscious mind, only humans were afraid of their vampires. How could any human threaten their vampires? 5, 7, 8, Chen Jie counted down loudly, but the other party really didn't care, and was even ready to step out from the darkness. 10, after Chen Jie finished counting 10, he instantly transformed into a ghost it directly disappeared from the spot, even the slightest breath was gone, Edward's eyes widened, he had just, also just, seen Chen Jie's silhouette disappear, then he could no longer sense Chen Jie, where did he, he run off to, at the bottom of Edward's heart, he was incomparably shocked, he had not seen, someone who was even faster than them vampires, even, it was still able to escape their vampire surveillance, to know, the vampires were inherently sensitive to human scent, what's more, he was still the vampire king. So how could someone be able to disappear out of thin air under his eyes? Stop looking. I'm right behind you. Chen Jie's eerie voice sounded behind the vampire. 
What? Put. Before the vampire Edward could turn his head, Chen Jia had already punched through the other party's body from the back of his heart. Relax. Dizziness is normal. Chen Jia gently pulled out his arm from within Edward's body, while bringing out a piece of sticky blood. Not a single drop of blood from a vampire's body was his own. Therefore, that smell was very unpleasant. After pulling the arm out, Chen Jia was a bit regretful that he used his arm to strike through the opponent's torso, should have used the heaven opening axe. However, in order to avoid being discovered by the other party, Chen Jia was forced to do so. In the end, Edward did not even turn his head. It had just flopped straight onto the ground. In an instant, there was no life left. Chen Jia used his toes to turn his body over. Similarly, many primal spirit crystals were found in the chest position. Only, Edward's primordial spirit crystals were very much in abundance. A full amount had reached over 300. If, it wasn't for the fact that he had encountered Chen Jie, it was possible that the first place in the collection of spirit crystals in this secret realm would have belonged to him. Edward. However, Edward's primordial spirit crystals origins were actually not clean. It was also obtained from sneak attacks on human awakened beings. Every single one of them was stained with blood. After snatching all of Edward's primordial spirit crystals, Chen Jie slowly stood up, muttering under his breath. He said, Vampire? Suddenly, a flash of light flashed in his mind, and in his hand, a strand of energy coalesced. Then he quickly crushed this energy. At once, this strand of energy suddenly compressed and turned into flames. With a wave of his hand, Chen Jie threw the flames onto Edward. Poof, the fire immediately blazed. A ghostly creature like this must be completely burned with flames when it dies, prevent the other party from resurrecting. Sure enough, after the fire burned the vampire for a short while. Aha, uh -huh. Edward, the vampire jerked up from the ground. Chen Jie, you shall not die. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Edward transformed into a fireman and madly rushed towards Chen Jie. Unfortunately, before he could touch Chen Jie, he had already turned into a ball of ashes. Phew, luckily, I added a fire to prevent him from reviving. Chen Jie breathed a long sigh of relief and stroked the smiling heavily dog's dog head. Go, let's continue collecting spirit crystals. Logically speaking, Chen Jie, with his current quantity, was definitely the one with the most primal spirit crystals in the entire secret realm. However, how could one have too much of a good thing? It's just like money. Chen. Chen Jie. Just as Chen Jie wanted to leave this place, a shout filled with the smell of pickles suddenly resounded right behind him. If, the other party did not take the initiative to shout indiscriminately, he might not really be able to discover the other party. However, since, the other party was so proactive, Chen Jie had no reason to ignore people ah. What's more, they had made an oath at the beginning of the pickle country wanting to raise the nation's strength to kill him. You recognize me? You're from the pickle country? Chen Jie turned around and looked at the other party with pity. How he wished that the other party would not admit it. That way, he would have one less life to die in his hands. You are my kimchi country. The one that the whole country hates. How could I not recognize you? This man was still quite righteous. Chen Jie shook his head helplessly. Then, goodbye. Suddenly, a yellow light flashed. The kimchi countryman in front of him was instantly split into pieces. Out with the axe. In with the axe. It was only a split second. For this kind of goods, Chen Jie did not need to do much maneuvering with the other party at all. Smiling heavenly dog. Go and bring over the other party's primordial spirit crystal. Chen Jie pointed at the other party's corpse. He did not want to go up and touch the corpse. Chen Jie was afraid that he would become stupid after touching the other party's body. Woof woof. The smiling heavenly dog wailed twice even though it was very reluctant. But still, it went ahead and rummaged around for a while, finally finding two primal spirit crystals. Looking at the two pitifully few primal spirit crystals, Chen Jie could not help but lament. Such a weak chicken, even if you leave him a life, is also an existence to be wiped out ah. Estimating that the collection of primordial spirit crystals had also been almost the same, Chen Jie directly walked towards the exit of the secret realm. There was still one more day until the time to leave the secret realm but he already had to be too late. The Luo kingdom still needed him outside. After a simple shuttle, Chen Jie smoothly arrived at the exit. There was only one pillar of light here just like before. Chen Jie touched his hand to the light pillar. Suddenly an ethereal voice sounded in Chen Jie's mind. Outside awakened one. Do you wish to leave this secret realm? If you do, please submit the corresponding sufficient primordial crystals. If, the primordial crystals detected on you, insufficient will be directly obliterated oh. Chen Jie nodded determined to leave. Thus, Chen Jie placed all the primordial crystals he possessed into the light pillar. Buzz. The light pillar emitted a strong trembling, while there was also a circle of energy aura spreading outwards. Not long after, that one voice rang out again. 
and it carried some excitement. Congratulations to the outside awakened one you have obtained enough crystals to leave the secret realm, please enter the light pillar. At the same time, reminding the outside world awakened person that you already have more than the amount of primordial spirit crystals than everyone in the secret realm, and more than half, congratulations, you will receive a reward from the creator of the secret realm. Hearing the other party's reply, Chen Jie gladly walked into the light pillar. Immediately, a powerful energy rushed into Chen Jie's body. Ah! The overly powerful energy squeezed into Chen Jie's body, making him extremely uncomfortable. The pain of that swelling made him almost unbearable. However, after a while, he quickly calmed down. He noticed that his right hand had undergone a magical change and had turned a golden color. This is, Chen Jie looked at his right hand in confusion. Congratulations to the outside world player for obtaining the golden arm given by the secret realm creator, the wonders of which are infinite yet to be comprehended by the player himself. Golden arm? Chen Jie scrutinized the arm in his hand. He tangibly realized that this arm seemed to be connected to every detailed part of his entire body. Any of the first breathing holes were connected to this one arm. Even the energy, all of it, was able to converge to a single point on his finger. So, he tried to take a small amount of energy and converge it into his index finger. Soon, his index finger converged into a ball of light. Go! Chen Jie aimed at a large mountain not far away. The ball of light immediately flew quickly towards this large mountain. After only a few moments, the ball of light crashed into the large mountain. Boom! The heavens and earth immediately shook. The large mountain was as if it was torn apart like paper by this strike from Chen Jie, and the crack split from the top of the mountain directly to the earth. It directly split open a valley. What a terrifying energy impact. Chen Jie didn't even think that he sucked in a breath of cold air with this strike. With this strike, Chen Jie was all but certain that he could kill a Ninth Order Awakened with a single blow. What if, converging all the energy, Chen Jie thought as such, only, just after firing this strike, a strong sense of dizziness immediately rushed to his brain. It seems that this move, cannot be used easily, Chen Jie secretly thought. He also gave up the idea of using all of his energy at will. If he used all of his energy, there was a possibility that his life would be in danger. After ending the verification, the light pillar of teleportation also began to fluctuate. After a vibration, his body began to vaporize. Whoosh! The scenery in front of Chen Jie's eyes rapidly changed, and in no time he was teleported out of the secret realm. At this time, outside the secret realm, Luo's high-level command and control room. Elder Zhou, we are already 96% submerged. Please give the order. The senior commander of the military ministry saluted Elder Zhou. If, in this situation now, there was no room for them to wait any longer. No more atomic bomb attempts. Next, they might not even have the chance to try. Alas, if the atomic bomb doesn't work either, then there's no hope for our Luo country. Launch it, fight for this last chance of survival. Zhou Lao's eyes began to harden. This was their last chance. As for Qin Jie, they had already waited long enough. If they made any more resistance, then they really would not even have a chance to resist. Receiving the instruction, the commander of the military headquarters immediately issued the final order. Everyone, this is the last moment regarding the survival of our Luo kingdom. We stand firm. We stand firm on our positions. We stand firm on our land. To the last moment, regardless of the outcome, we are the last pride of Luo. We are honorable. Nuke launch. As the voice of the commander of the military headquarters fell, the operator pressed the button that seemed destined to be resolute for Luo at that moment. The lurid weapon that was originally hidden deep inside the earth in a cannon hole, awakened at this moment. Swish, 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 they let out an astonishing roar and rushed up into the sky, rolling up a puff of white smoke. They rushed towards the 10th order aberrant monsters far away from the coast. Nuclear energy, the strongest injurious weapon discovered by mankind so far. It was so powerful that it was capable of destroying a city in an instant. As for whether it was possible to deal with this new monster that appeared at the end of the world, the humans didn't even know, but they could only pin their hopes on him. Everyone at the top level of Luo was holding their breath as they watched the trajectory of the nuclear bomb flying on the screen. They almost didn't dare to make a single sound. Meanwhile the other screen was the deformed monster mermaid that was still in the middle of the vast ocean, rampantly slaughtering humans. Its eyes were filled with madness. It was enjoying this as if it had been plotting revenge for a long time with reckless abandon. Humans, pay for the sins you have committed. The Tenth Order mermaid monster roared not realizing in the slightest that the human's great destructive weapon had quietly rushed not far from him, only at a distance of 300 meters, he finally reacted. It's humanity's nuclear weapon, never think of killing me through such a thing. The mermaid monster certainly understood the danger of such a weapon. She raised her hands, and the vast ocean was all for her. 
and the thousands of meters of seawater around her rushed into the sky at the same time. It collided with that nuclear bomb. Boo! In the middle of the sky, a mushroom cloud rose, the powerful shockwave that washed away the seawater. Those seawater were mundane after all. Under the destruction of the nuclear bomb, it continuously evaporated and dissipated. It was truly worthy of being a nuclear weapon. However, the strength of the mermaid monster was not to be underestimated. She tried her best to evoke seawater. Even if the original seawater was dissolved, there was still a steady stream of seawater replenishing in the back. Put. Using seawater, a large amount of the mermaid monster's energy was consumed. And surprisingly, her body was a bit overdrawn, spitting a mouthful of black blood onto the ground. It had suffered a not-so-small internal injury, but with her recovery ability, she would be able to recover in no time. After a burst of bombardment, the nuclear bomb's power also completely dissipated. Ha ha ha, humans, can't do anything about me, then bear my wrath, I know where you are. At this moment, the deformed mermaid was completely furious. She carried a monstrous wave towards the Luo command headquarters and attacked. Her speed was very fast, and at this speed, the command staff estimated that it would take less than two hours for her to arrive. Seeing that the nuclear bomb had no effect on this 10th order mermaid, the people in the command room, as if their strength had been drained, with a snap, they sat down on the ground. It's over. It's all over. This mermaid won't be long before it comes to our command room. Now those who can leave first hurry up. Elder Zhou. Yes Elder Zhou you go first. There is hope for the Dragon Kingdom if you live. Everyone cover Zhou Lao's retreat. Split into two teams to confuse the aberration monsters. As long as we can protect Zhou Lao, it doesn't matter to any of us. Cheer up everyone. For the last hope. Elder Zhou. You should hurry up and get going. There's not much time left for us. The people were as if they had come to their senses and began to choose to cover Elder Zhou. They all knew that they were all just some ordinary people. Zhou Lao, on the other hand, was their commander-in-chief, or a powerful awakened. As long as Zhou Lao survived, the Luo kingdom would be able to have more possibilities in the future. It was at this moment of crisis that all of them showed a kind of national righteousness, sacrificing their lives for death. No, Zhou Lao's lips trembled and his eyes were filled with tears. The Luo kingdom is under attack by the marine aberration monster today. It's impossible for me to live on. If that aberration monster comes, then we will die together. With regards to death, Zhou Lao was undaunted. He was more worried about Luo Gui in his heart. Perhaps in this kind of big shot, the life and death of the individual was always far less important than the collective and everyone else. Luo Gua, no matter what, have tried our best. At this final juncture, let us live and die together, survive together. Luo Lao slowly stood up from his seat. Still looking at the crowd of Luogwa's warriors with his eyes filled with majesty. Good. Live and die together. Survive together. Live and die together. Survive together. Live and die together. Survive together. The crowd raised their hands, as if they had returned to the day of the declaration. Their eyes were filled with tears. However, they were not because of fear, much less sadness. Rather, it was the fervor of their blood and the passion to live and die together that brought them to tears. For the sake of Luo Kingdom, they could dedicate everything. Come on, we warriors of the Luo kingdom, let's all stand up and act, take up our weapons, even if the other side comes, we'll make them feel emboldened by our courage. Zhou Lao shouted with passion and fighting spirit. Everyone present was infected by this power. There wasn't half a person who meant to retreat. Thus, the crowd began to prepare for battle with a mindset of going to their deaths. They took up the weapons they could. Some awakened ones, too, began to frantically devour spirit crystals in order to be the last one to die a more splendid death. Life was as splendid as a summer flower, and die like the ardor of a blazing fire. Two hours of time, very short. At this time, the Tenth Order aberrant mermaid had already killed his way to the door. He, it was seething with rage, its hair all over its body was in disarray as if it had been purposely scratched. The skin on the surface had festered partially. It was obvious that the nuclear bomb was having an effect on him, just that it wasn't able to hurt him at all. Damn humans, the deformed mermaid roared. Ta da da. What responded to him were the guns of the warriors, countless bullets bombarding his body. A puff of smoke was raised. Only, it wasn't able to cause substantial damage to him. Griffin-like humans suffer death. With a wave of his left hand, the deformed mermaid's left hand, a trident immediately appeared in his hand. With just a light swing towards the camp this one, a turquoise blue light immediately rose up. This radiance would cause even a ninth rank awakened person to come and block it. Then they would have to die. Boom boom boom. The defense military was destroyed by the aberrant mermaids. A large number of warriors suffered casualties. Stop. Zhou Lao rose up in the air and resolutely stood out once more. What? You defeated fighters still want to fight me? You really don't know how to die.
The mutant mermaid raised her Tongtian trident and slashed downwards, a weapon the size of a mountain peak instantly blasting towards Zhou Lao's face. Boom boom boom. As the trident inches closer, Zhou Lao's hands rose upwards with a brace, and two majestic golden dragons, manifesting themselves to charge out immediately afterward. Roar. A powerful aura, blasted out. The surrounding seawater, were all overturned. However, the power of the golden dragon was always slightly inferior to the trident, at once fell into the wind. After sticking around for less than three minutes, they all shattered. A powerful aura directly struck Zhou Lao. Zhou Lao retreated in defeat and spat out a mouthful of blood. Ha ha ha, what a self-importance. You and I are two orders apart. You couldn't possibly be my opponent even if you turned over a new leaf. The deformed mermaid laughed up to the sky. Suffer death. When you die, I'll send the people behind you to accompany you. The mutant mermaid raised the trident in her hand and threw it fiercely at Zhou Lao. The trident carried a powerful energy that pierced the sky. It rolled up a powerful gust of wind and waves. As for Zhou Lao, he once again condensed his energy to form a huge protective shield. Don't even think about harming the people behind me. Unless, just crush me. The powerful adamantine shield, braced open. Dang, the trident struck the golden shield. But surprisingly, it didn't cause much damage. Eh, what is this thing of yours? Surprisingly, it was able to withstand my strike? The mutant mermaid looked at the Zhou Lao in front of her suspiciously. He he, do you really think? Ahem, you can kill me at will? Zhou Lao covered his chest and spat out another mouthful of blood. This hood of his wasn't some extraordinary magic treasure. Rather, it was the first among his talents. He was able to form a powerful shield by sacrificing his lifespan. Even if it was a strong attack, as long as he had enough lifespan, it would be impossible for the opponent to break. Of course, with continuous attacks, once his lifespan reached its limit, then he would also die. The mutant mermaid carefully observed Zhou Lao's changes. It then burst out laughing. Ha ha ha, you old man, who didn't even have a few days left in his lifespan in the first place, is still using his lifespan as a shield. It's really funny enough. But of course, you are all set to die. So it's better to use your lifespan as a shield than to die directly under my trident. Hearing this, the people behind Elder Zhou were shocked. Tears flowed out of their eyes. Elder Zhou, he, is actually giving up his own lifespan to, save us. No, the warriors followed me to kill the enemy. I will die beside Elder Zhou even if I die. This is the honor of my life. Protect Elder Zhou. 10,000 deaths. Instantly, several figures rushed out of the air to protect Elder Zhou. Fine, fine, so touching. Then I'll send you on your way together. The deformed mermaid laughed. 